For the past six months, all has been quiet at Hell's Kitchen. But although the monster slumbers, the memories live on. Memories of madness. It's inedible! It's way too peppery and you wouldn't even serve it to a fucking pig! Stories of horror. Wow! Here! You kill someone! Don't die on me now, please! And cries of agony. <laughs> I can't believe I'm cracking. I'm cracking up right now. <laughs> For God's sake, man. This is my God. Only three have ever survived the trials of Hell's Kitchen. Now, we are reawakening the beast. And the Dark Lord reigns again. Fifteen new culinary warriors are about to step into battle. I'm like chomping at the bit. This ain't no joke. The gloves are off. Push, push, push. Bring it on. This year, the stakes are bigger than ever. One of you is going to become the executive chef at my new restaurant here in Los Angeles. Position worth a quarter of a million dollars. You can bet I'll be pushing these chefs harder than I ever have before. And the chefs will sink to new lows to win. I'll step on people all the way to the top. He threw all of y'all up under the bus. Oh, tables are turning a little bit now. I have a real problem with people. Treat people stupider than them. I don't think stupider is actually a word. What you said it was fucking vindictive and evil. She's a ruthless bitch. She's evil. For some chefs, this will be a dream world. <laughs> that was the best ever. Very nice, that risotto. Very nice. But for others, it will be their worst nightmare. Get out! Get out! Chef Ramsay freaks me out. Wake up or piss off. He was all up in here. I just want to go with some food. It's the hardest thing I've done in a long time. Smurf, put the pan on the stove. You ignorant donkey. Fuck this. I, I'm done. I, I can't take it. I'm pissed off. I made it fucking clear. Do you want to argue now? God standing there and Chef Ramsay standing there. Who are you more afraid of? Stand back! Stand back! And that's breaking my heart into pieces right now. I've never, never felt so shitty. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Shut it down! Shut it down! Turn it off! Get the fuckers out! Other way. Same shit, different day. Now, the saga of Hell's Kitchen continues. These 15 aspiring chefs are on their way to Hell's Kitchen. I'm here because I think Hell's Kitchen is my destiny. Whoever I have to step on, I can do that. I'm here to win. Being married to my daughter's father, that was truly living hell. So after that, Hell's Kitchen is going to be a cakewalk. The chefs think they know what lies ahead. But Chef Ramsay is planning a little surprise. The chefs are finally getting the chance to size up the competition. But what they don't know is that Chef Ramsay will be secretly sizing them up. I just wanted to congratulate you guys and wish you good luck, but not good enough luck to win. My goal is show Gordon Ramsay that I'm the only one that knows how to cook, and the way I look at it is fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you, you're all going down. And that's the way I look at it. By the way, Chef Ramsay is gonna eat you alive walking in his kitchen with that hat on. <laughs> he could have the hat, he'll just give it back to me when he gives me my own restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> is definitely a battle. I hear these people on the bus talking about how they're going to win. They ain't even a class with me. They're nothing to me. One hand would take out any of them. You know, I'm, just, I'm the black Gordon Ramsay. You know, but you know, on a, on a, on a, he's the president, and I'm the four-star general. It has to go that way. Nice. 
Hell yeah, baby. Oh, man! Oh, my God. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd love hell so much. Oh. <laughs> Hello there. Look at Sean Flea. Don't believe. Please, oh my goodness. get around. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. You must be all very excited to meet Chef Gordon Ramsay. Actually, I quite could in doing an impression of him. <laughs> one spaghetti, one risotto, one crab! What is this? No! <laughs> it's overcooked! <laughs> what about you? Could you do a little impression of Gordon? Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> what about you? Come on, where is it? I think you're gonna have to work on it. <laughs> what about you, you big guy? Jean-Philippe, it's time to open Hell's Kitchen. Danny needs to it real good. Come here, you, you donkey. Wait a minute. Stop! Shut it down. I know that voice. That's right. It's me. <laughs> No, it was coming. Oh. Let's see if you can actually cook as good as you shout off on the bus. And you, the black Gordon Ramsay, right? Yes, sir, four star general. <laughs> Time to button it now and start cooking. Get in there and cook me your signature dishes. Let's go. This is insane. The chefs have been given just 45 minutes to prepare their signature dishes. And some of them desperately need this second chance to make a good impression. What did I get myself into? This is the worst sear I've ever done in my entire life. Last minute, plated and ready. Yes, chef! Yes. Uh, OK. Behind, hot, skillet, hot. To his rice would be slightly overcooked. <laughs> Woo! Watch out. Stop! A chef's signature dish explains exactly who they are. And having traveled here with you, I'm excited to see what I've got to work with. <laughs> Whose is this? I think it's mine, chef. Nice hat. I'm five foot five. I've always been the short guy, the small guy. And the reason why I wear the chef hat is because I got to feel that I'm tall and I'm big in the kitchen. Now, I've been cooking now for 21 years. I haven't quite come across a hat that size. Small boy syndrome downstairs. OK, explain the dish. It's a jerk seared Chilean sea bass over rum raisin risotto. Everything's just so sweet. Well, the, uh, the jerk seasoning offsets the uh, sweetness of the risotto. The fish may have been doused in jerk seasoning, but that's one thing I'm definitely not, a fucking jerk. That is a pile of shit. Take your hat and fuck off. <laughs> you come down to my kitchen again with a ridiculous hat on like that, I'll stick it in your arse sideways. I wear my chef hat every single day. I feel naked without it. Who's is this? I don't see anybody being more passionate about cooking than me. I'm not afraid to toot my own horn because oh, I don't toot it, nobody else will. Toot, toot. <laughs> and what do you do for a living? I'm a garbanger chef now, so I pretty much do fruit, watermelon carving. I can carve your face into a watermelon and it'll look just like you. What's the dish? 
It is a Dungeness crab and corn risotto with a lobster tail. Oh no, <laughs> damn. The rice is raw. And you're now on the garmanger, which is the cold part of the kitchen, which confirms you can't cook. There's a difference between constructive criticism and someone just being a butthead. I think Chef Ramsay might need to read a couple of books. He has absolutely no idea what he's talking about, and he has absolutely no idea who he's talking to. With this group of hopefuls off to a bad start, whose is this? Chef Ramsay is looking for someone to blow him away. Private Chef Corey. That tells me a lot about you. Simple, plain, blonde, and boring. Fails to deliver. Sous Chef Jason. It wouldn't even pass as something tinned in a can. Doesn't fare much better. And caterer Shayna. You've burned the thing. Leaves Chef Ramsay still hungry for a dish he likes. Please, God, let there be something on the next plate. Whoa. My signature dish is going to help me stand out, because I'm a true culinarian. I understand what Gordon's looking for. What is it? I call it exotic tartare, because it's with venison and diver scallops, with caviar and white chocolate, and... Oh, stop, stop, stop. Let me just get this right again. Either that or I'm just about to be punked. <laughs> diver scallops, chopped up, caviar, and white chocolate. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. Raw venison, raw quail egg, lime zest, olive oil, scallops, caviar, and grated white chocolate. Capers as well. must be one of the worst combinations I've ever tasted in 21 years of cooking. Piss off, will you? I really don't understand what Chef Ramsay didn't like about the dish. I'm a little boggled on that. Unreal. Whose is this? Uh-oh, that's my dish. Where'd you cook? For the last 10 years, I've been playing Mr. Mom, staying home with the children, and cooking for the family. So you're not a professional chef? Um, no. I put up with a nine-year-old and a six-year-old hollering at me. Chef Ramsay has nothing on my kid. So what is it? It's a chicken cacciatore and a roasted orzo. For 45 minutes, I expected something a little bit more exciting. Back in line. I felt relieved because at least I didn't make them throw up like the last dish. It looks like a soup. He was just tearing everybody apart. And I figured, oh my god, I'm getting ready to get nailed. How long have you been cooking? Five years. And what's your position? Right now, I work in a law office as a receptionist. I'm just taking a temporary leave from culinary to watch my daughter. OK. What's the dish? It's a spicy mussel soup. <clears throat> it's actually not too bad. Thank you, chef. It's seasoned perfectly. Thank you. Thank you. Receptionist in a law office that has a palate. Thank you. With Roseanne's dish receiving a good review from Chef Ramsay, things might be looking up. Oh, fuck me. Or are they? What in the fuck? Happy Halloween? People ask me what my specialty is, but I don't have a specialty. I can cook anything. What is that? There's um, a Cornish hen inside there. A Cornish hen? What do you do to it to get it in there? It got, got in there. I got it in there. Holy shit. These are potatoes? Yes, sir. And how much grease and fat and oil did you fry in? There's some butter in there. Some butter in that? It's a lot of butter. We'll stop there, yeah? OK, OK. That goes in there, All yeah? Right. And let's see what we've got for trick or treat, shall we? OK. Oh, my god. How do you get in there and eat it? I mean, am I missing a trick? It's plated table side. Oh. How it's, it's, it's presented like yeah, that. Perfect. Right. Take your time. OK. 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 Oh, my god. Uh, that's enough there. Yeah. That's enough. Okay. I don't think I'll get through all that, do you? OK, no. So what's the uh, dish called? 
pen and a pumpkin. Right now, looking at that mess, I'd like to stick your fucking head in there, you know that? It's dry. Yeah. Well... And the pumpkin's not even seasoned inside, it's just bland. You had more chance sticking a candle in there, making me happy. For Halloween, you were sticking a pen in there. Fuck off. Chef Ramsay said he was looking for something memorable. And I believe that my dish was memorable. Now, it's room service chef Sharon's chance to deliver. You know damn well that isn't up to scratch for Hell's Kitchen. But her dish falls flat. Electrician Ben gives his best effort. It doesn't set me alight, but it's not bad. Culinary student Christina. Good concepts, terrible execution. And hotel cook Lou Ross. Could have done a lot more. Receive mediocre reviews. There are only two signature dishes left, and Chef Ramsay has yet to be excited by anything he's tasted. Whose is this? Mine, Chef. OK, come forward, madam, please. And how did you cook the halibut? I pan seared it, and then I put it in the oven just for a little bit. Thank you. That's the tastiest thing I've had all day. Thank you, Chef. Seasoned beautifully, light, fragrant. That was delicious. Thank you. The best dish by a mile so far. Chef Ramsay said I had the best dish. Yeah. Guess who's last? The four-star general, Black Gordon Ramsay. Yes, sir. Come over, big boy. All right. The things I was saying on the bus was all true. Now I got the show and prove, and I had no problem with that. So I'm cool. I'm cool as a cucumber right now. Would you prefer Gordon or Bobby? You can call me Chef Bobby. You talk the talk. What's the dish? This is a, a Hawaiian butterfish with the roasted red pepper Thai sauce. You cooked the fish in the deep fat fryer? Um, yeah, I did. I find it embarrassingly lazy to deep fry the fish. So cut the bullshit and get back in line. I was like, ah, that ain't no big deal. I'm still a four-star general on the streets and in the kitchen. I'm now starting to question, have I got that individual that's worthy of this phenomenal prize? This year, the pressure is immense. Because one of you is going to become the executive chef at my new restaurant here in Los Angeles. The brand new London, L.A. London, L.A. I want it. New Ross, London, L.A. That's like triple L. You know what I'm saying? That's like L Boogie to the beat. A position worth a quarter of a million dollars. Winning Hell's Kitchen would totally change my life. I'm no longer just Jason. It's Jason who won Hell's Kitchen and has a pocket full of money and has to beat women off with a stick, for God's sake. These two individuals are absolutely crucial as sous chefs. Scott will be running men's team, and Gloria will be running the girls' team. One more thing. This year, for the very first time, we're going into service with a captain from each team. You are going to be responsible for picking those captains, because tomorrow night, Hell's Kitchen opens for the very first time. Off you go to the dorms. OK, everybody, follow me. The chefs have little time to settle into their new home because they have to complete their first assignment, choosing a captain. Vanessa, I'm actually right now gearing towards you to be the leader because you did good today. <laughs> OK, Vanessa. All right. You know, you're you're in. In. They chose me as captain. It's my responsibility to make sure that our service goes well. And if it doesn't go well, then I will be the one thrown off first. The women have wasted no time deciding who will be their team captain. The same, however, can't be said for the men. OK, so the captain. Who wants to do it? I want to do it. Man. I'll do it. I'll do it. I, I know I can do it. I'm not going to back down. It's frustrating because we have everybody saying they want to be a captain. It was like a circus act. Be we able, have to be together right they now. They might be able to watch. While the men spend their time arguing, the women get to work. I think right now it'll be best to memorize the menu. With 15 new dishes, this Hell's Kitchen menu is the most challenging yet. I can memorize three. That's about it. Oh my gosh, we have this huge binder of recipes. And it's a little stressful that we have to learn it in so little time. 
While the women hit the books, the men have hit a wall. All right, guys, we got to make a decision. I vote me for Kathy. You want to just go, Bobby? Because if I'm seeing someone struggle, I'm good enough to, to lend that hand. Who votes Bobby? We're going right. with Bobby. Do it. We're going Bobby. Oh. Roll. <laughs> I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll. Ba 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 bing ba 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 ba. Try to get some sleep as much as you can, guys. Exactly. I can look at that damn book tonight. What time is it? Almost one. With only 11 hours until the grand reopening of Hell's Kitchen, the aspiring chefs have their work cut out for them. All right, ladies, let's go. In the blue kitchen, the four-star general is leading his troops. How's everybody doing? Scallops are done. Beautiful. If you need a set of hands, I'll be there. Bobby is great as a leader. We had some great team spirit and great teamwork. Everybody doing all right? Yes, yeah, chef. Sure. I'll be damned if I'm going to lose to a team of girls. The only thing I'm going to lose to a woman is like an ironing contest. We got this, Bobby. While the men quickly find their footing, the women try to find their leader. Where's Vanessa at? She's been gone for a minute. You guys, you're going really super slow. You're going to have to speed it up. I was hoping Vanessa would step up as leader. I think tonight has the possibility of being a train wreck. Oh, son of a bitch. All right, guys, let's go. Come over, please. Ladies, let's go. The doors of Hell's Kitchen will open in just a few minutes, and Chef Ramsay is excited to unveil his new menu. Tonight should be the most successful opening ever in Hell's Kitchen. The blue team is ready to go. I'm not letting that team lose tonight. Bobby, what are the five entrees on the menu? Uh, we'll have, uh, I'm not sure. Matt, what are the five entrees? Uh, there's, uh, I don't know, I'm chef. What? Petroza, what are the entrees? Um. Chef Ramsay has just discovered one minor problem. Nobody has a damn clue of what's going on. Ugh. My god. Christina, what are the five entrees? We have a lamb on croute, salmon, jean dory, beef filet, and the poached and roasted chicken, sir. Thank you. The guys suck, and they're going to go down in flames. That makes me happy. Guys, what is the matter? Right now, you look like a bunch of dicks. We haven't even fucking opened. Knowing the menu is one thing. Cooking the menu is another thing. Tonight, for the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, I've created a muse bouche, a little stunning pre-starter. One person from the blue team and one person from the red team will be serving table side. Petroza, table side. Shayna, table side. Here we go, yes? Jean-Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen. Yes, chef. Welcome to Hell's Kitchen. I'll start with the Caesar salad. Pan roasted scallops. First order and the blue side, chef. Two scallops, one risotto, one Caesar salad. As the orders start to come in, the pressure is on to get appetizers to the pass. Where's Jason? Where is he on the appetizers? Where is he? We're not even starting service with a full team. Where is he? That's what I'm asking myself, chef. Jason! What's he doing? Jason! 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 It's like a magician. He kind of disappeared. It's like, well, what the fuck are you thinking? Can you get your ass down here, please? Yes, Chef. Oh, my god. While both kitchens start on the appetizers, the pea salad goes on top of the risotto. The first flambés are lighting up the dining room. It's really just a way to get your palate excited. How's everybody's eyebrows? How are you this evening? The weather's still pretty outside, huh? While Petroza keeps the diners warm on the blue side, Petroza, don't set the room on fire, you donkey. Yes, chef. On the red side, the women look to Sharon to take control of the appetizer station. Oh, you got to saute onions and garlic first, just a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. let me do it. I'm a little concerned about Sharon, AKA Barbie. I call her Barbie because she's blonde with big knockers, but she seems a little ditzy sometimes. How long? 
five minutes, chef. Five minutes. Three minutes, chef. Three. 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 Who's on the section? Yes. Okay. I'm on yes. the section. No, she is, chef. But I, I see it's, it's almost there, chef. I'm a little irritated with Jan. She can be overbearing at times. Risotto's coming over, guys. Leave it up there. Sharon, you run away from this, or are you making this? Taste that. No seasoning. Oh, come on, Sharon. It's like rice pudding. Chef Ramsay didn't like the risotto, but you know what? That's not just my fault. And it's too bad that Chef Ramsay didn't see that. Are we ready to plate scallops, girl? No, we got to redo the risotto. It's coming. So confused. Come on, Vanessa. Wakey, wakey. Get a grip, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes? We're all a bunch of blind monkeys trying to run around in the kitchen, and there's nothing I can do about it. Which one are you cooking? This one. Whose is this one? I don't know. I'll get rid of it. Oh, come on, Sharon. While Sharon struggles, Jason is ready to bring his first appetizer to the pass. Let me taste it. No. Yes, taste that. You, taste that. It was terrible, terrible, terrible. It needs salt. It doesn't it need, need salt. salt. Oh, my god. I'll make it again. The scallops, they're going. There was some wasted food right there, that's for sure. Right now, we are looking stupid. Jason sucks. I could have ran the appetizers, cold salads, meats. But I, you know, I'm a, I'm a nice guy. I didn't want to make them feel stupid. Bobby, look at me. As long as you're no. sitting pretty, right? That's your game, no, isn't no, it? No, 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 no. I just don't want to dig in over there. There's yeah. too many people. How about a little there? vote of confidence, a little bit of support? Even if Bobby didn't know what was going on, at least put some damn scoot in your boot and try and get some shit done. A little bit of cooking with the eyes, no? Yes. Fucking useless. While Bobby takes a hands-off approach to leadership, over in the red kitchen, Sharon has made another attempt at her first risotto. What have you put in there? It stinks of garlic. Garlic risotto. Where's the water? <clears throat> Sharon, enough's enough. Fuck off and go and put some more makeup on. You get on there. Yes, sir. Just because I look pretty doesn't mean I cannot cook. I like to look nice. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Madam! Yes, Sharon? Can I have a risotto? Three minutes. It's 45 minutes into dinner service, and with no food leaving either kitchen, frustrations are building in the dining room. I can give you a bit of wine. I can give you water. You can bring food and you didn't bring it. I can give you my smile. That's yes. useless. With the bread supply in Hell's Kitchen dwindling, the pressure is on Jason to get some food to the pass. Jason? Yes, Chef? Scallops risotto. How long? Right now. Right now. Where are the scallops? What is that? Got little burnt bits or something in there. Oh, my God. The rice is overcooked. Ow. That's hot. Hey, you. Come here. I've had enough. You can't even get two fucking dishes together. That's how shit you've been. I don't want any more embarrassments. I just want to go with some food. It's over an hour into the first dinner service, and Jason is about to get an invitation. Sit down, eat that. I want you to taste what you're trying to serve Hell's Kitchen. Sit down. Let me know when you're done. I'll get dessert. Yeah, I'm horribly embarrassed of myself. I should have fucking stayed home. Stuff your face, you bastard. With Jason enjoying a sit-down dinner at the pass and no food leaving the blue kitchen, only Petroza's flambe is keeping the customers from hunger. I'm Lou Petroza. It's Petroza. Just call me Petroza. Ultimately, the goal is to make the, the customers happy. So I was chatting a little bit. Go quickly, go quickly. OK, I'm going to hustle. Come on, oil. <sighs> While Petroza bides his time in the dining room, back in the red kitchen, Y'all got the scallops there? Jen does her best to resuscitate the appetizer station. They're coming. Flip them over. Flip them over. Come on, y'all. Please, before he get over here. I'm not just some young girl who don't know what she's doing. I have mad skills in the kitchen. Who turned the eggs over like that? Do we serve eggs like that? Hello. I don't think it's that hard, you know, frying an egg. I want them up. Oh, come on. Roseanne, can you take control? Yes, Chef. Vanessa, get the captain's badge off your fucking arm, will you? Roseanne, away. OK, ladies, come on. Let's get one scallop from one season to this window. How long? I sucked as a captain. It was pretty bad. What's with the chicken? The chicken. What does the chicken get? Chick, 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 chicken, gnocchi. I seriously don't know why Chef Ramsay didn't pick me. You know, I did a lot of stuff to exhibit leadership. That's wrong. It really is. All right, let's go with that scallop dish first. Season second. Eggs first, then scallops. Yes, that's correct. Are you mad? You mad at me? No. Oh. I thought she had like a little chip on her shoulder or something. When it's crunch time, I'm more aggressive, more vocal. 
Vanessa is ahead in Montana, and I'm from New York City. How long we looking, girls? We said yeah, one minute. minute. One minute to the window. window. While Roseanne attempts to bring order to the red kitchen, Dominic is getting a little one-on-one -on -one time with Chef Ramsay. Touch that. Touch that. Rubber. They're rubber. They're like a ball elastic bands. It's like a fucking golf ball. Golf ball. I couldn't saute a scallop to save my ass tonight. Everything you've cooked, you screwed. Have you ever cooked a scallop before? Whew, what a disaster. He hasn't even got the tuna in. Why are you putting more scallops in there? And you're like this with the scallops. Ah, oh, fuck me. Shit. Bobby, yes. I'm looking for someone to take control of this disgusting, embarrassing mess. He doesn't give a fuck. He's dreaming. He's standing there pissed in his pants looking for his tartar and caviar and white chocolate crap. And he's just running around like a toilet brush. Is anyone going to take control? Jump in there, Bobby. Jump in there, Wait, baby. I'm, I'm, I don't want to jump in. You guys, you guys got it over there. It will make him so much confusion if I get in over there. You got six set of hands. You don't need eight set of hands over there. I don't want to join the chaos. He's the captain. I mean, to just be like, you know, I don't want to get in this chaos. That's basically like saying, fuck you, I quit. You ain't got to worry about what, what's over here. When you call for it, you got it. It's fucked up. While Captain Bobby is willing to watch his ship go down without him, over in the red kitchen. How's that risotto, Jen? You ready for us? Yeah, I guess. Jen is doing all she can to keep her appetizer station afloat. Let me show the risotto. Please, God, let the risotto That's be good. Too, yeah? Please, God. Very nice, the risotto. Hallelujah. <sighs> Thank you, Chef Ramsey. Yes, 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 Come on, ladies, we're getting our mojo back. With Roseanne in charge and Jen mastering the risotto, the red team is finally getting appetizers out to their diners. Oh, this is great. But over in the blue kitchen, the men are at a complete standstill. Jason, how much on the risotto? Like three or four minutes, man. Don't worry about scallops yet. I'm going to do two orders. As soon as I'm ready, I'll let you know. Just wait a second. I don't want to fuck it up again. Yeah. Yeah, that's bland. It looks terrible. Come here. Taste that. All of you, run, Dominic. You lazy fucker. And you put your fingers in there. Oh, my God. Look, snot. Fuck off. Useless fucking pieces of shit. Do you all know it's crap? Not one of you got the balls to do anything about it. I didn't taste it yet. Guys, it's just simple. Just go, man. Sure. Come on. Just redo it. I didn't see anybody taste their food today. And just get into the groove as if, like, you're making love to the kitchen. Season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. That's all. Hey, you. Take that badge off. Give it to that little fucker over there. Thank God someone's got a pair of balls. I'm not the type of guy that be like, oh, my God, I'm a bad chef now. No, no, not at all. Lou Ross can have that captain's position. I'm still a general. He's still, to me, he's still a private. How long, risotto? How long on scallops? Two and a half minutes. If you guys are down to the one minute mark, one more minute. As Lou Ross tries to whip the blue team into shape, the red team has served appetizers to three more tables. Are we ready now with that beef? We're ready. And are starting their first entrees. Who cooked this chicken? I did, chef. Come here. Let's go all together now. Come on, You lady. hold the chicken. Yes, sir. Hold oh, shit. Pass it around. There I thought go. either pan was going to get thrown, glass was going to get shattered. Someone was getting hurt. Throw me the ball. Let's fucking plate around us. It happened to be the chicken, so sorry to the chicken. It's rubber, plastic, dry shit. While the red kitchen tries to bounce back from Corey's rubber chicken, Blue Ross finally has the blue kitchen moving. Risotto coming up, chef. Oh, gold star, Jason. Service, please. I finally got the hang of it. I feel like a million fucking dollars. I finally did something positive. There's just one small problem. What's the matter? They're all leaving, chef. What? Stop! Look out there! Your customers have gone. Shut it down. Clear down. Nothing to be proud of. I'm totally, utterly embarrassed. I really am. It was just a mess tonight in our red kitchen. It was really, really a mess. It's been one of the most disastrous dinner services in the history of Hell's Kitchen. But Chef Ramsay must still decide on a winning team. Tonight, no entree served whatsoever. Bobby, you hid behind your team. You performed like a coward. 
If I get in over there, I don't want to join the chaos. Is anyone going to take control? Jason, you sunk your kitchen. Vanessa, it's like having a mouse on service. Cory, that chicken bounced off the wall and nearly left the restaurant. It's rubber. Let's be honest, no one's won here tonight. The losing team tonight. Is the men. Lou Ross, clearly you tried. The best of the very worst. Go back to the dorms and choose two individuals up for elimination. My team totally died tonight. No communication, no energy, no focus. That's freaking embarrassing. Oof. Holy shit. I'm glad that's over. It ain't over yet, dude. I might be going home. I tried my best. It was nowhere near good enough. But I did better than Bobby. I hope he gets a fucking foot so far up his ass he can taste it in the morning. Bobby needs to go, period. Bobby, he just sat there like a bump on a log. He left his bone dry tonight. He left us out for the dogs. He ought to be embarrassed, very embarrassed. I don't need to go to Lou Ross and beg him to not eliminate me. That's not my style. You know, I don't kiss no ass. What do you think how you did? That he would tell me, oh, we need the scallops. I made them. I overcooked them, and I cooked them too slow. It's not like cooking at home for the family. I feel that I did poorly. I've been out of the kitchen for 10 years, but I don't want to go home tonight. What's your take on it? I tried, but I didn't know the menu. Neither did anybody else. Whenever we have service, I just want you to be alive, you know what I'm saying? Just couldn't keep my energy level up, but that ain't going to fucking happen again. Blah, blah, blah. Jason, he had a bad night. He just kept messing up and messing up. And I'm not going to lie, I'd like to stay, but you do what you got to do. I am really in a tough spot right now. I got to nominate two people, so I don't even know what to do. You know you and I are getting put up tonight, right? Yeah, I'm going to I got to think that. It's you or me. I'm sorry, but that's what I think. Tonight, the women rest easy, knowing that they are safe. Now, the men are about to learn which two of them will be nominated by Lou Ross for elimination. Lou Ross. Chef. First nominee and why, please. First nominee that I pick is Bobby. He was a captain, but then come service time, Focus wasn't there no more. Our side was pretty much dead of communication. Second nominee and why? Second nominee is, uh, is Dominic. I just couldn't get the orders on time. Dominic and Bobby, step forward, please. Oh, dear. Dominic. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I was misdirected. I was never guided properly by my captain. How many scallops did you put in the bin tonight? The scallops, they're going. That would be? 25? 30. 30. Black Gordon Ramsay. Why should you stay? You know, it was a lot of running around and pretending like something food was getting produced, but in all actuality, I, my entrees was ready to go. Let's cut the bullshit. Did you do a good job as a captain? Yes or no? Jump in there, Bobby. Jump in there, hey, baby. I'm, I'm, I don't want to jump in. You guys, you guys got it over there. No, sir. First time you give me a straight answer since you've been here. Dominic and Bobby, both of you could have done better. My decision is... Dominic, take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. You wake up. Thank you. 
Good night. Thank you. Being here and being sent home first night is really a heartbreaker. I had an opportunity to work with Chef Ramsay. It was a dream of mine, but that dream was dashed. Bobby, you threw the towel in. This is Chef Ramsay's way of telling me you need to step it up. I'm ready for it, because he's going to find out there's a diamond in the rough. Jason. Yes, Chef. You dodged the bullet, big boy. I can do better, Chef. We've embarrassed male chefs all over the world today. Well, it's on now. There's no way in hell I'm losing the girls again. That ain't happening. This has been the worst ever start and the most amazing prize. And if you think I'm taking this lightly, you're fucking joking. Get out. To be a great chef, you need passion, creativity, and talent. Dominic had passion, but that was it. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. I feel bad Dominic got picked. I didn't think he was going to get picked. Dude, I seen it coming. I'll be honest. The whole time I was standing there, I was like, they're either going to call me up or eliminate him. I had a feeling you were getting another shot. I was trying to lay it back. You done taking it easy? Yeah, it's on. I dodged a bullet tonight. You know, I was, I had this laid back approach, but it's gonna be a new Bobby. You know, the, the, the four star general got to come out now. Yeah, that was so intense. I had fun getting yelled at every three minutes. I didn't realize what I was getting into. I took a beating tonight. That ain't happening next time. If I have any say so whatsoever, I don't lose the fucking girls, especially a bunch of young little kids. That ain't happening again. I thought we fucking kill it. We've already said the bitches are in the fucking next kitchen, so let's fucking prove yeah. it. We beat the boys, which is great. Seems like the guys need to cut some of the dead weight anyways. And they had a lot of choices. <laughs> After a disastrous dinner service, all the aspiring chefs want is a little sleep. And that's exactly what they're going to get. Let's go, everybody! Wake up! Let's get downstairs! The bullhorn started, and he started yelling. Right now, come on! Move! Unfucking pleasant, I'll tell you that. Come on, get up! Get out of here! Let's go! Let's go! go. Get dressed! Get downstairs now! Go! Come on! Go! 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 Come on! Good morning. Good morning, chef. Bright and breezy, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. With everything we wasted last night on service. Any restaurant would have got out of business. You have to understand what you put in the trash last night. Hey, guys. Hup. I've never seen so much fantastic produce wasted. Now, every rubber chicken breast, every overcooked risotto, every rock-hard potato you binned last night, get it out and put it back in the cylinder. Move. We're playing in fucking garbage. This is going to suck. Look at it all. Come on, guys. Chef Ramsay's lesson about waste is one our aspiring chefs find a little unsettling. People are flopping around in that, and their bare feet just disgusting, butt cracks all showing, and just, ugh, it was nasty. It's only food, Jenna. <laughs> Look at the waste. We found all kinds of food in that trash. I mean, excellent cuts of beef, scallops. It's all against the food. It's, it's a shame we had to waste all that food last night. Sharon, don't smudge your makeup. It's disgusting. <laughs> OK, get on the stairs, all of you. Now. You should be ashamed of yourselves. We're not talking about a couple of hundred dollars. We're in for thousands of dollars there. Carelessly just put in the trash. As no one gives a fuck. You all better start giving a damn. Now, go and get showered and meet me in the kitchen. You stink. Now the chefs are about to learn that waste can happen before the cooking even begins. 
We clearly understand what it's like to waste produce. Now, I'm going to show you how to maximise on it. Challenge today... Ah, halibut. One of the most sought-after, delicious fish today. Watch carefully. Razor-sharp knife. Chef Ramsay demonstrates how to properly prep halibut. One fillet. Done. Skin off. Lastly, Chef Ramsay cuts the halibut into 53 perfect six-ounce portions. There we go. The team with the most perfect six-ounce portions, to my standards, wins. Scott and Gloria, bring in the halibut, please. Are we ready? Yes, yes Chef. Yeah. 20 minutes, starting from now. Come on. Each team will have 20 minutes to properly prepare as many six-ounce portions of halibut as possible. Come on. Come on, guys. On the blue team, catering director Petroza takes the lead on filleting. Make love to it, Patrizzi. Make love to that fish, man. As long as I'm around here, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be that loud mouth little boy This is going to be like, come on, make that shit look sexy. Let's make love to the fish. Come on. Beautiful thing. They already got one fillet off. Don't get nervous and rush. We got 20 minutes. Chef Ramsay has chosen this challenge because not only does it stress attention to detail, but teamwork as well. Take this tail from here to here. I'm just trying to get the bone right here. I got it. I got it. You got it? I got it. Just let me get this bone and I'm good. You talk to somebody and they're confident about doing a project, you know, you got to put a little faith in them. 10 minutes gone, 10 minutes to go. Just cleaning it up. That's money in the bank. Guys, done, done. The men have finished with plenty of time to spare, while the women continue at their own pace. Don't worry about them being done. We have plenty of time. I was getting nervous because the guys were finished. My hands were shaking. I was just like, okay, let me cut this right and not cut myself. Slow down, we got time. Check it out. Sharon, she just don't know what she's doing, so she needs a lot of coaching. Cram that up. Cram that up. Dean redemption right there. Last minute, let's go. Come on, ladies, let's go. Let's go. You know what a six ounce feels six like, ounce. right? Yeah. Six ounces. Right. Good job. We team, good job. Come on, Sharon, you got this. Five, four, three, okay, guys. two, one, and stop. <laughs> ladies first. Intact, whole, nice. No bone, no bloodline, good. Gashed. Gashed. Beautiful, beautiful. Although the women took longer to fillet the halibut, it appears as though taking their time might be paying off. In, in, in. Not bad. Thank you, Good job, girl. Okay, Craig, let's go. How many, Bobby? I say 50, Chef. 50. You only need 42 to win. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. In. Oh. oh. It's like a fucking chain of sushi. Who, who's doing this? Who's butchering it? I believe who ripped the fish actually was Jason. Beautiful. It's like it's been chewed up. Oh, man. Come on. Who's been eating this? Who did that? Look at it. <laughs> you finished early. You clearly rushed it. We thought we had 50 portions in there. By the numbers, it looked like we had an edge. We, and you know what? We did have an edge by the numbers. What beat us down was inconsistency in the quality of the fillets. Beautiful. That's nice. In. Despite mangling several portions earlier, the men's numbers are starting to add up. In. 35. In. 36. In. 37. In. 38. In. 39. In. 40. In. We have a tie. For the first time ever in the history of Hell's Kitchen, a challenge has ended in a tie. Now, I want each team to decide one individual to come up to the front of this table and select a six ounce portion of halibut. The team with the closest to six ounces wins the challenge. 
Decide. Let's go. Corey, Corey. When I told you six ounces, you fucking marked it on the spot. Who's coming from the blue team? I've portioned a lot of fish. When he said, who wants to be chosen, I was like, that's me. Put me in the game. Who's coming from the red team? Before I was about to choose the fish, I felt like I was going to have a heart attack. First time ever in Hell's Kitchen, a tie break. Now, I need a winner. Can you pick me a six ounce fillet? Try, chef. Can you pick me a six ounce fillet? I will, chef. Both of you. Both of you, pick up your fillet. Come on, Big Ben. Ben. Sir. Fillet from the blue team on the scales. Five point nine out. <laughs> Them girls gonna weigh a perfect six ounce piece. Wait, wait, guys, wait, wait. She still has to do hers. Corey. My team chose me to make the decision because I did an awesome job portioning the fish. Um, every fillet that I did, I know was six ounces. Four point eight ounces. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Yeah! You made it look sick, baby! Sorry, sorry, sorry. I felt more embarrassed than anybody because I was the one that chose the fish. It sucks so bad, like, it's just depressing. And we're already, like, so tired, you know. That sucks. How hard can it be to at least get close to six ounces? Because it's really not that hard. And it's like, that pissed me off. I don't know what we were thinking in picking her. Ladies! I explained that you did not want to lose this challenge today. You'll now be prepping all the halibut, making all the fish stock for the service, and maximizing on every portion. Gentlemen, we will be overindulging. All of you will be joining me on a 100-foot super yacht. Now, your Rolls Royce and your Bentleys are awaiting you. Go and get dressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, baby. Yeah. Good job, Blue Team. Good job. Yeah. Oh, oh. Make sure everybody looks, you know, good, casual, but looks good. Hey, is this, is this OK? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Let's go. I'm ready. God, that guy is crazy. <laughs> poppy, poppy, poppy. <laughs> the boys came all freshly from their shower to go on their yacht. Go! Leave us out! Go! Make it fly! Make it fly! Bye! They started slamming their fucking cleavers down, spraying us with fucking lobster juice. You know, I have a pretty expensive cologne on. Who's Jen was like, whose house? And, you know, they were like, our house. And I'm like, you can keep your fucking house because we're going to the ocean, bitches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my god. I've never been in a Rolls Royce. I don't think I've ever looked in the window of one. It was definitely cool. Gentlemen, welcome to your day of decadence. <laughs> I've never been on any kind of boat in my life. The only boat I got near to was the love boat on TV. Take a seat. Enjoy. Woo! Oh my God. The lobster lunch blew me away. It was phenomenal. Excellent. We've got the best of the best. Congratulations. Well done, huh? Halibut. Well done. Let's get some caviar on, shall we? JP. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I look around, it was Jean-Philippe. He's rocking this navy blue suit and like a little scarf. He looked prestige. What do you think the girls are doing? While the men enjoy their reward on the high seas, back in Hell's Kitchen, the women's punishment has them feeling pretty low. For the record, I called it. I said that damn filet was too little. It's not Corey's fault, it's all of our fault. We're a team. Sure. 
Jen said that, no, nope, she was pretty much thought it was my fault. I lost the competition for them. Don't fucking call me out in front of everybody. It just makes her look stupid, so I think her personality is just to kind of blame others. Get the hell up out of this kitchen, boy. Of course, she has a small brain. She knows she messed up. Damn. And now I'm covered in fish guts and stink and funk. Damn. To the blue team. 5.9. Don't lose a challenge. <laughs> Next service, you have got to attack it. It was pretty cool we get to talk to Chef. I mean, he's at the top of his game right now. He's a pinnacle. Who's got? Who's got? A new day dawns in Hell's Kitchen, and with it, the chance for both teams to put their determination and knowledge to the test. Corey, what did you do? You're mixing up recipes. Put that into that machine, yeah? Yeah. Then add the Tabasco, the lemon juice, the glue close. Our team has a problem right now just worth sharing. It puts us at a really big disadvantage. Sorry for betting you, Corey, but I never made this shit before. <laughs> Fellas, how we feeling? Good, man. Good, good. I am very confident that we're going to win. We're all very serious. We're all closer. We're all communicating. Yes, we need Marsh Capone for the risotto, too. It's OK. He just said we can get more if we need it, so don't sweat it. I don't think the girls have a clue what they're doing. But what do you expect without a man over there to lead them, of course? Classic vinaigrette. Uh, the formula is one to one ratio, champagne vinegar to EVO salt pepper. Christina is a know-it-all. Her brain is big and filled, but her mind is so weak. Oh, coming around hot, heavy. A room full of girls, I mean, that's, that's useless. Unless, what are they having, a Tupperware party over there? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hup, how are we? Good. OK, before we start, uh, Petroza. Yes. The menu. Five appetizers. What are they? The appetizers, Caesar salad with, with fresh anchovies and seared uh, tuna. The, um, the, um, the, um. Stop. Yes. Stop. Yes. Do me a favor. Get out. OK. Hey, look at me. Upstairs, hey, and read that fucking menu. And listen, your station yes. stands unmanned until you get your fucking shit together. Okay. Hurry up. Is it really too much? to know the menu inside out, eat, drink, sleep, breathe it. I've got 3,000 dishes between my ears. Pathetic. First night service. It was horrific. It was miserable, and I've never seen Jean-Philippe take such a battering. Tonight, one from the ladies' team, one from the men's team is going out there to be an assistant maitre d'. OK, men's team, maitre d', assistant, deputy. Craig, you're working in front of the house, yeah? You've got the gift of the gab? Yes, chef. Yeah? Yes. Ladies? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Roseanne? Yes, chef. Tonight, you're going to be handling 120 customers. OK, chef. Let's go. Tough day, tough start. It just hasn't been sinking in just properly. It's probably been 19 years since I had to go by somebody else's menu. Just not used to studying, just period. It was, it's really bothering me. Petroza, you in the storeroom. Do you think we're here for a fucking joke? Close the door, no. please, out. I'm leaving, chef. Good, thank you. What is this, a fucking, what is this, a Comedy Central? No, sir. You're now on the verge of making me look stupid now. Do you understand? From the desserts, up, okay. what are they? All right, the uh, Valrona chocolate, and the Valrona chocolate and black cherry sorbet. The there Valrona. is no black cherry sorbet. There's no black cherry, it's, there's, there's some in, the black, the black, it is a fucking Valerona chocolate fondant with black cherries. OK. Upstairs and start again. OK. Quick, let's go. OK. Can you hurry up? Yes, sir. Yes, chef. You think that you're strong, you think you're bulletproof, <laughs> but nah, not here. Nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. In, in the words of Chef Ramsay, 
Fuck me, I'm done. I'm done. It's okay. I'm done. No, 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 come on, come on, put it down. No, I'm Chef done, Marchi. Chef Marchi, he's not right out there. It's okay, come on, let's go, get it together. Pull, pull your jacket, come on, let's go. You're all right, take a couple breaths. No, it's cool, it's cool. Stay right there. I'm fucking done, man. No, stay there, you're cool. No, I'm done. Should I spend this much time with you? Here, wipe your fucking eyes. Here, this is the cleanest thing. Here. I'm good. Wipe your fucking eyes. Petroza, you know, I like him for some special reason, you know, because he has a genuine heart. You know, I, I felt him, you know? He likes you. I told you last night, he has some strange reason he likes you. I was feeling defeated. I was a shell of a man. But I am going to press on hard and give every single thing I've got. OK. Right. We off. Fire me. Sing to me. The uh, grilled filet mignon, the uh, cannon of lamb, the, um, the chicken, and the, sa the uh, pa pave of salmon. Now, get in the fucking kitchen. You're on yeah, the meat. Work stage. my fucking balls off. Jean Philippe, open the doors to Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Tonight, as Hell's Kitchen opens for the second time, Jean-Philippe will be assisted in the dining room by Craig from the Blue Team. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, my name is Craig. I'll be a server tonight. And Roseanne from the Red Team. Meet some orders. He's going to explode. He's going to explode in two seconds. Oh, my god. Thank you, Chef Craig. On order, four covers, table six, two crab, one risotto, one scallops. Entrees, one lamb, one beef, two halibut. Yes, Chef! Yes, chef. I want to louder. I want to hear this brigade perform tonight. Yes, Chef! Yes, chef. Thank you, let's go. You ready? I'm ready. Good service, too smooth for the groove, right? You're goddamn right. Let's go. While the men get to work on their first tickets, the women have yet to receive an order from... Roseanne! Come here, madam. Right now. We're now 37 minutes in, two tickets in the blue, nothing in the ladies. Okay. Move your ass. Yes, sir, chef. Let's go. While the women wait, the men are already sending appetizers to the pass for Chef Ramsay's approval. Guys, come here a minute. Bobby, now. Yes, chef. Come here, you. Yeah. Is that the best we can do, fry egg in Hell's Kitchen? No. Nope. No, chef. Yeah. Look at that there. Oh, come on, Bobby. Fuck off. Bobby is on the appetizers, but to get the scallops out, he will have to rely on Jason, who is on the fish station. Come on, guys. You guys are killing me. Bobby, I'm going to fire the scallops. I'm firing the scallops right now. On? Did he take the scallops already? Don't fire any scallops. If I don't say fire I didn't scallops. fire scallops. Well, I don't know. It just magically appeared. Don't fire scallops. There, if you hear you me say... You put those over there five minutes Gentlemen, ago. let's not you argue. Cook em. You had to cook them. If I say fire stop, scallops, don't fire stop scallops. Stop arguing, man. I can't fucking you, you. You just cook. Don't you worry about us. You cook. Bobby tells me to fucking fire his scallops for him. I hand him his scallops. And then he don't want them because he's too busy fucking breaking eggs. And then he tries to blame me for shit. You guys know I'm gonna give you these eggs the last time. Please assemble them right. You guys breaking these fucking eggs. Chef, order up. On order, ladies. Concentrate. First order. Four covers, table 41. One risotto, one scallop, two Caesar salad. Entree, one halibut. One chicken, two beef. One beef medium well, one beef normal. Yes, yes chef. chef! Let's go. 45 minutes into dinner service, and the women finally get to work on their first order. In the blue kitchen, the men's second attempt at appetizers has met with Chef Ramsay's approval. Service, please. Wake, come on, you. Wake up, you. And are making their way out to the dining room. Risotto, thank you. Fortunately, it's worth the wait. I really like scallops. Meanwhile, none of the red diners have received their appetizers, but at least someone is enjoying the food. Oh, God, that's great. Stick it in your mouth. That's great. That's annoying. Christina is a lot of talk and not really a lot of, you know, show. One way to learn this menu, I'll tell you what. Her voice gets under my skin, then I just, I have to tune her out and keep going. Guys, risotto's up. Two risottos, one on the fly. Where's the anchovies? See the salad? No anchovies. Yeah, that's right. Good. Service, please. Table 43. Curry, very nice, that risotto. Thank you. Thank you. I know that, like, I have the leadership skills, and I was honestly, like, super impressed with myself. What a difference from the last service. Yes, chef. After a slow start, the women are hitting their stride. But over in the blue kitchen, the men have served all 48 of their appetizers and are now looking to get ahead with entrees. Alibut, where is it? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Even from here, Jason. Yes? It looks raw. I don't think it's, it's 
Yeah, it's a little, well, it's a little more raw than you wanted it. Yes, chef. A little. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck off. Come no, here. Go ahead. Come no, here. I got it. it. Shut up. Just touch that. Because he'll think I'm picking on him. No, Let's go. No, I'm here. It's, it's stone cold and it's raw. I get pissed off when people don't get the food out. You know. I mean, we can pretty much bend over and kiss our asses goodbye. Have you got thin pieces of halibut? Stop. Yes. Yes. So they won't take seven minutes, then, Jay. Okay. I'm yes. trying to help you. Yes, I understand. They're ready. You're not. Okay. Where's the beef? Okay. There you go, chef. Souffle's already cooked. It's not even fucking hot. Come here, Petroza. Oh, here we fucking go. Touch that. You, touch that. Please, touch that. There you go. Touch, 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 touch. touch. It's touch, rare. Touch. It's rare. It's rare. And he's more fire. Ah, shit! Shit! Let's go, guys. Keep Come going. On. Come Put on. Let's in. go. Put it in. What was the request? Oh, keep going. Oh, what was the request? What did I ask for? You asked for medium. You know it's undercooked. You still serve it. There's the medium one. That's what I heard. The next one on the list was medium rare. I'm sorry, chef. Oh. I gave you the wrong one. It's now up to assistant maitre d' Craig to keep the diners happy. <laughs> okay, I don't have a problem. You, you, you took a chair. Yeah. You took a chair. You hit this I'm gonna lady. Go. I'm gonna you, go hit back. The, you hit this lady with the chair. <laughs> you are going to apologize, miss? I. I'm sorry, did, did the chair hit you? Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I'm it's sorry, no I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I, I, I don't, I, I'm not a violent person. I don't no, try to hit people. Yeah, While Craig does a little damage control in the dining room, Chef Ramsay looks to the red kitchen to get out entrees. Two salmon, one beef, one Wellington. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sharon, you've got raw meat against cooked meat. <laughs> Gently, Sharon. Yes, Chef. Every time Sharon screws up, if I have a fish on that ticket, then I screw up. I need to refire those salmon. Sharon, minute. how many wins minutes do so you need those two salmon? One minute. One minute. One minute? One minute only. Where's the fish? Coming up and paying right now. Two minutes, Chef. In yes. Chef Ramsay's kitchen, every dish on a table must be sent out together. If one item is not ready, the whole ticket must be remade. You and you are putting the kitchen in the shit. Yes, Can Chef. Can you move and wake up a bit, please? Yes, yes? Chef. You're both pissing around like a pair of Barbie twins. Sharon. You're scaring me. You yes, look like chef. the female version of fucking Hannibal Lecter. Put your fucking tongue in and concentrate. Yes, Chef. Hannibal. While Sharon and Christina discover that blondes don't always have more fun, Chef Ramsay is ready for the blue team's entrees. Where's the lamb? The lamb is right here. Cut what? the fucking thing, then. Right in half? Oh, come on. Fucking hell. Top and bottom it, yes? That lamb is beautifully cooked. Thank you, chef. Don't piss your pants. It, it's been 20 years since I've cooked on the line. That was very nice of Chef Ramsay complimenting me on that. Um, you know, that was nice. Service, please. Finally, the entrees are leaving the blue kitchen. How's it for you, sir? Thank you. The sauce is really nice. You'll like it. It's delicious. And the red kitchen. Service, off you go, big boy. Let's go. You think it's delicious? <laughs> Where's this just come from? Who just put this ticket on here? I just brought the substitute. What? It came on nearly an hour ago. Oh, no. Oh, no. To be perfectly honest with you, Chef, I have a line of tickets waiting up for you, and I don't want to bombard you all at once and give them to you. What? I didn't know it was this hard. So, this is really difficult. That, what time was the table written first time round? They've been here for two hours, Chef, to be perfectly honest. What? Yes, yeah, Chef. Everything you touched, you fucked. Yes, Chef. While Roseanne tries to get her act together, Chef Ramsay has a simple question for the men. Where's the beef? I got one beef right here, Chef. Where's the other beef? Where's the beef? You got a halibut yet? I have beef. You I only got one beef, Chef. Hey, you, 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 come here. You, you, come here. Yeah. So, can I have two beef, one halibut, one fucking John Dory, and can we have it together? Yes. How would you How like long? those beefs cooked? Oh, my God. One medium well, one normal. I asked for two beef. Okay. One halibut, one fucking John Dory. There's one, so you need one more. I want them together. Okay. I asked you to communicate with each other. Okay. And you're not. Just let me know what's going on, please. Fuck me. Let me know what's going on. 
You guys gotta start communicating, guys. Fucking unbelievable. Come on. Well, let us do it. Petroza, how Ready long? On the Why are we fighting? Are. Everybody just calm down and focus. I think there was a lot of communication problems between everybody. I mean, everybody's yelling. It's, it's just chaos. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. As a lack of communication brings the blue kitchen to a standstill, Chef Ramsay turns to the red kitchen with a familiar question. Where's the beef? Sorry, Chef. Two salmon, one beef, one Wellington. Unbelievable. What, have you asked Christina? No, I did it. I did it earlier. I thought it was coming. She just yelled it was coming. So You're not really a chef, are you? You're just a showgirl with a big feather coming out your ass. Well, she's going to set this place on fire. What the fuck are you trying to do? Can't fucking win in here, so you set the place on fire. No, that's not Is that not your little chef. motive? No, not at all, yeah? chef. I've never seen such fucking flames for a knocky. Sorry, chef. Won't happen again. This is raw. OK, we'll do another one for you. This yeah? right here? Oh, fuck off. That's table 31, chef. What? This is not, 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 not cooked. Man. Blue. Come here, you. Oi, all of you, come here. You stop. You've given up. You're setting the place on fire. And you're sending me raw fish. But it's fucking cold. It's fucking raw. It's not mine. It's not mine. How dare you? It's just come back from the table. Oh, OK. Shut it down. Get the fuckers out. After another disappointing dinner service, Chef Ramsay gets right to the point. Bang. Meltdown. Pathetic. Really pathetic. I've studied the comic cards. The losing team. Other ladies. The guys sent half of your entrees. Not brilliant, but a damn sight better than the women. The best of the worst. Cory, you woke up. Finally, there's something in there. Cory, very nice, that risotto. Thank you, thank you. Thank God for that. Go back to the dorms and think of two of your team up for elimination. I don't think it's going to be difficult. I love being best of the worst. Hopefully, you know, it's not like that's the greatest title, but it's something, and I'll take it for now. I mean, I know Sharon's one of the people going up. Who else would there be to put up in our group besides Sharon? I doubt if she put Chris up. The main person that sparked my attention, who I'm always worried about, is Sharon, AKA Barbie. She hasn't been able to execute nothing properly yet. She's not ready to stump with the big dogs. But I don't know if she would put Sharon up, even though I say Sharon is the weakest link, because, you know, they're the makeup queens and it was buddy-buddy like a little bit in the beginning, so maybe that she don't want to put up for that reason, you know? Right. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if she put me up or not. I feel a little nervous because somebody's going home tonight. It could be anybody, but I'm just trying to be positive and hopefully telling myself it won't be me. I think the people that are going to be up there tonight, I don't think Vanessa will be up there. I don't think Shayna will be up there. That depends. Depends on what her strategy is. Everybody's going to kiss your ass now? Well, I'm actually really surprised that no one has come up to me and had the balls to fucking try to convince me to keep them here, because you fucking want to go home, dude? No problem sending you home. You're going to take out the best, aren't you? I am the best. Cory, have you uh, made your decision? Yes, Chef, I have. Tough one? Not at all, Chef. First uh, nominee and why, please? My first nominee for strategic reasons is Christina. Christina. She treats me like a dumb blonde. If she was really that smart, she might want to take a deeper look and actually look inside me, past my appearances, and examine what I have inside of me. Second nominee and why? My second nominee for personal reasons is Jen. Jen. Cool, fuck me. I've chosen Jen because she distracts me from doing my job perfectly. We're working in a serious kitchen. We're here to win a serious prize. I want her out. 
OK, the gloves are off. <sighs> Christina, Jen, step forward, please. Christina. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Seriously. Seriously, I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I am intelligent, Chef. Because if I am condescending someone, <clears throat> being Corey, she needs to come tell me. It's not something I do to her to be personal. I will get better, and I will fight for it. <laughs> That's why I should stay. Thank you. Jen. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? It's unfortunate for me that you don't get to see what goes on when we do prep, Chef. I'm a beast back there. I know what I'm doing. I work hard and I get my food out. I, I maximize two on separate the ice creams and cook them, the star anise and the milk ice cream, I maximize cream, on the time that I have, Chef. I got four pans of prep meats out my souffle. Um, I told you snacks, the skillets, the sizzle platter. I deserve to be here. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to shorten it up, Chef. It's a lot of stuff that you don't know And I've worked in Belgium. It's so much creative stuff that I can And I just really ask that you give me that opportunity to show you, Chef, because this is not the end for me. It's really not. Breathe. I'm breathing, Chef. Might I say one more quick thing, Chef? Oh, fuck me. All right. Before I make my decision, there's something I'd like to say. This is one of the most important prizes ever. An executive chef's position in my own restaurant. I am not just going to give this job to someone that I do not believe in. And there's someone here that I just don't believe in. So the person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Sharon. Come here. Back in line, you two. Two services. You haven't convinced me that you can cook. Take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen, please. I don't think Gordon liked me from the start. He just had the wrong image of me. But I'm not going to change anything about me. I'm not going to give up on my dream. I'll have my own restaurant one day. I'm a chef right now for a reason. I'm not going to give up. Corey. Yes, Chef. I appreciate your strategy, but I have a conscience. And in good conscience, I could not keep Sharon. Tomorrow's another day, a fresh start, climb the ladder, put another foot on there, move forward and improve. Good night. Night, night. night. Hell yes, Jen is still in the building. And you know what? I'm glad Corey did that shit. That right there woke me up. This ain't no game, this ain't no joke. This is crunch time, the gloves are off. I feel like I was betrayed by my teammate. I think that fucking sucks. I am absolutely gunning for Corey right now. Gentlemen. Yes, Chef. Good night. Good night. Woo! Elimination was a dangerous game. Anything can happen in Hell's Kitchen. Hands down, we got the vantage right now. Sharon clearly showed great attention to detail. Unfortunately, it wasn't for her cooking, it was for her makeup. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Good night. Good night, night chef. chef. You ain't finna get rid of me. Not that easy. You done fucked up now, Blondie. You done fucked it up. Corey had picked me and Christina, one of your strongest people and one of your most intelligent people. You don't do that. Not this early in the game, because we still have challenges to win. We stronger than that shit. No, don't you crack it. I just want to be here. I was standing there Christina, in front of Chef hold it together. Stand, please, she, let me go she back is a dumbass blonde for making a decision like that. Hold it together, Christina. She ain't getting rid of me. I did good. 
Dude. I gotta give you some shit for that, though. Wow. That was good. That I was nominated good. Christina because she's kind of a spoiled little brat. And she made me personally feel a lot stupider than I am. And I don't appreciate it, you know? Jen is possibly one of the most annoying people that I've known in my life. I want her out of here, and that's it. I wasn't here to make friends, sorry. Yeah, you're right. You're not here to make friends. She wants to win the game. You know, you can't blame her for wanting to win the game. I'm feeling really angry. Corey is threatened by me. And she should be. You threw me under the bus. So what? You might think I'm a bitch. I don't care. What you said was vindictive and hateful. The whole team hated me. Yeah, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me whatever they think. If they do alienate me, that's fine. It's probably going to make me stand out even more as a strong player. Corey played that too early in the game. I think Corey has evil tendencies. I truly do. She's put scars on that team that will not heal. She played a dangerous game, and she lost that game. After a difficult night, a new day dawns in Hell's Kitchen. But something is a foul. <laughs> Shit, that's a rooster. Wakey, wakey. Grab your chicken. <laughs> and head downstairs now. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what was going on. There were chickens all over the place running around. It was crazy. It's mine right there. Let's go. Oh, my girl. Oh, my girl. Oh, my girl. picked up a chicken a day in my life. I'm a big city slicker. Give me a game. If the bloods and the crystals are in the room, I'll have a better chance. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. This morning, I want you to get up close and personal with your product. Gloria, the chicken, please. Scott, give me the knife. Everybody ready? Yes, chef. Yes, yes, chef. Yes, chef. Stop it, goddammit. <laughs> Settle down. Time to prepare these chickens. I just don't want to have to kill it live and have blood splattering all over me. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> Not these chickens, you donuts. Unbelievable. I'm very relieved I don't have to kill the chicken. Each and every one of you take the product for granted. It arrives in the morning, beautifully prepped, ready to go, and you don't respect it enough. So the purpose of this this morning is to respect your product. Put these chickens back in the pen. Get upstairs, get changed, and get your asses down here. Come on, girls, let's get our shit together, yeah? With all that animosity on that team now, I definitely feel that we had the advantage. OK, I've spared you the hassle of killing the chicken. I'm going to cut the chicken into eight pieces. Watch very carefully. Off, two sets of wings. We cut through the tenders like that. On. We're not going to go round the wishbone. We're going to go through it. Breast, breast, thigh, thigh, drum, drum, wing, wing. Eight pieces, five minutes. Your time starts now. The chefs have just five minutes to break a chicken down into eight parts that meet Chef Ramsay's exacting standards. Let's go. We're going to win because we're men. This ain't the Dustin housekeeping challenge here. Let the knife do the work. Corey jeopardized the solidarity of our team. We can't afford to lose. We can't afford to disappoint Chef. And we have got to get this done. Two guys have finished, Matt and Ben. One minute to go. You still got a whole minute, man. You're good. I know. Shh, shh. Craig is slow as, as, as molasses. He makes me look like the fucking million dollar man going for a jog. Let's go. Put some force into it, yeah? Put I had to switch to the cleaver, and then I packed the thigh. Come on, Shana, come on, do it. I just kept thinking, OK, you can do this. Five. Four, Wait, Shana, hurry up. Three, Four, two, Shana, come on, do one. It. Shana, come on, do one. It. Ladies first. Let's go, Jen. I'm going to prove myself to Chef Ramsay that I deserve to be here, and I'm going to fight. Two wings. Perfect. Thigh, thigh. Breast, breast. Good. Drum. What happened here? You went up a little bit too high. Six out of eight. Well done. Good job, girl. Jen has gotten the red team off to a good start. Let's go. But can Shayna keep it up? 
obviously gashed, hacked, and fucking chewed out. It's a chicken, for God's sake. It's not like it's some rare fish or wild game or something you've never seen before. It's a friggin' chicken. Six out of eight. OK, Vanessa. Yes, chef. Wings in, drum, thighs, breast, perfect. Eight out of eight. Not only does Vanessa turn in a perfect performance, remarkably. Eight out of eight. So do Roseanne. No bone. Eight. And Christina. Corey, let's go. But now, can Corey rise to the occasion? Wing, wing, drum on a drum, breast, eight out of eight. Good job, Corey, good job. Corey did a really great job for our team, but she's mean and hateful and vindictive, and I can't trust her farther than I could throw her. Ladies, well done. OK, Jason. The girl surprised me. Yes, chef. They did good, but we're going to win, because we're fucking men here. Come on. Hunting and butchering meat, that's what men do. There's no way we're losing. Hands on my desk, please. Holy mackerel. Did you fuck the chicken? What did you do to that? That one was a little messed up. A little messed up? It's fucked. My god. Six out of eight for Jason. Petroza. I sure as hell hope that guys are going to screw themselves up, because we need to win this challenge. Both Petroza. Excellent. Eight out of eight. Perfect. <laughs> and Ben. Eight out of eight. Turn in perfect scores, bringing the men's total to 22. Craig. Chicken, please. Let's go. With the men already having had two unacceptable pieces of chicken. OK. Craig must get at least six for the blue team to stay in the competition. Wing, wing, two wings. I want to win. I'm a winner. I want to win. I, I hate losing. Dear, oh dear. What happened to the bone? And this here? What do you do to that? Oh, dear. This is not that difficult. That's what upsets me. For a chef that's been cooking for how long? 13 years. And you can't cut a chicken up. Not good, Craig. Not good enough. Two out of eight. You know, I'm disappointed in myself. <laughs> Craig's inability to cut the chicken has made it impossible for the men to catch up. Congratulations. You've won. Well done. Finally, it's about time. All right, girls. My god. Craig, what in the hell were you doing? Time for your punishment. There's some really nice, unique, tailor-made work clothes upstairs on your bed. You're going to be picking peppers in the blazing sun on a 100-acre farm. I'm pretty pissed off. Craig sucks. I think he's the dead weight, and he just needs to go on home. Ladies, we're all going out to visit one of the most famous restaurants on Sunset Strip. Good job, girls. Good job, girls. Good job, girls. Go and get dressed up. Well done. I'm glad that we won this challenge, but my least favorite person would still have to be Corey. I don't know what I want to wear. Dress comfortably. While the women get ready for their reward, the men know just who to blame for their loss. I'm telling you what, when I get on that field, I'm going to start throwing motherfucking peppers at Craig. someone that's been in this industry for 13 years. Craig, boning that chicken. Come on, Craig. I know. Shh, shh. I felt like I was watching one flew over the cuckoo's nest, and he just had shock treatments. I don't get it. Oh, my god. Look at you guys. Holy mackerel. OK, gentlemen, get going. There's your bus. Bye, guys. Whoa, wait, Matt, 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 Matt. That's not your bus. Here's your bus. <laughs> that bus was ganky looking. 
when the guy turned it on, it was like, duck, 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 duck. come on. <laughs> Let's go, ladies. Yes, Jeff. As the men head off for a day of hard labor, Chef Ramsay and the women are off to the Sunset Strip. Little does Chef Ramsay know. OK, off we go. One of Hell's Kitchen's that. former chefs is a regular at the Saddle Ranch. Yeehaw! Howdy, Chef Ramsay! Oh, oh no. <laughs> How you doing, Chef? When we walked in and we saw Aaron, all we could say all of us was, holy shit! Good to see you! Oh, my God. <laughs> Good to see you. I feel like crying. <laughs> Don't cry, Chef! <laughs> I can't believe I'm crying. I'm cracking up right now. Have you stopped crying? I've stopped crying. There's nothing to cry about now. Well, fuck me. What a surprise. <laughs> Good to see you, buddy. Happy trails, everybody. It was nice to see Aaron. He's just a big teddy bear. Ride the bull. Then we got to ride the mechanical bull. <laughs> Lean back. Yeah. <laughs> but I want it harder. I mean, faster. <laughs> <laughs> While the women have fun riding the bull, out in the fields, the men are seeing red. Jason does not do manual labor. My head is just a sweaty mess, man. I'm chubby for two reasons. Number one, I like food. Number two, I don't work like that. Mm. Where's Craig at? Well, I'm going to get his ass. Do that. Pick, 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 pick the peppers. Come on, Craig, get in that rope. Lovely. Mm -hmm. All the way Start through. psyching out the boys. They're so easy. Are they? We want to like line the boys up like dominoes and drop them. Drop them. And then just you know, then us girls will compete with one strategy. another. At the Saddle Ranch, the red team decided that the best way to beat the blue team was to pick them apart one by one. You already know who you can get to. Ben, Craig, and Jason. Well done. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Chef. Salute. As the men return to Hell's Kitchen from their day in the field, Let's go out the, patio now. the women are ready to put their plan into action. Ben, come here. Obviously, I know that some of the boys could be attracted to my body. I was just flirting it up with the guys and trying to play with the boys' heads a bit. You want to come in the hot tub? Are you serious? I'm very serious. Corey put a bad taste in my mouth. Using her body to get what she wants out of me. Love you. There ain't no way in hell that anybody's looking at Corey. What's up, girl? How you doing? Come on. Come on. Strip down. Hop in the hot tub with us. No. Having lured Jason into the hot tub, the women have him just where they want him. We're gonna have a piece of chicken. We gave him food. The team's gonna call him. Gave him beer. <laughs> and then had him spill his guts. Really? About what? I don't know. I mean, they're obviously they not gonna tell me. Oh, I know a lot of people are pissed at Craig right now because he fucked up so hard on chicken. So what else would be awesome? Who's in the hot tub? Fucking Jason's in the hot tub. Matt's already been crying. He's a little crybaby with the fucker. Fuck Ben, by the way. He's going to run his mouth like that, and he doesn't give a shit. You know, if it's one thing that I cannot stand, it is a fucking rat. And what he did tonight, he ratted out his team. After spending the night in the hot tub with the women, Jason is in hot water with the men. I don't want to lose tonight. I'm serious. I ain't fucking around no more. Shut up. Why do you got to fucking talk to me like that? Because you're going to fuck us tonight with all this shit. Those girls, they're getting, they're getting pretty ruthless. They're going to try and play little mind games with us. And the weakest link is Jason. What's up, girl? How you doing? Come on. Come on. Strip down. Hop in the hot tub with us. Okay. We're not here to play little grab ass. We're here to win this damn competition, and you've got to stay focused. Jason, you have to work like a fucking Comanche. OK, I got it. I got it. As both teams begin their dinner service prep, Corey and Christina try to work together. Is this the watercress soup? Yeah. I did it in the Vita prep. I made it nice and green. 
It's pretty green. Okay. I definitely want to get rid of Corey the first opportunity that I get. I need her to get through service, but I do not like her. Okay, start being loud. Everybody talk, 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 talk. Yeah. As Christina and Corey try to put their differences aside, over in the blue kitchen, the pressure is off of Jason and on Craig. There's no ice in here. Shouldn't we put ice well, in you, here? You got to put it in there, Craig. This all is right. for all your hot risotto. This, I know, is I for your, this is your garnish Thank station. You. And then your cold for your Caesar salad, your right, crab relax, salad. Relax, this relax. is your crab right here. Craig you seems to be a broken compass today. You know, he's not working. The compass is not working. His mind is not working. Answer me something. Boom, you got your got salad. Damn, they're over there cursing each other out again. I think the red team is going to win tonight. We definitely do have our shared problems, but by far, the guys are much more screwed up than we are. OK, guys, let's go. Two seconds, please. After two disastrous dinner services, Chef Ramsay is hoping for a new beginning in Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, what I'm looking for is a complete service. We've got a special chicken dish on and a scallop of chicken with peppers, capers, and creme fraiche. Blue team, you lost the challenge, yeah? And for the second part of your punishment, Bobby. Yes, chef. You're cooking in the dining room this evening, table side. Yes, chef. Yes. Ladies, JP will be cooking for you. I'm not worried about cooking the food table side. I'm worried I'm not in the kitchen. They need me there to watch their back. Jason. Yes, chef. You're on desserts. Don't eat any. OK, chef. Yeah? Yes. What other desserts? For desserts, oh, god. Um, passion fruit creme brulee, uh, Verona chocolate, and uh, cherry fondant. Um, what is going on? I, I don't have the I don't have the dessert uh, memorized. I'm uh, not gonna lie. Yes. After the dorm, in the mirror, breathe yes, in, yes. chest out, and read the dessert. God. Jean Philippe, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. JB, come on, let's go. You got more fake tan on you. Bloody more abdo. Let's go. Red kitchen chef. Excellent. I know what a fork of a table 41. Two risotto, one scallop, one Caesar salad entree, two chicken, two beef. Yes, yes chef. chef. Got five and a half minutes to the window, guys. Okay, five and a half. Tonight I'm on hot appetizers. I'm pretty excited about it, actually. I am first up, but this is the third time I've seen the risotto, so I should be able to do this. While Christina takes charge of the red kitchen, the men must rely on Craig on the appetizer station to get them off to a good start. How you doing, Craig? How you doing on those two risotto? How long? How long for a scallop, How long? Craig? Craig, answer him. And I have, like, my, all my teammates just standing in front of me. How long? Let me know how long. How long? How long? Like, shut the fuck up. Let me just get it done. I, I, it's like 30 seconds ago. I said two minutes. You fucking do the math. How long? Can you go talk and work at the same time? Yeah. Answer him, dude, because I... I do. I am. I am. Craig, sounds like uh, Edith on fucking All in the Family. All you hear is... <laughs> shut the fuck up, man. Don't tell me to shut the fuck up. I'll knock you out. While Matt and Craig work on their communication skills, the red team is ready to bring their first appetizers to the pass. Where's the Caesar salad? Here it is. What's that on there? What is that? Uh, madam, you, here. Yes, chef. Why have you put all the fucking tapenade on the Caesar salad? How can you put the crab garnish in the Caesar salad? Oh, my lord. Come on. OK. Hey. You're not fucking stupid. Yes. You're from the back streets. Okay, yeah? chef. You yes, got a pair of balls. Look at me. Fucking use them. I will. Chef. Don't give me shit. Okay. Kind of tough when somebody is yelling and taking that tone of voice with you. You know, you don't know how to respond. Okay, chef. I got you. You got me. Yes, sir. Yeah, fucking right. You got me. Welcome back, the fucking bitches from hell. While Roseanne works to fix her mistake and Jason works on learning the menu. The rest of the blue team is ready to try again with their first appetizers. Petroza. Yes, chef. The inside looks stunning. Yes, chef. That looks yes, beautiful. Chef. Wow. That compliment meant as much to me today as a win. Where's the bacon? 
You got the bacon? Yes. Put it on my platter, please. I'll put it on when I have the egg on. You didn't know you, you didn't have the bacon on, did Don't you? Don't worry. Don't worry. Holy balls. He's waiting on the bacon. Come on. Craig's an idiot, 13 years, and he can't work a station. I mean, bacon's easy. That's what blows my mind. How long for the bacon? About a minute and a half away. So we one minute to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Sorry, chef. With two appetizers ready and getting cold, and two others waiting for bacon. Service, please. Appetizers here, yes. Chef Ramsay makes the painful decision to send the order out. Incomplete. Go, please, yeah. Come back for the two spots. Quick, let's go. Half the table are eating, another half are staring. Happy? No, chef. An hour and a half into dinner service. It's a minute away. We do apologize for the delay. Only half of one blue table has received any appetizers. Meanwhile, on the red side... Careful, it's going to be hot. Thank you. Christina and Rosanna pulled together and managed to send out four tables of appetizers. Service, please. Go, please. We got two orders of scallops up there. Come on. While Craig tries to deliver bacon to the pass, Lou Ross is trying to deliver Jason to the kitchen. Let's go. I can't get it when he fucking puts me on the spot like that, dude. Who I can't cares? fucking hey, I can't do it. Dude, don't say you can't do it. Just fucking do it in the kitchen. I know what the fuck it is, but I can't you fucking... You know what it is to do it. He fucks me okay. up in front of me. Don't, don't let you? him fuck you up. Just well, come on. Where's your bacon at? I got, right it. I got it in the oven. I got it in the oven, man. I got it you got it on a sheet pan in the Big oven. Big boy, read the menu. Off you go. OK. What do you want first? The desserts. Go. Chocolate fondant with... Um, Oh my god. Oh no. No, I know this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my I can't. God. I've hit my breaking point. I'm at the bottom. I have nothing left. Oh, you know what? I can't do it. I really can't. What do you mean you can't do it? I, I don't know. I hey, come it. here. Hey, 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 come here, all of you. Come here, come no, here, come here. Okay. You, you, Smurf. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Say I, that again. I know the menu. Come here, you. I, come I here, come here. The menu. I you want to go home? Yeah. You want to go home? Yeah. Oh, That's you. Yeah. You're done. I'm done. And that's it. You're about no, to walk out and put your table no, in the shit. I don't want it to be it, no, but... So what can you give me, then? Desserts. Oh, my god. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm done. I'm done. Dig deep, Jason. Chocolate fondant with... Fuck. Chocolate Verona with black cherry fondant. Oh, my god. Cream bullet. Cream Belay with bitter chocolate sorbet, chocolate souffle with thin ice cream, and parathetine with anisette ice cream. You were going to quit two minutes ago. That's it. There you go. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. good. Very good. Big boy, put your mind to it. You'll be surprised what you can do in life. Yes, Chef. You know, I don't think he wanted me to quit. I think he wanted to beat my ass a little more. He wasn't done with the whooping. Behind you. Put it down. Yeah. Fuck off. Yes, yeah, sure. Let's go. Right. Complete the table. My apologies. Table 25, yes? Let's go. With Jason back in the kitchen and Craig finally delivering crispy bacon, the men appear to be back on track. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks to Vanessa for their first entrees. Hey, ladies, 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 come here. Fuck! One medium well and one medium. It's raw! I can't believe you've done this. I honestly can't believe you've done it. I swear I'm a good cook. To just fail so miserably, this is really humiliating. Can we all get on the fucking meat yes, section yes, now? Yes, 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 All the appetizers have gone for now. Get on the meat! Yes, yes, yes. Fifteen years I've been cooking, and I've never, never felt so shitty about a night, ever. I should have seven. <coughs> seven days. As Vanessa tries to recover, the men are finally ready to start their first entrees, including tonight's chicken special. Right, Bobby, you ready? Yes. Seven minutes from now, yes? Sure. Set, go, big boy. Got you. Seven minutes to the window. Two Wellington, one salmon, one special. That's when you know it's hot. You hear the sizzle. Bobby, preparing the special, is relying on his teammates to deliver the table's other entrees on time. Two beef, one Wellington, yeah? How long? Just waiting on veg, chef. Waiting on veg? I didn't hear you, Matt. Matt, aren't yes. you two communicating? Yes, I told Matt, him I didn't four hear minutes you. before. You didn't, say, you didn't say anything to me. You didn't say anything to me. Oh, my God. 
Just say Luras. All I want to hear is Luras. And then you talk. Because if I'm cooking, I'm not going to hear it. All right. Four minutes away. Luras. OK, thank you. Salmon medium. What's wrong with that salmon? Yeah, it's a little. Why would you give it to me if That's it's smart? Right. They sent up, you know, perfect medium salmon, and he sent it back. It had a little, uh, had a little mm, tiny burn edge on the side. I mean, this is craziness. You can't cook a fucking salmon. I can cook a salmon, chef. Yes, I can. Just a lot of pressure, different kitchen, different, different cooking techniques that I'm used to. Cook me a salmon. Yes, sir. Medium. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Different techniques. With the likelihood fading that any of his table's other entrees will arrive, Bobby takes matters into his own hands. OK, guys, I just got some new information. A couple times that the food got delayed, I, I thought fast. Something uh, happened to the chicken, I mean, to the salmon, to the rest of the entrees. But what we can do is, would you like me to cut this up in six and then put it on little plates while you guys nibble on it to the rest of it? Would that be OK? Sure. I start serving some of the chicken uh, uh, family style until the rest of the food comes out. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. I think they, the majority of them really liked me. Enjoy. Thank you. While General Bobby feeds his troops in the blue dining room, customers on the red side are sending out distress signals. But the diners aren't the only ones in need of rescue. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Watch yourself, watch. Stop, stop, stop. Stand back. Yes, sir. Stand back. Stand back. Yes, sir. There's cooking and there's fucking bonfire. Stand back! Same <laughs> shit, different day. This is fucking embarrassing. My mind is racing. My heart is pounding. That's not a fucking saute pan, that's a furnace. Look at the meat. I blew four pieces of meat on that. It was just really horrible for me. I'm hoping I'm never going to have that happen again. It's scorched! Cooking my ass! Me poor beef. Hi. As the women once again start over on their entrees, Jason starts preparing his first desserts. Is this the right way to do it? I hope it is. I don't have a clue on this earth what I'm doing. I hate desserts. They're tedious. Women can make desserts, you know? It ain't my thing. Five minutes for the creme brulee, so I have two of those in. Your creme brulee's done already. No, it's not. That's not cooked. That's cooked. Oh, Jesus Christ. The souffles looked like muffins in a cup. I don't know what was wrong, because I don't know desserts, but I know they would not come up for nothing. Jason. Yes? What's happening with the desserts? The souffles are not coming out right at all. They're sticking. Come here a minute. OK. I cannot get them to come up. They're, they're sticking really bad. They look like shit. They look like muffins. So are we taking them off the menu? We've done anything constructive? We're going to do anything I'm, about it? I'm, doing, I'm trying something new. I'm going to put a little sugar and rub it around the rim and try to get that. And that's what I'm trying to do right now. You're going to get some sugar and rub it around the rim. Sugar, no, no. Sugar, butter, and the cocoa powder. And try to see if that keeps them from sticking. Two salmon, medium. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you. Two salmon, medium. Salmon, chef. I've got a fucking headache. Ben! Salmon's raw in the middle. Uh, maybe a little under. It's pink! Come here, you! Hey, stop! Come here! That's what's brought to me. Taste. Taste, yeah, yeah. Fuck! Shit! What in the fuck is going on? All of you, come here! Get in there! Let's put one shit mess with another shit mess. Get in there! There you go. Join forces. We've gone backwards! And you're just all over the place! And you're just hopeless! And you don't care! Pathetic! And then you look at me, gormless, like the salmon's raw, and she requested it medium. And what do you say? Different techniques. Fuck off. Not good enough. I'm not going to continue this any longer. Winning tea. Forget it. What's so fucking complicated? 
Christina, you made an effort. We've got five and a half minutes to the window, guys. OK, five and a half. To get all the appetizers out. Thank God. Unfortunately, we got screwed when we came to the first entree. You've got to go upstairs and nominate one individual who's leaving here. Yes, Chef. Petroza, you stayed with it. Your mind was clear. Your attitude was strong. Petroza. Yes, Chef. That looks yes, beautiful. Chef. Get upstairs and think about who you're going to nominate. One from the blue, one from the red. Now get out! Yes, Chef. Bob, Bob, come here. Yeah, I wouldn't go around looking for plaudits right now. Yes. Right now is the wrong fucking time. Yes. Get out! Yes. Jackass waving at them. What have we got to wave about? I don't oh. care. Get out! Damn, man, another disappointment. It was horrible tonight, though. Words can't express the look of disappointment on his face. He's probably feeling like right now that ain't nobody here competent to run his restaurant. This is how I make my living, and I can't fucking do it. <laughs> If I were on your station tonight, I would have done the same thing, and you know that. You've got the talent. No, I don't. Yes, you fucking I've been do. a fucking grill cook for 15 years, and I can't cook a fucking steak. I feel worthless. This is all I know how to do. <laughs> now I don't even think I know how to do this anymore. Everybody expects me to put Corey up. I wish to God she would have fallen on her face. Oh, yeah. Corey is evil. She personally attacked me. This is a new game. Before, I was all in for our team. Now I've realized not everyone is all in for our team, and those people will be taken out. There's only one dumb blonde left, and it ain't me. Jason Craig with the Matt, they said they're all dinglings. I believe that it would be a unanimous decision to move Craig off the team. But everybody absolutely would have done better if they didn't have to pick up Jason's slack. I don't know how anybody else feels, but I feel like I'm getting put up tonight. I think everybody feels like that. No, dude, I really feel like it. You never know. He said, pick one guy and one girl, and then they both might. I really don't want to leave. I mean, if it happens, it happens. I get put up tonight. I am going to fight for it. I'm not going to put my head down like some bitch. If I go up, I will go fucking nuts, man. I mean, fucking nuts. I think that I'll be nominated by Christina because I think she, she's still really, really hurt that I picked her. So I think she might be still holding a grudge and is definitely threatened by me. Please tell me you get revenge. I guess you'll have to tune in and see, huh? Get rid of her. Is there anyone out there that's hungry? Or is it best you all quit now? It's almost as if you'd forgotten what's at the end of this road. I don't even employ a chef on quarter of a million dollars. And I'm here to give that away. Petroza. Yes, chef. Who is it? Jason. For what reason? I think Jason has trouble with cooking skills and communication. <sighs> Christina. Yes, Chef. Who's your nominee and why? Tonight, Chef, I have nominated Vanessa. She was on the meat station and the meat station went down in flames, literally. Vanessa, Jason, step forward. Oh, God. Jason. Yes, Chef. Tell me why you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen. I deserve to stay because I, I have yet to totally prove myself. I get nervous. I don't, I don't know why. I'm trying to break out of that. I'm doing a little better each day. I know I didn't do that good on desserts, but I ran my ass off trying to help everybody today. You move like a fucking tortoise giving birth. Vanessa. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm not going to offer you any excuses, Chef. All I can tell you is that I really love to cook. And I'm sorry I disappointed you, but I'm even sorrier that I disappointed myself. Talking to you in service is like talking to a, a refrigeration unit. You're stone cold. You both had a bad service tonight. But this is not an easy decision. 
because you both performed badly. My decision is... It's raw! I can't believe you've done this. I honestly can't believe you've done it. I'm trying something new. I'm going to put a little sugar and rub it around the rim and try to get that. Vanessa. You, madam, I've got one more chance. Jason, take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. You gave up before we started tonight. I pulled you back in the kitchen. And if you haven't got the balls to stand there and put yourself back in there, game over. Good night. You know, the last girls that got put up on the block, they start crying. Well, maybe if I would have cried like some little pansy, some chick, you know, maybe I'd be back upstairs chilling right now. But I can't do that. I'm a man. I sure as hell ain't going to cry about it. I am, however, going to go get drunk. Vanessa, if this is your life, and you are adamant, you can get better. Hurry up, madam. Time's not your friend. Yes, chef. I have a lot to prove. Now that I have a second chance at this, I've got to take it and run with it. This shit service has got to stop. Is that clear? Yes, chef. Now, fuck off, will you? I want Corey out. But I think I shocked a couple people because I didn't put her up there first chance I got. That I don't like her, but keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I kept waiting for Jason to show me some energy, to wake up, but he never did. And that's why I'm putting him to sleep. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Now, fuck off, will you? I'd love to say good night, but it's a shit night. Ben, punk, <laughs> useless. <laughs> I got myself a chewing. It's okay. I know that I have it in me to dig down and turn it out, but there's just a part of me that feels that failure so deeply. I can't fail at this because this is all I have. You're still here, right? Damn. Chef's crazy. He's serious business. This is Hell's Kitchen. This is gritty. This is a dirty game right here. Punk. <laughs> I honestly think deep down that this chef's trying to test me to see if I do want to be a chef again and if I do want to commit myself to this. He's digging onto the personal level now. After a brutal night in the kitchen, all the aspiring chefs want is for this day to be over. Hey, you guys. But Chef Ramsay has other plans. If you think for one moment you're leaving that kitchen in that disgusting mess, no chance. Get downstairs and get the kitchen clean now. It sucks so bad. I'm just way too tired for that. Come on, guys, let's move our asses, please. It's nine. Let's get the fuck out of here. Well, I don't know. I'm going to make a decision. Seriously, stop wasting time. It's like, come on. I want to sleep at the end of the day. That's it. It's really not that hard. You know, these girls right now are just so just talking, 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 and for me just to stand there and, you know, make fake conversation with them is not really what I want to do. And now she just went upstairs. Did she really? Yeah, I think so. She swept. She didn't sweep. There was shit everywhere. Not one spot on that stovetop was touched. She went back upstairs. She didn't even say she was going upstairs. She just walked out of the kitchen. To go and lay down in bed while we're still cleaning up that kitchen, that's laziness. Well, if you're tired, maybe you should go home. With the dawn of a new day comes another opportunity for Corey to win over her teammates. Right, good morning. Good morning, good morning Chef. Corey, <clears throat> yes, how chef. are you feeling this morning? Uh, I'm feeling like I'm ready to lead my team, Chef, and step up to the plate. Ladies, who is the strongest individual on the red team? Put the hand up. I think it is. I think it's Jennifer. Jen. 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 Oh, thanks, ladies. And why not Corey? They don't like me, chef. That's not it. <laughs> Small example of why it wouldn't be Corey is last night when we were all cleaning up the kitchen, we turned around and Corey was gone. They're threatened. That's their defense mechanism, is to bring me down and tattletale me. That right there shows me that they're intimidated. So Jen's the strongest. Gentlemen. 
Yes, chef. Who's the strongest chef from the Blue Kitchen? Chef, I, I nominate Ben. I agree. I agree. I, agree. I want to be strong. You know, I'm just going to fucking go for it and just see how far I can get. OK, let's be honest. Our first three dinner services in Hell's Kitchen has been a disaster. For me, an all-time low. Yes, yes, chef. That's why I've decided to change that. For the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, we're opening for a special family night service. New menu, and we're open tonight. Damn, man, come on, give me a break. Follow me, let's go. One of the staples of our new family night menu will be pasta. And we all know by now in Hell's Kitchen, we make everything fresh. That's what this challenge is all about. I'm not afraid to make pasta because I'm an Italian. Forget about it. Watch carefully before going through the machine. Soften it, manipulate it. After the dough is rolled, it must be carefully fed through the machine until it is the perfect thickness. Pasta aerobics, nice and strong. Lightly dust it with flour. Hands in the air, Bob. Finally, the pasta must be hung to prevent it from sticking or clumping. Let it hang. OK. That is your next challenge. Right. Whichever team gives me the most perfect pasta wins the challenge. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You've got 20 minutes from now. Go. Let's go. It's all strong, heavy guys over there. They got more muscle and more power. But I ain't never ran from a dude, and I ain't about to pick today to start running. Are y'all pushing through down there? What the women lack in physical strength, Jen is making up for in determination. Come on, Jimmy, come on! Let's go, we're rolling now. Come on, guys. We're rolling. We need to win bad. I'm going to individually get these guys pumped up. Pumped up. I'm going to jump on their back. Nice work. Nice work. Nice work. Watch what you're doing over here. It's got to go in fucking flat. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. You know, Matt didn't man up. Instead, he just he stood up there with his arms open, you know, waiting for the pasta. Flat, flat. flat. Matt, flat, yes, flat. You may want to rest your arms for now, yeah? Come on, guys. Ladies, how y'all doing down there? Good. Zero one. Hold it. Come on, Jack. Yes, sir. Arms in the air. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Craig, straight on. Use your arms, use your arms, Craig, use your arms. Craig was messing up the pasta. Every challenge, you know, we get, it seems like we always have an issue with Craig. Feed it in, Craig, feed it in. What are you doing? Just... Don't drop it, don't drop it. Why are you stalling, man? Everybody wants to rise and shine and look good and make other people look like shit. Come on, Craig! Come on, Craig! Move, you lazy little fucker, come on! Come on I'll crack it, I'll crack it, I'll crack it. Here, here, here. Spread it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jen, of course, wants to, you know, shine and be in the spotlight. She wants to be a leader, but her way of leading is just to be loud. Push, push. Come on, Lou Ross. Come on, Petroza. Come on. Make it. 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 Make Bloody good effort. I've seen more energy in the last 20 minutes than I have on the last three services. Well done. Why are you ladies holding hands? She said her arms are tired. Let's start weighing it, shall we? Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Arm by arm. Here we go. The team that weighs in with the most pasta wins the challenge. Remember. My standards. There it is there. So that comes out. One thirty-nine. I was just like, oh hell no. You know that that's I was like, that's pretty low. It looks like the girls have a lot. Ladies, let's go. Good. That is beautiful. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. 266 against 139. Wait a minute, y'all. It ain't over yet. I'm like, wait a minute. Because Matt still got pasta all around his neck, a whole load of pasta around his arm, and Shayna just had it on one side. Let's go. 
Gently, gently, gently. That is beautiful. With all that pasta, there's nothing stuck together. Gentlemen. 5.48. Sheesh. Ladies. Here we go. Careful, 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 careful. That's where I want to get inside there. Nice. Very nice. 4.82 against 5.48. You need just under three quarters of a pound to win. Here we go. Six fifty-seven. Wow! Yes! That's right. Against five forty-eight. Wow! Yes, thank you, God. Thank you. Ladies, well done. Great effort. Fine, Gentlemen, you'll be busting your ass off now, prepping all day long all the new items on the menu ahead of tonight's service for both kitchens. Yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. This one hurt me. This one's painful and I'm pissed because it was just about muscle and strength. And I can't believe that we lost. Ladies, in true family style, you're all off to the Santa Monica here amusement park. Oh. Yes? Oh, by the way, your Hummer limousine awaits you, yes? Go and get changed yes, and get rid of that flower. Jen, good effort, my darling. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Oh, man, it was amazing to win that challenge today. It felt so good. I led our team to a victory. High five. High five. Oh, Craig. Hate losing another challenge, man. I hate losing. I'm pissed right now, dude. I'm not mad at the team. It's, it's directly pointed at Craig right now. Come on, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Every fucking bullshit fucking ridiculous, man. He's not a team player, man. While the men are mad at Craig, the women are mad at... Ben! Uh, I'm really fucking sick of seeing spit cups on there. Ben chews tobacco, spits in bottles, and leaves them laying around the apartment. It's disgusting. Ben! I'm mad at you, Ben. For what did I do? Your spit cup is up there in the kitchen on the counter in the place where all of us eat. That's nasty, dude. OK, I'll go get it. The fuck? Please don't cry. Well, I don't leave tampons on the sink. Please, So don't okay. leave your nasty ass tobacco spit in the kitchen. Jesus Christ. My own kids won't even put a dish in the sink without washing them. And they're fucking 10 years old. Crying again, what a surprise. Living with these men is crazy. They are so sloppy. Like, please, somebody leave something. I'm going to take you put it right in your fucking bed. Make sure I don't see you, because you're going to sleep with your fucking stuff. Hey, you guys get in the fucking kitchen and get these fucking dishes out of here. I ain't fucking cleaning them up again. You're touching my shit? I break your face. <laughs> I'm not laughing, Ben. I don't think it's cute that you're a dirty sloth. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, compliment. I hope your wife appreciates it. I don't Thank you. Up, I don't know how your husband puts up with your fucking mouth. I'm watching you, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys. While the men get called down to start their punishment, prep time, the women get ready to go on their reward. I know these girls talked about me and whatever. It was fine. I can still go have a good time. I'm here in California. I'm going to enjoy it. I've never been in a limo, period, much less in a Hummer limo. I've, I don't think I've even ever seen one. You Lord have crazy. mercy. They don't have a whole lot of that floating around in Montana. Ladies, girls. Put up, shut up, Todd. Hey. Hey. We have arrived, ladies. Yeah. Yo, I can't believe we're here. Oh, my god. I think all of us want to toss Corey off the Ferris wheel, but just to see the outside world yeah. It's just such a blessing to give us time to refocus. Oh, it's great. Hell yeah, we're free at last, free at last. Ben, ben is that dirty, dirty, dirty. dirty. This is for Ben and his pickup. Ben and his pickup. Ben and his pickup. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is all my reserve right here. All my reserve energy is going yeah, to this. Yeah, this was it right here. And we still got right now, I'm exhausted. We needed a day so bad to rest. It's going to be a long one, buddy. Oh, man. So listen, when we get back, we're going to have high energy, and we're going to show them boys that they missed out on a real good time. Hell yeah. Good. I hope the Ferris wheel fucking collapses. I hope the roller coaster gets malfunctioned and you just stay there. <laughs> stay upside down, and all that cellulite in Corey's ass goes up for rain. OK, I need one volunteer to help me with something. I'll do it, Chef. All right, come on, Ben. Let's do it. So since it's family night out here, Ben, we have some certain things to amuse some of the children that are coming tonight. As you can see, it stinks already. Oh, my god. Right when I walked outside the door, I knew what I was going to have to do. First thing you got to do is clean up all this shit. It fucking stinks out here. Yes, sir. OK? This is what happens when you don't win challenges, Ben. I came to cook, and I'm out shoveling horse shit today. Now, how am I supposed to stand up and say, yeah, I'm the best one on the team? There's Ben shoveling poop. Easy. Basically, the winners came back, and it's just embarrassing that, you know, you're shoveling shit. In less than an hour, Hell's Kitchen will open for its first ever family night. And diners are already outside working up an appetite. After spending a relaxing day at the pier, the women are now rushing to get up to speed on tonight's menu. There were only four apps, right? This win is going to be hard, because not only do we have to do it fast. Five. We also have to do it on a menu that we just learned half an hour ago. Don't get ourselves in a mind frame of being scared. We got this. They were seriously worried about this, but it's burgers and pasta, onion rings. If we can't do this, I don't know what the hell we can do. Come on, we're ready, we're happy, we're happy, we're happy, we're happy. While Jen tries to pump up the red team, the blue team is rallying around. Craig, focus, man. This is your night, Al. This is you tonight, baby, all right? This is you. Don't afraid to ask for help, man. No one's a hero. Shh. I'm working the pasta station. Pasta's easy to cook. I mean, it's, it's, it's not rocket scientists to make pasta. They know what I'm doing. So shut the fuck up. Focus tonight, OK? Gentlemen, hey, Egghead, Craig, that's you, yeah. Let's go. Come on, guys, please. Yes? Moments from now, we're opening Hell's Kitchen, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. And boy, oh boy, do we need this one, yes? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. I'm not asking for a perfect service. I'm telling you we're going to get a perfect service. Is that clear? Yes, yes, sir. yes. As an added incentive, not that you need it, the first kitchen, blue or red, to complete a full service is the winning team this evening. It's in your hands now. Is that clear? Yes, Chef! Move. OK, JP. Come here, please, yes? Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen. Now, come here, you. Come here, one more thing. Yes, it's a family service. Take your tie off and relax a little bit. Open your shirt. I feel more comfortable, Chef. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm not fucking around. Give me the tie. Now. Yes. You're like a fucking stiff. Walk straight, you donut. For Hell's Kitchen's first family night, Chef Ramsay has customized the menu to include fresh pasta, barbecued chicken wings, and hamburgers. Can you get the potato skin? Spaghetti with white sauce and clam? Macaroni and cheese. What kind of cookies are these? <laughs> Come on, guys. OK, Jean-Philippe, we should need some orders, yeah? We should. Yeah, move. OK, here we go. Ladies off first. Table 54, one onion ring, one potato skin, one chowder. Yes, yes chef. chef! Thank you, Chef. Potato, potato takes five minutes. Five minutes. More than anything, I need this win. Last night, I screwed up bad. But a new day, a new service is a new chance to prove that I can cook. Start in corn fritter. On order four, give us table three. One chowder, one potato skins, one chicken wings, one onion rings. Yes, yes chef! Ben, move. Blue team's going to be the first to finish. I'm sick of fucking losing. Got this, babe. Yeah, this is ours. Tonight, the guys have to win. Guys, we got this. While the blue team works on their first ticket, over in the red kitchen, 
Vanessa is hoping to impress Chef Ramsay with her appetizers. How long? Onion rings, potato skins, chowder. Come on. Come into the window right now. Plating it now, yes? Yes, Chef. Let's go, ladies, please. Let's go. Get it together, ladies. Think strong. Very good. Nice. Vanessa, the soup's lovely. Good girl. Come on. Service, please. Piss off. Let's go. This is called momentum, yeah? When we got the momentum going, we never stop. Yes, Chef. Good. Gentlemen. Ladies are going with their first ticket. Move, yes? Yes, Chef. How many minutes on your chicken? One minute. Make sure those chicken are fucking cooked, huh? You serve me raw chicken I to Charles, yeah? Raw chicken, I'll pick them your balls. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Where's the three onion rings? Have you seasoned them? Yes, sir. Hey, come here, you. Come here, look. It's not even coated. I want a crispy onion ring. Fuck off you, yeah? Oh, it's limp. Horrible. You hit it underneath, yes? When he's screaming at you, you can't, you can't do anything else but focus on him. And you're just, like, sunk into his eyes. Don't stare at me. Get on it straight away. Hurry up. Do it. Snap to it. It's not fucking difficult, is it? Service, please. 45 minutes into dinner service, blue diners are receiving their appetizers. The onion rings are good. I like them. The onion rings are getting positive reviews. Oh. The chicken, however. Oh no. Oh no. Raw chicken. Yeah, raw chicken. Oh, chef. fucking hell. Gentlemen! Raw chicken! Matt! Pink and bloody! Come here, you fucking prick. Yes, chef. What the fuck are you doing? Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. Won't happen again. Oh my god. That's. Pretty major. I mean, if a kid is biting into a chicken wing that's raw, that's just fucking nasty. It's a tartare again with you, isn't it? What is it? I call it exotic tartare. <coughs> that's what it is, isn't it? No, it's that's not. That's all you can do, isn't it? No, it's not, Chef. Yeah. It was this close to his face, and I didn't even blink at him. Yeah. I could do a lot. You can chef. manage to fuck up raw food. No, I can't, Chef. Wake up! Yes, Chef. I'm not gonna break. I'm not here to break. He's not gonna break me as a person. Donkey. While Matt has choked on the chicken dish, thanks to Vanessa, the red team has served over half their appetizers. Two spaghetti's coming to the window. And has moved on to entrees. Oh, no, don't, don't. Oh, my god. Oh, fuck me. Shana's on fire. Hey, but don't burn the fucking kitchen down, yes? I won't. Come on, Eddie. Somebody, somebody, come and get some ice. Holy shit. Chef, can somebody give me some ice and some oh, burnt green, please? She burned her hand, Chef. She needs some ice. I looked in her hand and it was blazing red. The skin's coming off. <laughs> then I seen that she was going to start to break down and cry. Three minutes on that, Chef. Holy shit. I just, I burned myself. There was oil in a saute pan, and when I picked it up, it poured all over my hand. Oh, that's starting to fucking hurt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is it helping? No. All right, come with me. What happened to Vanessa, guys? She's gone for a few minutes, and she's not coming back. She's not coming back. And I'm just thinking, oh, shit, what the hell's going on out there? Uh, 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 Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Yes, Chef. You're one man down. She's on the way to hospital now, okay? If you start slacking now, you're in trouble. Get a grip, yes? Yes, yes Chef. Chef. Things could be very scary for the red team without Vanessa right now. Okay, concentrate. Don't start crying. She's gone, okay? Roseanne. Yes, Chef. Don't start panicking. Just get a grip now. Okay, Chef. Burger's going to the window. Thank you. Here. Down one, ladies. We're still going to do this survey. Two hours into dinner service, the red kitchen has 12 tickets left, and the blue kitchen has 10. Let's go. Two crab cakes, where are they? Crab cakes right here. Put them up. The first team to complete all their tickets will win tonight's dinner service. Very nice, Petroza. Service, please. <laughs> Food is now flying out of both kitchens. Service, please. <laughs> and it's so good, the customers don't want to miss a drop.
Why is the fucking burger so small? Hey, you, Matt. Yes, chef. Come here with those burgers. Why are we cooking the burgers off so early on? They're like ice hockey pucks. Catch. Catch, catch. There you go. Look, look, hey, there you go. Up, up. Are we a fast food joint now? No, chef. And you're standing here with your little balls of fucking, look at them. Fucking sick. Bobby? Yes, chef. Can someone get a grip in here? Can we not cook a burger to order? Yes, chef. Then do it! Correct the problem, chef. Put some burgers on. Put about five burgers on. Put your head down and cook! With Bobby taking over in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks for a leader in the red kitchen. Who's counting down the entrees? Me, Chef. Shayla, you do one meatball, one clam. One crab for you, OK? One crab. How long? We lost Vanessa, and I just kept it strong. Come on, ladies. I don't want none of us going home tonight. We got to do this. I didn't even give it a chance to fall. Ain't no stopping us now, ladies. How long, Jen? In the window now, Chef. Thank you. Good girl. Service, please. Play the tickets, y'all. We got it. As Jen leads the women towards the finish line, Chef Ramsay is hoping someone on the blue team will emerge as a leader. Let's go, Bobby. Coming through. Spotless, yeah? Gold star. Go, please. Go. Let's go, gentlemen. Come on, we can do it. This is what we've been talking about. Go, Big Ben. What's up? They can't break me, baby. Not tonight. Not tonight. Not tonight. Ben, I can see from here. Glad it's all one big fucking jolly. I was just telling Bobby, hey, man, good job, you know? Wasting my fucking time, effort, and fucking money. OK, what's the joke? We were just congratulating each other because we're, we're getting the food out. That's all we were doing. One, two, three, four, five, six tables on trays to go. They've got two tables to go. So if I was you, I'd dig deep, touch your balls, and wake up. The girls are almost done. Let's pick up the pace. Let's go. Push, push, push. Yes, two go tables, on, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. Hold it together, Shayna. This is it. Two more tables. This is it, y'all. The guys got a whole fucking list over there. Let's go. While the women race to get out their final tickets, in the blue kitchen, Craig is eager to make up the difference and show Chef Ramsay that he can handle the pressure. Where's that spaghetti? That's spaghetti and fucking clams, no? Hey, Craig, four macaroni, one burger, one spaghetti of clams, and you give me meatballs. One's called a fucking meatball. And one's called a clam. Spaghetti is clam, meatball is meatball. Where's the spaghetti of clams? Right here, chef. Fuck! Raw. Raw. Don't worry about it. Start over fast. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. So how long? Oh, I got it, I got it. Is there mine? He doesn't even answer you, look. He doesn't even give you an answer. Yeah. Craig, get right. to the chef already! Two minutes! While the men wait two minutes for Craig's spaghetti, the women see the end is in sight. Last table, ladies. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Two crab cakes, two meatballs. Wake up, get a grip, move! Let's go, ladies, let's go! You need 30 more seconds on my slam. We'll be done. All right, ladies, come on. Let's go. Let's finish our first service. Let's go, ladies. Very good. Go, please. 42. Come here, come here, come here. Well done. Yes! We won. I just wanted to start dancing, going crazy, because I'm just, oh, God, it felt so good to win. Get in there and help them. Move. Come on, girls. There you go, fellas. Girls, How about that? I do it for you? Anything, nothing. Yeah! What do you guys need? What y'all need? Jen, stand next to Chef Ben. Yes? All right. Cook with him. The thing for me, you know, it's just embarrassing that Chef called him in to come help. Look at the current situation. And go around and slap yourselves on the back now, then. I thought we were close, yeah. Chef, but I was wrong. You're fucking close. I was close. wrong. Let's give a big round of applause to the captain hitting an iceberg on the fucking Titanic. Shayna. Yes, Chef. Stick next to Craig. What do you need me to do? I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. What do you need? What do you need? Tell I me got what you it. need. I got it. Don't tell me you got it. Go what right. do you need? Chill. Take the help, even if it's from a girl. Let's just push out the plate. Let's just do it and just end the day. And why now? One crab cake, one meatballs, one clams, one Caesar. How long? How long for the fucking clam? Hey, you're burning. You're burning. He's not even giving me an answer. Come on, answer him, please. It's making me feel fucking nervous. Fuck. <laughs> Hello. Let's go. Come on, Craig. 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 Pass is ready. Come on. How long for the fucking clam? It's coming up right now. 
fucking listen! Oh my fucking god. Go, please. Okay, ladies, yes, you did sir. complete a dinner service. Started off slow, we got in the weeds, but you bounced back. And throughout that determination, out comes a star. Jen, thank you. Thank you, Chef. Honestly, the best cook in both kitchens. There was one star. When I heard him say, Jen, man, my heart just melted. It really did. Gentlemen. Yeah, Chef. If Family Night in Hell's Kitchen was a movie, tonight was a horror film. The dinner service massacre. It was embarrassing. You don't need me to tell you you lost. Craig, we couldn't even cook pasta. Was it that difficult? No, Chef. Ben, what you've done and the, the ambitions, you do seriously surprise me. Thank you, Chef. I, I was hoping you'd see that. I mean, I'd give it all I got. Give you 110. You surprise me to how shit you are. Oh, thank you. I was expecting more. Hey, maybe you shouldn't have quit your fucking day job so early. OK, the best of the worst. Bobby, you make me feel safe in a kitchen. Bobby? Yes, Chef. Can someone get a grip in here? We correct the problem, Chef. So if that trust is there, don't break it. Yes, Chef. Get back to the dorms. Think of two individuals to nominate for elimination. Yes, Chef. And let's be honest, you're not short of choices. Nominate well, Bobby. When we first came into Hell's Kitchen, you know, I got off to a rough start, but tonight, I was the best. Oh, what's going on? Oh, the tables are turning a little bit now. He, he hates me. What did I do to him? I'm gonna go see a plastic surgeon on Monday. Why? Are you a <sighs> right now, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, right now I can't even move my hand. But the girls banged it out and they finished their service, and that's badass. Needless to say, Lou's going up for elimination today. Everybody has a fucking ego. The pasta thing, we were all working as a team. We just didn't get it done. It's, there's nobody to blame but everybody. I know right now that I didn't perform up to my standards, but then again, did Matt? Did Ben? You want to talk? Let's go talk for a minute. If I'm put up for elimination, I'm put up for elimination. I'm not going to go chasing after him. I'm not anybody's fucking pet dog. Just you and him or me and we're all? No, just me and Bobby. Fuck everybody. I don't, I don't need anybody's bullshit. You know, I don't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what Bobby's going to do. I really don't. I, mean, I'm, I don't know if I just want to go just for the mere fact that Chef hates me, you know? <laughs> ben, he's having a couple bad services. You know, he always seems to be at the wrong place at the wrong time. I just think I'm sitting on a clothesline, ready to get wrung out. Me and Bobby are pretty tight, but, you know, friends doesn't mean shit. This is a competition, and as far as I can see here, everybody's out to get everybody. Yeah, have a seat. Because you know I got to nominate two. Yeah, I know. Who do you think I should nominate? Craig. He don't communicate with the chef. Dude, he threw shit right in front of the chef. That's disrespect in the man's kitchen. I had a bad service. But Craig is hopeless. He needs to go next. It, he's, he's a pain in the fucking ass. Bobby, have you made your decision? Yes, Chef. First nominee and why, please? Um, I nominate Craig. Craig. He's like a broken compass in the kitchen. Whatever station he's at, he's pretty much lost. Second nominee, and why? My second nominee is... Matthew. Matt. 
he's a little nervous when he's working the station. And we're like too far along to be nervous about what you're doing here now. OK, Matt, Craig, step forward, please. Honestly, I don't want to go any further right now. There's one more person standing behind you I need to hear from. And he knows who he is. And without even mentioning his name, I'd appreciate if he steps forward. Ben. Sir? I'm really seriously disappointed with you. I know you are, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? You know, this is the only thing that God has given me a talent in my life. And I'm not going to stop. This isn't going to get me down. It's only going to make me work harder. I'd be fucking embarrassed if I was in your shoes. Craig, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I honestly could say I didn't have a good service tonight. But I had the drive, the determination, the motivation to do better next time. Craig, tonight was the easiest menu ever in Hell's Kitchen. You were cooking pasta. I'm greatly embarrassed. Matt, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I changed since I've been here. And I want to prove myself to you, Chef. You served raw chicken to youngsters. I feel ashamed and embarrassed that it even went out to begin with. All three of you should walk through that door. I'm just going to keep giving you 100%, Chef, every day. I'll give you 125%, Chef. I don't know percentages, but just over that. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So how long? Two minutes! They can't break you, baby. Not tonight. Look at the current situation. Mm -hmm. and go around and slap yourselves on the back now, then, you prick. Raw chicken! Pink and bloody! Wake up! The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. It's Craig. Take your jacket off. And leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for giving me one big fucking headache. My dream when I came to Hell's Kitchen was to get my own restaurant. I didn't do the job I was supposed to. I had a lot more to prove. I'm like, like stunned and amazed, like that this, this sucks. Ben, Matt, you both dodged that bullet, and I'm chasing your fucking asses big time. Now I'm starting to question myself. Ooh, he don't, he he just doesn't like me. But um, I'm not ready to go home. I got a lot left in me. I got a lot left to prove. You two are barely here. My heart was racing so fast, I thought it was going to jump out of my chest. And I never want to be on the chopping block again. Get both your acts together. Vanessa. Yes, Chef. Welcome back. Thank you, Chef. Jen, don't stop. It feels so good to get complimented by Chef Ramsay. Told you, America, I had it in me. This is the new gen, and it's time for me to shine. I can teach someone how to cook, but Craig was a bad cook with an even worse attitude. There was no hope for him. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Happen up there? I mean, oh. what the fuck? Elimination round is too dramatic for me, dog. I thought I was going to pass out. What would you fuck up tonight, though? I didn't fuck up anything. I did nothing but help. He never gave me an explanation while I was up there. I mean, I'm working hard, and at the end of the day, all I get is yelled at. I just don't understand it. You're right, Vanessa. Well, what's going on? What they say? I, I have to go see a plastic surgeon. Are you kidding me? 
I burned myself during service tonight. I hope this doesn't completely destroy my chances for continuing in Hell's Kitchen. What a day. I just think I'm digging too deep. I'm just letting it get to me, you know? Live to fight another day. This place is harder than boot camp, huh, Bobby? Yeah, man. Harder than boot camp. Anybody want a cookie? I just had some. As the chefs prepare for another day in the kitchen, all hands are on deck. All but one. I can't touch anything. I can't be over any heat. I can't get my hands wet. I can't do anything. It sucks. So you want, like, this top half braided? I think Vanessa's a little frustrated right now, and, and it's understandable, you know? She doesn't want to let us down, and we want to help her through this. I feel like a jackass. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Good morning, Chef. Vanessa, how are you feeling? Good, Chef. How's your burn? I, I don't know yet. It's OK, yeah. though. Good. Lou Ross, what did you think about the first thing this morning? What was on your mind? Game time, Chef. Game time. Good. Now, listen up. A great chef in a fine dining restaurant can take something ordinary and turn it into something extraordinary and charge an extraordinary price as well, whether it's a grilled cheese sandwich, a burger, or a pizza. This is my white truffle pizza from my restaurant, Maze, in London. One white truffle onion pizza is the value of this. Who would have thought that a pizza can cost over $200? Holy shit, $200 for a pizza? I don't even have a $200 pair of shoes. That is today's challenge. Each team will present their very own version of a fine dining pizza. Ultimately, I want something stunning. Are you ready? Yes, yes, Chef! 45 minutes, starting from now. Let's go. For this challenge, Chef Ramsay has assembled over 130 ingredients for the chefs to choose from in making their pizzas. We got squid, duck confit. This is the challenge I've been waiting on, where I can really utilize this crazy mind of mine. It's like, <sighs> there's just so much. Yeah, look at that. There are Colby beef. Really nice produce. Baby zucchini. Heirloom tomatoes, clams, oysters. There were C, C, C uh, uh, merchants. Each chef will create one gourmet pizza. Then each team must choose one of those pizzas to present to Chef Ramsay. One each, OK, make it happen, gentlemen. We got to win this, guys, to celebrate happy. Guys, everybody though, should come up with their own individual yeah, can idea. Yeah, like write everything down. Yep. And, oh. As long as I'm in the kitchen, then I'm gonna try to do something. What are you doing? I want to do something like oysters three ways. This was the first challenge that we were allowed to sort of do our own thing. So I am really excited. What are you doing? Uh, like a. Italian type pizza with sun dried tomatoes and some prosciutto. While the women share ideas and take notes, the men's style of communication. Is, is someone not using a pan that way? I could use it real quick. Is a little different. Yes, no, no one talks to each other. It amazes me. It's like I'm fucking talking and everyone's deaf. It, it, it's sickening. I, I'm, I'm nauseated. Whose back left is this? No one gives a fuck. No one answers around here. That's why we lose. No one fucking communicates. Shut the fuck up. That's a dingling. Just shut up, Matt. Just zip it and do it. Whatever you need, call it out. More chopped basil? I will not cut off my fingers. Come on, baby, baby, come on, baby, baby, come on. Anybody got Mars Capone cheese out? That's a good idea you got working. This is the bomb. How you looking, boss? Good, man. Now. You have 15 minutes to debate and present me the ultimate fine dining pizza. All of the women have finished their individual pizzas. Now they must choose one to represent the team. Ow, ow, ow. OK. I uh, did an oyster three-way with salsa fee and chai. Mine is a uh, jalapeno cilantro marinated grilled shrimp. What is yours, Vanessa? Heirloom tomato, tenderloin, caramelized onions, and mozzarella. I can't hold a knife, but I did make something beautiful, so I was hoping that they would choose my pizza. This one has a herb crust with prosciutto, and I got a drizzle balsamic glaze over it. Let me try that. 
That one's really good. I'm sorry, but that's good. I tasted Jen's. Bam, that's it. Chef Ramsay would like that, and he's all about simplicity. Yeah, that one is good. This one's the best, I think. Thank you, ladies. All right. I was kind of hoping they'd go with my pizza, but they didn't. I am disappointed. Let's use a little bit more ingredients. We need to make it stand out. Super gourmet. Super gourmet. Having made their choice, the women get to work perfecting Jen's pizza to present to Chef Ramsay. Guys, the girls are done already tasting this shit. There's only two pizzas here. I'm getting deeply concerned. Hey, make way for my pizza, guys. Mine is a regatta and uni stuffed zucchini flour with buffalo mozz and a green salsa verde. Oh, I took one bite, and I just had no fucking words for it. This is quite nasty. I like this. What's wrong? It's different. It's very different. That's fucking bullshit. I was shot down. The pizza was fucking phenomenal. Fuck, cut yours. Mine's is a, a classic American surf and turf pizza with Kobe beef, shrimp, topped with the gorgonzola blue cheese. It was very tasty pizza, classic. And you know, that's the type of pizza that you could have got $100 in a restaurant and it would have been flying out, flying out, flying out. Here you go, guys. Taste this one right here. It's mine. Well, you just have something like that. It's just like something you get at like Pizza Shack. Oh, your pizza tastes like as if it was like it from Pizza Shack? No, taste it. That's just me. I'm not fucking pissed. Looks good. Beautiful, man. What do we got? We have uh, duck confit, chanterelle mushrooms, white truffles, and duck lard on. Okay, Ben. Let's go with Ben. All right, we got this. I didn't realize that the one that was chosen was Ben's pizza. Is this Ben's? This mine. Where's Ben's? I guess Bobby and Ben basically decided while I was putting mine together. 10 seconds. Nice. Nine. Come on, guys, let's go. Eight. That's it. Seven. Six. Five. Ben, Ben. Four. Three, two, one, and serve. Thank you. Back in line, please. Jen, what was your pizza? It's called a little bit of Italy and a little bit of France. We have the herb crust. We put some sliced prosciutto, some beautiful sun-dried tomatoes, and the fried basil as a garnish. Wow. OK, Ben. Basically, what I did, you know, I did a pizza of duck confit. I did some chanterelle mushrooms. I made a caramelized onion and shell cream sauce to go on the bottom. All the ingredients stand out on their own. OK. This is very tight, very difficult. Who washed the mushrooms? I did, Chef. I've got some grit already in there. Ben can't even clean a mushroom properly. Some people's cooking skills are starting to show that they don't have any. You know when you crunch, crunch, crunch? Yes, sir. However, taste-wise, they both taste very good. Oh, good. Please, good. Congratulations. <laughs> to the girls, well done. Oh, Fuck! <laughs> Listen, ladies, well done. Thank, Thank you, sir. Yeah, really well done. Um, great execution, wonderful flavor, beautiful. And the good news is, it's going on the menu tomorrow night as a special. Oh, oh, <laughs> Thank you, chef. OK, ladies, we're going to the famous restaurant of the home of the $90 hamburger. Oh. It's not in Los Angeles. It's in Santa Barbara. So go and get change. Our helicopter awaits us. <laughs> I have always dreamed about riding in a helicopter, and now my dreams are finally coming true. <laughs> ben, the pizza was good, but the mouthful of dirt on the mushroom was a disappointment. I can't believe we lost another one. You can't win with dirt in your food. Sorry to let you down. You didn't let me down, you let your team down. 
Gentlemen, time for your punishment. You're going to be prepping the pizzas for tomorrow night's service. I'm fucking pissed right now, dude. Get in the kitchen, get cleaned up. We've got to move. Let's go. I think these pizzas are going to fly. Y'all wearing dresses today? Yeah, I shaved yesterday. While the women unite and prepare for their reward, the men are falling apart. Even if you don't enjoy each other's company, what needs to happen here, there needs to be a bond as a team. Do you feel the bond? No, Chef. No. Do you feel the bond? Not as strong as it could be, Chef. Lou Ross, do you feel the bond? This team is definitely not missing talent. It's missing teamwork. Hey, come here, you. What's the matter? Huh? I'm good. There's no need to walk around like a whiny-ass little punk bitch is what he's acting like with his little mohawk. Come together as a team. I think you'll be surprised at the difference. Yes, Chef. Thanks, Chef. I, I, I want to fucking win tomorrow. I want to taste blood. I want to taste their fucking blood. Yes, yeah, but what I have here is a taste of France and a taste of Italy. <laughs> Does anybody want to talk some shit out? We got to get the communication going. I mean, Chef Ramsay is giving us pearls of wisdom like they're coming out of the Japanese giant oyster. If you don't listen to Chef Ramsay's advice, something mentally wrong with you. What are we going to do moving forward to get communication going between us? You know what? I don't know. OK. Then we're going to fucking lose again, and let's enjoy it. Matt drives me nuts. He means well, he's a, he's a nice guy, but he fucking drives me nuts. Let's just make the dough, man. While the blue team's communication is stalled, the red team is ready for takeoff. Ladies, look how glamorous you are. Lovely. Up. Watch it, watch it. <laughs> this is my first time in California, and I cannot wait to see this beautiful coastline from up above. The view from the helicopter was amazing. Those gigantic houses and the Pacific Ocean doesn't really exist where I come from. Square one. Exciting. Off we go, ladies. It was kind of a like comfortable and cozy restaurant. I'm excited that I get to spend more time with Chef Ramsay. So here's a toast to half of Italy and half of France. <laughs> <laughs> While the women enjoy some private time with Chef Ramsay, back at Hell's Kitchen, the men are finally communicating. I'm just letting you know right now, man. When you tasted my pizza and you told me you told me that shit tasted like Pizza Shack, you know what I'm saying? That shit hurt, kid. Lou Ross, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, there's no room for bitches in this game right now. Are you calling me a bitch? You broke down, dude. And you broke down in front of Chef. You don't know what breakdown is when you see it, bro. Trust me. I was just, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Everybody's sick and tired of it. I've been under the gun for days. I should be fucking crawling underneath that table right now crying. Well, I get grilled so many times, but you don't see me break down. Oh, you break down, trust me. That's how it's, that's how it's gonna be. Brought lunch for you. Thank you, Chef. Go to it. I don't even know if I want to look in there. It's, uh, it's hamburger. It was just a thin-ass burger. There's no mustard, no ketchup. Just a thin-ass burger on a bun. This is land slider. Japanese Kobe beef with braised Kobe short ribs and black truffle frites. Wonderful. How about that? Wow. Oh, my god. The burger was really, really, really good. Black truffle fries. Should we save one for Ben? Just in case he thinks it's dirt. Uh, <laughs> to get to sit and relax and have lunch with Chef and pick his brain was probably the best part of the reward.
It's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and there's a lot to be done to prepare for dinner service. But for one of the chefs, the work is proving to be a challenge. Oh, watch out for me. It's really difficult to not be able to bang out prep with everybody else, you know, to feel so fucking useless. And I don't know what the hell I'm going to do to get through service tonight. I would like to talk to chef about it. You know, maybe that would help out. Mm -hmm. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, chef. Sit down, my darling. How's the burn? It's a little painful. Yeah. Tough when you've got that kind of obstacle in front of you. I don't like being in the kitchen and not being able to cook the way that I'm used to cooking. And it's killing me. But you still have every chance of winning this competition, with or without a burn. So the choice is yours, to leave House Kitchen or to stay. I'm not a quitter. I have fought through a lot of things in my lifetime, and I'm not weak. The decision is entirely yours. If I can't be here 100%, Chef, I don't want to be here. What a shame. I respect your decision. If you'd be so kind to go and say goodbye to your team, pack your stuff, leave House Kitchen. Yes, Chef. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. It's unfortunate that Vanessa's burn took her out of the competition. We'll never, ever know if she really had what it takes to win House Kitchen. I'm going to go. Oh, Vanessa. I made my choice. My team is better off without me than with me. Good luck, guys. I don't know if Vanessa made the right choice. She kind of gave up on herself. I thought she was a little tougher. Vanessa, good luck. Are you quitting? I'm leaving, yes. Bye, Vanessa. Bye, Vanessa. Bye, guys. Good luck. I don't consider myself a failure. Hell's Kitchen is an immersion in fire, and it's too much for me. Let's go, team. Over here. Let's go, girls. Vanessa's departure was unexpected, but it's not the only surprise in store for the chefs. Follow me. Let's go. Tonight's special. It's the winning pizza from the girls' team. For the first time ever in Hell's Kitchen, we're offering pizza delivery. Oh, no. And look, look at that. Hell's Kitchen pizza delivery tonight. It's a banner flying all across Los Angeles advertising my pizza. That's huge, you know? That's huge. Gentlemen, because you lost the pizza challenge, you will be delivering the pizza door to door in this glorified model. There you go, the glamorous. Pizza delivery van. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Thank you, Chef. How exciting is that? Awesome, Chef. OK, back in the kitchen. We've got a busy night. Let's get it cracking. I got some blanche of water here. What do you need? We are one man down, but too many cooks can crowd the pot. So I think with Vanessa out of the way, it's just going to make all of us stronger. While the loss of their teammate has brought the women together. Getting there. We're getting there. All right, who needs help? Over in the blue kitchen, the men are still miles apart. The blue team now is jacked up. God freaking help us tonight, because we need a fucking miracle. Jean-Philippe. Open Hell's Kitchen. Let's go. I'm going to have the watercress soup. I'm going to do the uh, roasted filet of beef. I'm going to have the salmon. Jean Philippe, please come on, let's go. Yeah? As soon as he says that first order, everybody listen and say, yes, chef, at the same time. On order, listen up, yes? Yes, yes chef. Let's go. On order, four covers, table 41. One crab, two risotto, one scallops. Entree, one salmon, one beef, one wellington, one pizza. Yes, yes chef. chef. 
good. Tonight, I'm on Hot Appetizer Station. I'm just going to blow Chef Ramsay out of the water. He is just going to be so impressed. 45 seconds, ladies. 45 seconds. Risotto scallops, yes? I'm ready. Coming up now. OK, we're up in the window. Uh, good start, ladies. Great energy. Keep it going. Jen has sent out her first appetizers in record time. Service, please. Meanwhile, the first calls for pizza delivery are coming in. Pizza. Thank you. Clearly, somebody saw the plane. Ben. Yes, Chef. You'll be doing the home delivery. Yes, Chef. Matt is ready with the blue team's first appetizers. Matt, can I have some decent eggs? They're like Pamela Anderson's fucking implants. You still serve them to me. I won't do it again, Chef. Come over here, so look. The minute you touch that, yeah, touch it. Yeah, now eat it and eat, 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 eat. Yeah, there you go. Chef Ramsay made me eat one of the eggs, which is fine with me anyway. I like quail eggs. You need to start making these eggs. I'm working them. Just broke. Oh, God, guys. Give me the eggs. I'll make the eggs. It was just a mess. Don't just take leadership of that kitchen, whether they like it or not. No, give me the eggs. If Bobby say give him the eggs, just give him the eggs, guys. I had to pick up a lot of slack tonight. I'm a four-star general. You know, this is what I do. With Bobby scrambling to get the eggs under control. So let's go up. The blue team manages to send out two tables of appetizers. Thank you. Let's go. Meanwhile, the red team has served appetizers to four tables. That's amazing. And they're ready to bring their first entrees to the pass. Let's go. Beef Wellington. Oh, fucking hell, ladies. Ladies, 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 ladies. This feels really soft, yeah? Touch that, yeah? That feels like it's fucking rip-roaring rare. It's freaking raw in the middle. So stop the fucking table. I'm confused, guys, I am confused right now. We can't go, Cory, until I've got the beef and the Wellington. Why is this so fucking painful? Guys, have a question real quick. Do I redo this? Yes. Hold on. Why are you asking her? So then you all look at me when you should be looking at each other. She's asking me, and all I want is you two to combine. Yes, Get yes. together. Yes, yes. To the window, two Wellingtons, Sam and John Dory. Thank you. Yes, yes. While the red team tries to regroup, Ben tries out a new look. I was in charge of pizzas, and you know when I had to go take those deliveries, I had to go. You know, I'm going to drive that little freaking go-kart as fast as it shall go. The cart was a piece of shit, so it wouldn't change gears very well. I didn't know where the hell I was. I've never been to LA before. This thing had reverse. Pizza. All righty. Okay, thank you. All right. Thank Have you very much. Wonderful you. evening. While Ben has finally succeeded as a delivery boy, the red team tries again to deliver their first entrees. Nicely cooked. Thank you, Chef. Come on, let's go. Where's the mashed potatoes? Mashed carrots, where are they? I'm coming right behind you, Chef. Oh, come on. You fucking piss cream. What is that shit? Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck off, will you? Is that how you're going to fucking respect these tables? Absolutely not, Chef. Absolutely not, Chef. I started getting really fucking frustrated because I couldn't catch up and I was just, like, falling behind. So it was just only getting more and more hectic from there. I don't know when you're going to think about waking up, but, hey, soon would be appreciated, madam. Yes, Chef. Pathetic. This is all you do, is it? And you stop tapping yes, and start I concentrating. OK, my mistake, Chef. Oh, fucking right, it was your mistake. I need the mash and the carrots now. Yes, Chef. Mash carrots now! I can't go unless I've got the veg. What is going on, Roseanne? Oh, my god almighty. This is fucking meltdown. Out of the way, please. Oh, fucking hell. No salt. Go, go, go. Send the vegetables separate. She gets confused over a fucking vegetable. Fuck off, will you? Fuck off! They've gone. Get away. The lamb wellington's already gone. Fuck all. Roseanne? Yes, Chef. Not good enough. It's an hour and a half into dinner service, and nearly all the diners have received appetizers. But Roseanne's breakdown on the vegetable station has stalled the red kitchen. Oh, my God almighty. Jen, yes, can sir. you get on the garnish, please, yeah? Now. 
Keep it on the fire, Roseanne. With Jen's help, the red kitchen seems to be back on track. However, in the blue kitchen, the entrees have hit a snag. Hey, guys. Lou Ross, come here. Chef. Come on, quickly, let's go. Touch that. Still kind of lukewarm, Chef. What did I request? Temperature. I mean it well, Chef. Get it back in the pan. I got this. I have to do it. I can cook a steak, you know what I'm saying? But, like, what the hell happened? The pan's burning, Lou Ross. It's better go up in flames. Charcoal, beef. Do you honestly not know how to cook a steak medium well? I know how to cook a steak, Chef. So why aren't you doing it, then, Lou Ross? Come on, baby. Come on, fuck. Lou Ross, come on. Come on, Lou Ross. Plating up now, Chef. We're plating up. Lou Ross, what's up, man? How come I can't see the nice, beautiful inside of the beef? Yeah, I, like, cut it in half, then I just seared it just to cook it off No, a see, the correct answer is you fucked it up, you didn't cook it right, and you're trying to get it by me. Do you have another one that I can see a nice pink center in? Yeah, Chef. Another one with a nice pink center in it? Well, I, no. That one won't work? No, that one's not gonna work. With no steaks ready to serve, Lou Ross's situation is looking grim. Fucking send me home, that's what it is. But Petroza has a plan. This is our chance. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Well, well this is our only shot that we got. We had to show the face of the beef, so I had to slice a sliver off it. I wanna get the fucking food out. It's not. It's, it's fucked up already. It shows up. I, I'm gone. He sliced that paper thin, and I looked at him, and I'm like, are you serious? And he was all, yeah. But damn, did you see the color on that steak? It was straight medium. Well, how's that one? Looks like it fucking works to me. OK, LaRose, where's that beef? Here's the beef. Come Here's on. The beef. Much better. The most ghettoest thing ever in possibly kitchen ever, but it still went out. You know? I'll do my best, man, for you. You know? You do what you gotta do in the kitchen, right? <laughs> With Lou Ross and Petroza getting their meat past Chef Scott, more than three quarters of the diners in Hell's Kitchen have received their entrees. And your kitchen. In the red kitchen, Christina is beginning to prepare her desserts. There are four burn souffles. It's fucking burn. That puts me 20 minutes behind. Christina. Yes, Chef. 43 and 44 desserts away. Yes, yeah, Chef. I'm behind 15 minutes. Yeah, hurry up, yeah. That's too long, yeah? Damn it, I need some help. Jen and I were supposed to be on dessert. Well, I'm all by myself. It was really frustrating. There was nobody there. You guys, I'm about to lose this dessert order if I don't get a set of hands, please. I've got one minute before this souffle dies. She completely was about to have a meltdown over there on dessert. That, that's no one's fault but herself. I'm not, personally, I'm no one's mother here. It was up to her to take initiative. All right, my souffles are going to fall and die. Please. Cory. Yes? How with the desserts? Let's go. Christina, hold on one second. I'm just trying to get Christina out of here and letting her, you know, spoil herself. I don't even want to help her. All right, Christina, what, tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do. Uh, you, can you make a souffle batter? All right, sugar, you got sugar? With Corey's reluctant help, desserts are finally leaving the red kitchen. Come on, go, 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 come on, go. Two brulee, let's go. Thank you, Christy. Yes, chef. Oh, look at that. Thank you. OK, 41, please. Let's go, two souffle. Meanwhile, after two and a half hours of dinner service, the men are finally working together. We need eight souffles. We got this, Bobby. We got this. Beautiful job, no souffle. Thank you. So let's go, please. Finally, it's happening to you. Thank you. Let's go, OK, OK, let's go. What's next? This is it, Chef. Good. Let's go. Oh, this is good for me. Let's go. Last ticket, yes? Yes, that's it, Chef. OK, good. Come here. Guys, come here. Let's go. Right. Good. Well done. That's what it feels like to complete a service. For the first time, these aspiring chefs have finished a complete dinner service. OK, not brilliant, but tonight we achieved our first complete service. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. For me, tonight, there was one person who stood out. And it was a big surprise. And that person was Lou Ross. You were crap. Your service was deplorable. Not on it, uninterested. It was shocking. 
That's the biggest surprise for me. And what hurts more is because before tonight's service, you were good. Roseanne, the last three tables we sent the vegetables out separately. I didn't want to keep them waiting any longer. I've decided tonight there's no losing team. Each team, both of you, go back to the door and nominate one of you for elimination. Now piss off. I know I'm safe tonight. Did you guys make your decision? I didn't know who I'm doing. I already got mine. But even though Lou Ross fucked up, I'm saying Matt. Trozy? Nah, I'm in. If you want to do that. Bobby wants Mac on, but I think the weakest cook in the kitchen right now is Lou Ross. You either go with personality or strength in the kitchen. So who do you say? Lou Ross? I don't know, man. If you think that I should go out on my, I'm not going to fight you now. on it. I don't want to go, believe me. For tonight's service, I would have to say you, Roseanne. I would pick you tonight because you didn't seem like you didn't know your station. Seriously, it, it, mine is the same thing. Based on service tonight, it would have to be Roseanne. Roseanne, based upon service tonight. What do you think? Lou Ross is in the room. Why well, he's not down here, who votes Lou Ross? I, I do. Because I'm going to be honest time. with you, if it's not Lou Ross, it's you. And it shouldn't be me. Well, I'm, I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles, you know? Because it ain't going to be the three of us. <sighs> it okay. ain't going to be me. I definitely don't deserve to go home tonight, and anyone who thinks I do is an asshole. I fucked up. If anyone's going to be a man about it and admit his mistakes, that's going to be me. I messed up today on service. I disappointed myself, I disappointed my team, and I disappointed Chef Ramsay and Moe's. I'm not afraid to admit my mistakes, but now it's up to Chef to decide. I really wish that I could have got to you and her when we were up here, because I wanted to put Christina up. I would like to see Christina go home. She doesn't say anything that's valuable or valid. She just likes to talk to hear herself talk. And in a sense, that kind of drowns me out, me from saying my valid stuff and her just saying blah, blah, blah. She talked all them talking. They worth a damn straight up. She was going fucking down in the dessert stage. Christina, she's awfully high and mighty, and she thinks she's, uh, you know, up here, but she's just like everybody else, struggling to get to the top. If you put Christine up, it's a good chance she'll leave. And that's one annoying person that I wouldn't mind losing straight up, and I wouldn't feel bad about it at all. I'm completely fine with that. <laughs> We kind of want to switch it up at the last minute to get rid of Christina. So I think it's going to end up getting ugly. I don't want to send that bitch home because she's all tall. She's in... I don't give a fuck where she's at. I tell her her face. She talks a little tall, but she don't walk the fucking walk. I'm not ready to go home. I didn't come out here to lose, and I definitely came out here to, to win this prize. Chris, I changed my mind. I'm picking you. I'm picking you because I had a bad night tonight, too, but you were falling apart in the kitchen, so that's the decision I make, and they say that they agree. You agree with that, Shayna? I, I, it's a yes or no question. Yes. OK, that's four. Four agree. I'm feeling really angry. My teammate just stabbed me in the back. Now I don't think I could trust anybody on the red team, honestly. Nobody but myself. OK, Ben, have you come to a decision? Yes, sir. Who and why, please? We nominate Lou Ross. He might be the weakest one on the team when it comes to culinary skill, chef. Christina, who is it and why? The team decided to nominate me, chef. Say that again. The team decided to nominate me, chef as the weakest cook. Yes, yeah, chef. Jen, explain. OK, chef. Um, she talks the talk, Christina. You know, she really can uh, verbalize her words right. But when it comes to running a brigade, you have to be headstrong and be confident in your work. I'm finding this hard to believe. 
Are you threatened by Christina's intelligence? Right hand to the Lord. No, I'm not at all threatened by Christina's intelligence, Chef. I'm not threatened by anyone here, Chef. I feel that I decide my fate in Hell's Kitchen. Let me just tell you something. That's my fucking job, sweetheart. Here's a question. Roseanne, do you honestly think that you're a better cook than Christina? Yes, I do, Chef. Madam, you completely screwed your team. OK, Lou Ross, Christina, step forward, please. OK, big boy. Chef. Why should you stay inside Hell's Kitchen? Today I made a mistake today, Chef. I was on meat station. I did undercook some meat. Do you honestly not know how to cook a steak? I know how to cook a steak, Chef. So why aren't you doing it then, Lou Ross? But I did not give up, Chef. I still kept on going no matter what. Are you the worst cook in the blue kitchen? No. Who is? Um, I would have to say Matt. Christina. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I believe that I am detail-oriented, methodical, intelligent, and hardworking. I didn't realize I was a detriment. Are you the weakest chef in the kitchen? I don't believe so. Who is? Roseanne. OK, time for a decision. The one person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight has already left the building. That's Vanessa. That is my gift to both teams tonight for completing a full service. Now, listen to me. Do not take this for granted. From this moment on, all I want now is a better, complete dinner service every night. Is that clear? Yes, yes Chef. And remember, this is Hell's Kitchen. And it's going to get tougher. Piss off and get some sleep. I get put down and criticized no matter what. I may be a small Filipino man, but you know, don't underestimate me because I'm still here. I'll stand my ground no matter what. The longer we're in this game, the meaner and more catty these girls get. Now I've realized not everyone is all in for our team, and those people will be taken out. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Piss off and get some sleep. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Congratulations. <laughs> ben said, we think Lou Ross is the weakest link. It's just funny to me, you know? This is high school crap, you know what I'm saying? I'm so stressed out right now. Yeah, that was not good. Christina was put on the chopping block, and it looks to me that she will continue to be put up on the chopping block every time. I really don't feel as if she's condescending. I really don't. I, I do. I said the first day she's a bitch. I, I don't feel that way. I sure am, honey. I earned it today. I really did. I've been up there more than all y'all. If I've got book smarts and that intimidates you, it's kind of too bad. I'm a complete package. I look great in a pair of heels. I can read a book, and I can cook. Who knew? I'll probably be up there again. Oh, yeah, watch. Yeah, I think about Maddie. He gets lazy at the end of the night. He dwells on the things he does right. Oh, I did that right. He, you know, he misses the other zillion hundred things he does wrong. I said we get all the heat to Maddie tomorrow. Me and Bobby are pretty tight. And we have a little bit of an alliance together. We got to stay together like flies on shit. Yeah, we do. Ben thinks he's the best cook out of everyone, and he's hiding behind fucking Bobby. And Bobby's a sloppy cook. Ben and Bobby are the ones that are ruining this team, and it's going to keep going downhill. Once they get rid of me and Lou Ross, they'll turn around and stare Petroza in the back. I don't like not working as a team. It's dysfunctional. I'm tired of losing. There's a lack of harmony on both teams, but the chefs must put aside their differences. As a new day brings a new challenge, our morale is a little low. You know, the ladies have won all three challenges. But I am not losing anymore. Mike, right, good morning. Good morning, chef. Welcome to the original farmer's market. Inside there, it is unique. From the best figs to the most amazing porterhouse steaks. Now, my restaurants have special events, and this makes it more challenging for my chefs. So 
for the first time ever, we're throwing a sweet 16 birthday party. <laughs> You're cooking for teenagers, finicky and mummy's little girl. Damn. Sweet 16, sweet 16, what does a sweet 16 want, you know? We're talking about a girl's sweet 16. That's when she becomes all, like, demanding. Each team has got 25 minutes and $100 to go through this market and come up with three dishes. One appetizer, two entrees. When you get back to Hell's Kitchen, you've got 45 minutes to prepare that menu and serve it. Yes, yes. Good luck. Your time starts now. Move. OK, we got sausages, smoked sausages, and we got these ones right here. We got special, the first special. Three, do three of those big shrimp on a skewer. Do a sushi pizza on a tortilla. Maddie, lay off the sushi. No, wait, lay off the, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Think sweet 16. Yeah, every sweet 16 Put I Put yourself today, in a girl fun. position, man. I was just praying that Mad just shut his big fat mouth up. When you're thinking like that, at this point, it shows me that something is really wrong with your brain. Put it in the basket. Oh, it's it's falling out, Maddie. it's falling out, Maddie. it's falling out. I'm thinking like glamorous. We need glamour, glamour, glamour. Yeah, pick fancy. three glamorous cities in the world and let's pick a dish from there. Paris, you could do steak. Paris. Please. I have a teenage daughter and I definitely think that 16 year olds are, you know, pretty picky. They don't really want to try something that they can't recognize. Take definitely. a plantain, slice it on a mandolin the long way, deep fried, it stands right up off the plate. Okay. While the women seem confident about what they want, the men are confident about what they don't want. There's a little store back there. Matt's advice. Let's get some chicken wings and I'll make some hot wings. Some wings nice, right? OK. Dude, a little done, supermarket man. type thing over there. Some wings, um, some blue cheese, maybe. three different ways. I'll, I'll yeah, try some grill. sauce. 50-something, 50, 50 60. Guys, go in that little store. We got that little supermarket place in there. Guys, there's a little supermarket over here. Yeah. No one gives a shit what I say. I mean, they're a bunch of assholes, and I'm sick of dealing with them. Bobby, what do you got? You got the hot? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't get no, like, fire. There's a little supermarket over there. OK, let's go. Let's pay for this. Let's go to that store, right? Thank you. Thank you. With time nearly up, the teams rush to gather a few final items. We're doing a surf and turf. You want asparagus? Fucking no one listens to shit. Meanwhile. Corey has something to say. Pomegranate, these are like trendy things right now. Do you know what I mean? Right. And won't be ignored. 30 seconds! Pomegranate's like trendy right now. Girls are all about okay, it. OK, let's go, let's go. Let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! That's it! Time! Go! Thank you for your help. Go! Shady. Come on, girls. With their shopping completed, the teams now have just 45 minutes to prepare one appetizer and two entrees for the Sweet 16 tasting menu. OK, 45 minutes starts now, yes? Matty, peel on the sweet potato. Yeah, I need okay. to peel it. I need to peel it. Fucking peel it off with your chef knife. Bobby, can you handle the wings yourself? I'm doing all the wings all right. by myself. Ooh, Ross, after you're done with that, you need to switch with Petros. While Ben's taking the reins of the blue team, over in the red kitchen, Corey attempts to corral the women. Fast and efficient, guys. Just make it happen. Make it nice. Everything should be done in five minutes, every job, no longer. Keep it moving. Fast, guys. Fast, fast, fast. Shana, pick up the pace. Let's go. Shana, you know, she's going slow. I'm not afraid to tell her now. Shana, pick up the pace, because if you don't, your ass is going to be on the chopping block. Just make it happen. Make it nice. Let's go. I got it. I got it. Maddie. Yes, Maddie, buddy. Maddie, 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 Maddie. I went in a circle. Maddie. Maddie's in left field. He just got to light a fire underneath his ass to get him, you know, get him to move a little bit. That's all you need to take off. All right. Look, just as lightly as you can do it. I really have no faith or confidence in any shit that we're doing right now. I'm not even going to say anything or suggest anything. I'm tired of wasting my fucking breath. Make those five work, those last five. Ten minutes to go, yes? It's working. Push it, ladies, push. Well, let's do it. Let's get busy. Here. Hurry up, Bryce. Let's get a little quicker on that, Maddie. When's that spatula, Jed? We got steak and we got shrimp. Last five minutes. I need that pot. Do it, Maddie. Do it. Last two minutes. Come on. Maddie, come on, buddy. I'm just sick of this whole thing. I feel like going home now. Come on, Maddie. Please hurry up, Bryce. Man, get that fucking squash out I of here. I like the squash. Watch the pomegranates. Does anyone want to taste the shrimp before we play it? One in? minute to go. Do not chop up the lettuce. Maddie. Guys, use whatever you have. Just use the fucking knife and go. 13 seconds. The dishes must not only meet Chef Ramsay's exacting standards but also please the palates of a sweet 16 girl and her friends. Five, four, three, two, one, stop! Did we use the time wisely? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Did we think about our presentation? 
316 is all about trends, and if it doesn't look good, you just switch them off. I feel like taking off my jacket and quitting because you can't get any input into anything. I mean, chicken wings, ooh. Every girl wants that at their fucking Sweet 16. Was anyone at a Sweet 16 birthday party recently? Good. So there's an influence across the menu? No. No? Oh, my fucking god. No, chef. Hold on a minute. You were at a birthday party recently, Sweet 16, and there's nothing on the influence. Let the guys be pissed. My voice is not being heard. Be a little more creative. <sighs> okay, you guys amaze me. Me. Everybody stops and looks over at Maddie and be like, Maddie, oh, you know, what the fuck are you talking about? OK. Let's be honest. You weren't really expecting me to taste this alone, were you? No shout. Here's the lucky lady, Melissa, and the mother who we're going to be cooking for. When we saw Melissa and her mother, I thought it was going to be very tough because I knew it wasn't a professional's opinion anymore. And I knew it was going to be personal ladies' tastes. Is there anything that you don't like? My daughter has simple tastes, so she's in training right now. Let's start with the appetizers. Come forward, please. The team with the most dishes chosen by the Sweet 16 girl will win the challenge. This is a Tuscan shrimp scampi. We're calling it the Super Sweet 16 Shrimp Scampi. <laughs> Thank you. Bobby? This is a fun dish we created. This is a stuffed chicken wing. Ooh. Wow. Lovely. Thank you. Ladies, why don't we start? With the ladies, dig in. Bring your plate over, please. The assertive mum. Uh-huh. I have never tasted shrimp before. She never tasted shrimp. I thought these upper-class California girls were like posh and everything. Whoever never ate shrimp by the time they're 16 years old. Melissa, what do you think, my darling? Crunchy. <laughs> the men's, the chicken wings. It's Gorgeous. I love the flowers. Mm. Melissa, if you had to choose between the shrimp or the chicken? Hands down, that one. The men's chicken. Woo! The blue team's chicken wing appetizer wins the first round. Now it's time for entrees. This is a Caribbean halibut, and it has a mango and avocado salsa. Thank you. And uh, Ben? I have a sweet potato mash with a sautéed asparagus and a sautéed shrimp. Thank you. First, the ladies' entree. The fish is a little dry, and the rice is undercooked. Let me imagine the fish not so dry. You know what? This is a really good salsa. It did help to improve the flavor of the fish. And the exotic rice? It's really good. OK, men's entree. I don't like asparagus at all. And I'm not liking the shrimp. Will it be the ladies' entree or the gentlemen's entree? I'm going to go with the, the exotic, please. Yeah, you saved our fish. While the other dishes were a collaboration, the tie-breaking dishes were made by Petroza and Corey. We did a grilled flank steak with homemade french fries with a pomegranate sauce. Ah. Wow. wow, thank you. This is our sassy surf and turf. It's a grilled filet mignon. Lovely. Now, dig in, please. Right. I don't know what these red things are. They just don't look appetizing. They kind of look like jewelry or something on top of it. <laughs> Like, most young girls are really into drinking pomegranate juice, so I thought I was going on the right page with that, but apparently not. Men's entree. Okay. It looks like there's a lot of fat around here. I really did not like the fat. Oh, my god. We need this so freaking badly. Which dish do you want to see at your Sweet 16 birthday party? This flat iron steak, or would you prefer the filet mignon? Um, I'm just going to have to think of all of the pellets involved. In Mum. OK, I'm sorry. Lady, please. Is it Mum's birthday party or yours? <laughs> I have no idea. Melissa, it's your choice. OK, you know what? My, my mind actually changed after hearing something in my ear. No. I am just going to go with the guys. <laughs> we needed to win so bad. Oh. It was way overdue. Way overdue. She was going to go with us. Her mom was all in her ear. But that's why she said I changed my mind. Oh, my God. Her mom was really annoying. If they would have let that girl choose on her own, it would have been no doubt that she chose our dish. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. Nice. Thank you. Bye. Men, congratulations. I've got a very special day planned for you. You're going to let your hair down and become 
a teenager all over again. Go get changed. We needed this so bad. We've been down and out for the past week, and we haven't won shit. Let's dish out the punishment. Ladies, you have a very tedious but important task of making this room look pretty in preparation for a Sweet 16 celebration. Make it stunning. I would not like to get on the wrong side of that mother. Is that clear? Yes, yes chef. The men head out for their teenage-inspired reward. Meanwhile, the women come face to face with their punishment. Darling, hello, hello. The party planner. My name is Francisco, and I'm your party planner. Here comes this orange flame. <laughs> Automatically, I knew he was going to get under my skin. First balloon bouquets on the sconces around the room. Also, cylindrical lights are going to be adorning all of the sides. We're going to make this room sparkalicious. We're going to make everything so sparkalicious. Tinkerbell will be jealous. The room is going to be sweeter than the sweetest dessert. Got to take down a notch, just a little bit. Oh, I'm getting very excited. Do you know where the red crap is? The red what? Francisco and I really aren't friendalicious. Is this fun to work with? Nope. While the women begin their punishing day with Francisco, the men arrive at the go-kart track, ready for the first part of their reward. I'm about to run you over, girl. Get set. Go. took a couple of good shots. Ah! It was a blast. Ah! The guys were skinning on that skid track. Ah! You know, I know how to handle that, because I'm from Niagara Falls. You know, that's what we do. We drive on ice. <laughs> All right, drivers, welcome back to Slick Track. The winner is Bobby. Woo! Shut right, these Cadillacs right here, baby. While the men get ready for more fun, the women are about to get grounded. So what's going on? Well, I wanted, we're just setting up. We're decorating, we're getting it all together. And, um. No, 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 no. I want silver. Blue doesn't go, and the red doesn't go. I had a vision, and everything looks wrong. The Wicked Witch of the West Coast. <laughs> it's really important about presentation, like you do in the kitchen. To me, it's the dining room. Who's in charge of the napkins? I'm sorry? The napkins. Do we have napkin rings? Can I make a suggestion in lieu of the napkin rings? Part of what my business is at home is party planning, and I'm good at that. And you fold it over like this. Perfect. That's great. Oh. Shana, she was annoying me. She was trying to be like the uh, party planner's assistant. Maybe she should go back to party planning. It looks stupid. While Corey turns bitter over the red team's punishment, the blue team is enjoying the sweet life. Thank you so much for having us. This is called our junk food platter. Oh, yeah. oh Thank you, man. Sir. I wanted to bring you here to yeah. Simon, LA, at the Sofitel LA. Wait to see what this guy's done with sweets. It was cool to meet Carrie Simon. He makes his own takes on Hostess cupcakes, Rice Krispie treats. Thanks, I'm a fan of snowballs, but I love these. Wow. Mm -hmm. And this guy's transforming these American classics into something quite magical. When I'm with Chef Ramsay, I take it all in, you know, because it's, it's a wonderful experience, you know? It was very awesome. With our Sweet 16, we need to push those boundaries out. I mean, really push them out. It's gonna be a tough service, this one. After a rewarding day with Chef Ramsay, the men return to Hell's Kitchen, ready to take on the women. And it looks as if Lou Ross yeah. <laughs> is going to start with Corey. I love you. Mm, I love you, too. I mean, me and Corey are like two peas in a pot. You know what I'm saying? Like Twinkie in a filling. I'm going in the hot tub, dude. Cause that's my girl, man. I heart her, man. I think Lou Ross is probably attracted to me, and it definitely makes him an easy target. I'm gonna do whatever it takes to win Hell's Kitchen. Oh my god, it feels so good. After a day of male bonding with his team, Lou Ross is looking to bond with someone else. Come here! Or not. Really, there was nothing going on. <laughs> like, he's seriously like four feet tall, I'm like six feet tall, so don't think it's happening. And I have a boyfriend. With no romance to distract them, it's back to business for the aspiring chefs. Guys, we gotta go through the Red Kitchen now. Because tonight is the first ever Sweet 16 party in Hell's Kitchen. 
There should be no problem executing this menu tonight, guys. Along with Chef Ramsay's classic dishes, on tonight's menu will be the men's winning spicy chicken wings and their prime beef tenderloin. Y'all ready, ladies? Despite the women's loss, their halibut with mango salsa will also be on the menu. Mango salsa. I was doing this when I was 17 years old. <laughs> you know, they could at least done like a chutney or something, you know, Bobby? <laughs> Come on. I mean, give me a break. Mango salsa. It's elementary. It's easy. Is this the consistency, I take it? A no, good size? these need to be cut a lot smaller. Okay. My avocado mango salsa is hard to cook. You know, it's hard to get it right. Is that a little, little, little better? A lot smaller. What I usually do is. Okay, well, that's, it's done. So that's how it's just going to be. Uh, uh, my pieces are usually like So that, it turns but... into fucking guacamole when you toss it then, huh? No, because you toss it very delicately. Oh, it needs to be a smaller cut. You know, I don't care. Thank you, dear. Fucker. She's proud of that salsa. Ooh. You done pissed my ass off. When you come up with a creative idea and somebody's going to recreate it, that you want to make sure that it, it still has the integrity of the original. Salsa should take like five minutes to make, and she has done this all morning. It's taking time forever to do everything. It's getting kind of annoying. I mean, it's a damn guacamole with mango in it. It's like, OK, you want to write a recipe book about it now? I mean, we got a shitload of other stuff on this menu. I mean, good lord, what the hell? You know, we really got to pick up the pace, though. OK, guys, let's go. Come over, please, yeah? Ladies, let's go. Two seconds, please. OK, we're opening shortly. Everybody ready? Yes, yes sir. Now, we have a sweet 16 birthday party. But let me tell you something. It's still my standards. Melissa's only turning 16 once. Yes, chef. JP, let the teenagers in. Hello. Hello. Smile, ladies. <laughs> what a nice uh, outfit. Oh, thank you. Oh. I know. I feel so dreamy. So thank you. So sparkle. Yeah. Sparkle-licious. Look at Melissa. She's on fire. I want that. Hello. Welcome. This is so cool. As the guests settle in, can I get the Caesar salad? The men are confident. We win it tonight, baby. The women are worried. We really gotta watch Sheena. And the party planner. Good evening, everyone. Is ready to make an important announcement. I'm going to introduce our queen for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give a warm welcome to Melissa. <laughs> Whatever you do now, darling, don't trip on the stairs. Hello. Nice to see you, darling. Welcome. Good to see you. You look great. Ah, oh, thank you. All right, guys, stations. Visualize us putting it on the pad. All together. Yep. This is Melissa's table, show. Good. OK, listen up. Yes, the yes. VIP table, Melissa. Three Caesar, three risotto. Away now. All right, Let's yeah. go. Most important item is the birthday girl's appetizer. I just really have to be on top of my game. And it's about perfect flavor, perfect seasoning, and every ingredient coming out. Two risottos, my hand, chef. Where are the mushrooms? Yes, chef. No, where are the mushrooms? Just look too wide. Putting them in right now, Put chef. Put the pan on the stove, please. Thank you. More mushrooms. Yes, chef. Come on, Christina. Yes, chef. There's not any mushrooms in there. While Christina gets back to work on the birthday girl's appetizer, the blue team brings their first order to the pass. These chicken wings, they look dry. No. I thought we had sauce on there. I know chicken wings. Guys. Yeah, they're getting sauced and grilled. Yeah, I want more sauce, sauce on them. Again. Sauce them again. Bring the sauce and nappy a little bit over the chicken wing, please. Yes, sir. After they, after they come off the grill, sauce them. OK. I'm not losing another service if I had to single-handedly cook it all myself. That's better, Ben. They're cozy with the sauce now. Thank you, Chef. Thank right, you, Chef. Double 20. Let's go. Okay. 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 While the blue team celebrates over in the red kitchen, finally Christina has plenty of mushrooms in the risotto. All right, I'm ready to go up to the window. Where's the parmesan? Come on, more parmesan in there, more chives in there. I've screwed up and screwed up and screwed up, and it was like really frustrating. It's her birthday, so let's go. Come on, she's on now. It's right here, chef. Come on, then let's go. Give it yes, to her. Chef. Let's go. Melissa, yes. Let's go. Thank you. That's good. I got it in my mouth. <laughs> 45 minutes into dinner service, almost all the appetizers have been served. Very nice, that risotto, Bobby. Absolutely perfect. Let's go to table 20. And the party guests seem to be enjoying their food. Good. This is the best risotto I've ever had. Now the red kitchen is moving on to entrees. Two halibut, two chicken, two beef. 
starting with the most important dish. This is Melissa. Yes, chef. Medium well for Melissa, yes? Yes, chef, medium well. I have a daughter who's going to be 16 in a couple more years, so I'm just trying to make sure that we give this girl the best party that she could possibly have. You ready with that beef, yes? Melissa, yes. Good. Go, please. Let's go. Ooh, I'm so excited to eat this. While Melissa samples her entree, her mom, Lori, is still waiting for hers. Beef is ready. Is the fish ready? Sides are ready. Fish is in the oven. Oh, so it's not ready. You got to get, get a little quicker on that, Maddie. Is that for Melissa's mom? Yes. Man, got the speed up, yeah? It's still hard. Maddie, you're the guy. How long? We're holding on you. Matt's hanging by a thread with the fire of hell, like, looming underneath him. And he doesn't even realize it. Do it, Maddie. Do it. Maddie, come on, buddy. Got it right here. Let's do it. Service, please. Melissa's mother, yes? The birthday girl's mother is finally eating, but the guest of honor has stopped. Is this cooked? Can I just have this, like, cooked a little more? Thank you. Oh, no. What table? It's Melissa herself. No, 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 no. Hi, guys. That's Melissa's beef back, yes? Medium well, yeah? Come on, get another one in, please. Chef, yes? Yes, chef. I'm like starting off on the wrong foot already. Oh, my god. I was feeling terrible. Get them in the oven! Yes, chef. Standing there pissing around with them. Fucking hell. While Roseanne starts over on the Sweet 16 stay, Jean-Philippe has a message from the birthday girl's mother. Honey, let's try. Blue kitchen. Oh, shit! Shit! Melissa's steak comes back, now her mother's food comes back. Rice mush! It's mush, it's mush, it's mush! Halibut dry. How about Let's just time? keep talking Hello. at our tables and having fun. Louder Thank you, Melissa. You. you look gorgeous. Okay. Right now, two of our hosts have sent food back. Roseanne has undercooked the birthday girl's steak, and Matt has overcooked her mom's fish. Fresh halibut in. The chef. The halibut's dry. Of all people. Yeah, chef. It doesn't matter whose dish it is, whether it's the mother's dish, the daughter's dish, one of the daughter's friends. It, it's embarrassing, no matter what. Matt! I got it, chef. Matt, look at me. Wake up. I am up. Has Melissa's beef gone yet? Oh, chef. Oh, come on. I want it now, Roseanne. Yes, chef. It's her birthday, her friends are eating, and she's got nothing to eat. I need Melissa's beef. I need her beef. I think it's ready now, chef. Where is it? I'm fucking real. Oh, get out of the way. That's not medium well. How can you do this to a 16-year-old? Leave it, you. Leave it and fuck off. Let me cook that out of the fucking way. Yes, chef. Get out of the way. Do a job, do it yourself. Oh, God, it felt really bad because here I am trying to do it and get it right, and then I got to have him step in, and it was really embarrassing. Leave me alone. Last time. There's your fucking plan. Leave me alone. He yeah? just, like, beat it. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this man some room and steer clear of him. Unbelievable. I cannot believe this. Service, please. Melissa, yes? Yeah? Go. Thanks to Chef Ramsay, the birthday girl has finally received a properly cooked steak. It's so good. So much better. And thanks to Matt, her mother's fish. This is raw. This is fucking raw. Good. Look at it. It's cold. Oh, come on. The fish is raw. This is Melissa's mom. I'm going over here. Fuck this. I'm not losing. Maddie and the fish station was going down hard. So I'm not losing. I'm going over there. Move out the way. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm basing I got it. it. I can't lose it. You know, you're acting like I'm doing a bad fucking job over here. Well, you are, you are, no, you I'm are, not. Matt. Hey, get another pig. I got it. Two minutes, chef. I got pushed off my station. I kept trying to go back on there, but Bobby wouldn't let me. Give me some olives. Yes, sir. Bobby becomes a control freak, and you can't talk to him. He gets like that, and you can't move him or anything, because then he gets threatening. Ah! You know, I don't want to mess with someone that's crazier than I am. I got, some it, more. I got it, I got it, I got it. I got more. Just get it down. Some more, some more. One halibut, how long? Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Behind, right now, halibut right here. Melissa's mother, yes? Our sincere apologies, let's go. Four chicken, one halibut, one beef, yes? Two minutes, sir. Well, Bobby seems to have all the answers. Over in the red kitchen, Chef Ramsay has a question. Where's the garnish for the beef? It's coming, Chef. Shayna, not good enough for me, just too slow. Get a grip. Shayna is very slow. She's slow in prep. She's slow during service. You know, she is overweight, and she can't really move fast. Shayna. Yes, Chef. 
We have three beef. I need garnish. I told her. I told her. No, no, no. I need garnish for the plate. Yes, Shayna, wake up a little bit, yeah? I'm not slowing down for you. You know that. Move, yeah? While Shayna is sinking on her station, Matt is getting some extra help. Why is Bobby on the fish? What's going on there? He's helping me out. We're working as a team. There's a big difference between helping him out and running the section. If we left it up to Matt, we would have did very, very poorly. So I caught it before it got to that point. Bobby, I'm fine for the team spirit helping out, but you listen to what I said. You're cooking it, he's running around wiping your ass. And the sad thing about you, hey, you let him. If I was running this section, I was in Hell's Kitchen, running the fish, get me this, get me that, I'm staying here. I'm cooking. Yeah, chef. You can only hide for so long. I'm not hiding, chef. I'm not hiding at all. I wasn't trying to hide, chef. You did a fucking good job of hiding. I I've asked you, look at me. I've made it fucking clear. Do you want to argue now? Or are you going to run your fucking section? Yes, chef. Thank you. I can handle my station. If I need help, I will be man enough to call for help. Help does not mean to push people off. You understand that, Bobby? Thank you. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got you, I don't want to lose. Despite the disagreements on the blue team, Happy Happy birthday. entrees are leaving the kitchen. Service, please. And the guests are enjoying the party. That's so good. <laughs> but they aren't the only ones. You should try this. Excuse me? It's delicious. Did you have one? Well, she gave me one. Yeah. You're coming, man. Where are we going? There, yeah. Now you're starting to eat with them. I'm the party planner. This is ridiculous. It's all about glee and sparkling and happiness. They said, if it happens one more time, there will be no Francisco anymore at this party. I swear I'll be good. Thank you. Just, I'm going to have one more piece. But I don't want him to see it. Ooh, I dropped the banana. No. It's two hours into the Sweet 16 party, and both kitchens have moved on to desserts. You got those? Table 11, yes. Let's go. And they are rushing to complete dinner service. Go, 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 guys. Come on, we gotta beat the boys here. Hello. Push it out, guys. Come on. We got this. Hi, Trembrilli, yes. Let's go. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. Where's this called? Right on the caramel? Right there, Maddie. Come on, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. On the, on the pier? Maddie, right just there. put the... I'm asking a question. Don't, just cook. Let's take it out. Hurry up, y'all, hurry up. Last push, guys. Come on, ladies, start taking this to the window. Beautiful, guys. That's it. Nice work, ladies. Way to push it out. After a rocky start, both sides have bounced back and completed dinner service. Magnificent. <laughs> but the party's not over yet. Melissa and Lloyd, great to see you both. Have you enjoyed the Sweet 16? Yes, I will never forget it. Now, one last little surprise. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This time, it's outside. So turn around and go and have a look. Off you go. Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? What the heck is going on? I'm excited. Both teams have completed dinner service, but there's one more surprise for the birthday girl. Ladies and gentlemen. A performance by her favorite band. The Pink Spider! <laughs> hey, happy birthday. This song is called 17 Candles. Every day's a distraction. All the animals looking for action And Emily's freestyling rhymes Smoking in the girls' room to kill some time While the party continues outside, inside, it's all business. To help me decide who the losing team is, every 16-year-old girl out there this evening filled out these common cards. Gentlemen, out of all the customers you cooked for tonight, 98% of them said they'd come back. Brilliant. Ladies, on the other hand, Ninety-nine percent of your customers said they'd come back. Ninety-nine percent. Actually, tonight there's no losing team. I can't seriously decide on a winning team on the difference of one percent. Thank you, Chef, for your generosity. Fuck the generosity, Matt. Both teams 
think of one individual up for elimination to leave Hell's Kitchen tonight. Now piss off. Chef Ramsay still wants two people chosen, and I'm going to be the one chosen for the blue team, and I'm packing my bags. You don't even need to talk about it. It's <laughs> me. I don't think it's fucking funny, Ben, to be set up. Batty, where are you going? Let's talk. I'm going to pack this. my shit. Batty, come on, come back. Well, guys, I don't think we have anything to talk about. <laughs> fucking scumbags. Matt says, thanks for your generosity, Chef. <laughs> Just fuck the generosity. <laughs> He always uh, opened his mouth at the wrong time. He thought he was safe tonight. Maddie's definitely full of crap. Crapola. Look at his face. Look like he's, he was crapping his pants while he was standing there. It's a dangerous game, my friend. Who do you think the weakest is? Roseanne, I'm sorry, but I thought you pulled it back tonight. I'm just, I'm being honest. Roseanne kind of fell apart at service tonight. I think Roseanne should go up. You want to hear from me? Yeah. Well, I'm not going to put myself up, so I'm going to say Shana. I don't think it should be me. Me, I say you because of today, because he took four hours to make a sausage. I really want Shayna out of here because I honestly cannot stand Shayna in the kitchen. Christina? I don't know, it's hard for me to say. I would really like to put up Roseanne, but Shayna is really slow at prep, so it's a tough decision. Gentlemen, have you made your decision? Yes, yes sir. sir. Ben. Yes, sir. Who have you nominated? Tonight we nominate Maddie, sir. Good choice, considering he served dried fish to the birthday girl's mother. I can't think of anything worse, to be honest. Except maybe for sending an undercooked steak to the birthday girl herself. Speaking of which, the lady's decision is who? The ladies decided to nominate. Shayna, chef. Shayna? Yes, chef. Let me ask you a question. Who would you nominate, personally? I would nominate Roseanne, chef. Thank you. That makes sense. Matt, Shayna, Roseanne, step forward. Shayna, why should you stay inside Hell's Kitchen? I think I bang out services, chef and I have proven myself. I left a three-month-old behind, Chef. A mother doesn't take that decision lightly. I came here because I want to win. Roseanne. I, I am also here for my daughter, Chef. I want to give my daughter a better life. Where I'm at now is not where I need to be. I definitely need to be in the kitchen. Matt, you've peaked, right? No, Chef, I haven't peaked yet. So why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I was pushed and bullied off my station tonight while other members of my team is hiding behind one person. Who pushed I... off your section? Bobby pushed me off my section. You hid behind Bobby. Ben hides behind Bobby, not me. He took over your section. He pushed me off my station, would not let me back Look on. at the size of you. There's 250 pounds in there. Lou Rossi's balls are bigger than yours. I don't even have a voice in my kitchen. No one listens to me. I guarantee you, if you put me on the red team, you'll see the failure in the blue team. You want to cook with the girls? I have no shame of working with women in the kitchen, chef. Unfucking real My decision is... Matt. Get back in line. Thank you, Chef. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Shayna, not good enough for me. Just too slow. Get a grip. Leave it, you. Leave it and fuck off. Let me cook that. Out of the fucking way. Get out of the way. The person leaving is... Shayna. Give me your jacket. A big heart. Solid cook, yes. Thank you, Chef. But personally, just a little too slow. Yes, Chef. Good night, my darling. Good night. Go back to your daughter. Thank you, Chef. I'd be a liar if I sat here and said, oh, I'm glad to go home. No, I'm not glad to go home. I wanted to be here. I wanted to win this. But you know what? There are great things to come for me. This has shown me that I can do what I set my mind out to do. And you? I don't know whether you're just thick-skinned or full of crap. 
you just turned a 16-year-old girl into a vegetarian. Pathetic. Yeah, chef. Sure. Back in line. Here's a quick warning, yeah, to you all. Next service, we're going back to fine dining, back to what we came here for. Yes, chef. Yes, yeah. chef. And by the way, Matty. Yes, chef. First thing tomorrow morning, you're cooking with the girls. Thank you, chef. You know, as far as I'm concerned, Maddie's a little bitch anyway, so let him go over there with them. They don't even know what they just inherited. Woo! Now, fuck off, will you? Matt does not represent my team. I just hope he come over there and hold his weight, and if he don't, he's out the door. I'm looking forward to kicking ass on the red team and watching the blue team flounder. Shayna has a big heart, but at times I felt her heart wasn't here. It was back home with her newborn baby. She made far too many simple mistakes, and that's why she's going back to something she's good at, changing diapers. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Maddie, you quick to sell somebody out up there, huh? Hey, you sold me out. You put me out there, right? You put me out there to dry, so the fucking truth came out, right? So fuck you, man. You think you're fucking great? Your shit came back, Roar. Let's see how you do now. I'm not on the team anymore to fucking blame. Who are you going to pick on next? Lou Ross again? Relax, you going to put man. him up Relax, there? Relax, man. I'm not fucking afraid of anyone. At least I don't hide behind anyone. And Chef Ramsay knew that. And I proved it. And that's why I'm still here. Keep hiding behind Bobby, Ben, because that's what you're good for. Is that the best you got? No, go, go, go fucking quit for another two years. The strong, stay with the strong. Asshole. He is a nut job. The girls don't even, they don't even have an inkling of what this guy's about. He think y'all manipulative. He have no idea what the fuck he didn't get himself into, though. I didn't do anything wrong tonight. Yeah, why does he want to be on our team, though? I don't understand. You know, Bobby, Bobby. I ain't the one hiding behind a shield. He thinks because we're girls, we're fucking nice, dude. We're worse than you guys, way worse. Believe that. Try working with that bitch right there. <laughs> a blonde hair fucking devil. Like, we just got rid of one of our weakest yeah. players, and now they're putting him on our team. It's not fair. It's not He's fair. It took us a while to get Shane out of here. No offense to her, but what the fuck? And now we have to put up with his well, shit. At least she was Matt is not going to be there for long. He's going to probably last, I would say, a day or two before he's probably, now he's really going to get voted off. He's not in our team, dude. I'm sorry. He's blue, and he'll always be blue. It's a new day and a new team lineup in Hell's Kitchen. Good morning. Good morning, morning Chef. How are you feeling, Matt? Great, Chef. Good. What was it like being with the girls? Women. Chefs. It doesn't matter. Girls or guys. Ben, are you missing Matty? Can't say that I am, Chef. No? Nope. Does he make you nervous? No. No. No, not at all. We're just glad that he's fucking gone, and, you know, we're just sick of looking at his face. Now. I got up early this morning, and I was cooking some dishes for you guys, yeah? Cooking because I want you to taste. That's the test this morning. Chef Ramsay has prepared three dishes to test the chef's palates. First, simple, classic chicken parmesan. Each dish is missing one key ingredient, the meat. Let's go, taste the cheese. What the chefs don't know is that the chicken isn't really chicken. It's soy protein. Which ingredient do you think is missing? It's uh, missing some garlic. Salt, a little bit of pepper. The pasta is pretty bland. I have the best palate in the world. I've tasted a lot of different stuff over the years, so I ain't worried about it. It's processed chicken. Right, next dish. This is a classic beef stew. And the beef stew is missing. That's right, the beef. It's actually a soy-based substitute. Tell me what ingredient you think is missing. No salt, no pepper. No salt, no pepper. The meat is, uh, the texture is odd. Yeah. The meat's overcooked. What's happening here is the pellets are working over time. This next one, one of my favorites. This is a sausage ravioli. And the only ingredient missing from the sausage ravioli 
Yeah, the sausage. The stuffing is delicious. The seasoning on the pasta is missing. It needs more seasoning. It's too the, dull. the brown butter is good. You don't think it's that bad? I kind of like you the said. interior. You like that, Patrizza? Nice ravioli. That's beautiful filling. The ravioli, that stuff was awesome. It was wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. OK, let me tell you what's missing from the chicken parmesan. There's no chicken in there. It's fake. You must have got it from a damn good vegetarian store or something, because I mean, you know, it, it tasted like meat. Let me tell you about the beef stew. There's no beef in there. For a second, I thought it was cat, because it's stringy. Not that I ever eat cat before. And finally, the raviolis that you all loved. There's no sausage in there. Petroza. Yes, Chef. You're the closest one to turn around and identify there was something wrong with the beef stew. Yeah. Not enough. I'm really seriously disgusted with all your palates, and not one of you spotted fake chicken, fake sausage, and fake beef. You all have a chance now to redeem yourself a blind taste test. Is that clear? Yes, Chef. Yes, but first of all, Matt, you look terrible in blue. Get that on. Yes, Chef. Let's go. The blind taste test will help Chef Ramsay determine who has a good palate, something he believes is essential to being a great chef. Teams are uneven. Jen, sit out on this one. For me, the worst possible thing is to be sitting on the sidelines while my team is doing something. So I was crushed when Chef Ramsay pulled me out of it. Roseanne, yes, step forward, please. Petroza, let's go. OK, blindfolds on, please. Each chef must attempt to identify three items. The team with the most correct answers will win the challenge. First one, chicken. Doesn't get any simpler than that. I think the one with the worst palate on our team will be Roseanne, just due to the fact that she hasn't really tasted a lot of food from, you know, all over the world. What is it? It's white meat pork. You're wrong. Oh. What is it? It's some dry ass chicken. Yeah! One nothing to the men. Sweet potato. Open up. What is it? Sweet potato. Sweet. Yes. Oh, Pachosa, come up. I'm thinking it's a turnip. Uh, yeah! yeah! Wrong. Sweet potato. Uh. This is the last one for these two. Nectarine. Open up. What is it? Nectarine. Yeah. Come on, big boy. What is it? Pineapple. Uh. Wrong. Nectarine. Ah. Yeah. Petroza, what an idiot. Mm. Bombed. Two out of three. Well done. <laughs> two one to the girls. OK. Round two. With the red team up by one, Corey must now face off against her best friend in Hell's Kitchen, Lou Ross. Meatloaf. Neither Corey nor Lou Ross can correctly identify meatloaf or watercress. Now, they must try to identify turnips. Open up. Come on, Lou Ross. What is it? Turnip. Yeah! <laughs> well done. Thank you. What is it? It had a taste of, like, salsify or something. Uh, wrong. Turnip. Turnip. 3-1 to the ladies. With the red team ahead by two, it's now culinary student Christina versus executive chef Bobby. Shrimp. Neither can identify shrimp. Oh, damn. Radish. Open up. Go. It tastes similar to radish, but it's the wrong texture. No, girl. Don't overthink it, Christina. Come on. Fuck it. What is it? Radish. Radish. Yes! <laughs> Well done, good Thank girl. you, Chef. What is that? It's like a parsnip. Uh, wrong. Radish. Four for the red and one for the blue. Hey, guys, wake up, huh? Chopped truffle. Open. I know exactly what that is. What is that? That's truffle. Can I have some more? What is it, big boy? A mushroom. Ah, oh, Jesus. 
Oh my God, I couldn't believe Bobby didn't get truffles right. You can smell them a mile away before they even get to your mouth to know it's truffles. With a score of five for the red team and one for the blue, the scene is set for a face-off of epic proportions. Now, listen up. There's been some great rivalries out there. Yankees versus Red Sox. Go Yankees. Tyson versus Holyfield, yes? Now, ladies and gentlemen, Matt versus Ben. Let's go. I went into that final challenge with Maddie, and you know, I was I was pretty psyched. Not like Maddie's actually fucking competition anyway. The final round, yes? This is something different. You're now gonna be tasting something I've made. In this dish, there are 10 ingredients. We'll alternate. We'll start with Ben and we'll alternate to Matt. As you list an ingredient, yes, you score a point. Simple as that. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. You got that, Come Matt. on, Maddie, keep it simple. Come on, Matt. I am a little worried about Matt. You know, I don't think he has a very good palate. And 10 ingredients is enough to change the tide. In you go. Careful, it's hot. In this round, Matt and Ben will receive one point for each ingredient they successfully identify. With 10 possible ingredients and a score of five to one, it's still anyone's game. Ben, one item in that dish. Clams. Congratulations. Five for the ladies, two for the men. Matt. Potato. Potato. Congratulations. Woo! Keep it going, Matt. Ben, name me a third ingredient in that dish. Cream. Good. Matt. Thyme. Good. Ben. Celery. Congratulations. Matt. I tasted onion, chef. Congratulations. Yeah, OK, Ben, name me one more ingredient in that dish. With only four ingredients left, Ben must get every remaining guess correct if the blue team is to have any hope of staying in the competition. I'm going to have to say it has to have some fresh parsley in it. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good job, Good job. Ah, nice job. Nice job. Nice job, If Matt gets this next question right, it's over. <laughs> and the ladies have won. It'll be nine to five, and there won't be sufficient ingredients left within that dish for the blue team to pull back. Matt, name me one more ingredient in that dish. I tasted carrot sure. also, chef. Matt. You're right. All oh, right! Five folds off. Oh, man. Ten ingredients in a basic clam chowder. Well done. All right. It's a great introduction to the red team. Ben, you want me off your team? OK, say. Matt. Yes, Chef. Well done. Thank you, Chef. I'm pissed off right now. I don't really want to fucking talk about Matt. Blue team, punishment. First off, we've been upstairs in the dorms for a while, so I think they're ready for a nice, good, old-fashioned spring clean, yes? From floor to ceiling, you're going to be turning those beds upside down. I want the fridge cleaned down. I want the floor hoover, toilet bowls. You name it, I want it done. Dorms are dirty right now. It's like a frat house and a sorority house that mashed up together. I want everywhere spotless. Right, red team. Yes, Can't chef. call you girls anymore, can I, Matt? No. No, unless you lift them up a little bit. <laughs> OK, congratulations, well done. Honestly, one of the most amazing rewards, the patio has been transformed into a luxury spa. Oh, you will be having the most amazing massage. Oh, Facials, yes. manicures, pedicures, oh. you name it. We've got a team of specialists to buff you up and make you look handsome and pretty oh. and gorgeous. We've been praying for spa day. Yeah, you need to fix that weave. Mm. One more thing. We're opening for dinner tonight. Let's go. Huh? Up. Oh, yeah, baby! This is awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow! Hi, welcome. 
Thank you. Please come get some champagne. Wow, what a transformation. When we walked out to the patio, I felt complete joy, and I was just like so relieved to finally be able to kind of let loose and just relax and uh, have a great day. Excellent. Like the Thank best you. reward ever. Yep. They want to talk about us being pigs? I haven't cooked a fucking thing in here yet. This place is fucking disgusting. It was tough, you know? Because I really could have used some uh, therapeutic rub kind of thing. Chef Ramsey wasn't playing around when he said the place needed to be cleaned from top to bottom. There was hair, and there was like women's hair, all in the, somebody was like losing a lot of hair in the bathroom. Guys, I'm getting a chocolate mask. Don't eat it, Matt. I hope they have eyebrow wax. This metrosexual is getting done up. <laughs> so wonderful. Matt, you made a good choice of switching. <laughs> Perfect timing. Plus, I had to help you guys win. I know Matt glad he's on our team now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jen, you know what? Huh? Someone's trash is someone else's treasure. Yeah. Well, they're up there scrubbing toilets. <laughs> Ben and Scott. Yo. The girls are thirsty. You're to feed the red team iced tea? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. I got to go downstairs and pour iced tea in her glasses. Oh, boy, Matt right now, he's on his high horse today. I don't even care about them winning today. Just to get him off of our team is, you know, I'd fucking go upstairs and clean again if I had to. Get ready to serve y'all some drinks. Yeah. Please, thank you. That's awesome. No, I would actually prefer a cheese and cracker at this time. Thank you. Please, and a fig, too. Do you know what an idiot you look like right now? That's all right, but it feels good. Would you like some tea? Sure. You may pour it down your throat or leave it yeah, to the side. Leave it to the side. OK. I love the fact that they had to go clean toilets. I wish it was Ben scrubbing the bottom of my toes. Adios. If you guys need anything, you just holler at me, all right? That was fun, Bob. I hate you missed that. Man, I'm just letting you know you're next to go, so. I'll tell you why. I don't care when they send me home, but I want to see Ben leave before me. So let's kick ass tonight. That's always the goal. After suffering a humiliating defeat to the women's team, which now includes Matt, the blue team is more determined than ever to win dinner service. Alrighty. Yeah, Trozy. Woo! I want to win this dinner service. I want it bad. If Matt does good and the red team does good and we do bad, we look like assholes. All right, who sees something that needs to be done badly? Do you anything? Matt, you want to do some poached eggs? Any poached eggs? Yeah. yeah. This is my perfect opportunity to show the guys it's them and not me, that they made a mistake. I need to win tonight. I need redemption. Mm -hmm. I need redemption. I'm definitely not happy by the addition to our team tonight. The girls are definitely going to give Matt hell. Don't mess with a boy from Brooklyn. Let's make the fucking survey and shut up. I'm just pumped up being on the red team. I see a capital V for us tonight. It's moments away from the opening of Hell's Kitchen, and Chef Ramsay has some final words for both teams. Quick briefing. Everybody ready for a great service? Yes, yes, chef. yes, chef. You guys had a big disappointment in the taste challenge, yes? Make it up. Come back. Show me what you got if you don't want to go home. So, no more special events. No more family nights. No more sweet 16s. Tonight is back to fine dining menu. Big night tonight, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go, huh? Jean Philippe, get off the sunbed and open Hell's Kitchen, please. It's the seventh dinner service in Hell's Kitchen. I'll have the scallops. Hell's Kitchen! And with the team shakeup, the aspiring chefs are eager to prove themselves. Blue team, we ready? We're going to win tonight, ladies. Uh, Roseanne. Yes, Chef. God help you if you fucking sink to oblivion tonight, yes? I'm looking forward to dinner service tonight. I know I'm going to be on top of my game and stay focused, communicate. That's what I need to do to stay in this game and stay strong. Let's go. 
Hello, I'm on a pork cover, several six, two risotto, two scallops, entree, one salmon, one beef, one Wellington, one chicken. Yes, yeah, chef. Yeah. No answer from fucking laid back Ben. He's more laid back than the dining board. Can I have an answer, please, Chef Ben? Yes, yeah, chef. Thank you, Chef Ben. The men get started on their first orders. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, the pressure is on Roseanne to deliver her first appetizer. Uh, hello, hello. Fuck off, will you? Hey, you, come here, madam, come here. Yes, yeah, chef. Oh, look at the colour of the scallop. Cook the fuck one side, nothing on the other, yeah? Fuck off. I want one more portion of scallops now, yes? Yes, chef. Come on, Roseanne, pull it together. You could do it. All right. Do it for Staten Island. Put a little love into it, yeah? Roseanne was just pretty much not ready. She wasn't prepared on the fish station. Um, I tried to give her advice, but she's just kind of, like, very scatterbrained. I think that um, there's a big chance of something going wrong. Unbelievable. Service, please. Scallop in the window. Very nice. So now, you know how to cook a scallop. You know how to cook it now. Yes, chef. I was really excited that I got it right because I started off with the wrong foot. Yeah, wake up, madam, yeah? Okay, chef. 45 minutes into dinner service, customers in the red dining room are finally enjoying their appetizers. That's really good. That is good. Yeah. In the blue kitchen, Lou Ross and Bobby will have to work together to complete the scallop appetizer. Where's the scallops? Come on, Lou Ross. You need to start making these eggs. Look at me, look at me. These scallops are fucking cooked. Are you ready? Five minutes. Fuck off, five minutes. Bobby, you can't just keep on looking after yourself. You gotta talk! Chef, he, he told me it was coming. It was here. He told me to fire him. That's why I'm firing him. I'm not firing him just to be firing him. Unfucking believable. You know, it's all about a timing system because I'm way faster than Lou Ross. So when I needed the eggs, I needed them. You know, when I want it, I want it. Hurry up, Lou Ross! Yes, Chef. While the blue kitchen waits on Lou Ross to complete their appetizers, the red kitchen is moving on to entrees. On order, six cover table 30, two salmon, two wellington, one chicken, one beef, one wellington medium, yes? Yes, Chef. Is that order fired? No, I guess not. not. No fire, Chef. Hey, look at me. Don't dare start calling tables away. Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsey, he got it out for me. He supposedly likes vocal people. He wants a leader. He wants somebody to stand out. Now, I guess he's on his period or whatever today, so he gets pissed off at me when I try to be vocal, be vocal and be the leader. All it does is just confuse everybody. Yes? Yes, Chef. Yeah, look at me. I'll call out the order. You fucking cook, OK? Yes, Chef. Let's get that right. Five minutes on the next ticket, Jen. I always knew that Jen would be the one to undo Jen. How are you doing, Jen? After she got yelled at, she just shut down. Jen. Jen. While wounded Jen tries to recover, over in the blue kitchen, Lou Ross is doing his best to impress. Where's the Caesar salad? Beautiful. Hey, Lou Ross, nice. Wow. Hey, make sure every portion's like that now. Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay actually loved what I cooked, so it was pretty stoked. While Lou Ross takes a moment to enjoy his success, Roseanne is picking up the pace. Let's go. Service, please. Oh, fucking hell. What was she doing? Put the pan down. Put the pan, put the pan down. Fucking let go. Look, just, I mean, this, this is where you are. Just, just stop. This is where you are. Touch that. Hey, hey, yeah, hey, just come here. Fucking come here, all of you. That's you as well, stroppy face. I don't know what it is with you, but you've given up. And it fucking shows. Just the way you mope, the way you turn, and the fucking chips on your shoulder. Have that enough? Well, what the fuck? You don't want me to say nothing, so I'm not gonna say shit. Now that I'm not saying nothing, now you pissed off because I'm not saying nothing. I just can't win for losing. Touch that. Shit. Yeah, shit. That's fucking cool. right as shit. Did it hurt? No, shit. Fucking it sue hurt. me. Hey, and look at me, hey, because the response is fucking shocking. No one gives a damn. Now I've got raw, stone cold, fucking longestine. Raw, stone cold, long as thing. Yes, chef. I'm gonna fix it right now. Let's get it one back. One minute, one minute. You got too hey. much oil. Go on, chef. Take your fucking garnish back. With the red team losing their momentum, Chef Ramsay looks to the blue kitchen to come through with their orders. Ben! Sir. Yeah, quickly, yeah? Look at me, look at me yes, speeding quickly, yeah. Just touch that, you can actually see how pink it is already. Sorry? Fucking hell. I just want you to know what you're doing. None of you are communicating, no one's going together, no one's making eye contact, and no one's reminding each other as a team. Chef, I'm not used to the brigade system, but it, it's, it takes a little time to get adapted to it. And that's it. 
Do you know what? Hey. What's up? You are so fucking sad. Hey, every time I ask you something, you give me the limpest excuse. You know that? I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, I know you've been honest. I'm being fucking honest with you. OK. I love it. He's getting his ass kicked tonight. You're one of the most fucking saddest I've ever met in a fucking kitchen. It takes a little time. I can't get used to this. Sounds like a fucking weirdo on Dr. Phil. Come on, Ben. What's the matter? I'm about to snap with you. What's the matter, Ben? I'm not there anymore. How long, Ben? Two minutes. Two minutes. The men can't seem to work together, but can the women? Maddie, do you have a moment? Yeah, what do you need can me? Can you take the beef to the pass? You got it. Hello! Where's the beef? Looks good. All right, chef, come to the window now. Let's go. Nice to cook the beef. Christina! Yes, that chef. That beef's perfectly cooked. Yes, chef. Oh, I was so proud. And I think as more time goes on, I just get more confident, more confident, more confident. Nicely cooked. Thank you, chef. Fuck the thank you. Just concentrate. Hey, that's one. We've got 20 more to go. Yes, chef. Don't start peeing your fucking knickers. Yes, chef. Service. More than half of the red diners are enjoying their entrees. <laughs> Diners on the blue side are also eating anything they can find. This is really embarrassing, you know? I don't want to eat it. You have to eat a snack at a restaurant. They got their main course over there. It's been an hour. We're almost out of room. Hey, you, just come here a minute. Yeah. Just turn around. Yeah. And look at the fucking net. No, just, come here. Come here. Crap on top of crap on top of crap on top of crap. My station was messy. There's no question about it. Just look here. Look at here. Look. Look. From there to there. Get clean! Yes, chef. Wasn't as organized as I could have been, period. I usually have people cleaning up after me, but certainly not here. Look at the mess! If you could help me pass some of the stuff down, it'd be awesome. While Petroza tries to clean up his act, Chef Ramsay has a few choice words for... Matt! Yes, chef! Come here. Taste that. Yes, chef. Salad. Very nice. Thank Best you. Best result of the night. Thank you, chef. Yeah, fuck the thank you. Let's go. That's delicious, then. It's the best feeling I ever had in my life. I want to hug the man. Yes! Yo, taste this. He, he fucking said this is the best risotto you ever had. Nice. I want to thank my wife and my best friend and, and Chef Ramsay, Chef Scott, Chef Gloria. Thanks a lot for helping me be what I am today. I love it over here. You my girls. Matt revels in a rare compliment. Meanwhile, in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks to Ben for the entrees. How long for those two Wellington? I have that Wellington, Chef. Come here. What is going on? You've got one. Which one have you got? I've got both of the Wellingtons, OK? Listen to me. Yes, sir. Which one is ready? There is nothing ready on that ticket yet. I'm aware you've got them. I need to tell the customers how fucking long. Give me six minutes, please, Chef. For a well done Wellington. Yes, Chef. Back at home, I ran kitchens for years, and you know, no problems. It's just he comes over there and he just gets so fucking riled up, and then he gets you all fluster fucked, and you don't know what you're doing. Petroza. Yes. Where's the mise en place for the lamb? Because I'm gonna be three short. I'll what? wrap you some lamb. Hey, hold on a minute. Hey, come here, you. Yes, sir. Say that again. What time that ticket come on? 6.30. What time's it now? 8 o'clock. But you are joking, aren't you? We've run out of lamb. There are five the fucking entrees. And you tell me now. I got a chef. I'll take care of it. Oh, fuck. Damn, Jen, and I was the problem over there. Then he wanted to use me as a scapegoat and put me out there and say I'm the weakest and I hide behind everyone. The scapegoat's no longer there, and you got no one to blame. Can't cook, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can you fucking wake up? Yes, sir. I'm coming to the end of it now. The blue kitchen is stalled as Ben rushes to prepare the lamb. Meanwhile, the red team keeps the entrees coming. Hello. You. You as well. Hey. Yeah? You may learn something. It's fucking raw. Hey, madam. Yes, chef. It's raw. Yes, chef. 
Chef told me I definitely had to watch my P's and Q's tonight because, you know, tonight was like my night to do better. And obviously I had some what you call mess ups. I just let myself down. How long for that salmon? I need five minutes, Chef. Have you got the garnish for the salmon? No, I didn't hear that either. Hey, you know you look at me when you I talk to me? I just said no, I was putting my food in here, yeah. Chef. Hey, Jay, look at me. You're one fucking cocky lady. For someone who knows jack shit, you know that? Yes, sir. You're so far up your own ass, you don't know how fucking cocky you are. He said I was cocky, but it's like, what the fuck? I act humble every time I see him. So how the fuck am I cocky? That's there, ready, beef slice, sauce ready, garnish there, salmon not ready. It's a story all night. You can't even get two fucking dishes together. That's how shit you be. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck off. Oh, fucking table again. I'm had enough, OK? It's not good enough for me. I've had enough. Enough! I, I can't please that man. And then for him to turn around and, and throw a fucking full ass tray of food on my station, like I'm some type of dog. Dude, don't nobody disrespect me like that. I'm getting tired of this shit right now. I really am. I've had enough. I can't tell you anything anymore. I can't even give you any direction. Do you know why? You're undirectable. Because it's like, oh, really? And you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh. I don't even know if I deserve to stay, because after tonight's performance, I know I let the chef down, and I let myself down, and I let my daughter down. And that's what hurts me the most right now. Fuck a pathetic bunch of fucking women. It's two and a half hours into dinner service, and no food is coming out of either kitchen. It's been an hour since we had our appetizer. However, on the blue side, food is coming back into the kitchen. What table is that? Uh, blue side, Chef. They requested well done, and it's blood all over. Oh. There you go. There you go. Requested well done. Now look at it, then. Schmuck. Jack! I have a lot of pride in myself and what I do. I'm just going to keep working, try and get the food out. It's all you can do. Anything to say? It's easy for you. That's your fucking problem. You've had it fucking easy. You're not even busting your gut. Karma really bites you in the ass. Oh, fucking no, you've taken it easy. <laughs> and listen, hey, hey, look at me. Stop it! Switch it off. You're not sending any more shit out of here. you sent enough. Take it easy. You deserve it. You've had a hard night. Are we done? Because if we're not, I'm going to complete my station tonight, Chef. Shut it down! Turn it off, you dick! <laughs> Stop it! Tonight, we were overconfident, lazy, slow, and somewhat pathetic. Both kitchens. There was one chef that bounced back. Matt. Well done. Thank you, chef. But it was the best risotto that's ever gone out in Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, chef. Why you've waited this long to start doing that, I don't know. Because the women listen to me and, and show me respect. The losing team is the men. I've had enough. Each individual come up with one nominee. Yes, yeah, chef. Now, fuck off to your dorms. I'm on cloud nine right now. I've been getting my ass kicked at Hell's Kitchen since day one, and it's about time I shined. That was the best compliment I ever got. That was a very good compliment. It was a good compliment. That was fucking tight, bro. I'm very humble about it. <sighs> After what was clearly Ben's worst dinner service, he gets strategic. I'm, I'm, I'm nominating myself, because really I ain't selling the three of you guys out. Sure. Who are you putting up, Bob? I'm going with that, too. You, everybody want to go with that? What are you going to do, Lou Ross? I am definitely not going to nominate myself. I, I know I did a good job today. It feels like Ben is trying to play everybody for a fool. I busted everything out. Yeah, you don't have to nominate yourself if you don't want to. I wish Lou Ross would just man up. Maybe we should nominate his ass. Hey, me and you and Petroza are tight. All we have to do is tell Petroza to come in here and you do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to play that game? Yeah. Petroza! Lou Ross, I got mixed feelings about him. He hasn't contributed, and he's probably the weakest one on the team. We're thinking about uh, nominating Lou Ross. You're lying. It's Bobby's idea. I can't nominate Lou Ross. 
throws are serious, okay? Stop and think. I mean, he's he's done nothing in the challenges, you know? I mean, he's... I can't nominate Luke Ross. You did good tonight. How do I nominate him? OK, listen, the safe thing to do is to nominate each other. That way, we're all four up there. Yeah. He just picks one of us. Right. I mean, I don't know what the fuck to do. You nominate me, I nominate you. That's it. OK, done. I haven't made my decision yet. I, I wouldn't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. Hey, do we have an understanding? Are we good? Gentlemen. Yes, Chef. Yes, yes, Chef. Difficult decisions? Yes, Chef. Very difficult. First off, Lou Ross. Who are you nominating and why? I'm nominating Ben Chef. Today, it was a rocky start, but I still held my ground down. I'm not being heard out, and that's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't even fake the funk. It just felt like every single time, I'm just like, yo, you know, anyone going to listen to me? That's, I don't even got nothing to say no more, Chef. I'm sorry. I think after that, I get it. Bravo. Thank you, Chef. you just grown two more inches. Ben, whose dreams are you shattering this evening? I'm going to lean towards Lou Ross on this one. Lou Ross? Yes. You've got it in for that little fellow, haven't you? Bobby, who and why? Tonight, I'm nominating uh, Petroza. I don't think that his heart is directly towards being an executive chef in a gourmet restaurant. Petroza. Yes, chef. Who are you nominating and why? This is a tough decision, Chef. Yeah, fire away, big boy. They're all being clearly honest, slightly vindictive. You speak from the heart like you've been doing. I'm going to nominate myself, Chef. I can't pick any of these guys. They worked too hard, and we came in today and worked our asses off. You know, I tried to get the job done. I just, I wasn't a star in that spot today. Your level of maturity stands out. You're the most gracious man on that team. Thank you, Chef. OK. The one person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. Ben, take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. You're welcome. I gave 100%. I gave everything I had. I put everything into it. You know in your heart if I'm the one for your kitchen or not, and I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass to try and get there. Tonight, we forget everything that's happened, and we put it behind us. Yes, Chef. Now it's time to show how much better you're capable of being. I'm definitely going to win this competition. I'm sharper. I'm faster, you know? I've been training. Watch out for Bobby. I'm taking this whole competition. Red team. Yes, chef. It's five against three. I need a volunteer to go onto the blue. I'd rather be called a woman all day long than go back to the fucking blue team. Let me know first thing in the morning. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Get some sleep. Petroza. Yes, chef. You're a gentleman. Thanks, chef. It means a lot coming from you. I already feel like a winner. I already feel like a winner. But I've got a long way to go. Ben left a manual labor job, shoveling ditches to get back into cooking. But all he did in Hell's Kitchen was dig himself into a hole, a hole too deep to get out of. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Good night. Good night, Chef. After an intense elimination, Chef Ramsay's request for a volunteer to switch from the red team to the blue. Who's coming over to work with Chef Scott? Stay where I am. Yeah. Has both teams thinking. Listen, we're going to have one extra person in our team. But you know what? We still stand our ground. I don't have conflict with the girls, but like, if someone's going to go in there and be like fucking another fucking big headed person, we're going to have to set it straight. Yeah, that's going to be very interesting, man. I think that if you were to leave and go over to the boys team, you would be a better asset on their team. I mean, they would be so fucked up that they might bring you down, because it's three of them and one of you. But then that means that you're weak, because even if they are that weak, then you should be able to rise above that. Not 
I'm not leaving. Like, I really finally feel like if Jen was out of here and went to the boys team, I would finally have my voice back. So my strategy is the sooner we get her out of here, the better. I think it's the best thing for you to go over there and really prove to you, not to anybody else, but to yourself, Jen. Corey is a manipulative ass bitch, and she thinks I'm stupid. I don't weigh her opinion much as a feather in my mind. I still gotta sleep on it. After a night of deliberation, it's time for an answer. Red team, any volunteers to join Petroza, Lou Ross, and Bobby? What, no volunteers? Yes, Chef. Ah, Jen. Why? The red team is safe. I'm not a safe chef, and I want to see what happens over there on the blue side. Who's strong and who's not. So you're sniffing out your competition? Yes, yeah, Chef. Gentlemen, are you happy with that? Yes, yeah, Chef. Yes, yeah, Chef. Yeah. We don't know how she works in the kitchen, so we just see how she is. You know, is it, is it a blessing? Is it a curse? We don't know. Maybe it's purgatory. Jen. Yes, Chef. You go to the blue. Yes, sir. This is huge. If I can go over there and make a difference, it really ain't no stopping me. To stand alongside them. I'm happy about Jen leaving. It's like she's blocking your doorway with her presence, and you can't get around her no matter what you do. And so I'm glad that that roadblock is gone. All kinds of conditions put individual chefs on the spot to be creative. When we run out of something, we have to improvise. And today, we're going to do it in House Kitchen. Today's challenge, in the kitchen, you'll all come across 20 items, and it's up to each of you to create a dish. Four dishes for the red and four for the blue. You must use all the 20 items as a team. And under no circumstances can any ingredient be repeated. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes. 20 items, 45 minutes from now. The chefs must work together to divide their ingredients, which include an assortment of meats, vegetables, seafood, citrus, and nuts. We've got oyster mushrooms, we've got walnuts. Three, four. We grabbed a piece of paper, a marker, and we just started writing down each ingredient so that cleared up any confusion. Come on, let's go. Here's a veal chop. Do Italian style, make it nice, yeah? I got a pot on this side for the France. I'm gonna get some butter on and melt it for my sauce. The red team is off and running. Meanwhile, over in the blue kitchen... Fish could stand alone, seriously. The new team member is making her presence known. Just grab what you need for your dish. Let's go. Is potato used yet? Yeah. Yes, a lemon potatoes. used yet. I okay. Need you I'm use the sure. lemons? You don't even need pancetta. I'll use that. You grab these pancetta off the tray. Are you telling him or asking him? Jen started taking off every ingredient out there. I'll take this. I'm taking that. I take this. This, this is not gonna, it's not gonna click right. You gotta use the veal. I'll use it. You can use them, use them, go. 10 minutes into the challenge, the blue team is still dividing their ingredients, while the red team is already cooking theirs. Make sure you use every ingredient one time. I'm just gonna put this veal kind of like in a creamy sauce. Ow! You cut yourself? Yeah, real bad. I just took off the tip of my finger. Oh my god. We have a bad cut. Right. I took off the tip. Max sliced the tip of his finger off, and I do mean like a half inch of his finger right off. It's got it. He's sick. What's wrong? I took off the tip of my finger. I'll Let's get to the medic. Quick. Damn. Up. Damn, damn, damn. Just stay focused. Yeah, you have cut the top off. Woo. That's pretty bad, huh? Yeah, you cut the tip right off. See, I'm like, now we're one down, and we still gotta make that dish. And we keep going. The girls are down a person, and that could very easily cause us to lose. All right, guys, keep talking. So this is Matt's dressing. What kind of sauce did you get? With Matt sidelined, the women rally to complete all of the dishes for their team. Ready? The um, pancetta's in the pan, guys. I'll keep an eye on it. Until Chef Ramsay brings up a good point. Where's the top of the finger gone? Oh, good question. Find his finger. I don't know where it is. Oh, what's this? I have no idea. Oh, I'm not seeing anything there. Check the pancetta he was cutting. Gross. Oh, fuck me. We just cooked Maddie's finger. I might use it. I'm serious. You just turned it into a 21-item challenge. Finger pancetta. Oh, God. With 30 minutes remaining, the red team works to keep on track. Keep going. With solid communication. Right, this is Matt's dressing. 
Meanwhile, the blue kitchen is a little quiet. Guys got to communicate with each other. He's got preserved lemons, you have preserved lemons, you have an onion, he has an onion. You have to use separate ingredients. Start working together. Understood, chef, thank you. Everybody broke down and everybody was just fitting for themselves. You know, we're like a wild pack of dogs. You know, on one bone, just thrown out there. Right, let's go, big boy. All right, man. Here we go. Hey. Careful yeah. with it, yeah. OK, try and keep that thumb out of the way. Yeah, chef. Yeah, and listen, you've still got nine left. I yeah. know, chef. I'm in so much pain with my thumb, but I don't want to lose the challenge because of me. Ten minutes left. Let's go. This veal is going to be very hard with my uh, chicken, so if somebody want to turn that veal into a surfing turf, maybe. OK, I got two red snappers right now. The best thing to do with that veal is a surfing turf with a fish. Yeah? Yeah, I will go with that. Bobby didn't want the veal, so Jay comes in and says, you should do a surfer turf. I hate doing surfer turf. That's not my thing. Two minutes to go. Let's go. Yes, yeah, chef. How's everybody doing on plating? Good, good, good. Rest the veal chop on top of the potato. Did we get that veal off the bone yet? Yeah. Come on, guys. Last minute to go. Here's your veal. Come on, Roseanne. That's enough. Come on, Rosie. 15 seconds to go. Dude, I don't know how I'm going to get that veal on top, dude. Just put it on there. 10. Walk it up, walk it up. 9. Come on, guys. 8. 7. Put the sauce on top. 6. Come on, Lou Ross. 5. How are we going to plate this? What's wrong? I'm like, Lou Ross, if you don't put this piece of veal on there, he's like, it just doesn't look right. And I'm just like, put the fucking veal on there. 3. Come on. 2. 1. Stop. Stop, Jen! You serve what you plated. Ah. Unbelievable. Was the veal cooked all the way? Yeah. Why didn't they just put it like right in the center of them two pieces of fish? Hey, it's. I don't know. You know what? You guys got your dishes ready. This is mine. It's set. I had a rustic dish presented to go. Putting veal next to red snapper will just throw off the taste. The veal was cooked. It just had to be thrown on that fucking plate. You rendered the veal in the sauce. Joe was telling me to say you rendered the fat off of it, but I, and for me to fucking lie and tell him that I used five ingredients, that's going to haunt me forever. Right. Did you use the time wisely? Yes, yes chef. chef. Did you use all 20 items? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good, 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 good. First up, Christina and Petrosa. Let's go. What is it? It's a fried snapper with crab meat, and then mm -hmm. I made a hollandaise-style sauce. Mm -hmm. How many items did you use? I used five, chef. Mm -hmm. I like that. Clever idea, using a hollandaise with the eggs. Very yes, good. Chef. Petrosa. Yes. Explain. I have uh, a warm crab salad mm -hmm. with an onion souffle. Mm -hmm. How many items did you use? Five. Very brave, doing a souffle. Yeah? You attempt it, and it hits perfect. Thank you. I have to be honest, it's hard to decide one. You're both are winners. One, one. Thanks. Piss off. Jen, nine finger mat, let's go. Ladies first. Jen, what is it? I did a pancetta wrapped and roasted quail. How many ingredients did you use? Uh, four, chef. Tastes nice. Thank you, chef. Matt, what is it? It's a pan roasted quail mm -hmm. on top of arugula. I used six ingredients, chef. Mm -hmm. It's really weird. You should have checked and pulled out the liver because it's tainted the flavor of the quail. Yes, chef. What a shame. Well done, Jen. Thank you, Chef. 2-1 to the blue. Right, Jen. Oh, dear. Corey and Bobby. It's a Colombian sour lemon chicken with braised artichokes. How many items do you use? Three. It's very tasty but somewhat a bit of a disappointment because you've only used three items and it's plain. Yes. From you, with your experience, I expected a bit more. Yeah? Yep. OK. Bobby, what is it? Yeah, Chef, this is a um, walnut-encrusted buffalo mozzarella chicken with the um, balsamic glaze. How many items? Six. Six. The glaze is horrendous. There's far too much of it there. What a shame. Corey, well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. 
The score is tied, and it's down to the final two. OK, Roseanne, Lou Ross, let's go. But Lou Ross has more to worry about than the taste of his dish. Roseanne, what is it? This is a pan-seared veal bone-in with a cream sauce, garlic, the onion, watercress, and I oven-roasted those potatoes. Six ingredients. Looks very clumsy. It's the kind of dish you want to take the dog out for dinner as well at the same time. You eat the meat and give the fucking dog the bone. <laughs> OK, Lou Ross. Yes, chef. What is it, please? Yeah, I did a red snapper with the oyster, oyster mushroom sauce. They use the preserved lemons mm -hmm. as to, uh, to, to deglaze it, in a way. And then uh, from then on, um, just go, sauteed it. Well, mm -hmm. I like that. Snapper tastes lovely. Thank you, sir. Presentation's nice. Uh, how many items do you use? I use four, chef. Stupid ass. Four. Yeah, chef. Jen, four ingredients. Bobby, six. Petroza, five. Four. That's 19 ingredients used, one not used. Where's the veal? Chef, it was supposed to go on Lou Ross's plate. It's like a surf and turf was his idea for it. And at the last minute, he didn't put it on. Where's the veal? Veal's on the cottage bush, Chef. What did I say? It is the 20-item challenge. Yes, you did, Chef. 20 items is 20 items. The test of this challenge was to maximize on the ingredients given to you. Yes, Chef. Blue team, you failed miserably because you forgot to serve the veal. Back in line. I'm just blown away. Why didn't you put the veal on? It was right there. It was right there. Right, blue team, I'm going to put you to work. You're going to spend all day doing laundry. Tablecloths, dishcloths, aprons, jackets, serviettes, washing, steaming, all by hand. Winners today, you're coming with me on a very exclusive photo shoot. Yeah! With a exclusive interview with In Touch magazine. Awesome! You've got the staff treatment. Off you go. Well done. Thank you, Chef. I love you guys. This is the prize I wanted. I'm sorry, Petroza. It's all right, man. Fuck, man. I'm a fucking idiot, dude. I had all my items clear until the veal had to come into place. Veal was the only one that was missing. That was, that was selfish of him to do that. It was completely cooked. He just did not want to put it on his plate. Now they finna go on a photo shoot. Damn, you Ross. A whole day doing laundry. So not he like fucked up. Like that. Stupid motherfucker. Fucking stupid. Woo! <laughs> Oh, God, I just feel so diva-ish right now. You know, but I wonder what's going through Jen's mind, you know, like hopping teams and then to, like, lose this huge, great prize. While the red team cleans up for their photo shoot with Chef Ramsay, the blue team just cleans. Laundry, yeah, that's the punishment. Let's hurry up because there are many more coming afterwards. Jen, please put a smile on your face, my dear. Hi, right, guys, come over. Let me introduce you to uh, fabulous wow, editor. Chef. In touch, this is Kevin. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? So, are you ready? Yes, Chef. Rosanna, I didn't know you could spruce up so well. Amazing. Well done, guys. Well Please. done, my darling. Thank you. I wonder how Jen feels. Oh, ouch. Jen, I found your little friend. He's as feisty as you are today. Look at it. I'm pissed off for Lou Ross right now. Pissed off about being here having to do laundry. So, no, I'm not going to be happy in doing cartwheels. Jen could be like a little volcano. And if that volcano goes off, it could 
mess up our whole little kitchen village. Absolutely fabulous. Hard to believe you girls cook for a living. Off you go. Have you got Matt's tummy tucked behind the door? Yes. Thank you. Oh, lovely. My daughter, Stephanie, is going to be very excited to see me in an In Touch magazine. It's such a wonderful feeling. OK, we got it. How are you doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Jen, shall I see this lovely smile on your face? You ain't going to be seeing no smile on no. my face. Are you going to be bitchy the whole day? Yeah. Yeah, well, OK. I think it's not fair for your colleagues. It's not fair that I'm here, so whatever. My dish was flawless, as usual. As fucking usual, my shit was flawless, so I don't give a fuck. Stupid ass. If she won't call me names like that, like I'm an idiot, or like all these like stupid names, you know what I'm saying? It's done. I don't give a fuck who she is. I'm not scared. We lost this challenge today, and it was actually no fault of man. I don't blame anybody but Lou Ross. Whatever, dude. I'll take the blame for it. Let her get mad. Let her wallow away her sorrows over a fucking loss. I don't care. Here they are. How's it going? Hey guys. Jen don't look too happy. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, thank you. When the girls came in, they had makeup on, hair done, and I didn't really look at them. I didn't feel like talking to anybody. I just felt like being to myself. Jennifer is outcasting herself from the rest of the group. You can't hold a grudge like that. Jen's gonna have to shake it off. We can't afford to lose tomorrow dinner service. It could be a dangerous game she playing. Oh. The last dinner service in Hell's Kitchen was a disaster. If the newly reshuffled teams want to win, they'll have to work together. Lou Ross, why don't you just sit your pan right there? Freaking Jen, shut the fuck up already, dude, you know? Lou Ross, why don't you go ahead and add the rest of this flour? Last time the door was overworked. You don't be overworked as long as you put enough flour in there the first time. Jen and Lou Ross have that dumbass bickering back and forth. You can't be worried about the baby shit. You can smell the love in here. Oh, man, it's incredible. While the blue team struggles to get along with Jen, the red team is getting along just fine without her. Cool. Now I'm happy, happy, happy. I kind of feel like we were bullied. I feel like the bully's gone. Yeah, the bully is gone. You're right. I'm pretty confident dinner service will go better without Jen there. Now we don't have the big bully on our team telling us what to do. The key is to work together, and that's how the red team's going to win. OK, two minutes, please, guys. Let's go. How are we feeling? Good job. Yeah. Red team, what's it like not having Jen? Great chef. Blue team. Are we working together or against each other? Today, we bonded together, and we're working together as a team. Great, because tonight, we have got two of America's finest food critics. Be warned, their reviews will help me determine which team has won tonight's service. And here's the really scary thought. I do not know where they're sitting, but in my world, every table's a critic's table. So I'm going to be over everything, I swear to God. You're cooking my standard. Is that clear? Yes, Right, sections set up, yeah? Let's go. What well, Christina say? How do it feel without Jen? Great? Yeah. Oh, hell no. The minute I switched over to the blue team, them bitches was backstabbing me. Now I'm just an enemy. It is on tonight. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. All right, so guys, we are one. We are one. Come on, girls. Let's go, Matt. We all know how to cook. Just got to rock it out. OK. JP, open house kitchen, yes? I think I'm going to go with yeah. Minnesota. The diners have arrived in Hell's Kitchen, and so have the critics. So we're going to 
let's take one from the two kitchens. So how about a scallop from each kitchen? Okay, and then, and then we'll do a risotto from each kitchen. The teams will be going head to head as the critics have ordered the same dishes from each kitchen. Up first, the red team. One scallop, one risotto, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Christina, how long are the scallops? Scallops going down right now. With the critics coming out tonight, I will step up and I'll lead the team, just making sure that everything goes right. Does anybody need a hand? Now that Jen is gone, this is my time to shine. Come on, please. Corey. Yes, chef. Very nice, that risotto. Yes. Thank you. Go, please. Corey and Christina's appetizers have made it past Chef Ramsay. But he's not the only one they have to please tonight. Everything that's coming out now is from the... It's from the red side. It's from the red side. Yeah, I like this. It has texture, it has flavor. The red team's appetizers have been well received. Now, it's up to Jen and Lou Ross to deliver for the blue team. Blue kitchen. On order. One risotto, one scallops. Yes, chef. Make it count, Jen. Let's go. Are you ready, Lou Ross, with the scallops? I'm about to play it up right now, Jen. I messed up hard on yesterday's challenge. If we lose tonight, who's going to be in the chopping block? Me. I have to cook like it's my last day. Where's the risotto, please? Going to the window now. Where's the scallops? Yes, chef's coming. Where is it? You got 30 seconds, otherwise I'll send it Scallop back. Scallop plating up right now, chef. Scallop plating up right now. Ross, get them up, please. Come up now, right now. Are they ready? Yes, chef, they're ready. Hey, Lou Ross. Yeah, beautiful. Wow, fucking hallelujah. Those scallops are perfect. Make sure every scallop comes out like that now, yes? Yes, chef. OK, pick up, please, go. This is the blue team scallops. Darn good. What a good tasting dish. No. 45 minutes into dinner service, the red team has completed over half their appetizers. Service, please. Now, the pressure is on Matt to impress Chef Ramsay with his filet. OK, two beef and one into one salmon. Yes, Chef. You. Come here, you. Come here. Round here. Look yes. at those bits of beef there. Yes, you chef. you got one fucking large one, one medium one, then one small one. Yes, Chef. What are you doing? Matt's meat, all three were totally different. Are you serious? That's not good enough for me. So, there you go. There's a daddy, there's a mummy, there's a fucking baby. Supposing that's a critic's table. One critic's got that, one has that. Supposing that's medium well. What's going to happen to that when so it's shrink, well? chef. The tenderloin, they really do shrink when they cook. I know better than that. I'm an idiot. Look at it. We're fucked. Yes, chef. What did I say to you? I'm looking for everything. Yes, chef. Got it, chef. I'm not pissing around now, huh? I know, that's chef. That's bullshit. Yes, chef. Hey, Mr. Inconsistent, wake up. Yes, Chef! Unbelievable. Hey, let's wake up, guys. Especially me. While Matt tries to control his shrinkage, the blue team is eager to show Chef Ramsay that they can keep up the good work. Two Wellington, two salmon. Petroza! Yes. Three minutes? Three minutes. I really wouldn't do that if I were you, Petroza. Blue Ross still got a good three minutes. Hey, Petroza, why'd you cut the beef now? Damn, what in the hell is Patrosa over there doing? Patrosa sliced her beef tenderloin three or four minutes before he was supposed to. And that, you know, drains out all the juices and everything. You're shouting off three minutes, yet the goodness is in there. That's called flavor. What are we going to do, serve that to the customer? No. Nah. Why'd you cut the beef now? I, I was just, I, I couldn't help myself from looking inside. I just couldn't contain myself. So why don't you just touch it? You're right, I should have never have cut it. I'm hoping it doesn't affect our team. And supposing it's for the fucking critic. Supposing it's for the critic. Yeah, critics, critics, critics. You just screwed your team. Hurry up, because Petroza's cut the fucking beef. Ah, oh, 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 sliced the beef already. You got to give me one more minute on that, boy. One more minute. Petroza. Yes, chef. Hey, are you done? You finished? No, I'm not finished. How long in the salmon, Lou Ross? You have to give me one more minute, Petroza. I'm ready, though. As soon as you can put it up, OK? Petroza, you deserve to lose. Lewis, I'm ready. I'm ready. You deserve to lose. I'm ready. It's Critics' Night in Hell's Kitchen. And 55 minutes into dinner service, the customers have finished their appetizers and are waiting for their entrees. I'm hungry, and I want to eat right now. Hurry up, because Petroza's cut the fucking beef. Come on, 
guys. Everybody stop panicking. Lewis. I'm ready, I'm ready. Stop panicking. Let's get it back together, Petroza. I'm plating up salmon. All together now, guys. Yeah, it's a two beef right here. Putting on the pass. Service, please. Go, please, let's go. Two beef and Wellington one chicken. They're up. Away, next ticket, you fucking idiot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Petroza, come on, man. Don't burn out on me. Don't burn out. About three minutes to the risotto, one scale of one crab. That's what I want to hear. Thank you. No problem, Jeff. So you're there. You're in front. It's got a whole fucking treadmill. Come on. Let's get it, guys. Let's get it. While Jen steps up in the blue kitchen, over in the red kitchen, Corey is taking the lead. Come on, girls. Let's go, Matt. We have this. Let's move it along. Salmon, how long? Christina, coming in my hand right now. OK. Here's the salmon. Oh, fucking hell. Christina. Yes, chef. Salmon, nice that side. Turn it around, you got a big, dried, overcooked piece of shit. Sorry. Salmon, how long? I'm gonna need seven minutes. Seven minutes? Salmon is a very quick process. It takes a couple minutes. It is not that difficult. Christina, can you do two things at once? Uh, I've got two entrees and some scallops. If you can't control two things at once, you should no, be here. No, I, I told her I couldn't. Yeah, control. shut up, will you, yeah? Sorry. I really fucking mean that from the bottom of my heart. Sorry, Shut chef. up. Get your salmon on now. Working in the pan right now. One minute, Christina, come on. My timing was so wrong. It was like I all of a sudden hit a train wreck. Guys, let's not freak out. Let's go. Christina, I want it now. Hurry, Hurry up. up. Hurry up, madam. Good. Finally. You fucking lazy cow. Service, please. Tonight's not your night, is it? No, chef. Thank you, my dear. The salmon has a vague flavor, but not a great flavor. It's very uh, peppery. The critics are not exactly raving over Christina's salmon. Now it's time for Lou Ross's dish to be reviewed. Two salmon, how long? Lou Ross, what's happening back there? Come on. Going up with the salmon. Let's go. Service, please. More flavorful. Yeah, very nice. Um, it's just a nicely turned order of salmon. The blue team has served nearly all of their entrees and impressed the critics. Meanwhile, the red team I am starving. has made an impression as well, and it's not a good one. The red side, of, not one of them has food on the table. We're running behind. For how long? Matt's up now. Let's move it, move it. I'm at the window. He's at the window to get the bed job. Yeah, come on. How are you doing, Roseanne? Where's the fucking garnish? That's burn. Hey, madam, come here. Why are you burning bread? It was an accident, Chef. Roseanne just doesn't know how to organize herself. She gets herself worked up and burns garnishes. The beef is cooked, and now we still haven't got the garnish. And it screws up the rest of the team. You're not trustworthy on service. I'm nervous with you in the kitchen. We haven't got the garnish, Roseanne. I have to tell you a confession. This is the last order of gnocchi that I have, and I'm going to be short in the last order. Oh. I mean, before, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Chef. Oh, I'm I sorry you're here. Oh, fucking hell. Carrot puree, for how long? Chef's call for carrot puree. Carrot puree? Carrot puree. Carrot puree, let's go. Where is it? Where's the carrot puree? Roseanne. I'm running out of ca carrot puree. Oh, my god almighty. Fuck me. How about some carrots, Chef? I'll give you baby carrots, Chef. Carrots or mash? I got plenty of mash. While Chef Ramsay takes a moment to reflect, the blue team forges ahead. Guys, we got this last little push. Let's roll. Bobby, I got two Wellingtons coming up and two salmon. OK. You got your mashed carrots, Bobby? Yes, man. Where's the Wellington? Yes, Chef. Here it is, Wellington medium and beef. They're beautifully cooked, Petroza. Thank you, Chef. Heat the momentum up. Yes, Chef. It's remarkable. We are flowing well together. We're like super blue. The blue kitchen has proven to Chef Ramsay that they can cook. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. Chef Matt, from here, they look raw. They look raw! Yeah. The red kitchen is a disaster. I got it, Chef. Can you get the beef back in the fucking oven? Matt, how long? I don't know anymore. Come on, Matt, bounce the fuck back. Fuck, man. Let's go, Matt. Let's go get it out. Beef chicken Wellington, how long? Coming to the pass. Oh, uh, fuck me, here we go. Chef Matt, yeah, there's the beef. That looks like a pile of shit. And you had the nerve to give me that there with the critics out there. Hey, hey, fuck, you serve it. Let's see what standards you've got. Serve it. No, Chef, serve I it. won't Stand serve there it. Stand there look like a knob. I serve won't it. Serve. Look at the customer. Chef, I won't serve it. Uh, hey, you, come here. You as well. 
Hey, you. You're just as bad. Hey, would you serve that to a critic? Definitely not. Would you serve that to a critic? Would you serve that to a critic? No, chef. Yeah, would you serve that to a no, critic? Chef. So, let's get this right. You won't serve it. But you give it to me. Get out! Get out! Get out! I'm sad. Fuck off, will you, yeah? Getting kicked out of the kitchen by Chef Ramsay was the hardest thing ever. I failed myself, and I failed Chef Ramsay, and I feel horrible. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself right now. <laughs> Fucking shit. Sure, Jen will be happy. I am doing my best. I'm trying to lead the team, but like, you know, like I could have finished tonight. I fucking did my station, I did desserts, I'm jumping around and looking like an idiot, you know, and I don't appreciate it. Like, I'm just fucking sick of it. I really am. It sucks, dude. Bobby, Petroza, Red Kitchen, let's go. Okay, I need a Wellington, a beef, and a John Dory, please, yes? Am I happy that the girls got kicked out and we had to go over there and save the day? <laughs> Coming up. Coming up with it. Last ticket, guys, yeah? Well done. Quick. Come on, go, 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 come on, go. Two brulee, let's go. OK, good. Well done. Thank you. Turn everything off. What a mess. The blue team was so much better than the red team. It was an embarrassment. Let me read out what the critics said. Blue kitchen. Food was well arranged. Really good. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Red team. Food, sloppy. Lacked any passion and any flavor. The exact same menu and a complete opposite experience. Corey, solid performance. The best of the worst, clearly. Get back to the dorms and nominate two of your team for elimination. Piss off. I am the only one that did a good job in the kitchen. It was just not good, you know? It was definitely hell tonight. Matt was really fucking up with me. Embarrassing. I'm not here to be, like, trying to throw Matt under the bus or anything. I'm just saying, like, it is what the fuck it is. As far as a team goes, nobody wants to step up and really accept responsibility. I think Roseanne and I both had shitty services, and we both deserve to go out there. I think she's fucked up more than I have. I mean, repeatedly. Roseanne and Matt should definitely go up. The other people on the team are just making excuses right now for themselves. They're like little children. I, I want you to know, I didn't give up. I, nothing was going right. I mean, honestly, tonight, I put all three of you up there. And I just don't want to hear anybody else's excuses. And I've heard them all. I've made my decision. And um, I'm not really interested in hearing anything else. OK, Cory, first nominee and why, please? My first nominee is Matt for his performance tonight. My second nominee is Roseanne. I really, really like her as a person, but I never want to work with her in a kitchen ever again during service. Thank you. No problem. I agree, but there's somebody else I want to step forward as well, because she had one bad service, and it's not her first. Christina. Roseanne and Matt, step forward, please. All three of you. Christina. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay? Chef, tonight's service was really bad. I know I can do better, but I think I have had good services. How long have you been cooking? Three years. Do you not think it's time for you to go back to culinary school? No, Chef, not at all. Aren't you out your depth? Absolutely not, Chef. I'm a fighter, and I want to be here. I really do. Roseanne. Yes, Chef. Truthfully, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I really believe that I need to stay in Hell's Kitchen because the more I stay in Hell's Kitchen, the more I'm learning here. I'm 33 years old, and I have the stamina and energy of a teenager, and I do not give up. OK, Roseanne, back in line. Matt. Yes, Chef. Third time here. The writing's on the wall. Three strikes and you're out? No, it's not for me, Chef. I'm nauseated by my performance tonight, and I can't believe that was me up there. I admit today I cook like a jerk. 
You're done, really, aren't you? No, I'm not, Chef. I'm never done. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Roseanne. Take your jacket off and go back to your daughter. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. It's been a pleasure and an honor. Good night, my darling. I will definitely go back into the culinary business because it's a passion for me. I'm disappointed in myself, but I'm definitely going to tell my daughter that no matter what happens to you in life, you just keep on trying, dust yourself off, and never stop going for what you want. Christina, you've been warned big time. You're going to have to bounce back. Yes, Chef. The only way I can stay is if I make the biggest comeback in Hell's Kitchen history. I feel like my days are numbered. And you, you're on borrowed time. Yes, Chef. You can call me a fucking donkey all day, fat pig. You can talk about my balls being small, me shitting my pants, but I'll never give up. Now there's only three of you left. There's no room for error. Good night. Yes, Chef. Blue team, well done. Thank you, Thank chef. you chef. They can all go home right now. Everybody, swipe them all out, them 40 ass bitches. That's what they get. If the size of one's mouth corresponded to the size of one's talent, then Roseanne would have been a world-class master chef. Unfortunately, she just has a big mouth. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Blue team, well done. Lori, I'm sorry I let you down. Whatever. I'm, I'm sorry I let you down. Seriously, it doesn't even matter. That will never happen again. All right. Matt gave up tonight. He let the team down. You know, I think that he enjoys cooking, but I think that he could be better at something else, like a used car salesman. You are on thin ice. <laughs> I got to get off it again. I'll get off it again. I need to work my ass off to continue to stay. As Chef Ramsay said, I'm on borrowed time, so I have got to prove myself to him. I just let my, I'm going to let my cooking talk now. Just let the cooking talk. Yeah. I ain't doing that Jennifer shit. Hey, guys, do this, you know. Blue team one, but Jennifer is like, she's like a big baby. We're gonna have a problem with her. What she did tonight didn't impress me. Not at all. You gotta nip it. I don't like walking around eggshells around anyone. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that eggshell feeling. Morning. Good morning, Chef. One thing I've noticed across everybody is that we're still struggling with one big issue, and that's timing. Our next challenge today will test our communication and our timing. Each team will make three items off the menu. Scallops, John Dory, and chicken. But there's a catch. Only one of you will be in the kitchen at any time. Each chef will have six minutes to cook. The next chef will come in and pick up where they left off. You have 15 seconds to communicate to each other exactly where you are. Blue team, decide amongst yourselves who's stepping out. What's up, guys? OK. Are we doing the veg? All right, the first thing. I'm definitely not stepping out, because I move fast, straight up. Okay. Bobby, I think you definitely move super fast, too. My immediate plan was to put our three strongest people in this challenge and leave the weakest person out. You were like flawless on me, so I would prefer maybe you do the cooking. Lou Ross moves fast, but he doesn't get nothing done. I'll, I'll go second. first. And I'll go last then. You want okay. me to step out? Well, I hate Jeb. Like, what the hell? You know what? I don't got no talent. You know what I'm saying? If I don't have any talent, why the fuck am I still here? Is that OK with you? Does that work for you? All right. Fine, I'll step out. If you guys can do it masterly perfect, then all right, do it. Blue team, who is sitting out? I am, Chef. You move quite fast in the kitchen. Thank you, Chef. I'm surprised you're out. I'm surprised, okay. too. OK. Red team, take your place with Gloria. Blue team, 
Take your place with the Scott. Let's go. I think I only won one challenge out of like eight. But they starting to hurt now, you know? So we need a W. We need a win. Are we ready? Yes, yes. chef. On your marks. Get set. Go. Go, Matt. Don't fall. Don't fall. For this relay challenge, each of the three dishes, scallops, John Dory, and chicken, has a different cooking time. Good. 15 seconds gone. The teams will have to plan carefully to ensure that all the food is ready together. Matt, the whole kitchen was shaking there when you were running. Let's go. 45 seconds gone. First thing I did is put the chicken in. Chicken has to be poached. It takes about 10 minutes to poach that chicken. Go on, Matt. Yes, sir. I'm rocking and rolling. I wanted to get all the garnishes in the pan ready for the next person. We need a win. We need a win. Pants, pants, pants. Season the chicken, season the chicken, please. It's really nerve-wracking because the people that weren't in the kitchen had to stand really far away, so we couldn't even see what was going on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop cooking. Stop. Six minutes, even though it seems like a lot of time, it's nine. Go. Here, on there, explain. I got all the veg on, chicken strop, everything's mise en place. All right, great. Is that it? Yeah, she knows. I have no idea what Matt even said to me. <laughs> all right, we're missing mushrooms. Switch, stay there, explain, here. Okay, Bobby, I got the time seconds. to set for the chicken. Scallops are cut, I got the John Dory. Yoki gotta come out and go into another hot pan. You know how to do Ouch. that. Ow! Petroza told me what he had started, you know, and that's all I needed to hear from Petroza. You know, that's my, that's my forte, think, plan, and execute. Let's go, Bobby. Yes, sir. Oh, come on. I took the chicken out of the poaching liquid. When I was taking the chicken off the carcass, it was raw. So it's going to take a long time. She put it in the pan for it. Oh, my. When Christina was in there, I kind of was cringing a little bit. She did not cook the chicken the way she was supposed to. It's going to be overcooked, and uh, that's going to be a problem. Cory, Jen, stand by, yes? Yes, chef. I know I have to excel. I know I can do this, and I know I will get us to win this challenge. Switch. Stop cooking. Stop cooking. Stop cooking. Switch. All right, everything's out. Chicken's in the oven. Leave it in there. It was pretty raw. You've got to put Everything is here. Five, four, three, I didn't two, for you. one. Where's my Ouch! 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 As soon as I left that kitchen, I said, you got all your stuff here. You don't have to run for nothing. And uh, it was up to her. For the important anchor leg of the relay, Jen and Corey must sear the seafood, finish off the chicken, and plate all of the entrees. Let's go. Yes, chef. Patrolza and Bobby had everything set up great. It was perfect for me to bang out my plate. Three minutes to the window. Let's go. I literally had, like, step by step of what I was going to do. And then when I got up there, everything kind of fell apart. Corey, nothing on the plate. One minute to go. Hurry up. Let's go. Come on, Corey. Work it, Jen Jen. Work it, Jen Jen. Come on, Jen. Come on, come on. Got this, Jen Jen. Make it count, Jen. Yes, yeah, chef. Sure. Come on, Jen. Start cooking it up. Jen just like, I'm a beast. I'm flawless. You know what I'm saying? Everything I do is perfect. OK. You know what I'm saying? Now it's me. I was like, all right, all right, let's see. Let's see. You know what I'm saying? Speed it up, John. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, serve. Up. Dishes on and serve. OK. Good. Well done. OK. As always, for me, the proofs and the tasting. Right, scallops. OK, so we've got salad missing on one. Corey? We just forgot it. Jen? Yes, sir. Yeah. What is that? Overcooked eggs. Let's taste, shall we? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Very nice. Red scallops. Seasoned beautifully. Blue team. Puree nice. Unfortunately, the scallops are raw in the center. Raw. Raw. I'm going to be honest, I was surprised about the scallops because, in my opinion, they were cooked perfect. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. It's raw. Okay, yeah? Mm -hmm. OK? Yes, sir. Red team, well done. One nil. Thank you, chef. OK, John Dory. Red team, sauce over the end. Carrot purees underneath. Yes. Nice. Sauce, slightly too thick. In terms of presentation, looks dreadful. OK, blue team. Yes, yes. No sauce? Yeah, it was burned. I can't make this. It's, it's a, 
Me, me, I'm a... Come on. We're in a, we're, we're in a professional establishment. Chef, no sauce. I forgot. I burnt it. The pan was burned. Yes, the pan chef. was burnt. Yes, so okay. it was scorched. Tastes delicious. Presentation-wise, it's put on the plate together with some flair. Well done. Blue team, no sauce. Red team, presentation, shocking. Almost like you dropped it. If I was going to eat any of those dishes for dinner, I'll choose the blue one. Well done. One, one. OK, last dish. Chicken, red team. Nicely cooked. Thank you, chef. Moist. Everything's there, except the baby leeks. OK, blue team. Yes, chef. Chicken. Nicely cooked. Moist. Oof. Nice. Really nice. The dish is minus the sauce. <laughs> Tough call. One's missing a leek, one's missing a sauce. The winning team is is the red team. <laughs> well done. We won. We won. We won. Woo! Blue team, you forgot the sauce for the jandori, and you forgot the sauce for the chicken. I can't eat two dishes with no sauce. Jen's lost the challenge for the team. Period. You can't forget the sauce. You just got like this. Pour it on. And had you put that sauce on the chicken, I think you may have won. I felt like I did a great job back there, but it just came down to me missing out on that sauce. I forgot. Simple as that. I'm not going to say I'm sorry. I mean, hey, I'm going to move on. Redeem, well done. Congratulations. Today's reward is phenomenal. We're going to the beach. Woo! Get upstairs. Go and get your swimsuits. Your convertible is waiting outside, oh, yes? Nice. Let's go. I'm feeling great about Red Team right now. It's actually my favorite color. OK, Blue Team, punishment. You're now the Hell's Kitchen maintenance crew. Uh, no. Well, I've been working as a chef for the last 10 years on executive chef level. I'm no maintenance man. So you'll be spending all day sprucing up Hell's Kitchen. Yes, sure. chef. I'd like the red carpet clean as well, please. Oh, man, you know, like, man, I want to go to the beach. Ah! I'm so mad. Let's go. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Beach baby, beach baby. I love the beach. I'm looking so pale. I haven't seen the sunshine in like a week. I can't wait to just get out there and relax and have a great time. Oh, the convertible. I know. We had to scrub the Hell's Kitchen sign outside, and it was a mess. Ah. Sorry, man. You OK? Yeah. I'm over the punishments. I am very over the punishments. Look at Maggie. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. That's really nice of Petrosa to let you borrow his first car. Bye. We got to the beach, and the legendary Jay Zuma was there, ready to teach us how to surf. I am so excited. OK, Jay. First off, this is the, the winning team. Good morning. Good morning. Are you all psyched up for a surf lesson today? As I say in surfing, hang loose. I feel skinny. <laughs> While the red team gets into their wetsuits, the blue team is getting into suits of their own. Ready. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't I look like a walking headless man? Yeah, it's a punishment, but at the same time, let's have fun. <laughs> Where am I? You stupid. And you got a wedgie. I was more or less laughing at him than laughing with him. Hold on, buddy. Hey, let go of the thing, Jennifer. Don't tell me to hold on. If I had to describe Jen, she's like a little brat. She started pissing me off, you know, with this bossy brat. And uh, I don't have time for that. You know, I'll come in peace, but if you break my sanctuary, you will feel it. You don't run this shit here. Do you? Yeah. You don't run shit that got anything You're giving all these do. orders. You know, you don't give me no orders. What the hell? Who are you talking to? I'm not going to argue with you, Bobby. Please don't. As Jen and Bobby battle each other, 
Out in Malibu, the red team gets ready to battle the waves. <laughs> First time I was ever surfing, I banged my head on the bottom of the ocean floor, but it was fun. It, it was great. I was just so happy to be surfing. I mean, I'm from Missouri. We don't really know a whole lot about surfing there. This is definitely an experience of a lifetime. I was just trying to like keep my cool and not look like a total idiot. So glad to see you, JP. How are you guys? Here we are. My favorite person right now. Thank you. Man, did Chef Ramsay have a great time out there. I think he enjoyed it more than all of us. He picked it up pretty well, but he's a maniac to begin with. No, 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 she's Look up, look up, look up, Oh, my God. While the day at the beach comes to an end for the red team, back at Hell's Kitchen, the blue team is busy cleaning the red carpet. I definitely don't like losing, and I really am sick of being a punishment like this. We were down here all day long. Hey, y'all. Uh. Hi. Yo, 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 please. You know, please, don't go on the carpet. We just finished steaming it, all right? What's up, guys? Where I come from, it's all about respect. But here, nobody wants to listen to the little Filipino kid. So why, why waste my breath now talking? With only seven contestants remaining in Hell's Kitchen. Quick, let's go. The competition for Chef Ramsay's new Los Angeles restaurant is about to reach another level. I've called you all here to tell you something very important. And I mean very, very important. Because for the next dinner service, we're getting rid of the menu. And I mean rid of the menu, yes? You, as a team, will be creating your own menus. Three appetizers, three entrees, and three desserts. Both teams, you've got one hour to create a stunning menu. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Starting from now. Move. Let's go. This was the first time we were ever able to sort of put our own tastes and opinions of food into things. And it's going to be awesome. Get the easel. We're going to patio. This is our menu. It's not, a, it's not even Chef Ramsay's menu. This is our creation. I am so stoked. Yo, I'll be, I'm going to be the one that draws and writes the guys. You guys are going to verbalize, OK? Let's come up with a game plan. We need stuff that people are going to order off the menu, right? We need things that right away people go, damn, that sounds good. Uh, my idea for an entree is a PNC and lobster. Yeah. I think we should do a nice big steak on the menu. No, it's perfect. We're a team, and we don't disagree as a team. And you know, us three, us three bonded very well. Flat iron pork chop with a, yes. like diced apples. Yeah. yeah, no, nice. While the red team's a chorus of shared ideas, on the blue team, one member appears to be performing a solo. White rice, because wild rice is so hard, man. Uh, you don't want to do a potato puree, and then we'll just do no, twice as much, and we'll do it. Come on, now. This hell's kitchen. I say let's go with some type of infused rice. Ain't wrong. I'm telling you, it's not that much color. Glazed carrots. Boring. So I like the, just the regular cooked salmon. Everybody and their grandpappy do salmon. I got a good fish idea. Jen gives me a headache. She won't listen, and her ideas suck. We're like set up for a disaster right now, a recipe for a fucking disaster. Oh, God, y'all. I got some good desserts, too. Write this down. <sighs> Chef Ramsay has challenged the teams to come up with their own menus, and some of the chefs are quite pleased with the results. Guys, that was awesome. We worked together. We didn't fight. Our menu is tight. While others are not. How do you feel about this, Lou Ross? Because it's like, speak now. Don't say ain't nobody let you get no input in later. The menu was hideous, man. Even if I try to say something to Jen, like, she don't listen at all. I'm looking at the menu. Half of that shit is hers. I definitely wanted a good menu, you know? At the same time, if Jen doesn't get what she wants, then she shoots a pissy fit. But, you know, I'm going to let her hang herself. It's not a blue tea menu. It looks like a Jen menu. You know what I'm saying? OK, excited? Yes, yes chef. chef. 
confident? Yes, yes chef. chef. Okay, let's go with the red tea. First course, we're gonna start off with an heirloom tomato soup. We have fresh made pasta, finish it off with shaved black truffle. Nice. We have a flat iron pork chop. Then we also have a New York strip steak with a sun-dried tomato compound butter. And our dessert is a strawberry shortcake with a chocolate martini shooter on the side. Wow, go on. It reads very clever. If you can put that on a plate, you're gonna be a strong contender. Chef Gordon Ramsay loved what we came up with. I wish we were opening up a restaurant together, all three of us. I'm so happy we're teammates. The blue menu. Blue Ross? We're gonna start off with a salad of uh, balsamic macerated strawberries, feta cheese, and a toasted brioche. After that, halibut wrapped with zucchini and squash. <laughs> Chef Ramsay, he was just like, oh, oh. And I was just like, he ain't gonna like this. Why would we want to wrap a halibut in squash and zucchini? That sounds ghastly. I said the salmon, but Jen went on with the halibut wrapped with zucchini and squash, Chef. Are you happy with the menu, yes or no? Not really, Chef. Lou Ross, little punk ass. Lou Ross is a straight, he a punk. Why don't you just come out and say that when we were all talking? Jen, your input. The salad was my idea. The halibut is an idea that I got as well, and also the uh, trifle. So you had 60, 70% of the say of the menu then? Oh, no. No, it's not 70%. Let me tell you something. That menu sounds hideous. Hideous. The chef thought it was awful. It's safe to say that Jen is taking captain of the ship, and uh, she's heading right for an iceberg. This menu needs to be upgraded with excitement. Let's go. Right, so. Lou Ross, open up. Yes? Get on there what you want on there, yes? Keep it simple. Grilled salmon. Let's go with a crab and shrimp martini cocktail. I knew Chef who's going to say who got a better idea. So I was just waiting for that opportunity. I already had it all planned. Read out the menu for me, please. The menu is the crab and shrimp cocktail served in a martini glass. We have the filet mignon, grilled salmon, and then the pineapple upside down cake and chocolate souffle with the creme anglaise. OK. I'm glad you changed it, yes? Yes. Get into your kitchens and we can start prepping, yes? I love our menu. That's what happens when you work together. So, Lou Ross, you got something do you need to get off your chest? You know, sometimes when we got inputs and something, something we have to say, you blow us off. Up oh, there goes Lil Ross. They're still fighting over there, aren't they? That's why I was cool, you know what I'm saying? But like... But no, you wasn't cool. Tell me how you feel. It boils down to fucking cooking. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cook. Yeah, but you're doing the same thing right now that you're saying that everybody else does to you. Exactly. Jen, she can be a bitch. But you know what? Lou Ross, he needs to open up his mouth. You know, that's I'm, I'm tired. No one listens. But I'm saying, if we ever gonna work together as a team, we gotta crush that little petty-ass shit for real. Ready? Wait. Let's go. Open Hell's Kitchen, please, then. Yeah? Let's go. Tonight, each diner will have the choice of ordering from either the new red menu or the new blue menu. Yeah, great selections on both. The popularity of the menus will help determine tonight's winning team. To order off the blue menu. Okay. From the red. Okay. Okay, Eva Stevens. Two for the red, two for the blue. Listen up. Two governor table 32. One risotto, one shrimp cocktail. Yes? Yes, chef. Okay, good news. On order, yes? One tomato soup, one papa Yes, yes chef. chef. You got it, Matt. You want me to talk you through the first one? No, you dump the pasta. All right, fine. I'm a little worried about Matt on appetizer. The pasta appetizer is mine, and I don't think he gets it really, but he can do it. Hopefully. It's salty. Hey, come here, you. Yes, chef. Taste that. Corey, you as well. You as well. Taste that. Right, do it. It's That's salty. ridiculous. Hurry up. Yes? Yes, chef. What I'm looking for is quality. Hey, you, slow. Yes, quality, chef. Quality, yeah? Yes, chef. Don't start throwing it yes, out. Yes, chef. It just seems like Matt is really careless, you know? He makes a lot of stupid mistakes. We can barely get a mouthful out. It's salty. Yes, chef. It's really not that complicated. I will be on Matt's ass because we need the win tonight. Come on, dude. All right, it's all right. Matt's salty pasta has slowed the red team's progress. Meanwhile, appetizers are flying out of the blue kitchen. Oh, thank you. You're wow, that looks good. Two shrimp cocktail. Are you ready? Yes, chef. Hey, look at me. Yes. Did you just put that lettuce in there without washing it? Yes or no? Yes. Oh, my God. How do you know it's clean? 
My station was a pigsty. I can't help myself. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Work tidy, Petroza. Yes, Chef. It's all your downfall. Come on. I got you, Chef. P for Petroza, P for pig. Yes, Chef. While Petroza tries to clean up his act, the red team's appetizers are now leaving the kitchen. I know one Papadilli. It's busy tonight at Papadilli, yes? Yes, Chef. But not for long. The pasta looks a little more al dente than I would prefer. Oh, no. The pasta is not cooked properly. One more Papadilli on the fly, pasta undercooked. Um, the sauce was very salty. The pasta is over salty. The sauce is salty. Yeah. Holding yes. pizza. What's the matter? Way too salty, Chef. Too salty. Matt! You're dripping sweat. Yes, chef. Into the papadelli. Yes, chef. So much that it's salty now. I don't want to get yelled at that I'm a fat, sweaty pig. I never sweated before like this in my life. Come on, Matt. Don't let us go down right now. Cook like a normal person. You can do this. Let's go. I'm trying. Try harder. I'm serious, dude. Come on. I don't give a fuck. Why is he behaving like a baby? Hey. Yes, chef. Don't fucking dare start throwing things around your pants. I'm not hey, throwing it around. The quality's gone down. Yes, chef. Yeah, would you want a fucking diaper? No. Come back to like a baby. Yes, chef. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Tasteless, chef. What's the matter? Tasteless. This is the service from hell. It was like salty, bland, one after another. And you're like, you're fucking kidding me. Papa Deli sucks. Make a decision and do something about it. Switch, can you Tasteless. Do it? Yeah, let's do it. Matt, we're switching. I'm sorry. I wanted him off hot apps and, you know, clean my pots and pans because I've had it tonight with Matt. I need two risotto working right now, please. Right, two risotto right Thank now. Thank you. Neck hurt. You don't do that to a person. I wanted to keep trying and trying and trying. While Christina takes over the appetizer station, the blue team has delivered their first entrees to the dining room. Perhaps a little too soon. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, come on. Blue Ross, raw steak. Oh. And he goes like this, oh, as he's performing for the Oscars. If your fucking cooking was as good as your acting, you'd be talented, you dick. It started off good, and then all of a sudden, went downhill. What's the matter? 23 blue, he ordered medium rare. But it's oh, important. fucking hell. Lou Ross, come here, you. Let's go. Jen, touch it as well. Yeah, yes, touch. Chef. Come on, look, touch. Blue, chef, blue. Yeah, it's raw. How can I get down on my knees? Yes, it's fucking raw. Hey, look at me. Is that better? It's raw. You fucking idiot. Lou Ross really just dropped the ball today. Horrific, horrendous. It was just horrible. He just could not handle meat station at all. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, come on. This is not good at all. Hey, you, 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 come here, you, you. Look at that, look. Three of them have come back. You're putting your team in the shit. I hate the word filet mignon now, dude. Seriously, if ever I see another filet mignon, I will, like, throw it, oh, like, at someone's face. One more fucking steak, the return to the kitchen. I'm closing your kitchen. With the threat of a shutdown looming, Lou Ross tries again on the meat station. Back in the red kitchen, Matt, having moved on to the vegetable station, is ready to redeem himself. Hey, Slim, come here. Eat it! That was disgusting! Brussels sprouts weren't cooked to his standards. Sorry. Chef. Hey, Cory, yeah, Christina, chef. he's given up. I never give up. Don't start. Matt, I swear, we're getting rid of you if you keep slamming shit. Matt just couldn't get out of it, and like, he gets yelled at Chef, and he's just like a little baby. When you start getting yelled at, you talk I've to I've gotten me. yelled at, believe yeah, me. Yeah, no, you haven't. Like this? I don't mess up as much as him. That's why I don't get yelled at as much as him. Come on. You're acting like a girl right now. You really are. No, I'm not. We can't cope with people like this. We cannot. Corey's a, a bitch. I got sick of her mouth. Matt, can you please get the fuck out of my way? I'm going to flip out. Don't ask me to do anything else if you don't tell me to get out of your way. While Matt gets booted off of his second station of the night, over in the blue kitchen, Lou Ross finally delivers a properly cooked filet. Service, please. A little too late. Yeah, let's go. Okay. What about the lady on 41 with the filet mignon? They just left you. They just left? Hey, come here, you. The customer's gone. Customer's fucking gone! Shit! I 
I am so disappointed in myself right now. Never had a table walk out of me. This is the first time ever a table walked out of me. That's it for me. That's it for me. It's two hours into dinner service, and while the blue team's four members have only managed to serve 34 of their 62 entrees... Sorry about the delay. 26, go. In the red kitchen, Christina and Corey have served 47 of 58. I'm having lobster in 30 seconds, Christina. Lobster Heard, I'm working on it. Me and Christina now have a really good communication going on. Christina, can I help you with that last risotto? Yeah, 30 seconds, 30 maybe. 30 seconds, heard. At that point, we just kind of put Matt out of the system because he was not doing anything for us. Me and Christina kind of just kept verbalizing back and forth. Christina, can I take the risotto for you? Yeah, it's perfect, good. Corey and I surprisingly work well as a team, you know. Who knew? Working on the risotto now. Good. What's Matt doing? I'm helping straighten up, chef. You're just clearing down. Congratulations, you just become an half of the red team. While Matt is not exactly feeling the love in the red kitchen, over on the blue side... Where's the pastry cream, Jen? The war between Jen and her teammates continues. Oh, this is a mess. I I should... Uh, Jen, this is a mess. The dessert station was a mess. It was, it was, like, work, it was like working in a junkyard. This, this place is a disaster. I don't like looking bad. Who does? I don't either. Well, I need that pineapple dessert. As soon as it comes. OK, honey. My name's Jennifer, Bobby. I don't know who the hell Bobby think he is, but I'm not his honey. I'm not his baby. My name is Jennifer. I'm competing in this competition just like him. So please don't demean me by calling me sweetie, honey, baby. My name is Jen. One more souffle? Not even cooked. Is it raw? Yeah. Watch, watch. There you go. Fuck off! Damn, Jen, turn your stove off. This is not my fault, it's not fair for Chef Ramsay to blame me. Why did that have to fall on me? Okay, what do you need? Two souffles with a pineapple cake. Need a pineapple and two souffles, right now. Yep, got it. I got the anglaise. Come on, we're gonna complete our dinner service, guys, come on. This is our last little push. All right, so we got two creme brulees right now. Matt, that's your ticket. Corey, you're doing one shortcake. I got it. Start bringing them up, the ones you've got done, Matty. One Matt. sec, I gotta finish them. People getting on my nerves already. So what, doesn't matter. All that matters is getting these desserts out. Behind you, Chef. Come on, last table. Go. Last ticket coming now, Chef. Follow me with the other two, Matt, with the ticket. Behind you, Chef. Service, please. Creme brulee. Yeah, very nice. And that, my friends, is how we complete a service. Good job, bitch. Way to go. Despite considerable setbacks, both teams have completed dinner service. Now, Chef Ramsay must choose a losing team. It truly is the red team versus the blue team. Each and every diner coming through those doors tonight got the choice whether they go for the red menu or the blue menu. Which team menu did they respond to? It was almost even for the blue team and for the red team. So it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality. Clearly, we started off right. Food was flying out of both kitchens. Then something happened. Food started coming back. We failed miserably. The red team was hurt by the papadella, and the blue team, well, you were screwed by the filet mignon. Matt, take the bandana off. It's not the Simpsons, Homer. You didn't give a damn. I, I had no control of the dish tonight, Chef. I'm sorry. You were sloppy. You're dripping sweat. Yes, Chef. Into the papadella. Yes, Chef. So much that it's salty now. Absolutely pathetic. Blue team, raw meat. The section was going down in flames. Hey, look at me! Is that better? It's raw! You fucking idiot! The losing team... ..is the blue. Petroza. Yes, Chef. You're such a dirty pig in service. It's incredible. However, you got the team off to a good start. Clearly, you were the sloppy best of the worst. Go back to the dorms and nominate two for elimination. Now, fuck off. I have to put two people up for elimination. That sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I hate this part. Damn, that's fucked up, because I don't think I deserve to go home. I really, truly deserve to be here. I really do. Lou Ross has done tremendously 
far worse than me. Lou Ross definitely should be going home before I do. Hey, Lou Ross, yeah, come on. Well, guess me the most. If, if I go home and Jen still stays here. Yeah. Poison, that's all I got to say. Poison. I'm hoping that Jen goes down. Jen is deceitful, conniving, vindictive, cynical. She shouldn't even deserve to be here. Who do you think Treasy's going to pick? So put Jen up there. I really hope so. Uh, she's going home. There's no way in hell I'm going to get eliminated tonight. I'm way more talented. I'm way more experienced than Jennifer and Lou Ross. In all things, life, cooking, whatever. Oh. Uh... Between Lou Ross, Bobby, and Jen, Lou Ross is the weakest member of the team. But Jen's bossy. She's a pain in the butt. She's a bitch. And Bobby, I know, is strong. He's definitely a strong competition for me. This is a tough decision. This is a close one. I just got to do what I got to do. Troza. Yes, Chef. Have you made your decision? I have, Chef. First nominee and why, please? My first nominee is Lou Ross. I believe that Lou Ross lacks the skills to compete at this level. Second nominee and why, please? My second nominee was Jen. Because I believe that Jen feels that she has more to teach than she has to learn. And I think Jen has more to learn than she has to teach. Thank you, Petrosa. Yes, Chef. OK. Lou Ross, Jen, step forward. I'm going to do something now I've never done before, ever. Petrosa. Yes, Chef. Who should I send home? Now. send Lou Ross home. I completely agree with that. Lou Ross, take off your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen. Chef, it was a pleasure. Likewise. Thank you for teaching me skills and everything. Thank Good you. Good luck. Thank you. Big boy. Red team, blue team. Good, Good luck. luck, Lou Ross. Hi, Lou Ross. I'm not done yet. I'm upset because I gave you complete control over the menu. A complete free reign. And you let me down. Matt, come forward. I'm unconvinced about the both of you. Jen, you may be able to manipulate your team, but you can't manipulate me. Matt, you're lucky to be here. Look around. You out of your depth? No, I'm not out of my depth. Both of you. Take off your jacket. What? Jen. Get back over the ladies. Yes, yeah, Chef. Matt. Get back over the men. Yes, yeah, Chef. Clearly, it's not working out. So I'm going to shake it up again. One, two, three, four, five, six left. Nine have gone. Aren't we due for something better? Yes, Chef. Yes, yes chef. chef. Tomorrow morning, we start again. Good night. Good night, Chef. Good night. Good night. My heart stopped. I really thought I was going home. I don't want to be on the blue team, but you know what? I'm in the final six. All I got to do is keep pushing and pushing and hope I make it to the very final end. To be getting Jen back is going to be challenging. We're not going to let Jen rule the kitchen. Me and Christina are the ones in charge of the red team. Corey and Christina are intimidated by me. They're not stupid. They know I'm not here for friendship. You know, I'm just here to win. Lou Ross was never short on energy. He was just short on cooking ability. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Good night. Nice, sir. Nice, nice. Sir.
all three of us need to talk seriously. Y'all know I work hard in getting the prep shit done yeah. and getting business we'll be taken fine. care of. No big deal. We were glad to get rid of Jen, and now we have Jen back. I'm sick of seeing her. I don't trust her farther than I can throw her, and I don't really want to be on her team so much. I can't believe they got rid of Luras. I, I can't believe Petroza picked him, dude. What the fuck? I thought for sure Lou Ross was going to be here till the very end. Me too. It's safe to say that I lost a friend tonight, and with Jen back on the team, I gained an enemy. <laughs> I'm going to make her life a living hell. Yeah, I don't want to hear from her, really. Would y'all rather have Matt on y'all thing than me? It's all we can do to get rid of that guy. He's hanging around. He's like a fucking hemorrhoid. What in the hell is Matt still doing here? I want to know. Somebody tell me. Maybe he's gotten better. Maybe so. Not. <laughs> After another exhausting day, everyone settles in for the night. But an early morning call Hello? has the chefs on the move. Guys, we gotta go now. What the heck is going on? What's happening? I don't even know what time it is. And I'm blindfolded. Anything can happen. It's Hell's Kitchen. Right, take your blindfolds off. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Chef. The sun was so bright, I looked at Chef and it looked like he was levitating. It looked like he was coming from the sky. I didn't understand what was going on. We're standing on top of the roof of what will be the new London West Hollywood, where one of you is going to become the executive chef. Here. Lift up the domes in front of you. Oh, wow. No more blue team, no more red team. It's fucking awesome. One kitchen cooking as one dynamic team. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. It's going to be hard to you know, work with Matt and then also have Jen back. It's going to be a three-ring circus because we just have too many loud voices in that kitchen. How's it feel, Bobby? It's like a dream come true. You know, this is it. This base is loaded, bottom of the ninth. I want to win this competition. Just to inspire you even more, I've got something else to show you. Gentlemen. Open up, please. Oh, God. Here we have a quarter of a million dollars. Jesus Christ. It's going to belong to one of you. Oh, my God. I was definitely shocked to see $250,000 in front of me. It would have been nice just to touch it or smell it. <laughs> if that doesn't inspire you, there's something missing. Yes, Jeff. Let's go downstairs. This whole area here is just going to be extraordinary. Beautiful, open dining room. The transformation is going to be extraordinary. And this could be your new restaurant. It was just amazing. I'm going to get this or I'm going to die trying. I really am. Take a good look at it now, because when you see it next time, you're going to be amazed. After an inspirational morning, it's back to business at Hell's Kitchen. Are you ready for your first individual challenge? Yes, yes chef. chef. This, for me, is the most exciting challenge. It's time for each and every one of you to put your own spin on a basic ingredient and do something magical with it. In front of you, there are six ingredients. Matt, lift off the dome. Veal. Christina. Sea bass. Bobby. Duck. Jen. Beef. <laughs> Petroza. Chicken. OK, Cory, what do you think hasn't been revealed yet? Pork. Pork. Off you go. <gasps> lobster. I don't really, like, love lobster by any means. I don't think it's, like, the best ingredient. It's not my forte. You've got 45 minutes to prepare something unique. Are you ready? Yes, Chef. Yes, go. In this first individual challenge, Chef Ramsay is looking for the chefs to come up with a dish that is not only delicious, but innovative. Jen. Yes, Chef. Come on. I'm definitely a culinary artist. My food is a reflection of me. It's vibrant, it's creative, it's bold. Corey, make it count, yes? This is our first challenge, you know, as an individual. And I want to make something that's really visually pleasing, but also that tastes amazing. And I think that I'll be able to do that with a lobster soup. Come on, Patricia. I'm going to take my chicken, and I'm going to stuff it. It's going to be awesome. Come on, Christina. Steve asked, I really have to be careful, because the fish should be the star. Come on, guys. Oh, shit. Okay, one more pan. Start visualizing it on the plate. Oh, dear lord. Last minute. 
Come on, Matt, make it work. Yes, chef. Three, two, one, and serve. 45 minutes goes pretty fast. It was a very close call. Well done. Let's see if these dishes separate you from your competitors. OK, Matt, let's go. What is it? Veal loin roasted on top of a morel demi. Nice. Thank you, chef. In terms of flavor, there was hardly anything wrong there. I smell victory, and boy, does it smell sweet. Great start. Christina. I did a panzers sea bass with the tarragon cherville beurre blanc. This challenge is nerve wracking. It's not like the whole team made this. I made this. Mm -hmm. And if it failed, I'm to blame. Something quite fascinating there. Sea bass is quite robust. It's quite meaty. So far, so good. What a refreshing change. OK, Petroza. I have a breast of chicken that's stuffed with uh, prosciutto, duck confit, mm -hmm. and vegetables. Wow. I've never seen one individual do so much to a breast. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Corey, let's go. It's a uh, asparagus pea and lobster soup. Tasty, but I'll give you a whole lobster. I expect you to use a whole lobster. Thank you. Jen. I well. took the ribeye and I sliced it. Why would you slice it so thinly? I really tried to do something interesting with it. You happy with that? Yes, yeah, Chef, I tried. I know I have a rap with Chef Ramsay of being too arrogant and too cocky. And this was like my chance to redeem myself and show Chef Ramsay I can cook something that tastes great. What's my Nothing, I'm just nervous. I'm very over Jen. She just seems so fake to me. I kind of see her and she was going, <sighs> sending that message to him, like, please don't disappoint me, Chef. When I first started watching you slice the steak, I got really nervous about it becoming overcooked and dry. But you've managed to keep it moist. A very dangerous dish, but you've pulled it off. Thank you, Chef. My god, this is going to be hard. Bobby, let's go. This is my version of a duck noodle soup. Soup is delicious. Unfortunately, the duck is really tough. It's so upsetting, because that was on the verge of being perfect. What a shame. Across the board, well done. Thank you, Thank you chef. chef. This is very, very close. Christina and Jen step forward. It's between both of you. Oh, God, please, please, please. All the shit that I talk around here, if I lose this individual challenge, I'm going to be screwed. In the first individual challenge, Chef Ramsay must decide between Jen's stuffed ribeye and Christina's pan-seared sea bass. Two very clever, highly imaginative dishes. Thank you, Chef. Compliments from Chef Ramsay like that are pretty rare. They definitely think I could win. Jen, well done. Thank you, Chef. I definitely feel like I made a great dish. All the components of that dish just marry perfectly together. I haven't seen anybody ever slice a prime rib and roll it like that. The winner of Hell's Kitchen, very first individual challenge, will be... The winner's Jen. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. That dish is going on my menu. Yes, yeah, Chef. As a reward. You're off to Vegas. <laughs> Thank you. You'll cruise down the strip, and then you'll go and have dinner with last year's Hell's Kitchen winner, Rock. Thank you. Yes, God! I needed this. I put my heart and my mind in that dish, and it came out perfect. Christina, step back in line, please. Thank you. Something extra. You're allowed to take one individual to Vegas. Oh, God. Who is it? Um, I think Corey. Jen picked Corey, which was a shock. I mean, that's like the cobra and the mongoose hanging out. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. When Jen won the challenge, I was disappointed. But I don't want to go to Vegas with Jen. She's a bitch. OK, punishment. Matt, Christina, Petroza, and Bobby, today is delivery day. When those trucks arrive, run to the loading bay, unload the trucks, 
and put it where it should be. Oh, fuck me. I'm not happy being on no punishment. And Duck was a dangerous game, and I lost that one. Right, Jen, Corey, I think you girls better go and get changed. Good job, dude. Me and Corey have had issues in the past, but I've had issues with every single person here. Yay! <laughs> I just figured that I'd be able to have fun with Corey. You think I honestly should have picked Christina? Oh, because she would do a good job? No. <laughs> You're like, hell no, I'm glad you picked me. It just shows how fake Jen is, the fact that she picked me to go to Vegas. Why pick the person that you've talked so much crap about? I'm definitely just going to have to put aside any of my ill feelings towards her. We're going to Vegas. While Corey and Jen are whisked away for a night in Vegas. Anytime you hear a horn, that means there's a delivery waiting for you. The rest of the team learns just how much their punishment blows. There you go, let's run. Go, Bobby, you want anybody walking. Oh, Jesus Christ. The punishment today is delivery day. We need green onions. This corn needs to go. My approach to this is to be a leader and delegate. The artichokes, one case right here. Take that. Come on, Maddie. Oh, my God. Christina thinks she's a boss. She should shut her mouth. She's like a fucking nan already. Let's keep all of our old herbs up here, and maybe our new herbs in the back. Does that make sense? Some shit's ridiculous. Is it a delivery? This is crazy. Here, we got another case of avocados coming. Another case of avocados right here. I got it. Right now, I am exhausted. I'm tired. How much more? I don't know. I'm in beautiful, sunny Las Vegas. Oh, Please. my god. It's just amazing being out here. I've never been to Vegas before. Wow, Corey. Holy shit. <laughs> Our suite was more than I could ever ask for. <gasps> oh! Me and Jen both had our own personal suite. Look how big the closet is the size of my apartment in New York. <laughs> Give me some doubt, for real. Thank we are, you. Oh, you're welcome, Corey. I'm getting in here tonight. They fucking leave us alone for a little bit. That's what punishment's all about. Here we go. I don't feel like carrying this fucking shit. How many ship. we need? Grab two bags of ice and let's go. 20, Five. 25. There's two. Three. Right. Come on, Matt. Four. Let's go. Let's go. Hurry up. Just pulled my back. Yeah, I'm pissed off right now. My shoulders are killing me. 80 pounds of fucking ice. It's unhealthy. I can't even move my shoulder. Send me home. I fucking peaked. Matt. I'm going to tell you honestly, your attitude right now sucks. Shut up, Christina. Everybody's in the shit for them fucking selves anyway, so. Carrying ice is not the worst Shut thing. Shut up, Christina. I'm going to ask Shut you for up, your fucking Matt. opinion. If you're that angry and you're that upset, you can quit at any time. You know what, Christina? Fuck you. You're the one that should go home. I don't need to hear you little fucking shit. You whiny little fuck. Pete, I can't listen to that. He's crazy, man. He's crazy. It's not like Matt had to carry the ice all by himself. We all carry the ice. It's not something to get bent out of shape about, but he snaps. Fuck all of you guys. Maddie's on the war pad. I'm giving Maddie 50 feet for about five, 10 minutes. Matt is like full metal jacket. Matt is really losing it. I'm worried about Matt. I'm giving you 50 feet. I understand. 50 feet. <laughs> I should be in Vegas right now. Oh, God, this is the best reward that I can possibly get from being on Hell's Kitchen. I can't wait to meet with Chef Rock. There's the man! Oh, <laughs> somebody that's been through this, somebody that knows what it takes to be the best. This is Tara Verde. That's ready to uh, check the restaurant sure. out? Definitely. Welcome. Very come on back. Excited. All right, come on. Now, this is a kitchen. It's an open kitchen. And it's a dining room. It's a private table we have for you. Very I just nice. want to sit down so we can get to talking. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't send me two guys. <laughs> I know. We were saying that, too. Like, he's going to be shocked when he sees us. Congratulations. You're this far in the competition for a reason. Keep doing what you do. Tell me something. Normally, when Chef Ramsey yells at me, it's never about my food. It's always about personality. Remember this. He's not looking for the best cook. He's looking for the best future chef. I appreciate Jen picking me, but I came here to, you know, be Gordon Ramsay's next chef, and Jen is not going to stop me. Cheers. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, ladies. While Jen and Corey have been inspired by the words of a winner, after a good night's sleep, Matt is feeling inspired as well. Game on, man. 
I'm concentrating. I'm having confidence in myself when I'm cooking. I ain't failing again tonight. Ain't my ass on the line. Maddie, you're driving me fucking up the wall, bro. I don't care. You got to close that mouth sometimes. No, you should really? close your mouth sometimes. I need to be the best tonight because I really need to send Christina home. She's getting on my damn nerves. All right, you guys. Come on now. Matt and Christina have been bickering all day today. Once it comes down to service, they should pull it together for their own sake. Back in hell, yeah. Hola. They're back. How's it going, guys? You missed a great time. Why? Now, you want to see crazy? This is fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy. That boy snapped. He's crazy. He's nuts. <laughs> Something inside of him broke, and I don't think it's going to be fixed before dinner service. <laughs> oh, brother. I mean, he's just completely lost it. Maddie, that was you being scary. People don't understand what it means to blow off steam. Christina needs to grow up. I really don't want to work with her. No, that wasn't me. I didn't want to be anywhere near you, Maddie. I don't want you anywhere near me when I'm unstable. angry. Because if you're near me anywhere where I'm angry and I'm, we're not in Hell's Kitchen, then you got issues. Yeah, what you gonna do? Are you gonna hit a girl? Can we just finish with Matt and, like, you know, give him his papers, please? I can't work with him. I don't want to work with him. Everybody's a bunch of fucking pussies around here. That's supposed to be a personal slide? Uh, you're taking a personal slide at me. All right, Cracker Jacks. There's definitely some tension right now in the kitchen. Christina and Matt are not getting along right now, but uh, get over it. I don't care if you don't like her. I don't care if you guys have issues. Get over it before we start service. Matt, just please, shut up. Shut up, Christina. Nobody wants to hear your mouth. Shut up! Right, let's go. Two seconds, guys. OK, big night tonight. Yes, yes chef. chef. We've got double the amount of customers because we're cooking from one kitchen for the entire dining room. OK, stations. Mm. Jen, Troza, you're an appetizer. Yes, sir, yes chef. chef. Bobby, fish. Yes, chef. Corey, veg. Pivotal. Matt, Christina, two of you on me. If Matt starts to go down, then I'm going to kick him off the station. I cannot afford to have a useless piece of meat standing next to me on this line. Unite as a team. Christina needs to grow up. I mean, she's a nasty little bitch with a lot of cellulite on her ass. OK, Jean-Philippe, open Hell's Kitchen. In addition to Chef Ramsay's classic dishes, tonight's menu will feature a special, Jen's challenge-winning ribeye. I'm going to go with the pan roasted scallops. Lamb Wellington. Roasted chicken. Ready? OK, on order. On scallops, on risotto, on crab, entree, one chicken, two filet mignon, one ribeye requested medium. Yes, yes chef. chef. Tonight, we have to be twice as fast. Oh, fuck me. What hands on fire, man? Fuck me. What is this? Don't blow it. You blow oil on your face, you fucking idiot. Put it in the sink. I definitely got screwed by working with Matt. Now I have to watch this guy who's like twice my age, you know, fuck me up all night. Are you? I'm watching you like a hawk. Yes, yeah, chef. Understood. While Matt tries to get control of the meat station. Risotto. Jen is ready with the first appetizer. Let's go. I have more heart than anybody in this place. I'm going to be vocal tonight, and I'm going to really try to emerge as a leader. Jen. Yes, sir, chef. Very nice, that risotto. Thank you, chef. Service, please. Try off that one. Two risotto, one crab, one Caesar salad. We got two minutes on risotto. Jen is on hot appetizers, and Petroza is on cold. Risotto crab. Where's the crab? There it is. They will have to work together to get the rest of the starters out. Holy fuck. Look at the plate underneath. Uh, there's a bit of chive there. Chef Ramsay zeroes in on anything and everything like a heat-seeking missile. Yeah, hold on, yeah. yeah. Where's oh, your, show me your fingers. Such a dirty pig. I'm dirtier than the average guy. <laughs> Remove the fucking chive off the bottom there, yeah? Two risotto crab scallop, yes? Yes, yeah, Chef. Oh, I need to fucking stop. Hurry up, Jen. I'm waiting on a crab still. Here's a crab. Very nice. You work like a pig, yet you produce an amazing food. Thank you, chef. I'm waiting on the risotto urgently. I'm going up with this one now. Without a shadow of a doubt, I know I am a better chef than anybody in this place. Jen. Yes, sir. Come here. Up. Now, taste. Taste, come on, hurry up. Salty. And I don't pay you that compliment for you to screw me 10 minutes later. Yes, sir, chef. Despite some setbacks, 30 minutes into dinner service. How long for that risotto? Right now, chef. Yeah. Okay, service, please. Jen and Petroza have sent out half of their appetizers. Isn't that good? It's really delicious. Now the team is ready to focus on entrees. One minute to the window, two ribeye, one filet mignon, one welling chuck. 
Hello? Two filet mignon, one mil Wellington. One filet mignon, one Wellington, two ribeye. Two filet mignon, yeah, one no Wellington. Problem. What's going next? I said a, a, a filet mignon, a, a, a Wellington, a, 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 a beef, and a fish. Oh, my god. Hey, idiot. One filet mignon, one Wellington, two ribeye urgently. How come I'm reading it blind and you're not even fucking with me? Uh, um, um. Working with Matt, like, he doesn't know what he needs, when he needs it, he can't cook it right. Christina and Matt, it's your call. You've got three meat on there. Yeah, chef. None of you are talking to Cory. None of you are talking to Bobby. Well, I'm done. I'm waiting for her to call. Communicate. I just communicated with her. The team! You gotta talk to Corey, guys. She's mean and, and that veg. Corey, you got the veg? No, give me a second, guys. You're not fucking telling me. Go on, Corey. Just give me a second, guys. Fucking, fucking kill somebody. Matt does not have his head in the game. Your garnish needs to go up before the meat comes up, but everybody was so worried about doing their own thing tonight, and it was just a lack of communication. Corey, why are you finding it so difficult reheating vegetables? I can't communicate with him right now, and it's just like, it's putting me in the shit. You may be in the shit, but show some form of fucking respect, will you? Hey, snap out your little mood. Uh, you got a face on you. Hey, look, look at me like a cow's backside. We are supposed to be working as a team, but those people are not going to help me if I need the help. I just need to show Chef Ramsay that I'm going to get the job done no matter what. Coming right now, Chef. Away now. Two ribeye, one filet mignon, one Wellington. Yes, yeah, Chef. Right, let's do this as a team. I know we didn't get along all day, but. I know, we got to pull this together right now. How long? Bobby, how long? I'm ready. I'm going up with my filet. Ribeye, walk into the window now. Service, please. Let's go. With entrees finally leaving the kitchen. It's the best ribeye I've ever had in my life. Christina devises a way to cook the meat twice as fast. Ribeye, Wellington, chicken, John Dory. Uh, excuse me, why are we cooking chicken and beef in the same pan? Sorry, Chef, there just wasn't a lot of room up here on these burners. Supposing someone doesn't like red meat. I thought, hot pan, plenty of room, put it in there, let's just cook it. It'll be cool. Get it out! Yeah, Chef. No, not cool. Bobby, they've got beef and chicken in the pan. Now you've got salmon and scallops in the pan. Oh, I needed this on the fly. <laughs> I didn't really have an excuse. Hey, aren't you allergic to shellfish? Yeah, Chef was right. Woo! Oh, my god. An hour into dinner service, less than half the entrees have left the kitchen. I really can't believe it's taking this it's long. It's taking way too long. What? And they're not staying out for long. Hello, hello. It speaks for itself. It's very rare. Yes. Let me bring it back to them. Oh, no. What's the matter? No, it's a special. It's a bit too rare for, for the gentleman. Oh, fuck you now. Oh, Christina, Matt, come here, both of you. Yeah, it's raw! When Christina was butchering my special, she definitely wasn't cooking how I told her to. She did it her way, and it did not work. How long are you cooking these things Sorry, for? Sorry, Chef, about four minutes. Who told you it's four minutes? That's what I was told by Jen. Jen, did you tell them four minutes? No, sir, Chef. Jen is a liar. She is so full of fucking crap. She said four minutes. I'm like, there's no way this is going to be four minutes. Oh, guys, come on. Where's the rest of the chicken garnish? I'm coming right now, Chef. Are you okay? Fuck you. I need the rest of the chicken garnish, Corey. Just give me a second, guys. Fuck. Corey burned her hand, and I didn't know if she was hurt or not. No, you are fucking struggling big time. Chef, I burned my fucking hand pretty okay. bad. Okay, hey, fuck off to the medic then. I was very surprised with Corey. She started crying. She handles it like a pussy. Hey, fuck off to the medic. No. Get out. No, Corey must be cuckoo in the head to talk back to Chef Ramsay like that. Corey, go see the medic. I'm not asking you. I'm fucking telling you to. Oh, shit, dude. I was like in a nightmare. Like I couldn't move. Everything was like slow motion, and it just wasn't good. Jump on the garnish, Jen. Yes, she's hurt herself. Yeah. Yes, sir, chef. While Corey's sidelined by her burn, out in the dining room, customers' tempers are flaring up. I want food. Turn around. Well, there's no food coming out anyway. So let's serve some more water. Bandana man. Why are you eating? I'm not. I'm here. Come here, you, you fucking idiot. I'm standing here struggling to get food out. I just watch you turn and eat. I'm tasting my wallet in, chef. They're struggling, and you're the only one fucking eating. Matt, are you kidding me? Can I get some meat out here, please? Yes, chef. He's a complete mess. Matt, I got it. I, I'm sick. I don't want to get yelled at anymore tonight. While Matt is eating more than some of the customers, Corey has bounced back from her injury. Hurry up, please, Corey. 
I hurt myself pretty bad, but you got to keep going and um, fight for your team. Whilst I'm sorry you burnt yourself, I'm not here to fuck around like that. Yes? OK, on order. Two John Dory, one ribeye, two filet mignon. How long? Chef, one minute to the window. What's going? It's two ribeyes, one filet, one John Dory. Two John Dory, one ribeye, two filet mignon. Sorry, Chef. Hey, chef. come here, you. Come here. Yes, Chef. When I call out four orders, can't you log it in your head? You're supposed to be bright. I'm sorry, Chef. And now I'm dressing right? everything. Shut up! Chef. And you expect me to repeat it again for the fifth time. I was like, please don't cry. Please don't cry. Get lost! Yes, Chef. Two John Dory, one ribeye, two filet mignon. Hello? What's going, Matt? I don't know now. Oh, my God almighty. I don't know what's up with the rest of those chefs, but I hear every order he yells out. Two John Dory, one ribeye, two fucking filet mignon. Yes, chef. Bobby, where's the other John Dory? Uh, this, I, just, I just heard one, so I'm short one. There's going to be one minute for, for another John Dory. What's that there? This is one. I've got one up there. I'm waiting for the other one. Oh, well, then I got it. God. Service, please. You see me? I'm cool as a cucumber. I wasn't rattling like everybody. Everybody was all pissed off. Everybody had sour pusses on their face. I stayed consistent. Away next, Salmon John Dory, Philly Wellington, yes? With food finally leaving the kitchen, all Chef Ramsay wants. Why aren't we going with his table? I'm coming up with it, Chef. Is to keep it going. All of you. Just fucking come here, you as well, with your bird. This is why I'm pissed off. Touch that. That's fucking raw, and that's fucking what? Look at the color of it. Well, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question, what is it? It's overcooked. Matt seems to be like a five-year-old trapped in a 35-year-old's body. He doesn't know when to stop. Sorry, Chef. Oh, please, don't touch me. I have a migraine. Oh, uh, uh, can you fuck? Yeah, I need the ticket here. What's going next? I'm busy getting yelled at. <laughs> Fucking idiot, come here. What did you say there? You're busy getting what? Yelled at. You just, I, give, I, me, you just give me overcooked meet. meat. Overcooked fucking filet. I'm for his stuff in the... I, overcooked. I had... Now you're saying, I'm getting yelled at. Was well, it my fault because everyone else fell behind? I'm a big team player. I just don't have team players around me. But well, don't start getting fucking smarmy with me when we're standing there in the shit. Why did you put me in the shit? I can't fucking concentrate anymore. Mac started to go down hardcore. Who the hell put a hot plate here? Matt is fried. Send me home. I need a vacation already. Something really is going fruity inside of his brain. Salmon John Dory, chicken Wellington, filet mignon ribeye. Guys, how long now? I don't know. I'm trying to work through a migraine. Matt is someone that makes excuses for himself. Absolute bullshit if you have a headache, you know? I mean, come on, pull through it. He's a crybaby, and he is definitely going more insane by the minute. Matt, how long in the I'll tell you in a second. Three minutes. You guys are a fucking bunch of losers. What's going, Matt? What's going? Two of those, one filet, one lamb, and, and fish. Salmon. No. No, that's right. He's got a migraine. No, he's got a migraine. Look, hey, look at that, Scott. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> it's not funny. I got a medical I mean, I got it. It's all right, I'll work with it. He's got a migraine. Come here a minute. Let me just tell you something. You've had a migraine. Shit. I've had one ever since you I walked know, in I here. Know. What I just told you two minutes ago, you I completely know, forgot. I, I, Do me I, favor. I got no feeling in my hands. I'm trying no to work through it. No feeling in your through. hands. Yeah. Come here. Go upstairs to the dorm and lie down, yes? Lie down. I'm, I want to work through it. Get out! Fucking get out! I've got a migraine. Fuck off. Fucking useless piece of shit. Matt doesn't take any responsibility for his food not being right. Everybody in this place has a migraine right now. My brain feel like it's about to explode, but I don't give up in that kitchen. Four minutes to the window, two Wellington, one fucking ribeye. Hurry up, Christina. Yeah, chef. Oh, shit. Who the fuck left this rice on here, guys? What is that? It's burnt rice, chef. Who put that on there? I don't know, chef. Sorry, chef, I forgot about it. Fucking useless. Jen burnt the rice. I was sitting on my station. All she had to do was say, hey, I'm putting this rice here. Get out. Get out and get to the door. Get out. I'm not fucking around now. 
Get out. I completely forgot that I put that rice on. I feel bad for that, but it was an honest mistake. Hey, she put it on. You've been standing next to it for an hour. You take it off your apron and fuck off as well. Yes, sir. Oh, my God, has this been a crazy night. Hey, all of you, fuck yourselves. Get out. Get out. Fuck off, will you, yeah? Oh, shit. The chef's first dinner service as a single team has ended. Oh, dear. In disaster. On the night that should have been our best service. You were pathetic. I didn't really expect this from the final six. All of you, go back to the dorms and come to a consensus. Which two should be up for nomination? Now, fuck off. Chef, have a minute with you alone, please. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. matter. I had a migraine. I still have it, and it's really bad. I don't know okay. if I'm supposed to give up or if I okay. to stay here. I can't make that decision for you. Do you understand? But what I would like to see is just a little bit of manliness. I am not just pissed off with you. Yeah. So if I was in your shoes, I'd be fighting for my place. Yes, Big chef. time. Thank you. Yeah? Good. Thanks, Chef. I'm going to win Hell's Kitchen because I listen to Chef Ramsay. You know what? Chef Ramsay wanted me to go by now. I would have been gone already. While Matt was meeting with Chef Ramsay, his teammates came up with a unanimous decision. All right, so I think Matt is a clear consensus. Matt, you're going up. That's right. Anyone who wants to fucking put me up there, it's going to be a waste of fucking time. Why do you think that? I'll fight that shit. Put me up there. I don't even give a fuck, because you could all fuck yourselves. Kiss my fucking ass already. Oh, my God. You're all a bunch of fucking worthless pieces of shit. Keep putting me up there. I guarantee you all go home before me. I'm going to lay down, because I'm going to get the last left out of this one. That guy is out of his mind, dude. Come on. <laughs> Matt's a loose cannon right now. Matt deserves to get kicked off the universe. That's my medicine. Now the team must pick their second nominee for elimination. I would go with Jen, because communication was not there tonight. I put Jen up tonight because of communication. I don't think that that's a valid reason. I mean, what the hell? Everybody had bad communication tonight. Christina just really bombed tonight. And if I go home tonight, it's because of straight bullshit. All right, so Bobby, who you want to put up? I think the meat station really went down hard. I'll put up Christina and Matt. I would like to just put myself up at this point. I really screwed up big time tonight, so I don't have a problem going up there. Petrosa. Who do you think deserves to be up there? This is a very tough part of it. You know, you're taking the dream away from them with a vote. It's my decision like really. Yeah, I was going to make or break it. I'm a big boy. Mm. It's too much at stake. Don't fuck me in this. Don't fuck me. Don't do me like that. Who do I want to go up against Matt tonight? After a disastrous dinner service, Chef Ramsay has asked the team to nominate two chefs for elimination. Petroza, who did the team pick as the first nominee? picked Matt because he failed on service tonight, and his attitude is suffering over the past few days. Corey, who's the second nominee and why? The second nominee was a tough decision. We chose Christina. She was with Matt on meat station, and they both sunk together. I actually think that I should have gone up, but the team would not put me up. Corey, you're absolutely right. Corey, Matt. Christina, step forward, please. Corey, you seem to be getting weaker, not stronger. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I definitely think I deserve to be up on the chopping block tonight. I don't think that I deserve to go home. I screwed up big time. My emotions got to me, and it affected my food. Right now, I'm not really interested about your emotions. I'm not Dr. Phil. I burnt myself pretty bad, but compared to Matt, I didn't want to leave, Chef. I didn't do a very good job, but I didn't quit, you know? And uh, I think that is what is important. Matt. Yes, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I keep getting picked on by everyone. I mean, she's picking on me because I had a migraine. I don't care. I'm here to win. I always fight back. You set me upstairs because I have a migraine. You probably understand what migraine headaches are like. Oh, fuck me. But I still tried to fight, and I still tried to fight back tonight to give you good service. I definitely don't think I was the worst person tonight, Chef. If you weren't the worst performing cook tonight, who was? I think Christina, chef. 
Christina, why should you stay? The girl with the least experience. You've only been cooking for three years. No, chef. I've only been cooking professionally for three years. I've been cooking for a long time. But you not think you need to get a little bit more experience before going any further? I think I've made it this far. I feel like every day that I'm here, I'm getting better. And I don't think it's about your experience. I think it's about your heart. You're willing to fight for things. You have done well to get here. You've got every reason to be proud. I think it's time for you to go elsewhere and get some more experience, because you give up too easily. I do not give up, chef. Not for one moment. I'm really disappointed. To perform like this is bullshit. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight for all the right reasons. Matt, take your jacket off. Don't stop. I yeah. will never. Thanks, chef. Hope the migraine clears up. Raw venison, raw quail egg, and grated white chocolate. <coughs> Hell's Kitchen's a lot different than what you think. Ow! Where's the top of the finger gone? The whole teamwork thing was tough. No, 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 Basing it. No, no, no. You know, you're acting like I'm doing a bad fucking job over here. Well, you mind. are. You are. No, you I'm are, not. Man. I did my best. Matt, it was the best risotto that's ever gone out in Hell's Kitchen. Thank you, chef. I'm happy as far as I came. But I may be the first of the final six, but my career's not over. And it's going to keep growing. My dream came true. I got to work with Chef Ramsay. That's the best thing that could ever happen to my life. Back in line, both of you. You're all very lucky Matt was here tonight because he's just a fraction worse than all of you. I am relieved Matt's gone. You know what? I'll be relieved when Matt's in a different state. Make sure you lock that door behind that guy. When you go back to the door, you had better start thinking about uniting as a team. Now get some sleep. Thank you, chef. I got to step it up. At this point right now, everybody's competition. To make it to the final two is going to be brutal. You have to learn from your mistake. I mean, you don't become strong by not being weak at one point. The longer I am here, the stronger I get. There once was a boy named Matt whose kitchen performance fell flat. He was far from neat, miserable on meat. So I kicked him out, and that's that. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Oh, God, one time can I stand up there and not cry? Jesus Christ. Poor, poor Matt. You know what? I'm glad that Matt's not here. I mean, I really just didn't want to listen to him anymore. I didn't want to listen to him either. Now that Matt's gone, it's anybody's game. Now's the time. We're down in the finals. Five of us, now it's real. Now it's hardcore. Let's talk shit for a moment. Jen's first to say, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything wrong. Everything I did tonight was perfect. Oh, yeah? Jen's sort of on her last leg as far as her attitude, especially now that we're getting down to the finals. You know, it's like she's going to be even more vicious. I think Jen will undo herself. Jen got to stop playing hero, man. Whatever. She was pissed at me, so. You know what? She gets pissed at everything. Clean up after asses. I'm not here to make friends, and I'm not here to be a part of no team. If that makes everybody dislike me, then so be it. But I know, hands down, culinary skills, I got all of them faded, all of them. While Jen keeps her own company, Christina and Corey are finally finding something to bond over. Jen's on her way down. There is going to be some drama with her. It's going to boil over real soon, real soon. She thought she had it in the bag. She still does. That's the problem. There's a storm of brewing, and it's coming. <laughs> it's a new day in Hell's Kitchen, and despite their differences, the five remaining chefs must present a united front to Chef Ramsay. Right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning chef. Tonight we're going to have a new special, yeah? A lobster spaghetti. OK, watch carefully. 
Lobster, that goes into the water. The aspiring chefs carefully watch each step of Chef Ramsay's demonstration, knowing that they could be tested at any time on his teaching. In, touch of salt, touch of pepper, yes? I, I love when Chef cooks, man. It's amazing. He, like, tells a story with, it, with his food. Out. Lobster. The claws. Fresh tomato sauce. Spaghetti. Touch. Touch. Or the lobster. Fresh, yes? Spaghetti and lobster. Did everybody watch that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah? Do you all think you could do that? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good, because today, for the very first time inside Hell's Kitchen, we are opening a cooking school. I'm, I'm a pretty good teacher. I'm, you know, I'm always teaching. So uh, I've, got a, I've got a good shot to win this. That's the essence of becoming a great chef, becoming a great teacher. Now, each and every one of you this morning has got one student. And your objective is to teach that student that dish. I definitely want to win this challenge. I am serious business. I am not losing anymore. OK. Your students have arrived. Ladies, please join us. Domestic housewives. Woo! My mouth hit the ground. My jaw dropped. <laughs> oh, shit. Morning. Ladies, good to see you. They're like middle-aged housewives in full mini skirts, and their breasts are like literally popping out. You can pretty much look at them and tell that they don't cook. Hi. OK, Patrons are excited. Yeah, sure. Look how glamorous they are. <laughs> oh, no. oh, you're trying to distract me, chef. Oh, bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Lovely. Can I uh, take your uh, gerbil? Does it have a name? Zeus. Zeus. Right, Zeus. Oh, shit. Zeus. Uh, Scott, can you look after Zeus, please? And maybe put him in the steamer. Excellent. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK, now, opposite you guys, yes, is your student. Look after them, nurse them, educate them, and teach them that dish. The chef student that cooks the best spaghetti lobster wins the challenge. Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Great, great. Excellent. 45 minutes from now. Off you go. <laughs> Let's go, Bobby, yes? Chef, are ready? <laughs> Hopefully her boobies won't get in the way of cooking, because they are ridiculously huge. I've never seen anything like that ever. Apron, here we go. First thing we're going to do is roll the uh, pasta. I've never made pasta in my life. I've heard about it. The aspiring chefs must teach these pampered housewives Woo! to recreate Chef Ramsay's lobster spaghetti. Nice, nice, nice. But they're not allowed to do any of the cooking themselves. Jen. Let your student work. Yes, good. Oh, careful. Careful, careful, careful. I was really nervous about my student, you know? She kept trying to cut things in her hand, which I just see her cutting her hand in half, and that scares me. Oh, you make me nervous when you do that. <laughs> While Christina is worried about keeping her housewife in one piece, Petroza has other things on his mind. Is this right? Yeah, here you go. Here you go. Your dynamite. Do you want to put it on top here? I think Petrosa was definitely excited, you know, to be working next to, like, a hot girl, and uh, I think he probably just needs to stay a little bit more focused. Do you want your hair up? Sure. Okay. okay. Off we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, Petrosa. So first thing first, we're going to kill our lobster. Are you sure? Oh, I did not know I was going to have to kill that lobster. Oh, my god, I've never killed anything. I free moths and spiders, everything. You know what? That kitchen is not a daycare. I'm done babying people. It's not a daycare. Let's put it right in the water. Okay. Which water? Oh, uh, let's go here. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Ah! Oh. There you go. That's it. I'm definitely hoping the student don't mess this up for me. Okay. You got it. That has got to be the worst that could happen, right? That's the hard part. Fifteen minutes left to go. Yes. Yes, yeah. Chef. And just like you got to get like good rhythm. There you go. Beautiful. Sandra was kind of a tough girl as far as, like, compared to the other housewives. She was doing a really good job. I thought my chances were pretty damn good. There we go. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Jen cheated. She kept trying to cut things when Chef Ramsay wasn't looking. I just think it's Jen showing her true colors. Jen, look at me. You've got to stop doing it. It's really important your student participates and does it. Otherwise, you're going to be disqualified. Yes, yeah, sure. What a shame. John has okay. to go to the gym now. Let's go. It's not brain surgery, it's no, just no, making food. Right, okay. Right, exactly. And 10, 9, 8, 
Seven. Run, Jen, run. Six. All right, now I want you to play there, right? Five. I'm stressing out. Come four. On, come on, come on. Three. Oh my gosh. Two. One. And stop cooking. Oh my gosh, it was hot. Now that the cooking has been completed, it's time to find out which of the chefs was the better teacher. Right. How was that, ladies? Fun. Fun. Enjoy it? Very. Yes. 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 Did you learn anything? Yeah. Yes. Yes. First time holding a knife? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> now for the exciting part. Please, Petrosa, take off Cassie's dome. <laughs> Lovely. There we are. Excellent. Seasoning-wise, delicious. Lobster's cooked perfectly. Unfortunately, the pasta's overcooked, and it's rolled very thinly. Cassie is way hot, and it was difficult to, to concentrate on what I was doing. And I should have known that the, the pasta was too thin. Now, Christina. That's nice. Lobster, nicely done. Seasoned beautifully. But for me, the secret there is the pasta's cooked perfectly. Thank you. He liked Christina's dish, but hey, I ain't break no sweat. I'll outcook Christina any day of the week. Well done, Bobby. Yes, sir. Right. Oh, I want to win this challenge very bad. I have to prove as an individual that, you know, I'm the right person for the job. Why is it all chopped up into little bits? It looks like Zeus's dinner. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a shame. It does taste like a dog dinner as well. Badly seasoned. Damn. Melinda um, definitely screwed this challenge up for me, you know? She brung a dog in the kitchen. I was halfway screwed right there. OK. Corey, please, take off the dome. Corey and Sandra. Pasta's cooked beautifully, seasoned nicely. The heat is there with the chili. Um, it's nice. Well done. Thank you. I gave Sandra a lot of knowledge. Our plate was really, really good, and I think that's why I deserve to win. Right, Noelle. Yes. Didn't manage to burn any bits. Still got my fingernails. Good girl. Yeah. You've never cooked in your life, have you? Never. No. I Cereal. can taste that. <laughs> uh. um, sadly, uh, very bland. There's no tomato sauce in the pasta, and it's sort of congealed into one big sort of lump. I'm just pissed off because this woman does not cook. She don't know the first thing about cooking. I thought it was bull crap. What a shame. So it's down to Christina and Corey. Right. Tough decision. Two outstanding dishes. Really good. Really, really good. The best teacher in Hell's Kitchen's first ever cookery school. Is Christina. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Congratulations. Well done. Ooh, well done to you both. Thank you. Really well done. Thank you. Oh, my God. I'm just, I'm excited. I really knocked this one out of the park. I think I would be able to teach anyone who actually wants to learn. Well done also. That's a very close second. I really thought that we had a good chance of winning. I don't think Christina deserved to win today. It sucks that I lost. OK, losers, you will be spending all day inside House Kitchen cleaning. Our fryers need emptying. Our floors need scrubbing. Our ovens need cleaning. Yeah, I lost every challenge, you know, and I don't enjoy the punishment. So I don't take kindly of losing these challenges. I want Hell's Kitchen immaculate. Yes, sir. OK, as a reward, Christina, you and I, we're going to be having a really nice lunch together. Except not alone. I've invited two of LA's premier restaurateurs to join us. They're going to cook for you personally and show you some of their signature dishes. Use the time wisely, pick their brains, and enjoy. Absolutely. I get to pick brains. Ooh, and I get to hang out with Chef Ramsay all by my little old self. How cool is that? As a little extra from me, ladies, I'd just like to give you a, a present. Stainless oh steel cookware. Gosh. Yay! A complete range of my new set from Raw Dalton. One each for you all, that yes? The best of the best. Brush stainless steel, Raw Dalton, all designed, crafted by myself. No way. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies, please, follow Chef Scott, and thank you once again. The rest of you, we've got some cleaning to do. Yeah. Huh? Off we go. Damn, I wish I fucking would have won that. <laughs> the fact that Christina won definitely uh, pissed me off, for sure. I don't think Christina is an amazing chef. I mean, she won by luck. You know, she can very articulate in her words, but when it comes down to cooking, yeah, yeah. Yeah. she can't 
can't hang. Christina, just her culinary skills is just not there. All that talking and ass kissing don't mean nothing. Let's see how her food gets out tonight. Christina, she's a little slow. Yeah. You ain't lying about that, Bobby. Let's go, madam. Here we are. First of all, Mark Peel. One of the very Hi. famous company, Lee. Christina, Christina nice a winner. You. And uh, Benjamin Ford. Hi, nice Christina. to meet you. Wow, Ben Ford and Mark Peel. Awesome. I'm so excited. It's your yeah. chance to spend quality time with all three of us. OK. As they cook, we'll eat and taste in here as it okay. comes together. Cool. Everything needs to be cleaned, polished, clean out the refrigerators, reorganize them. You don't want to see anything aside people working and cleaning. Get cleaning. Christina's rubbing elbows with these, you know, great chefs, wearing the other side, scrubbing the kitchen. I think it sucks. Look at this ice cream scoop, Bobby. Yes. We're going to do a cedar smoked okay. salmon. Just a little oil on top. The oil captures smoke flavor. Being one-on-one -on -one with people who are really good at a craft will help my chances. Cleaning the kitchen, not a great way to do that. Christina's reward is not good for her ego because she gets more and more cocky about her cooking skills. All right, Ben, what are you doing? My dish is tenderloin. We're going to stuff it with some creme casa cheese. You want the dish to sort of tell a little bit of a story. Oh. It's done more in the kitchens, but this is a little prettier technique. And we're just going to go in there, and we're just going to make a little pocket inside. I was over there cleaning out their kitchen. I got to see a lot of cool things when I was over on that side. You don't have to do too much. It's really going to render off anyhow. And I definitely took advantage of that time I was over there. Let's have a little taste of this one first together. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm, thank you. Mm. It's yeah. very good. The sauce, it's like eating a, a garden of herbs. Beautiful. It's hard to put it down. Uh, Bobby, can you just clear down the plates, please, and wipe down the hot plate, ready for the next course? I definitely tasted whatever I could taste just to get a feel of what they were cooking over there. It's like, hey, you got to do what you got to do to win. Jen was basically eating food that's going into the garbage. It was a little weird. It's been an absolute pleasure, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's you. been a huge benefit to Christina. Thank you Thank so you. much. Appreciate taking time out. I think I need another hour to, like, digest it all. <laughs> Look mm -hmm. at you. I was actually glad that I got the reward that I got today. I'm definitely going to exploit it to my greatest advantage. With Hell's Kitchen only hours from opening, the chefs begin to prepare for dinner service. Let's push, guys. Push, push. After her private lesson with two master chefs, Christina is eager to share her wisdom. You guys that were on apps, one nine pan of this is going to be enough. Jen, do you have a six pan already for the lobster meat? And we need shallots for the special, too, right? She's I already got, got shallots, though. For the special, but we still need stuff for the risotto. I wish Christina would just shut the hell up. That's one thing that Mark Peel was saying. I just wanted to kind of booty bump her all the way across the room. You can already start searing up your chicken breast and just have that in the oven because it's not going to hurt your quality. It was like her voice was just getting under my skin. I haven't gone too crazy yet. Like, shut up, bitch. Well, the scallops are a huge portion, I think, for an app. I just honestly cannot stand her. <laughs> right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. OK, tonight in Hell's Kitchen, we've got one of the toughest hurdles to jump over. We have a 12 top. 12 appetizers, 12 entrees, 12 desserts. Boom, bang, straight out. Yeah, big, big, big night, big night, big night. This is going to be busy. This is no baby shit. This is, this is serious. There's only five of you left. We need this. We owe it to ourselves. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Each and every one of you tonight, has to put in the performance of your lives. We need that level of commitment. Are we ready? Yes, yes chef. OK, let's go. JP, open Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen is booked to its capacity of 120 customers this evening. John Dory and Jumbo Brun. And the chocolate souffle. Chocolate souffle. With only five aspiring chefs remaining, each performance becomes critical, and Chef Ramsay will be watching their every move. That's it. Up. A little bit of movement in you. I think you're going to go a long way. A little bit of movement, yeah? But you're too static. You know, like, uh, you're like flat-footed sometimes. You can be a little bit more fast, you know that? Yes, Chef. Yeah, so do it, yes? You know, Jen's going to try to watch her mouth, but um, when she gets mad, it all comes out, and it's, like, very ugly. I think it's only a matter of time before it, um, Jen breaks. 
Jean-Philippe, can we have some orders, please? Oh, putain. Hey, would you mind not head back to my door? Sorry, can we get a sign on here, yeah? Open your eyes, you Belgium twats. You just walked into the glass. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, putain. Huh? Without headbutting the glass, can I have some orders, please? Oh, shit. I'd order two covers, table 31. Two spaghetti, one crab, entree. One salmon, one wellington, medium. Yes, yes chef. chef! Let's go, Christina. I want a perfect start. Let's go, yes? Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay, you have the pasta special on my station. I'm sort of like special station girl. Walk into the window now. All right, spaghetti. Christina, where's the other? I'm waiting on one more spaghetti. Spaghetti went up already, Chef. Oh, fuck off. Spaghetti was on its own. I told you to get on two spaghetti. You said yes, then you dropped me in the ship without doing spaghetti. Yeah, Chef. Hurry up. Yeah, Chef. Christina, she started off rocky yeah. on abs. I don't want to be mean, but it definitely felt yeah. a little bit good. <laughs> Come on, please, Christina. Yeah, I need that spaghetti. Yes, yeah, Chef. Walk into the window now. Let's go. Come on, you. Yeah, chef. Taste the sauce. Christina, very nice that spaghetti. Thank you, Chef. 30 minutes into dinner service, Christina now has her act together. Very nice, Christina. Gotcha, Chef. And appetizers are flying out of the kitchen. <laughs> How's everything? Mm -hmm. Good. Amazing. This is very good. Yeah, it's very nice. Scallops are well cooked. Christina and Corey continue to send out appetizers. Meanwhile, Bobby on meat, Jen on fish, and Petroza on vegetables have delivered their first entrees to the pass for Chef Ramsay's approval. Hey, Bobby. Hi. Yes, Chef. What the fuck's that? We cut all the way through. Come on. I slice it through so we've got two nice bits, okay, yeah? Sorry, yeah? Okay, I didn't ask you to butterfly it. I didn't cut it right, so, you know, I started off rough. You know, once I did that, I know Chef was going to be on me for the rest of the night. Bobby? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah, look, burn it on the bottom. You only trim the fucking backs. Come on, Bobby. Take it back, Bobby, and trim it. OK. My god. Ooh, chef, chef was on me, man. Bobby definitely has major issues. I'm like, oh, my god, this is all stuff that we cooked before. And it was easy. Bobby, fucking wake up, please, yeah? Yes, sir. If that's Bobby style, then that's him, you know? But I don't do shit like that. Oh, fuck me. Hello, Jen. Yes, chef. It's fucking raw, yeah? It's raw. It's raw, yeah? Yeah, Chef. Why are you undercooking, John Dory? I'm sorry, Chef. Jean-Philippe, overhearing Jen's problems with the fish, decides to take matters into his own hands. Push the meat. Push the meat. Yeah. Push the meat. How long? Right now, Chef. Coming right now. Jen, what is going on on there tonight? Come here. Just feel that now. Yeah. It's rubber. Yeah, it's overcooked. Come on, please, yes? Yeah, right away. Yeah. Unbelievable. Meat, meat, meat. Meat, 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 yeah? Push the meat. First you undercooked it, now you're overcooking it. Try to push the meat. While Jean-Philippe tries to avert disaster in Hell's Kitchen, Bobby is ready to redeem himself with a well-cut Wellington. What the fuck is that? What in the fuck is that? Bobby, come here. You're cremating everything. Feel that in there. You're cooking it to fuck. I oh, know, I know I'm totally screwed here. Push the chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Is that the best you can do? No. Why don't you give me your best? I'm trying. Bobby, he was taking a beating. Bobby, you're now sending me shit. And you expect to get away with it? He was like, wow, up the left to right, left to right. Bobby! Yes, sir. Can you listen, yeah? And fucking concentrate now, yeah? Yes, sir. He was like down and getting, you know, kicked in the ribs and the teeth. You're struggling big time, and it's starting to piss me off. OK. While Bobby attempts to get himself out of hot water, some of the diners are starting to steam. I'm not happy about waiting this long for my food. I can't just sit here and wait and wait and wait. Back in the kitchen, Petroza delivers Jen's fish to the pass a little too early. What's the John Dory there for? Why are you sending me John Dory now when we're not even ready with the chicken and the Wellington? I didn't bring I, the John Dory up there, right. Chef. Do you want to argue now? No, Chef. It's really hard to hold my tongue, especially when it's something where Chef is really in the wrong. But I just kept telling myself, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't even look. Don't even say nothing, Jennifer. Don't do it to yourself. I don't even need it yet. It's going with the fucking Wellington. Right. So can we come together? I didn't bring my John Dory up there, Chef. He brought the garnet. Don't shout at me. 
and he looks at me, don't yell at me. But I'm thinking you yelling at me for something that I didn't do, and I'm not having that. Chef Ramsey. Oh, hey, listen, if, it, if you're going to start whinging, crying to me, I don't want to know. Just do it. Because if that's your attitude to customers not waiting for all. food, I yeah, think. that's yes, why chef. I'm pissed off. Chef, it's not it's good not enough. Though. It's not at all. Not good enough. Do you want to go home? I should speed up and put a little bit of energy in your step, and it's like clump, 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 clump. Yeah? So when I say speed up, just do it. It means run, Chef. I understand that. It's not at all. Not good enough. Seat. Jen has a problem with authority. Jen has a problem following direction. There is nothing positive that could come from being disrespectful or questioning Chef Ramsay. I'm fucking believable. You see the way she moves? Anyone counting down? Yeah? yeah two John Dory. Three minutes to the window. Two yeah. John Dory, one salmon, two chicken. Okay, let's go. Come on. Going up by the pass with the chicken patrols up. Bobby, is this right going to be the first completed table? Yeah. Yeah? Right now, guys. This is nuts. This is out of control. It's like a war. It really is. It's definitely like a war down here. Going up now. Going up, let's go. In the window, spaghetti. Go, complete that tail, please. Yeah, that's it. Service, please. Filet mignon. Got the good one. You got the good one. It's good. Bobby, the next ticket is one Wellington. Yes. And two fillets, one medium well and one medium, OK? Her. And I got a dory with that, Patrol. Do you got it? OK, yeah. The kitchen appears to be working together, serving most of their entrees. But they're about to face another challenge. The arrival of the 12 top. Okay, let's go to the 12 top, yeah? We're in the fucking shit now, yeah? Hello. Good evening. Special occasion? Is it a birthday Ladies or somebody? Ladies' night out. Ladies' night out. Ladies night out. <laughs> that's, that's a good reason. Yeah. Are you, you work together? Like, yeah. 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 So what do you do for a living? We work together. Wake up, Petrosi, yeah? On order, listen up. 12 covers table 23, the 12 top. Four spaghetti, two risotto, two scallops, three crab, one Caesar salad. Yes, chef. Four spaghetti. Corey. Yes, chef. Stop that for a second. Give her a hand with 12 fucking appetizers. Yes, chef. Ready to go. I need the spaghetti out of the blanching water and into the pot. We need to finish it off with a little bit of basil. This into where, sir? Into here. Sir. 12 ladies. Oh, fuck me. It's really hard because all 12 appetizers absolutely had to go at the same time. Coming underneath hot pan. It's four spaghetti and lobster, yes? You've only got yes, enough lobster in there for two. That's yes, not chef. going to waste, but hurry up. Where did you say you're from? I'm from Belgium. Oh, oh. Right. you're welcome. It's, <laughs> it's not about me tonight. It's about uh, you. So. Well, you know we're all going traffic cops. So we could go to the beach tomorrow. Oh, yeah. While John Philippe enjoys his time with the ladies, there are two ladies in the kitchen, Christina and Corey, who want to impress Chef Ramsay with their appetizers. Where's the spaghetti? One more is. Coming right now, Chef. Risotto and the fucking spaghetti, you. Chef. Spaghetti, Chef. Yeah. Garnish, please. Where's the fucking risotto? I asked Kai to help you out. Chef, who orders the risotto? Christina, you set up there? It's all up. Me and Christina hate each other. We do, but we work so good together, and that's how it should work all the time in the kitchen. Everything else in the window. Service, please. Go 12 top. Let's go. Let's go. Complete. Let's go. Enjoy your appetite. Yours looks really, really good. How is it? Lobster's really good. <laughs> I love yeah, it. Perfect. With all the appetizers for the 12 top completed, Corey and Christina begin preparing desserts. Okay, I have ice cream already scooped. They're in there. They're on top of the ice cream itself. I need one more. Now, it's Bobby, Jen, and Petroza who are in the hot seat with the entrees for the 12 top. Communicate tonight for the first time. Come on, guys. We can still pull it together. Pull it together. Last table. Let's get it going. Let's get it done, you guys. Now, all of a sudden, you got to say, OK, what else do I have left in me? What else do I have left? And push and push until it burns. Come what you got coming up, Bobby? I got, I got two chickens and uh, one beef. And two I got beef. your garnish. I got Thank your garnish you, for all of it. John Dory. Yes, Chef. Right here. Hello, Jen. Yes, Chef. Get your fish in now. Yes, Chef. Drop yeah? it in now. Oh, fuck me. It's fucking raw, yeah? It's raw. OK, Bobby. Yes, Chef. Last time, the salmon was ready, but the fucking Wellington was raw. Is this a game between you two? No, Chef. Have you given up, madam? Not at all, Chef. Not at all. Look at the speed of her. Look at the speed of her. Fuck off, will you? Get out of the way. Out of the way. 
Get out, get out of the way. Get You're too fucking slow. Get out of the way. Jen got kicked off her station. It should not have been that difficult. I'm hoping that Chef Ramsay will get rid of Jen. Fuck me. When the going gets tough, it fucking separates the fucking strong, doesn't it? Garnish, please. Yes. Pepperad. Pepperad. He serves the fucking pepperad. He can't. You've got to call for polenta as well. Can't you just bring the pepper out of the plenty? Hey, is that you now? Are you done yet? Like him? No, you done? no, yeah? Chef. No, hey, no. Let me just tell you something. I'll push hard. You stopped talking. I'll you stopped checking. Hard. You've sunk. I'll wait you're, not even, you're not even communicating now. I'll communicate. When you bring chef. the pepper out, yeah? I, why, why can't I just bring the plenty? Why can't you bring yeah, the plenty? Right, so, I... pepper out, polenta. Why can't I just register? I'm yeah, trying. Your to head's down. Go. Get it out of your ass and start waking up. Yes, yeah, Chef. My timing was certainly off. I mean, I just couldn't get in the rhythm. I was trying, I tried, I tried. Where's the fucking mashed potato? Wake up, Petroza. Yeah, yeah, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Oh, my God. Look at him now. I haven't had one table together yet as a team. Fucking inconsistent, inconsistent, and fucking dreaming. I've had enough. Speed up, yeah? We've got the 12 top standing by. Ready, guys? Yeah, chef. Yeah. All right, let's go. You guys, this ain't no game. This ain't no joke. This is crunch time. The gloves are off. Three and a half to the window on that entree. Three and a Three half. Three and a half hurt. We need to bond and unite as a team and get the food out. Yeah, one medium, one medium well. Be beautiful hurt. God, we're starting to talk now. You got it, Petroza? Yes. OK. Minute and a half to the window. Minute and a half hurt. Stand in the play. 12 top, please, yes? Let's get it done, you guys. OK, let's go. Come on. How long? 20 seconds, Chef. Chicken garnish. Guys, on the pass with the meat. Coming behind you. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Service, please. Lovely. Lovely. Enjoy your entree. OK, try it. The chicken is excellent. You have it's really, really, really good. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. It's really good. On the sauce, it's really yummy. With the 12 top receiving its entrees, dinner service is now complete, and the chefs can breathe a sigh of relief. Woo! Unfortunately, Chef Ramsay is not impressed. I'm glad you feel you're on a high, Bobby, yeah? No, man. Because I'm fucking on a high. Me either. What a way to celebrate the last fucking table. Turn your stoves off, yeah? Even though the chefs completed dinner service, it was a difficult evening. And now, they must face Chef Ramsay. OK. We completed the service. But here's the thing. Too painful. Because we didn't unite as a team. And tonight, this far down the line, it shouldn't have to be this painful. And being the final five, I seriously expected more. Honestly, there's only one individual who stood out in this kitchen tonight. Christina. Yeah. Thank you, Chef. Christina, very nice that spaghetti. Thank you, Chef. Very nice, Christina. Gotcha, Chef. The big hit was the lobster spaghetti. Yeah, great, bold flavors. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. OK. Christina. Yes, yeah, Chef. Go back to the dorms and nominate two of your teammates for elimination. The choice is yours. Yes, yeah, Chef. Choose wisely. There's only five of you left. Piss off. Good compliments out of Chef Ramsay's mouth are few and far between. So that felt really, really good to hear. From your end on Gunner Station, what did you see happening? Because I wasn't able to give it a lot of attention tonight. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't happy with my performance tonight at all. I heard a couple times Chef go, where's the carrot? Where's the mashed potatoes? And told you that you were dirty. Well, that wasn't even happening, though. I just feel like it's not the first time. You know, and there's so much there that you could do, and you don't because you're so focused on yourself. And this isn't about you yet. I don't think that Petroza did very well. I mean, he's dirty, and he has some things to work on, but everyone made mistakes. You know, like, I think Bobby deserves another chance. No, I don't, but I know what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. But he's kind of, I've seen with Bobby, like, I haven't worked with him enough to really know, but he seems really mediocre. Bobby, who's been cooking for whatever, 15 years, it's like you could tell he's never tried to push himself. He just rides safe his whole life. Woo! -hoo. That was hardcore cooking, brother. I know I was going to be like, he's going to put the binoculars on me when I, my first, I didn't cut the um, uh, filet mignon all the way. I think he probably going to send me home tonight. 
I think Bobby and Petroza should be on the chopping block. I definitely don't think that I was the worst in service tonight, but Christina's choosing, and I know she's not too fond of me, so it wouldn't surprise me if she was to put me up tonight. Go on, Jen. I'm just gonna get myself together. She can't win with that attitude, dude. Mm -hmm. She cannot. Mm -hmm. Who is gonna listen to her in the kitchen? We all have admitted that Jen is good in the kitchen, but she's missing that, like, team spirit. She's missing that one thing that you need to have to be an awesome chef. She's too fucking full of herself. She's so full of herself. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, fucking, I hope. I hope she goes. I hope she goes, too. Christina. Yes, Chef. Difficult decision? There's not that many people to choose from anymore, Chef. No, I'll say. First nominee and why? Chef, my first nominee is Jen. It seems like when things don't go her way, she shuts down and brings the team down with her. I know she introduced herself as a new Jen, and I was really excited to see what she would do, but I haven't seen a change. Right. OK. Second nominee and why? Chef, my second nominee is Bobby. Bobby. I made this decision based upon his performance tonight. Uh -huh. As you said, he was inconsistent. I expected more and didn't get it. OK, Bobby and Jen, step forward, please. Jen. Yes, Chef. What makes you think you deserve the right to cook again in Hell's Kitchen? Truthfully, madam. I'm going to keep giving you my all, and I'm going to give 100%. You. Went back to your old ways again tonight. Not at all, Chef. You get criticism, you slow down. I can be fast and I can be strong, and I know I've showed you that before. I don't know if I can work with that any longer. Bobby. Yes, Chef. Tonight you were bad, big boy. Yeah. Oh, dear. My performance tonight is definitely not my best, but uh, it was rough. It was rough coming out the gate. Tonight you stank. And thank God for you for being at the pass for stopping that fool, because you stopped it before the customer got to it. I didn't look at you like you were yelling at me. I was looking at you like you are saving me. Are you running for office? No, nah, Chef. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? And you said the name of the game is to cook. I cooked, cooked, and cooked. I said to you before service, it's a service of your life tonight. Chef, tonight was a rough day at the office, you know, but uh, one thing I didn't do, I didn't go postal. Are you a better cook than Jen? Yes, Chef. In what way? You know, when it comes down to pressure, you know, I'm not going to crack. Jen. Yes, Chef. Are you a better cook than Bobby? I honestly do feel that I'm a better cook than Bobby, Chef. You know, I am organized back there. I'm strong. You know, I come up with good ideas that, I, that you've liked in the past, Chef. And I've done a lot since I've been here. This is crunch time. Yes, Chef. Absolutely. Christina. Yes, Chef. Who do you think should go home? I honestly think Jen should go home, Chef. You think Jen should go home? Yes, Chef. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. So when I say speed up, just do it. He's run, Chef. I understand that. I yeah? do. That's yes, why I'm pissed off. Because if that's your attitude, chef, it's not good enough. Bobby! Yes, Chef. What in the fuck is that? You're cooking it to fuck. Come on, Bobby. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. is General Bobby. Take off your jacket, big boy. You're dismissed. Thanks, sir. Thank you. OK, madam, back in line. I'm the Black Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> He's the president, and I'm the four-star general. Black Gordon Ramsay. Come over, big boy. All right. That's my forte, think, plan, and execute. Bobby, yes. I'm looking for someone to take control of this embarrassing mess. You got six set of hands. You don't need eight set of hands over here. I don't want to join the chaos. Bobby, you can't just keep on looking after yourself. You got to talk. I do get misunderstood because I'm 6'4", and they think I'm going to try to bully my way through. They get the opposite of that. You know, I'm a warm and I'm a joyful person, and that makes people feel so comfortable around me. I'm done. You all right? Take a couple of breaths. No, it's cool. It's cool. Here, wipe your eyes. Here, this is the cleanest thing. Here. I'm good. Wipe your fucking eyes. 
I told Chef Ramsey, man, thanks for the opportunity. Thanks for having me. We came down to his decision, and uh, he chose the general, and uh, he, he, he saluted me. Farewell. I walked into Hell's Kitchen with my joy, and I'm leaving with my joy. It's getting close. Each and every one of you knows what's at stake. Jen, Christina, Petroza, Corey, one of you is going to be my executive chef at the London West Hollywood. And right now, there are no favourites. Good night. Oh, by the way, good luck. I really mean that. Thank you, chef. I definitely think I got voted up for elimination because I do propose the threat. Who wouldn't want to get rid of the strongest person? And I hope Chef Ramsey sees through that. I really do. This is a serious, hardcore competition. And you got to fight, fight, fight. You know, I'm in fighting mode. Now that we are to the top four, it is game time, and things definitely need to change. If you're not a leader, it's going to show right away. There is nowhere to hide. Although Bobby was big in stature, he fell short in a number of areas. I kept on waiting for him to emerge, but he never did. That's why I have to say, over and out, General Bobby. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Good night. Good night, Good night Chef. Ah, fucking God, that was tough. The idea of being stuck here with Jen is not a pleasant one. She's going to be even more vicious and even more alpha herself. I'm happy that I made it to the final four, but I do feel like the people here might be threatened by me. I guess that's when it comes to the point where you should try to have friends here. I appreciate your honesty up there, Christina. You did what you had to do. My heart is in it for the team, and you like you are totally entitled to how you want to feel, Christina. Jen, I mean, I'm not trying to be insulting to you. You're not at all. Well, sweetheart, whenever you need something, I'm going to be there. I know that it's crunch time now. Like, people now are really trying to make themselves look good, but everyone's kind of out for themselves at this point. I don't know if Jen meant what she just said. I really hope she does. She's fake, dude. Sorry, that's why I looked away. I'm sorry. I'm done with fucking the shit she says. Like, I'm done worrying about people's feelings and walking on eggshells. I definitely realize that if I don't step it up, I'm out of here. I don't care how much she says she's going to change. We've learned, and that's it. So we need to get rid of Jen. The final four is very interesting. I don't believe I can trust anyone, honestly. It's not time to go yet, Jen. Not at all. Christina, Jen, Corey, and Petroza have outlasted 11 other chefs, but they still have a long way to go. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Good morning. chef. You're the final four. One of you is going to become executive chef in my brand new restaurant here in LA. Everything you do now is critical. The competition has just gone up a notch. It's time for you to be truly tested. Today's challenge is the mother of all challenges. The toughest challenge so far. Each and every one of you will come up with a dish and cook that dish for 80 customers. But these aren't normal customers. These are the most demanding, the most finicky. I would bend over backwards to make these people happy. I'm not quite sure who I'm cooking for. I would love some celebrities to walk in. Anybody like Beyonce, Jay-Z, oh, 50 Cent. Believe me, do you want these 80 individuals happy? Because their votes are going to determine today's winner. One hour to cook, 80 portions. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Starting from now. Off you go. One hour. Hell's Kitchen is fully stocked, and the chefs can use any ingredients they want to make their lunch specials. Nice. Christina has decided to prepare an island turkey sandwich with curried avocado and heart of palm salad. I'm afraid our diners are children, because I don't think curry and avocado are, like, you know, kids' favorites. What if I need a slicer? Am I supposed to go over there? A meat slicer is right here on this counter. Oh, Corey's lunch is a salmon BLT sandwich on toasted brioche with a side of vegetable chips. Corey, what are you doing? Uh, making chips, chef. There's your banana. Oh, uh, grilled salmon BLT, chef. Thank you. It's definitely go time for me. I know that I can do a good job. It's just a matter of pulling it out of me. Petroza is cooking a Monte Cristo sandwich with ham and turkey topped off with a spicy sauce. Nice. What's that in there? 
Uh, salt white peppers and adobo. Good. It's gonna have a little bit of a zip, and I'm realizing I have to appeal to the masses, so we're gonna keep the zip toned down. Come on, Seymour. Let's go. And Jen will be serving grilled grouper with rum butter sauce and a mango salsa on the side. Cook your heart out, yes? Yes, sir. 30 minutes to go, yes? Yes, sir. Yeah. This is not a lot of time at all. The fucking time don't buy. Hell yeah. It's not coming off. I was just like in a frantic mess. And I don't know what's gotten into me lately because usually I am like the most like organized and like anal person, but something is happening and it's not good. <laughs> Mushroom potato, heirloom tomato. It's gonna be cute. Woohoo! You know, I'm looking over and seeing Christina. She's like calm as a cucumber, kind of like gliding through the kitchen. Perfect. Yeah. 10 minutes to go, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I gotta get like 20 portions out of each one of them. Yeah. Oh, man. Patrol, the sandwich look like a heart attack dipped in a stroke with a side of cardiac arrest. I think my dishes are a lot better. You looking good on time? I'm tight. So I felt like this is it. Do or die. These things need to get in the oven right now. Last two minutes. Come on, ladies, please. I want food on a plate now. Yes, chef. Move, Cora, yeah? Come on. Oh, my God. Let's go. Well done, Patrosa, for being so well organized. Thank you, Chef. Come on, Jennifer, come on. Start getting them plated, Corey. Yes, Chef. I have nothing on my plates. My heart's like beating out of my chest. Corey, can yes, you get chef. some food on a fucking plate, yeah? Before you it's and I fall right out now, big chef. time. Yeah, now, yeah? Everybody at your stations. Right, 10, 9. Corey, the only one with nothing on their station. Let's go. Fucking hell. Three, two, one. OK, jean Philippe. Bring in our guest, please. I prepped, I mean, just not even enough for 80, you know? So I'm nervous that I'm going to run out of my food. I don't have a clue who's coming to lunch today. I don't have a clue. I told you you'd be feeding 80, but I lied. Yes. You're actually going to be feeding 160. Look. Holy cow, everybody's pregnant. Everybody's really pregnant. Like I said, the mother of all challenges. I was actually relieved because pregnant women, they pretty much eat anything. My baby's I trying know. to eat. Hello, ladies. So what are you having, a boy or a girl? Each chef will serve their lunch on a different colored plate. I'm Christina on the green plate. After sampling all the dishes, the guests will vote for their favorite. One, two, I'll be right back and give me one second. Ah! That is, if they actually get to taste it. Yeah. She's still making it. Yeah. Um, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry, too. <laughs> this is the worst challenge ever. I think if the clientele had been men, I could have definitely worked to that a little bit to my advantage, but uh, it wasn't. It was bitchy pregnant women, and uh, I kind of felt like I was losing from the beginning. Thanks a lot for leaving me. Afternoon, ladies. I'm actually at the next table, but this is my island turkey sandwich, if you would like to try it. I stopped by Corey's line, where Corey wasn't there with any food. Come to you, save you some time. Worth the wait? I yeah, sure wait hope so. Yeah. Right. I was trying. I was doing my best to pimp myself out there, green plate. We've got a Hell's Kitchen Monte Cristo sandwich with a little bit of pepper jack cheese. It's going to have a tiny bit of zip. I hope you guys don't get awkward. I was working the crowd a little bit because I realized that ladies like a friendly face. I just have to know, are you a father? I am. Oh, he doesn't even do it. Oh, yes, this is a nice Calypso grill group where it's nice and light, no bread. I know you want to keep those beautiful figures. I had the most complicated dish, hands down. Everybody else did sandwiches, so I know I deserve to win this. <laughs> yeah, they're coming now. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now they're getting irate, yes? I don't want these people giving birth before they get a chance to eat. I'm serious. You're the only station now left with ladies still waiting to eat, Corey. And of course, if they don't get to taste it, they're not going to judge it. Chef, I'm trying my first. Remember orange. <laughs> Both orange, ladies. There you go, ladies. Salmon BLTs. I'm yellow and I'm Petroza. It's good. The light's right there at the end of the tunnel. I can taste it. The wind is right in front of me. With the women now sampling all the lunch specials, it's time for these finicky eaters to weigh in on which dishes hit the spot. Mm, that's the kind of noise I like hearing now, yes. And which do not. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so, decide which one's best. 
With the ballots tabulated, it's time for Chef Ramsay to deliver the results. Ladies, thank you so much for helping put our chef to an amazing test today. And a second thank you for not giving birth today. Yes? <laughs> Lovely. OK, now for the bit you've all been waiting for. The results. In fourth place. Corey. OK. Chef's like definitely disappointed in me right now, and I feel like he's just seeing a roller coaster going down, 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 and it's not a good feeling. In third place is Jen. I was kind of shocked to get third place. I really was, because I put a great dish up there today. OK. It's down to two. Christina and Petroza, this is the closest we've ever had it. There are only two votes separating the winner. Very, very tight. The winner of one of the most demanding challenges so far in Hell's Kitchen. Congratulations to Christina. Well done. Oh. Really well done. Thanks, lady. Two votes. Two votes. Oh, come on. OK, yes. Christina. Yes, chef quite a special reward. We're going to Beverly Hills. We're <gasps> going shopping in one of the most amazing boutiques um, anywhere in the world. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. I'm definitely more of a fashionista by far than Christina, so I definitely would have been better with that reward. We're going to blow uh, over $1,000 <gasps> shopping. And uh, hurry up, because the okay. limo's waiting, yes? Can I go? Go and get dressed, yes? Hey. Woo! For somebody with only three years' experience, really kicked ass on these individual challenges. Ladies, it's been a pleasure. Jean-Philippe, will you escort our lovely ladies out, please, yes? Ladies, thank you. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Thank you. Right, losers, we're opening tonight for dinner. Take a good look at the dining room. Filthy. I think we spend all afternoon cleaning up, polishing the silver, polishing the glasses, and getting this dining room back to an immaculate room, then get on with the prep for tonight. Yes? Okay. Yes, yeah. Unlucky, Petroza. That was tight, yes? It's painful. I do not want to be cleaning the dining room. Two votes. Two votes. I see a lot of turkey sandwiches on these plates for her to have one. A lot of damn turkey on these plates. I want to go shopping. Yeah, it would be nice. Oh, my god. Christine doesn't even like clothes. Bye, guys. Bye. Have fun. Don't trip on your heels, yeah? Obviously, I'm jealous of Christina because I love to go shopping. Christina's like known as the one that doesn't have style, so I think they definitely picked the wrong girl to do that reward today. <laughs> When was the last time you went out and bought yourself a new dress? My grandma has to do it for me. All my clothes are black and white, because those colors match. Holy mackerel. Getting to know Chef Ramsay better will help my chances, and being one-on-one -on -one is a great way to do that. I love Beverly Hills. Have you ever been shopping yet around here? No, not really. Fantastic. I'm excited. A girl's dream. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Here we are. Straight through, there she is. All right. Lisa, hello. Hi. This is Christina, our Hi. winner. All right, Hi. come with me. OK. I have a whole room pulled nice. for you, and I'm totally excited to dress you. Lisa Klein herself was there to dress me, which is great, because I'm freaking clueless. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. So where are all your counterparts? They are back working hard. And you're shopping. How right. Fun. That's, That's what you get for being I the like winner. It. Damn, that sucks for somebody to go there with no fashion sense. I could have done so much fucking better. I don't think a heart's in the right place. Be nice, I know. Patrol's a damn, you big care bear. It's all like, damn, Jennifer, let's be friends. Kumbaya, my lord. No, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to win. I'm more like the Grinch. Let's go, Christina. Oh, la la, that's nice. That's very nice. OK, do me a quick favor. Huh. Hair down, glasses off. Shake the hair, come on. Look at that. Fantastic. You look like Elizabeth Hurley. Chef, stop flirting with me. That's nice. 
nice. I would definitely like to see many more days like this in my future. That's just heavy. Here she comes. Hi, guys. Oh, hi. Oh, you already have a new dress on. Why don't you show us what you got? I went to Lisa, Lisa Klein, Klein, and I was dressed by Lisa herself. What is that? This is a $200 shirt. I don't really like metallics. I got... Damn you, hell. This dress. That's a dress. And I think that's about it. So I'm going to go change. All right, see you soon. Bye, <laughs> Oh, my fucking god. I could have done way better at that fucking store. That shit was not cute. Came back like, hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> oh, god. I think that Corey and Jen are boiling. The game is afoot, yeah. The game is vicious. Let's see how you doing in service tonight, mama. Somebody going home. Mommy. While Christina gets her head back in the game, the rest of the chefs begin preparing for dinner service. OK, you guys, I am so ready. Each determined to come out on top. I feel really good today. You know, I won the challenge again. And I think tonight, it's really going to show in service. Watercress soup done, poached hennix done, compote done. I'm hoping to use um, Christina's day shopping to my advantage because hopefully she's kind of in the clouds right now. And there are three other people that are ready to shine. Let's get it, guys. All right, where can I start? All right, team, what can I do? It's down to the final four. It's every person for themselves. This is the competition. What can I help on? I walked in the kitchen and asked my team what I could do to help, and I had to ask like three times. So that's a little cold. What can I help on? Anybody? I definitely feel a, a little scared. Maybe winning this reward has put me closer to the chopping block in the eyes of my competitors. It definitely feels a little icy in the red kitchen. I thought it sucked that Christina won the challenge. But you know what? In the whole scope of things, it's like, forget it. You know what I would do? I'd get paper towels on the sizzle plate. I'll tell you what, that's like half the battle. Do you use paper towels on garnish? Yeah. Every single service up to the last service is teamwork. There's nothing solo about it. Just uh, maybe run through the stations, make sure we have beans, All right. salt, pepper. Obviously, I'm jealous of Christina because she won today. But it's not about winning the challenges. It's about winning House Kitchen. Nice of you to show up today. Yep. <laughs> We're golden. We're golden. OK. Right, let's go, guys. Right, one, two, three, four, left. This is where it gets really seriously tough. Let me just tell you now, each and every one of you has the chance to become my executive chef inside my new Los Angeles restaurant, a position worth a quarter of a million dollars. Woo! The stakes are enormous. Yes or no? Yes, yes chef. chef. So it doesn't get any better than this. Look, 11 gone, four left. Equally, you all deserve to be here. Make it count tonight. Unite as a team. Emerge as individuals. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Are we excited? Yes, sir. Let's go. Huh? Jean Philippe, open house kitchen. Hello. How are you tonight? May I please have the John Dory? And then the chocolate soup. Okay. Order up. Listen up. One scallop, one risotto. Yes, yes chef. chef. Jen, put the risotto on, please. Let's go. Yes, Chef. This is huge. It's down to four people. So every time I come in front of Chef Ramsay, now I'm trying to prove myself. Two minutes to the window, Chef. I got to man it up tonight and just take care of business. Two minutes to the window, Corey. Ready to drop your scallop? Two minutes her, driving scallop. I definitely do not feel safe at this point, so I really need to have a good dinner service tonight, no matter what it takes, or I'm out of here tonight. Let's go, Corey. Scallops drop, Jen. One minute to the window, scallop. One minute, guys. Risotto, please. Yes, Chef. Fixing it right now. 30 seconds, Jen, on scallops. Go on, take them up. Come on, Jen. Yes, Chef. 10 seconds, Chef. Corey, let's go. Yes, Chef. Scallops. Corey. Yes, Chef. Nicely cooked, the scallops. Thank you. Jen. The risotto's on. Where is it? Right here, Chef. 
Jen. Stunning. Stunning risotto, yes? Man, I rock that shit. Risotto's tasting good. Great, great, great. Well done. Service, please. Here we have the scallops. <laughs> Keep it going, guys. This is the best start we've ever had so far, yes? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. 25 minutes into dinner service, Corey and Jen's appetizers are flying out of the kitchen. Let's go. And with a spot in the top three at stake, everyone is aiming for perfection. Come on, Jen, pick it up. Right now, Jen. Jen. Yes, Chef. The rice is mush. Taste the rice. This goes to prove you're not tasting what you're sending. Yes, Chef. Have you switched off now? Not at all, Chef. Not at all. The rice is mush. What are you doing? Where's the butter? Yes, Chef. The spoon's crushing the rice. Stop mushing the rice. Just listen, Jen. Yes, Chef. Listen and concentrate, yes? Yes, Chef. What's the same? One more result, please. I want this so bad, I can scream right now. Somebody's gonna go home tonight, and I do not want that somebody to be me. Come on, hurry up, uh, she's so slow. Come on, where's your risotto? Yes, Chef. On your toes, where's your spark? Yes, Chef, they're working right now, Chef. Jen. Yes, Chef. I need that risotto urgently. Yes, Chef, right now. That risotto is excellent. It's amazing what you can do when you put your mind to it. Yes, Chef. You just confirmed how lazy you are. Because you only do it when it suits you. You blow hot and cold. Yes, yeah, chef. Sure. Stunning plan. Stunning plan. I guess I was being inconsistent, but damn, he ain't playing today. Like, he is, like, not playing today for real. Bloody hell. While Jen recovers from her setback on the risotto. Philly Wellington Salmon John Dory, yes? Yes, yeah, chef. Sure. The rest of the kitchen is moving on to entrees. Come on, Petroza. Find you. Let's go. Salmon. Yeah, good. That's nice to cook that salmon. Touch more salmon garnish, please. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Yeah, anything piping on. Ah, shit. Fuck. Ah, shit. Don't stop and look stupid like some thick cow. Yes, Chef. Fuck. Fuck's sake. Christina, the handle was over the flame. Yes, if the fucking handle's over the stove, at least say something to somebody, yes? yes? Chef. Yeah, now you're just acting like a fucking idiot, yes? No, Chef. Chef Ramsay was burning bad by Christina today. I know he was pissed. Six. Ooh, Christina over there messing up, for real. Fuck me. Not burn the chef. Fuck. Look at me, and I'm fucking serious now. If a handle is over the fucking flame, say something, will you please, yes? Yes, chef. One more time, and you're fucking finished. I just burned Chef Ramsay. That's really not cool. My mistake. Not gonna happen again. Trust me. Garnish, please. Coming right now, chef. Coming, Chef. Oh, shit. Fuck oh, now. I'm getting fucked here again. Christina, have had enough. Well, Chef Ramsay burned himself twice. You can smell his skin all across the room burning. I'm like, damn. Shit. Hey, look, come here, you, look. Look, look. You're not, even, you're, not, you're not even fucking telling me. He poured water on the handle of the pot, and it sizzled. It was really hot. That's unbearable now. I was just like, oh, shit. Now I think you're doing it on purpose to fucking wind me up. Hey, you're doing it really well, because I'm getting fucked off. Sorry. If a pan handle is over the fucking flame, say something, will you please, yeah? Yes, chef. Wake up! Yes, chef. OK, start again. Let's go. Come on, don't stand there and stare. While the kitchen starts over on their first entrees, Corey and Jen are working together to finish the appetizers. On order, two scholars, one risotto. Jenny, dropping eggs. Anybody dropping eggs? Jenny, can you have time? No. Jen Station is supposed to cook the eggs for the scallops, me and Christina. And we're getting slammed. And I'm like, Jen, drop the eggs. Like, that's your station. Jen, I need eggs dropped, please. <laughs> Jen, can you do it, please? I have to cook off more risotto. Sorry. Where are the scallops? Yes, yeah, Chef, we need these eggs. I'll drop your eggs. Got to crack them first, so it's going to be a little longer than normal. Okay. She was stirring one risotto. You're stirring risotto, and you can't fry an egg at the same time? I mean, that to me says that you're not a team player. Christina, eggs are on. Bird eggs. I'll watch them for you. Thank you. Where's the scallops? Scallops ready, waiting for eggs. Let's go. Oh, Corey. 
Corey, this pan is a hot ass mess. We need more eggs, Christina. Yes, we need more eggs. Where's the scallops? Come on. Come on, please. I'm standing here with my fucking pants down. We got two more scallops after that, Corey. Yeah, okay. We're waiting for eggs and they're fucked, so we need you to drop them if you have time. We're fucked over here. Teamwork, Jen. Teamwork, yes? Talk to them. It's not about you now. It's about the fucking Hell's Kitchen team. Yes, yeah, Chef. Coming right up. Yeah, I just dropped the eggs now. Jen acts differently around Chef Ramsay. She's sneaky, and she will do everything to make herself shine, and she's not worried about who she hurts along the way. Jen, scallops here. We're fucking behind. Let's go. Scallops. Service, please. Off we go. It's an hour into dinner service, and all of the appetizers have gone out. Mm. Now customers are hungry for their entrees. How long for the dory? Two minutes, Chef. Hurry up, please. Yes, yeah, Chef. Dory, please. Dory's one minute, Chef. I need the fucking dory, yeah? Chef, yes? still not cooked, sorry. Come on, please, I'm bottlenecked here, yeah? I'm in the shit. I didn't even finish cooking the John Dory, but at this point, I'm like, well, Chef's just going to yell. I mean, whatever, so I'm going to put it up. Dory, now. Dory's coming now, Chef. I know that it's not completely done, but I hand it to him anyway and just hope that it would slide by. Asia. Oh, man. Corey's shortcut has entrees moving out of the kitchen. But not for long. It's a little undercooked. Hello, how are you? If I wanted sushi, this would be perfect. I do apologize on that. I'm sorry. Uh, what's the matter? She would like to have it cooked, Chef. Fucking Corey! Corey! Look at me, come here. Look. Everything's perfect so far. That's fucking raw. Fuck off with you, yeah? When you put something up there and you're feeling 10% not sure of it, every time you try to do that in Hell's Kitchen, it bites you in the ass. <laughs> Everything was so perfect. Yes, Chef. She's dropping in standards. Now you are. 30 seconds on John Dory refire. Come on, please, Corey. I can't believe you're doing this. Is that you starting to descend now? No, Chef. Is that you on the way down, yeah? No, Chef. Dory now. Dory's coming now, Chef. So's fucking Halloween. Dory's right here. Wow, fucking hallelujah. Go, throw out the weight. Wake up, Corey. As the Hell's Kitchen finalists compete for a spot in the final three, each is working hard to impress Chef Ramsay. That's nice to cook, Petroza. Go, please. And with the chefs hitting their stride, it looks like nothing can stop them from completing a successful dinner service. Petroza! My God. Can you clean your shit down? You can't slice something no. stunning on top of something shit. My God. Yeah, Chef, I'll keep on it. You've been the strongest on this section so far ever. So clean yeah, down chef. and stop working like a pig. Yeah, Chef. Petroza, clear down. Petroza, how are you working in that mess? Since the first day in the Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay has been riding me about being dirty, and I've been trying to keep clean, but I just haven't been able to do it, you know? I'm always into my work, and my work is all over me. How long? 10 seconds. Count it down, Petroza. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Come on, Petroza. Come on. Five fillets up. Right this second. Well done in the medium to the left. Yeah, good. Absolutely beautiful. Service, please. That's nice to cook, that filet mignon. No, I don't give a fuck if you work like a pig from now on. Your meat's been excellent. Yes, Chef. Finally tonight, Chef Ramsay did see past the mess. An hour and a half into dinner service, almost all of the customers have been fed. Come on, guys. Last two tables. Make them count, yes? Come on. Let's go. All the way to the end. Let's go. Go, please. OK. Those off, yeah? Let's go. Clear down. The final four have served the dining room in record time. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. But this is Hell's Kitchen, and no one is safe. It's going to suck for who's ever going tonight. There are four really good people here, and one of us are going to go. Even though tonight's dinner service was a success... Toes off, yeah? The chefs are anxious about the post-dinner meeting with Chef Ramsay. Oh, dear. I don't know what to say anymore. 
Tonight was your best service. Oh, yes, wow. excellent. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Tonight was extraordinary. Yes, really well done. Thanks. Yes, thanks. After seeing him cursing and yelling and screaming, then you see a sense of humor come out. It's phenomenal. Yeah, we had a few sticky patches, but then bang, we got out of it. It was a significant improvement and the best service so far in Hell's Kitchen. One more thing. This is where it gets ugly. Because somebody is going home. Go upstairs and come to a, a consensus on which two of you should be up for elimination. Off you go. Oh, this sucks. Oh, great. How should we decide oh, great. this yeah, How are we going to decide? <laughs> We finally put it together as a team and had this great service and we still have to eliminate somebody. It's it's really, it's sad, but it's true. Oh. Half of us are going up. Right, but which half? How do we figure that out? Damn, I'm actually getting a heart in half. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually getting a heart in half. Oh, no. You cold bitch. You finally feel like you have a heart? Why? Because you know that there's a good chance that your ass is going on the chopping block? That's why you feel like you have a heart? Or are you just full of shit? If we all put down two names, will that determine? It's the no. easiest way. We are doing two names, right? And not the same person twice. We decided that we would write each other's names down. Two people each. You can't put the same name down, and we'll see what happens. One for Christina. Christina. Another one for Christina. Wait. Did you I, put yourself? No. But I didn't put you. So somebody voted twice. Did anybody vote twice? No. There's three votes for Christina. So that means one person put Christina's name down twice. I think we all know who that person was. Jen. And uh, it just shows her true colors. So it's Jen and Christina. I don't think I need to be up there. I do feel like the people here might be threatened by me. That's why they continue to put me up, because I just look around and be like, damn, I just can't see that anybody here deserves this more than me. I think she voted for me twice. She definitely did, dude. What do we do, guys? Me, Petroza, and Christina. I just really, really want Jen gone, so the problem is trying to figure out who to put up against Jen. Do you want to go up? Because <laughs> I don't. You know what? I'll go up. I'll go up. I think I deserve to be up there more than you. Oh, man. I definitely do not feel safe at this point. I, this could go either way. It could definitely bite me in the ass. First of all, thank you for a good night's service. Thank you, Chef. Sadly, on the back of four good performances, one person's dream is going to be shattered. That's Hell's Kitchen. Christina. Yes, Chef. First nominee, and why, please? Uh, chef, the team's first nominee is Jen. Jen. We just don't feel like the teamwork with Jen is strong enough and she is the weakest link right now. Second nominee and why, please? Our second nominee tonight. Our second nominee is Corey. Corey. Yes. Why? Um, on the back of this morning's challenge and the fact that the team would like to see more out of her during service, Chef. Right. Jen, Corey, step forward, please. OK. Corey, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Tonight, I did come back. I didn't come back awesome, but I came back. I am a valuable asset to the team behind me. I think that I spend more time than I should helping the team, um, and sometimes it puts me behind. But I think that that's an important part of learning and becoming a good chef, if not a great chef. Yeah. Jen. Yes, chef. Honestly, mm -hmm. from the bottom of your big heart, 
Why should you stay in the house kitchen? You can feel my passion in the kitchen. You know, this is huge, chef. This will absolutely change my life. An opportunity has never come across like this to me, anybody in my family, or anybody I know, chef. So I'm going to fight for it. Like you said, if somebody goes home today, it's a dream shattered, because I can't see anything else in my future right now. Corey, what separates you from Jen? Um, I think as far as honesty goes, I am a more honest person. She's lied to us when it comes to eliminations, putting people on the chopping block. Chef. There's been a few things, Chef, and uh, I don't think that's someone that you need. Chef, I'm going to let you know. As far as the teamwork thing, I'm definitely a team player, Chef. Uh, of course, I came off a little bit stronger here because I know this is a competition, and I know how much I want to win. OK. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen. Wake up, Corey. That's fucking raw. Fuck off with you, yeah? The rice is mush. I need that risotto urgently. Yes, chef. Listen, Jen. Yes, chef. You just confirmed how lazy you are. Corey, say goodbye to Jen. Jen, take off your jacket. Yes, chef. Bye, Jen. Bye. Listen, keep your head up high. You grew, you matured, and you listened. Finally. Thank you very much for uh, the opportunity, Chef. I really appreciate it. Don't stop. Never, Chef. From day one, I came here banking on the fact that I would make it to the top. Go. Push, push, push. I don't see anybody being more passionate about cooking than me. Come on, Jimmy, come on. Come on, Jen. Yes, Chef. And I know I had a really good chance of winning this. The winner's Jen. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You're off to Vegas. Oh, we're in ecstasy. <laughs> but I need to improve on my attitude. Are you going to be bitchy the whole day? I don't give a fuck. The competition started to get the better of me. She ain't getting rid of me. This was a great opportunity, but this is the end of it for me. And it hurts. I just have to stay positive and stay strong. Do what I do best, which is cook. Corey, back in line. OK, congratulations. The final three. Well, at least give each other a kiss or a hug or something. <laughs> I know Petros is fat, but he's not that ugly. Bloody hell. Oh, I'm so scared now. Oh, my goodness. Being in the top three, that's pretty cool. And Jen is gone, and that just makes me so happy. Here's the scenario. Tonight was almost a perfect service. Next service, you have to be even better. This is it. There is no room for mistakes. I came here to be Gordon Ramsay's next chef, and I think I have what it takes to win. Enjoy the rest of the evening, because tomorrow you're coming back to Hell's Kitchen as the final three. And two out of the three of you are going through to the final. Petroza, last man standing again. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well done. I'm still here. I'm still here. And there's just three of us left. Crazy, huh? Well done. Now fuck off. <laughs> oh, my oh my god. god. <laughs> A great chef should not only be consistent with their cooking, but with their attitude. I never knew which Jen I was going to get at dinner service. And that's why it was her time to go. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Good night. I was so worried about I it. totally I, thought you were going, Corey. I definitely thought that I was going home, but I'm not just, like, lucky that I'm here. I'm a great chef. Winning is so close. I definitely can taste it now. And then there were three. I just feel like this giant weight has been lifted. Yeah, I do too. Jen is gone, and that just makes me so happy. I'm so sick of that presence being here, and it's gone. Well, Chef Ramsay made the right decision. Yeah, he did. If I have to lose, I would rather lose to one of you guys yeah, I'm the than same to way. her. The three of us that are left, Corey Petroza and I, you oh, know, were the best of the best. But there's always got to be a winner, and there's always got to be a loser. And I definitely want to win this competition. Congratulations, ladies. This is it. There's just three of us left. Wow. Who would have thought this was going to be the top three? Night. Night. 
Congratulations, fucking biatch. Who would have thought it would have been you and I? Definitely not, dude. All right, kiddos. <sighs> Here we go. Nervous today for some reason. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. I might be in the final three now, but none of us have any idea what's coming up next. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations, yes? The final three. I couldn't think of a better way of celebrating you being the final three than actually having a chance to cook for you personally. So this morning, I'm going to cook one of my special signature dishes. Before I prepare it, OK, I would like to introduce to you all some special guests. OK, Corey. Oh, my God. Your mother God. and boyfriend. <laughs> my boyfriend. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Christina, your mum and dad. Oh, dad. Oh, dad. And Petroza. Oh, my God. Your father and your girlfriend. Oh, my God. <laughs> He didn't cry, I was so shocked. I was just like, no way. I can't believe you're number three. It was definitely an awesome surprise. <laughs> it was so <laughs> First reaction was to cry, and then, you know, I just got so excited. Man, I got to ride in a helicopter. Oh, it's yeah. really cool. Yeah. You know, it was so nice to see them. It really was. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! I was floored. I can't even believe that they were real, but I could touch them. I can't even believe it. How? Oh, my gosh, I can't even believe it. <laughs> First of all, um, thank you so much for coming this morning and helping celebrate the final three. JP, would you be so kind to show the families to the tables, please? And thank you once again. What the aspiring chefs don't know is that once their families have left, they will have to recreate Chef Ramsay's signature dish for the next challenge. I can't believe you guys are here. You need a, you have a handkerchief? Yeah, do you have one? Do you have some? It's a clean one. Yeah. Thanks. Keep it. <laughs> Don't give it back to me. Yeah, yeah. The food was definitely secondary to what was going on at that table. I wasn't really interested in eating. What's new, anything? <laughs> this is new. Yeah, it's crazy. While Corey and Petroza enjoy their families, Christina has something else on her mind. There's always a twist to everything. Mm -hmm. so you gotta really be on your feet. So what do we have to, like, guess the ingredients? My bean puree, I think. I was trying to enjoy my time with my parents, but I was also trying to figure out what was in the dish, because that was the only thing I could think of that we would have to do. I can't determine what the sauce is for the base. Cream. Cream. It feels like it's got egg yolk in it. Cream. Now, uh, Petroza, Christina. Yes. And Cory, I really hope you enjoyed your time with your families, yes? Yes. yes Sadly, it's now time to say goodbye to your families. Petroza, don't get emotional. Who, oh, him? I feel blessed. It's thanks to my family that I've been here this far. A big thank you. Knowing that I do have a support system somewhere in this city is a nice feeling. Thanks for coming. Seeing my family today really gets me in the spirit to like finish this up strong. Making it to the top two tonight and then getting in there and getting the job done. What a lovely way to start the day, yes? Enjoyed that? Very much. Now, you all tasted the dish. I seriously hope you are paying attention. Now that you've tasted it, all of you are going to make it. That is your next challenge. And I was just like, shit, shit, shit. I was just so wrapped up with my family that I didn't think about the challenge. There's a lot of ingredients on that plate. Find it, cook it, and put it together. Off you go. 45 minutes. Let's go. Taste it, now make it. Woohoo! This is the most difficult challenge the chefs have faced yet. OK, here's the dish. With no information about the ingredients or recipe and only one sample dish to reference, each chef must recreate Chef Ramsay's dish from sight, smell, and taste alone. Two minutes gone, yes? Oh, fuck me. Hey, God. I went into the refrigerator, and there were like 10 different meats. <sighs> you think it's buffalo? I just thought that Chef Ramsay's signature dish was going to be something a little bit rare, like venison or buffalo. Corey has decided on the filet of buffalo, while Christina has selected a venison strip loin. 
Petroza has also chosen the buffalo filet. It's not it. At first, I thought it was the buffalo tenderloin because it's more lean. And then I tasted the dish again. And I decided to go with the venison loin. OK, 20 minutes gone, yes? Now the chefs must determine what other ingredients are in the dish. All three chefs have selected pancetta, carrots, onions, cabbage, and parsley. But there's one vegetable that is giving Christina some difficulty. I'm not finding what I want in here. That makes me think I'm wrong, but I don't really think I'm wrong. I was like 95% sure that this dish had white bean puree, but I didn't find white beans in the refrigerator. So I'm like, OK, well, am I wrong? So I went back and tasted it again. I'm like, no, it has to be white beans. So I looked again, and they were way up on the top shelf. 30 gone, 15 to go. Make it count. Christina is making a white bean puree. Corey has decided on a potato parsnip puree. Petroza is not making a puree at all. OK, just over 10 minutes to go, yes? The sauce is the final element of the dish the chefs need to recreate. And all three are working on a red wine reduction. I go and taste the sauce again, and I'm like, oh, there's definitely something sweet in there. So I go back into the storeroom. Right away, I see the raspberry framboise. And I'm like, this could be like really screwing myself up. But I had a gut feeling as soon as I saw it, and I was like, that's it. That's what's in there, I hope. <laughs> 15 seconds to go. Come on, Corey. Come on, Petroza. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Time. OK. This one first. OK. Petroza, describe to me what's in there. I used the venison loin, small white onions, carrot, parsley, the cavernet, butter, pancetta, and then Napa cabbage. Next. Carrot, pancetta, cipollini onion, red wine, butter. The puree is parsnip, and I used buffalo. What else is in the sauce? Um, I actually put a little bit of framboise syrup was in the back. Christina. I used venison strip loin, so white bean puree. The base was carrot, pancetta, parsley, and I thought that there was some kind of binding agent in the base, so I tried to do it with an aioli. Now let's identify the differences. Christina doesn't need the aioli. You never heat or cook an aioli. Right. Petroza, you had no puree. I did see a puree somewhere, but I let it leave my mind. I should have had it. Corey, congratulations on the sauce. No way. That's right. I finished it with framboise. Holy shit. Not only that, but you're the only one that put cream in the cabbage to bind it. That's what brought it together. My mom said cream, hello, and I didn't listen to her. Uh, I guess it's one of those times you should have listened to your mom, huh? Here's the thing. Two of you used venison. One of you used buffalo. Corey, perfect sauce. Unfortunately, the wrong meat. It was venison. Down to the final two. The meat is the most important thing. Definitely felt pretty dumb. Petroza, you had no puree. Christina, the aioli was clearly wrong. But two very good efforts. The winner is. Christina, well done. Thank you, Chef. Hey, I won again. Sweet. Congratulations. Three in a row, well done. Thank oh. you, Chef. You had every element on there. Petroza, a very close second again. If I had some form of puree on there, you would have won it. Seems that I'm always close, but no cigar. It kills me that I didn't have a puree on that plate. I should have had it. I should have had it. And I let it slip by. OK, Corey and Petroza, both of you will be on bar duty, polishing the glasses, stocking ice. There's a huge delivery. Unfortunately, they've delivered blocks, so you'll be hand crushing the ice. Today's punishment is going to suck. That's going to be a bitch. As a reward, Christina, we're dining out for a three-course meal across the city and a bit of a sightseeing tour at the same time. OK, get changed. Thank yes. You. We've got the most amazing double-decker tour bus waiting for Yay! us. My reward sounds really cool, but I was kind of hoping my parents could come. Let's go. Oh! Look who else is here. <laughs> Mum and Dad are here waiting for you. That was the only thing that made me sad, is that they weren't going to be here. They'd Thank love to be that. here. Hi, guys. Uh, we can't miss out a trip like this without Mum and Dad. Oh, goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get this party started. What do you say? Ready to go? All right. As we go along, we're going to see some Hollywood sights. Oh, this is 
cute. Isn't this beautiful? Trees. It's like Times Square. Look at that. Steven Spielberg. Oh, man, it's Chinese theater. Los Angeles is so glamorous with the big palm trees. It was nice. We got to see a lot. Here we are. Enjoy yourself. A great. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. This is so fun. Excellent. Really well done today. Thank you. I don't think we've ever had anyone that has won so many challenges back to back. Compliments from Chef Ramsay are pretty rare, so it was definitely neat to share that with my folks. I just hope that they're proud of me. The wild boar. Lovely. It smells amazing. While Christina and her parents warm up to Chef Ramsay, back in Hell's Kitchen, it's getting chilly. I mean, who breaks ice this way? Don't they have machines for this? <laughs> I'm serious. I feel like a caveman. Okay. Oh, good, oh, good. In Antarctica or something. <laughs> OK. An Eskimo. You know what I mean? Oh, ice, ice is a bear. Ice is tough. I release a little bit of anger trying to hit things, and um, I definitely was pretending the ice was Jen a few times. <laughs> Die, Jen. While Corey and Petrosa get out their frustrations, Christina is on the second stop of her tour. Oh, lovely. Mm -hmm. Roasted dates. Oh, wow. Foie gras, torta gnocchi. We are being spoiled. <laughs> Smell good. Uh, one service to go from the final. Right. That's how close it is. So from here on out, you have to win. Right. Seeing my parents today on the reward reminds me it's really all in my hands. Win, 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 win. And the competition's rife. It's tough out there. Oh. My shoulder is going to be sore doing this. And we polish, polish, polish. And then turn it, turn it, turn it. How are you doing, Petrosa? Very good, thank you. Good? No, I'm good. JP saw spots that I would have needed a magnifying glass to see. These things, like, they're like the size of one-celled animals, these spots. Let's do them over again, then. All right. All right, I'll go through all of them. As Petrosa starts over on the glasses, Chef Ramsay has left Christina and her parents to say goodbye. I'm so glad you guys got to come along. Well, I hope okay. I see you soon. OK, bye, Christina. Bye, Dad. The best part of the whole reward was that my parents got to come with me. All right, Thank I'll you. see you soon. All okay. right. All right. But I have to forget about the fun that we had so that I could really get down to business. Christina joins Corey and Petroza to prepare for their most important dinner service yet. Winning all the rewards is awesome, but it's not going to help Christina win Hell's Kitchen. You have to have, like, the full package, and she just does not have what it takes. You ready, Miss Corey? I'm ready. I'm freaking ready. The competition right now is very tough. There's no second place in this competition. It's only about first place. You ready for this, Christina? Ready? Got it. This is our last dinner service before the final. One person is going home, so I've really got to give it my all. Right, let's go. OK, tough one tonight. The final three. One of you are going to become my executive chef at the London West Hollywood. Before I make my decision, one more thing I need. Tonight, each and every one of you will be running the hot plate. You can all cook, but can you run a kitchen? Tonight, I'll find out. I'm ready, man. Let me add it. I'm ready to bite it. <laughs> On the sections, yes? Get set up. Petroza. Yes, chef. With me, please. Let's go. In order to become the executive chef of Chef Ramsay's new Los Angeles restaurant, the final three must run Hell's Kitchen. All right, with me. Before they take a turn at the pass, Chef Ramsay offers each of them a little assertiveness training. You're a very gentle, caring, big-hearted lump. Tonight, when you're running that hot plate, I want you to take control. Yes, Okay. I understand. So, I've just brought you one Wellington. The Wellington's still walking. Let's go. OK. Get back over there. Give me another one. Give me another one. I need one now. I need one medium rare. I told you medium rare, medium rare. You told me 15 minutes. I put it in. I told you to cook one off ahead of time. Period. Period. You should have had one cooked earlier. So why don't you check it? It's not my job to check it. It's your job to check it. Do your job and do it now. Jesus. I got the message. I'm more of a quiet guy. I don't like yelling and screaming. So I got to like really push myself to do that. Good. All right, thanks. But I could yell. I could yell. OK, uh, Christina, let's go. Two seconds. Yes, chef. When I hand you the reins tonight, 
This is serious, yeah? I cannot tell you how important it is running that kitchen. I'm bringing you now my one portion of risotto, and it's far too salty. Hey. Have you tasted this? Yes, yeah. No, this is disgusting. This tastes like pepper. Oh. <laughs> you need to taste this. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's not good enough. Right. You're coming across like a cheerleader. Do you know what I mean? A, B, C, what do we have? So I, I can't take you serious. I was personally insulted. I never was nor wanted to be a cheerleader. I do have that really mean bitchy side in me, but I need to bring it out. Ready? Yep. What is it? Uh, medium Wellington. No, it's fucking raw. That's what it is. I'm sure you can see it from way down there. Now put this back in the oven and give it to me medium well. Good. Okay. Better. Yelling at Chef Ramsay was a lot harder than I expected it to be, but I did a pretty good job, so I'll take it. Corey. Yes? Yes, Chef. I heard Petrozo and Christina, like, screaming. I was, like, really, really, really nervous because I'm not really such a good actress. Ready? Nervous? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Don't laugh. OK. Ready? Go. Oh, sorry, Chef. Okay. Sorry. First of all, you just burn me. You feel the fish. Yeah. Feel it. You, you feel what it feels like, right? Yeah, it's, it's raw? Uh, well, it's firm, yeah. Can mm -hmm. we fix that? Mm -hmm. And the shrimp is raw as well. Can you please cook again? Stop. OK. Look at me. Yes. So it's not, please, may you cook my dondori. Move your ass, get it cooked again. That's the fourth time now. Wow, I didn't get to break a plate. Oh, Bang. Easy. Yeah, got yes. you, yes. Right. It was really awkward to have the tables turned. It just was like really hard for me to yell at chef. Nice girls don't make great chefs. I'm not just a nice girl. I need to show him that I am serious if I want to win this. It's not cooked. Take it back. Get off the line now. You told me to cook it like that. You're out of here. Done. Now! OK, stop. Good. It's like some kind of like weird therapy, you know? I know. When you get those reins in your hand tonight, you have got to run it. Otherwise, it will run you. Yep. Good. Thank you. Let's go. Christina. Yes, Chef. Corey. Yes, Chef. Petroza. Yes, Chef. Good luck. It could be your last service. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Right. That depends on you. Yes? Yes, Chef. Yes? Yes. Let's go. Jean-Philippe. Chef. Uh, open house kitchen, please. Let's go. Sounds good. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. OK. On order, two covers, table 40, two scallops, entree, dory, venison, venison medium. Three minutes to the window. Thank you. I just have to make sure that I'm on point. I've never had a service where I haven't made one mistake. Scallops walking to the window now. There's just no room for error. Christina, good. Chef. Service, please. Table 32, yes? A half hour into dinner service. Service, please. Pick up. The chefs have managed to serve appetizers to four tables and are beginning the entrees. Let me know when it's out, the venison, yes? Minute and a half. For tonight's dinner service, the sous chefs will be filling in the gaps in the kitchen. Slice. But Chef Ramsay will also be using them to test the aspiring chefs. Scott, Gloria, two seconds, please. Potential sabotages. What have we got? Got the lumpy mashed potatoes. And finish it with basil rather than mint. Um, we were talking about taking a risotto and putting no peas in it. Uh-huh. Um, switching the sauces between the venison and the lamb. Good. Okay, great. With dinner service running smoothly, it's now time for Chef Ramsay to test the chef's leadership skills. Petroza. Yes, Chef. With me now. Here we go. Running the hot plate. Let's go. Clean the plates. Yeah, you, okay. me. We go now. Appetizer. Okay. Clear the plates, please. There's the tickets there. Let's go. This is it. This is it. I'm going to bust some ass. Away oh, now. Two crabs, two scallops. Two crabs, two scallops. Two crabs, two crabs, two scallops. Going up right now. Okay, three dory gone, yeah? I'll take those crabs, Chef Scott. Crab up. Picking up. Well done, Petroza. Petroza has plated and sent his first few appetizers to the dining room. Crab with citrus. But he's about to be tested on his quality control. How long for the risotto, Scott? 30 seconds. What he doesn't know is that sous chef Scott is about to send him a risotto missing one key ingredient. Let's go, Scott. Two risotto up. Do just the scallops. Yeah. You got the risotto. All right. Let's go. Crab. Taste, 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 taste. Come on. Taste, taste, taste. You happy with that? Yes. Look at me. There's no fucking peas in there. Send it back. Uh, Come on, wake up. Come on. Chef Scott was slipping me a bad risotto with no peas. 
I wasn't expecting it, and it was stupid of me. When will I ever learn? Chef Scott, there's no peas in this risotto. Oh, the peas go in the risotto? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, let's get with it, Chef Scott. Hey, serious, huh? Come on. OK, yeah, I'm, I'm serious. serious. Well, fucking serious. wake up, will you? Risotto with peas up. Pick up. Scallops walking in the window now. Service, please. Christine, it isn't too dark on the, yeah. the scallops. How long on the scallops, Christina? I'm looking at a minute and a half right now. Three dory, one salmon. What's going on? Three dory, one salmon. Where is it at? Three dory, one salmon. Working now. Oh, God. Me. Petros, I'm sorry. I screwed the salmon. It's going to be three more minutes. We're, we're gonna, you know what? We're going to get behind. Christina just kind of went all downhill. It definitely sucks for her, but it's going to be good for me. I need a salmon urgently, yes. please, Christina. Yes, Petroza. Right behind you, salmon in the window. The salmon's raw. Oh, fucking hell. What is she doing tonight? Take this way, Christina. The salmon's raw. Christina was driving me up a wall. Fuck. Come on. Come on. This is painful enough. Move your ass, madam. It was not pretty. It was not pretty at all. Christina, yes, look at chef. me now. Get a grip. Look yes, at me. Chef. This is a joke. No, chef. Hey, madam, no. you've dropped us in the shit. Look at me. Hey, hey. Yes, look chef. Look at me. Do you want to go home? No, chef. No, hey, well, wake up a bit, shall we? Yes, yes, chef. Unbelievable. Can I get that salmon, please? Coming up right now. It was very frustrating waiting for that stuff, and it was definitely making me look bad being up there, not getting that food. Where's the salmon, Christina? Salmon coming up to the window. Garnish, please. Christina, doing OK? Yeah, just now. take now, just, you know what I mean? Get it, you got it. It's all right. This is a joke. Hey, this is a joke. Where's my prawn? What's she doing? Where's the prawn on the dory? The prawn should be, is it not oh, up there? Go. Is it not there? I don't know what happened. I got totally confused, and it was like just a hot ass mess. Now I'm playing hide and seek. Where's the prawn? I'll fire a new one, Chef. Are you doing this on purpose to sabotage him? No, Chef. Come on then, Christina. Why would I sabotage Petroza by looking like an ass myself? Oh, meltdown. You may want to sink it, Christina, but I'm fucking not. I was screwing up left and right. Unless I pull this out of my ass, I'm going home today. You have the prawns? Please, Miss Christina. Fuck. Christina, she was just flapping around like a flounder on the fish station. Prawn coming up now. Here you go, Petroza. Finally, let's go. Come on. Pick it up. Well done, Petroza. Thank I told you. you to get assertive. You run the kitchen, it doesn't run you. Well done. Back on your section. OK. I did take charge. I could do a good job up there for Chef Ramsay, and felt good. An hour and 50 minutes into dinner service. Corey, let's go. Sorry, I've never been so nervous in my life. Let's go, now. It's now Corey's turn to prove that she can run Chef Ramsay's kitchen. Taste everything, communicate. They start running you, we're sunk. It definitely is crunch time, and I'm ready to show Chef Ramsay that I do have a voice. Being up on that pass is like, you better either make it or break it. Read the ticket. Come on, Corey, wake up. Listen up, guys. Table 36 top. One chicken, one Wellington, one John Dory, no prawn. One salmon is medium well. Two fil... Sorry. One filet. One one filet. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. You're missing an entree. Come on. What? Sorry, I don't understand. I called Six. the Six. Yeah, that's right, but it's only got five main courses on there. Okay, yeah. That's your job to spot that. I read out the ticket to everybody, and there were six appetizers and only five entrees, so the server forgot to put it on there, and I didn't check. You have got to spot yep. that, yeah? That was a huge mistake that I made. Guys, listen up. On the six top, order in one chicken. Add to the six, OK? Yes, chef. Anybody else want to say yes, chef? Yes, chef. Rosa, answer, yes? Yes, chef. Corey is tough as nails, and she's all business. That means now. Uh, good. That's good. Great start. Guys, keep talking. It's a little quiet in here. Yes, yes chef. chef. Corey, these are your two John Dory. Service, please. 53. Corey's managed to send three more entrees to the dining room. I like it. It's good. I need two Wellington. Two Wellington going up right now. She has no idea that sous chef Scott is about to test her by sending up the wrong sauce with the lamb Wellington. Bax, two Wellington, two Dory. I'll dress the Dory, you dress the Wellington, yes? Go on, let's go. Wellington on the plate. Let's go. Let's go. Service, please. Let's go. Away now. Table three, yes? Unbelievable. This is the wrong sauce, guys. Wrong sauce. You've got to taste. Yes, you've chef. got to taste. You've sourced it. Game over. You know you've got to taste, yes? I caught the mistake, but it just happened to be a little too late. Right, I'm really surprised you missed that. I am a jackass. Yes, Not chef. good enough. Back on your station. Let's go. 
I don't think that I did a good job on the pass tonight. If I do a poor job, the rest of service, I could be going home tonight. Christina. Yes, chef. Here, now. No you better shit start. Yes, if I was chef. you, I'd start waking up a little bit. Yes, chef. And pulling out the bag. Yes, You're chef. You're now running the hot plate. Yes, yeah? chef. Let's go. All right. I didn't have the best performance on the fish station in the beginning, so I just have to do well at the pass. It's make or break point, you know? Stand up straight. You're running a kitchen, yeah? Not an L bar. All right, away now. Corey, three Wellington, one Dory. How long? Your call. You're telling them. Yes, if they start telling you, we're going to be here till fucking midnight. Sorry, chef. It's four minutes on the pass. All right, four minutes to the window. Three Wellington, one Dory. Yes, chef. Being in the pass was like a totally different experience. You have to step up above your team and yell at them. Corey, both Wellington media. Medium heard. In now. You know, that part was kind of fun. Two Wellington coming up now. Good. Corey. Yes, chef. Those Wellingtons are cooked perfectly. Yes, chef. Don't stop. My meat was absolutely cooked perfectly. Awesome. <laughs> Service, please. I hope that's enough to get me into the top two. Salmon, I need you. Where is it? I need another 30 seconds. Too long. Move your ass. OK, she better watch it, or I'm really going to fucking smack the shit out of her. Bye, bye. Service, please. Not bad, yes? Let's go. All right, guys, two minutes, yes, on Andre? Three minutes, Christina, three minutes. Three minutes still. Christina has a high-pitched voice, like kind of squealy. How long? Um, it can be a little bit annoying, I have to say. Entrees, come on, where are you? Two and a half minutes on entrees. Get it on now. Christina has proven that she can be an assertive leader. Service, please. But sous chef Gloria is about to test her by giving her mashed potatoes with the wrong seasoning. Mashed potatoes? Will Christina be able to spot the mistake? Good, well spotted. Mint and mash coming up. I did do well at the pass, so I hope that's enough, really, to keep me here. Mash up. Service, please. OK, good, well done. Service. Way down the hot plate, you're finished. Let's go. Service, please, pick up. Stove's off, yes. All jump on desserts, yes? One tatan, one fondant. OK, let's keep it going. Is our top. It's going to be hard to see who's going home tonight. You think? I did not have a very good start over there on fish. Wow, that looks good. Last table, let's go. OK, put sugar on it, ready to go. Dessert order up. Dessert pick up, please. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, wow. Very, very good service, yes? Yes, yes. Chef. chef. With their last dinner service as a team completed successfully, the chef's spirits are high. But not for long. Honestly, I don't know who should be in the final. But you made it hard for me tonight, so I am not going to make it easy for you. Each and every one of you had a chance of running the hot plate. Corey, the meat section tonight was run perfectly. You got up to the hot plate, and you fell flat. One salmon is medium well, two foot. Sorry. I didn't feel comfortable leaving you on your own. Christina, great on the hot plate. On the station, you are crap. Petroza, I'm sorry. Screw the salmon. Move your ass, madam. The salmon's raw, Christina. Petroza, when you came onto the hot plate, you were slightly careless. Are you happy with that? Yes. Look at me. There's no fucking peas in there. Send it back. Oh. It wasn't great, but it wasn't bad. Each of you nominate one person that should be going home. Off you go. This is an enormous amount of pressure. Chef Ramsay will make his decision based on what we say. It's very difficult. It's very, it's very difficult. Fuck me. So what the fuck do we do? We made it to the top three, yeah. and now it's for someone to go home. We knew what this was going to be like. We knew this was going to suck this part. Whatever you guys go up there and say, just don't take it personal. That's all you can do. I really do like Christina and Petroza, but more than that, I want to win, and I'm not going to let anything stop me. Well. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I like to say that I feel safe, but I don't. <laughs> Neither do I. I don't think anybody does. You know, I just really need to think about it, you know, and come up with a list. That's what I'm going to do is just pros and cons. I love working with Corey in the kitchen. She's really good at communicating with me. We sort of work on sync. But Petroza is the one here with the most experience. You know, maybe he deserves it over us two. This is killing me. Christina, Corey, and myself have become very close. Three very good people. And after tonight, we'll be down to two. 
This is the most difficult decision, the most difficult words that I've had to speak in my life. This is the moment I dread. And honestly, one of the hardest moments for me so far inside Hell's Kitchen. I've become close to all three of you. I like you all a lot. We've had our highs and our lows, but look at you. I'm so proud of all three of you standing there. This is the bit I don't enjoy, because somebody has to go home. Corrie. Yes, yeah, Chef. Sure. Your nominee for elimination and why? My nominee for elimination tonight is Christina. More often than not, when she does get yelled at, she'll kind of be like a deer in headlights. She kind of just stands there. Thank you. Christina, your nominee and why, please? Um, I decided on Corey. She's a strong member of a team, but I just don't see the leadership qualities coming out. Thank you. Petroza, nominee for elimination and why, please? I nominate Christina. Today, when I was working up at the pass, I, I had great difficulty uh, getting food um, from Christina's station. I think one day that Christina will, will be a great chef, but I don't know if it's today, and I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. OK, the first person that will be heading into the final of Hell's Kitchen is Petroza. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Really well done. Thank you, Chef. And now, a decision between Christina and Corey. Christina. Yes, Chef. Why should you go through to the finale? Even for someone with as little experience as myself, I think I show promise, strong leadership qualities, perseverance, and aptitude to learn and pick things up and think on my feet. Corey. Yes, Chef. Why should you join Petroza? I should join Petroza because I am strong. I do want this more than anything. I know that I'm hardworking, and I'm never going to quit. Never. OK. Tough call. Gloria, this is Basil. I need mint, please. Good. Well spotted. Oh, meltdown. Christina, look yes, at chef. me now. Get a grip. Sorry, perfect sauce. No way. This is the wrong sauce, guys, wrong sauce. You've sourced it. Game over. Not good enough. Back on your station, let's go. This is a decision based on everything both of you have done inside House Kitchen. The person joining Petroza in the final of House Kitchen Christina, congratulations. Gori, hold your head up high. Yes, chef. Thank you for my team, you know that. Good job, chef. Good luck. Gori, you've done bloody well. And you should be really proud. Thank you very much. And listen, you are one talented girl. And you have a dream. Follow that. I will. Well done. Huh? Thank you, guys. Good night. Bye, See Corey. you soon, Gori. I have a real problem with people that treat me like a dumb blonde. I'm not. You're going to take out the best, aren't you? I am the best. My first nominee is Christina. My second nominee is Jen. Oh, fuck me. I wasn't here to make friends, sorry. I came in here just thinking it was going to be an easy cakewalk, and it wasn't. It was really hard. <laughs> Get out! Get out! Get out! I am doing my best. I'm trying to lead the team, you know, and I don't appreciate it. But. I didn't give up. I kept cooking, I kept fighting, and I learned a lot from it. Two Wellington coming up now. Good. Corey. Yes, Chef. Those Wellingtons are cooked perfectly. Thank you, Chef. I think the compliments Chef gave me are invaluable, and I'm glad that he saw me for what I am. I did want to win Hell's Kitchen. I honestly thought that I had it. You know, the fact that I didn't just means that there's something else out there for me. Congratulations. <laughs> the final two. And then there were two. 
Good job. Thanks. How's it feel? Feels scary and exciting. Fantastic. We started off with 15. Now there's two of you. And this is where it gets really exciting. Think about it this way. One of you will become the executive chef of my new restaurant here in LA. But first, your final and most important test. <gasps> and now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Congratulations, the final two. Good job. Thanks. One of you will become the executive chef of my new restaurant here in LA. But first, your final and most important test. <gasps> oh! Holy shit. That scared me. Oh, Jesus. We're now going to divide the restaurant in half. Petroza, yes, this will be your uh, side. Uh, uh, yes? Uh, 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 uh. Christina, this will oh, be your God. side. I've never seen my face 20 feet long. It looks so angelic. <laughs> this is just incredible. You will each create your own dream restaurant. This is a wonderful dream come true. I, I'm just blown away. Your restaurants will go head to head against each other, and I will find out who is the most talented chef. <sighs> now, first thing in the morning, both of you will be meeting with the designers to start creating your perfect restaurant. Start thinking about your winning menu. This is your chance to show me really how good you are. This is so cool. The decisions are in our hands, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, my god. I've been working in restaurants since 1998. So I've been looking at recipes and cooking them and changing them. And so this menu, hello, it's easy. It was hard for me to, you know, focus on my menu. I don't know why. I make menus all the time. It's nerves and it's fatigue. <sighs> I'm gonna go lie down. All right. I'm exhausted. Congratulations, Christina. You too, Bean. After a long night, Christina is still hard at work. And with a new day, the hard work is just beginning for Petroza. We're getting down to the wire. We're getting close. I'm having a tough time with my menu. To be honest, there's nothing done yet. Hey, Bird. I'm really confident about my menu. I'm going to go all the way. Hey. Hey, P. How's the menu coming? All right. How about you? I think I've got it locked. It's 36 hours until the doors of Hell's Kitchen open, and Petroza still has no idea what he will be cooking. But that's not the only challenge for our finalists. Nothing in Hell's Kitchen is easy. For the first time in this entire competition, we get some say in how our dining room looks. I just have to give it everything I got. Now the stakes are high. It is really exciting. I can't believe that all, all the changes that are going to take place to this restaurant. I'm going to just focus. Hopefully, that's going to take me to the finish. <sighs> to help the chefs realize the vision for their restaurants, they will be working with Hell's Kitchen designer, John Janovs. Tell me first what your menu is, because I always think the space should reflect the food that you're serving. Uh-huh. It is. Well, you know what it is? It is relatively rich. It is um, sweet breads, forest mushrooms, you know, which warm. My mouth is watering already. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. My main idea is for to keep it simple but elegant. I wanted to use like, warm colors, rich chocolate. I do have really strong opinions about what should go on in a restaurant, what should go on in a dining room. My two least favorite things about this space right now are the carpet that's ugly and the olive green booth. I love the booths, and I love the, ta the tables just down the middle. 
definitely like the stripes better. It's gonna give it some texture and movement, but not too much like a floral night. I love flowers. But I'm thinking flowers, I'm thinking candles, I'm thinking comfortable. Instead of just flowers in the middle, maybe do something. Maybe uh, a, a group of arrangements. Yeah, almost things lying on the table. Well, that's was... an interesting idea. I like the masculine thing, but I like flowers, like lots of flowers. I think I've got a lot to work with. Okay, I've got good. a lot to do. I'm concerned for you. I'll see you later. Good luck. While the design work begins in the dining room, Jean Philippe helps the chefs choose a look for their wait staff. Model. Uh, are these all my options? Tell me what you like. I was thinking simple, plain, black suit, black t-shirt underneath. I don't want vibrant. I love the celadon green. It makes me comfortable. I feel like we could like bridge the gap between the kitchen and the dining room. And my least favorite is the chef jacket. I hate that. I don't think it belongs on a wait staff. Don't you think personality is an asset in the restaurant? Personality it, it... comes from within, not from your clothes. If you're really fancy, black for sure. We do it. I like the chef jacket idea. I like the celadon green with the black. And all the best to you. Thank you very much. With uniforms selected for the wait staff, the chefs are now ready for the final and most important element. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. Creating their menus. I just love sweet breads. Okay. I love Chilean sea bass. Chilean sea bass. Delicious. It's one of my favorite things to put in my mouth. I got my work cut out for me. There's a lot going on that's going to be tricky. Talk me through the rest of the dishes. Okay. I think you're, you're going off a little bit here. Two app, two fish, two meat, and then dessert. I actually took a lot of consideration in my menu, and I think all the dishes are strong. I've seen a lot of frickin' food. I've worked at a lot of different restaurants. I want the menu to be comfortable and approachable to right, people, and I don't right. want them to pick it up and go, what the hell is this? I love a roast duck. You're talking about roasting a whole duck? Yeah. Soy, ginger, sesame. Oh, well, if you like it that much, I think you should just do it. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Entrees. I thought I would do like a dry aged New York strip steak, grill it. For my other one, I was thinking about doing a pan roasted monkfish. I'm really confident about my menu. I fully believe that my menu is better. There's entrees. It's a nice menu. I've got a dynamite menu going on. I'm pumped up. I'm psyched. Petroza, Christina, Gordon would like to see you in his office urgently. He does. Quickly, let's go. Upstairs? Yes, hurry up. Scared, I've never been up. We've never been in Chef's office before. That's sort of scary. Right, sit down, both of you, quickly. OK, how are we? Very Good well. Chef. Nervous? Excited? I'm nervous. You are? Yeah. I've got some serious concerns about your restaurant. OK. It's the menu. He doesn't like the menu. And I don't know what else I've got. I just need to know if I've really made the right decision. I've been wondering if I have the right finance. Now I know I do. Patroza's oh, 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 oh. old, his heart can't take it. <laughs> I thought Patroza was going to flatline. I really did. One of you is going to become the executive chef of my new restaurant, the London at West Hollywood. I can't think of a better way to introduce you but to show you one of my other restaurants. So, if you'd be so kind, you're going to get your bags packed. We're flying off to New York City. Holy shit! Hurry up. We're leaving. Ready? Yes? OK, OK. Uh, hurry up. Oh, my god. I thought he was going to bring somebody back. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, uh, the is old, so I can't take it. I'm thinking the same thing. Oh, my god. This is too much. This is crazy stuff now. Hey, what do you say we uh, jump on a plane and fly to New York? All right, let's go. I'm definitely excited to see Gordon's restaurant in New York City. Oh, my god. I'm elated. While Christina and Petroza are on their way to the airport, the construction in Hell's Kitchen kicks into high gear. Excellent. Chef? I thought we were traveling in style. How are you, my darling? I'm good. I'm... This is much better than good. commercial. Off we go. Petroza. Hey, Chef. Look how clean you are, buddy. How are you? Get up those stairs. All right. The plane awaits you. Oh, this is incredible. I can't believe this is happening. I've catered for people on private jets before, but I've never been on a private jet.
Well done. I'm so happy both of you are here. Thank you. Chosa, you're one of the bravest chefs I've ever met to feed me that pumpkin. <laughs> what in the fuck? Happy Halloween. So what's the dish called? Hen in a pumpkin. I'd like to stick your fucking head in there. You know that. Christina, on your second service, you were close to leaving Hell's Kitchen. Everybody was intimidated by your intelligence as opposed to your cooking. I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I am intelligent chef. I will get better, and I will fight for it. That's why I should stay. Chosa, you were so close to quitting. I was thinking about going. I was down. No, I'm done. No, 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 come on, come on, put it down. No, I'm chef done, Chef Wanchi, Chef Wanchi, he's right out there. It's OK, come on, let's go, get it together. Pull, pull your jacket, come on, let's go. I'm good. Wipe your fucking eyes. You have to be the all-time messiest, dirtiest pig ever in Hell's Kitchen. Petroza! My god. Stop working like a pig. Yes, chef. My fillet's up. Absolutely beautiful. I don't give a fuck if you work like a pig from now on. Your meat's been excellent. Yes, chef. Christina, you've broken a record inside Hell's Kitchen. You're the yeah. all-time challenge winner. Nine times. I thought it was ten. <laughs> the winner is Christina. Christina. Christina and Petroza, there are only two votes separating the winner. Christina, well done. Oh. As a reward, we're going to Beverly Hills. Oh, oh lovely. A helicopter awaits us. Oh, yeah, oh, baby! <laughs> Photo shoot with In Touch magazine. This is like the Thank best you. reward ever. Nine times. Oh, I wanted to win. Intimidated? I don't think so. Christina's pretty good. I've got to take out the big guns. Everything Petros has got, it's got to go into it. Everything, everything, everything. Win or die, win or die. That's win, win, win. We'll see. I'm very confident walking into this. So let the best person win. And that's me. <laughs> Competition is healthy. It makes you better. It has been a long road to the finals and a long flight. Welcome to New York. But Christina and Petroza are energized upon arriving in New York City. I love the city. We see the New York City skyline, and we really have no idea where we're going. Yeah, I've never seen anything like no. this. We look out the window, you just see the big buildings. It was exciting. Got some adrenaline pumping. I'm ready for anything. OK, guys, I want to show you something. Thank you very much. Let's go. What an exciting place to be. Right smack bang in the middle of Times Square. You can actually feel the energy here. Wow. We're in Times Square, and there's lights everywhere and people everywhere. New York City has a very special treat for you both. Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, Look at that. my god. Oh, my god. Congratulations. Unbelievable. I never in my life would have expected to see something like that in Times Square. It's surreal. On the back of that, I've got something really special for you both. It's not here in New York City. Both of you are going to Dubai at the Hilton Dubai Creek to eat oh in my, my restaurant God. there oh and to spend five God. fantastic nights there. Awesome, but here's Dubai. Also, you'll get to spend one day observing in my restaurant up there. It doesn't get any better than this. It seems like just a week ago, I was in Charlotte catering. Next thing you know, here I am in New York City with Chef Ramsay. Back in the limo, let's go. Uh. OK, let's go. Welcome to the kitchens of the London NYC. Wow. Fast, vibrant. LA's kitchen is going to run very, very similar to this. Okay. okay. Josh, two seconds. As my uh, executive chef, okay. uh, get to know Josh very well. This is Christina, Hi, Josh Emmett, nice and Petroza. How do you do? Nice, nice to meet you. you. Josh, have we got them? Got if you're both going to cook like executive chefs, you're going to dress like one. Christina, yes, my darling, that's Thank yours. You. Petroza, that's Thanks. yours. Coming to London, New York today definitely did inspire me. And I could see myself working for and with Chef Ramsay. Right, one last thing. Your final challenge. You're going to cook your signature dish right now. Yes, yes, Chef. I'm the challenge queen. I'm kind of on a roll here. Ten challenges, that would be good. Petroza, please keep it try clean. to keep it clean. <laughs> yes? Off you go. I had no idea we were going to be cooking. Well, you know, leave me to the kitchen. This is what I do. I'll just go to it.
Petroza is preparing his filet mignon with caramelized onion risotto in a red wine aged balsamic demi glace. I want to be the best. I want to be a star. I wasn't going to be a great lawyer or a great doctor. And cooking, that's what I know. Nice. My signature dish is unbeatable. I got a lot going on here. I'm making paint brushes. Can't wait to see it. When I saw Petroza's stupid fried onion paintbrush, I was like, ah, man, I'm going to wipe the floor with Petroza. Christina is grilling her dry-aged New York strip steak with herb compound butter, sweet corn succotash, and roasted fingerling potatoes. I've only got three years of experience. But what I think tastes good, most people agree with. I just love fresh, clean flavors. My dish wasn't complicated, and it's pretty. Good. Good bride because who wants to eat something that looks like slop? I get this one in the bag. Last minute. Three, two, one. With their cooking now complete, it's time for the finalist signature dishes to go head to head. Ladies and gentlemen, Hell's Kitchen finalists, Christina and Petroza. <laughs> Up, let's go. Now for the judges, please, Welcome. Five of the best and the most sought after palettes in the world, yes? I thought the five best palettes might have something to do with like food critics. All my executive chefs from the restaurant around the world. Oh, wow. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Up. I really wasn't expecting it to be Gordon's five executive chefs. That's crazy. Amazing, amazing. The first chef to receive three votes will win the challenge. First up to judge, uh, my executive chef from Gordon Ramsay at Claridge's in London, Mark Sargent, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, my god. This is definitely kitchen royalty. The kings of chefs are the chefs of kings. It's grilled filet mignon, an onion risotto, and a little drizzle of uh, some aged balsamic vinegar on the bottom. And it reminded me of a paint. I, I put together a little paintbrush from a green onion and some leeks. Mm. Flavors are very good. Rice is cooked nicely. I'm not too sure about the paintbrush, though. Bad idea, Petroza. Really, really, don't do that. We should have just left that off, really. But yeah. overall, very nice dish, yeah. Good. Christina, yes. describe the dish, please. So we've got some fingerling potatoes and New York strip steak. And then we also did a succotash. Mm. Good meat, nice and tender. When you slice meat like this, right. quite nice to finish it with a bit of rock salt afterwards. So therefore, it's a touch bland. All together, you know, a lovely dish. Which dish do you prefer? But I think I'm going to have to go for this one here. The Trojans. The Trojans. Congratulations. One nil. Good. Thank you, Mark. Thanks. Cool, cool. I got one anyway. Our next judge. Her restaurant is called Cello, and it's in Boca Raton. Please welcome Angela Hartnett, ladies and gentlemen. The Trojans dish. Beast nicely seasoned. Tastes good, and the risotto, you've done that very well. Seasoning-wise? Too sweet for me. Needs more salt. And Christina's a New York strip. I would not have put peppers with pancetta and Brussels sprouts. To me, they're totally different seasons. Um, taste overall, I'd say it's slightly drier the meat. Could be a bit moister and a touch more salt. Uh oh. But looks great, you know, the flavors are all there. Which one would it be, Petroza's or Christina's? I'm going to go for Petroza. Petroza. Congratulations. Huh? Congratulations. Damn. All I need is one more vote out of three chefs. I mean, I got a pretty good chance. Our next judge, he is the executive chef of the Boxwood Cafe in London, Stuart Gillis. Petroza's dish. Uh, I love the presentation. Clean, simple, you know, it's nice. Mm. It's a little bit one-sided for me. Slightly sweet, kind of the same flavor for me. It's not developing. And Christina's a New York strip. The, the red peppers, I'm a little bit dubious about that. But I love the fact you've used Brussels sprouts, the sweet corn, with the succotash and the mushrooms. Which dish? Would it be Petroza's or Christina's? If you choose Petroza's, excuse me, um, it's all over. To be honest, yeah, Christina's dish works better. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Stuart. Still in there. Oh. Excellent. Yeah. 2 1 to Petroza. Our next judge, the executive chef of Gordon Ramsay at Royal Hustle Road in Chelsea, please welcome Simone Sinoni. <laughs> Troza's dish. 
coming from Italy, you know, when you cook a risotto, you use it, you use it as a starter. And in here, you kind of like turn the risotto a bit around it just to fit your, your dish. And for me, it's not really what it should be. Give me a break, you ding dong. Beef and risotto doesn't work? Why, because great grandpa never mixed risotto with something else? And uh, we got Christina this year. It's a very nice combination of flavors. It works really well. Which one would it be, Petroza's fillet of beef or Christina's New York strip? Um, honestly, uh, I think I will go for um, Christina. Christina, congratulations. <laughs> She's going to do it again. She's going to get me again. It all comes down to one deciding vote. My executive chef here, Josh Emmett. <laughs> Petroza's dish. Risotto, nice. I prefer it a little bit wetter. It's a little bit stiff for me. There's not enough moisture through there. Uh, a little bit of seasoning on top of the meat wouldn't hurt. But overall, nice, I think. And Christina's a New York strip. A little bit of garlic, is it, or garlic There herbs? is a little bit of garlic, yes. Yep, which is nice. Beautiful adds flavor to the dish. Mmm. The seasoning is great. Josh will be overseeing uh, the London West Hollywood, and one of you will be working with him. The final judge, being our future boss, was a little intimidating. Will you choose Petroza's dish, or will you choose Christina's New York strip? I think there's good elements to both dishes. I love onion risotto, so I'll go with Petroza. Petroza! Oh, Time! Uh, yes! Oh. I needed to win. I needed to push it over. It was starting to be painful. Holy cow! Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Now, as always, um, yes. an exciting uh, reward for winning the challenge. Yeah. Not used to it. I'm picking your team for your final dinner service. You get to choose first from all the contestants this year. Oh, yes. Jesus oh. This is a very important win. Not only do I get to pick the first chef, Christina has to pick the last chef. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give it for Petroza. Even though I lost the challenge today, regardless of who he has on his team, they still have to cook his food. My menu was designed better. Now, there's a really big fan of Hell's Kitchen that wanted to be here today just to say good luck to the finalist, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whoopi Goldberg. Ah. Oh, great, 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 great. Mm. Christina. Oh. Congratulations. And Petroza, congratulations for Chelsea. Oh, Wolfie's come to wish you both good luck ahead of the final. Hey, bud. Hey. I'm very excited for you all. Whoopi, thank you so much. Yes. OK, Petroza, Christina, time right now to get back to Hell's Kitchen. Move your ass. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen. Bye, you guys. Bye, everybody. While the finalists were away in New York, major progress has been made in their dining rooms. And with less than 24 hours until opening, Petroza and Christina are about to get a look at the restaurant of their dreams. Wow. Oh, boy. Why is it white? Or not. The first thing I saw walking in were those white window treatments. And then the fucking stripes. I hate them. That's not what I imagined. Yeah. Wow. Wow, nice. Let's take a look. What do you think about the, the darker maroon? I like the maroon. It's rich. They work very nicely with the brick. I couldn't believe, like, all the bricks, you know, that they did. And it looks beautiful. We've got quite a bit of work ahead of us still. We, yeah. We're just starting the wallpaper. Yeah, I see. It looks good, though. I like it. The fireplace is great. Yeah. The problem is that it's way out into the room. Christine, nice come night. here, because what I would like to do is to take the center portion of this wall and push it your way. Are you kidding me? Offsetting it a little bit will provide a little more variety down that center line. OK. I think it kind of sucks to have Petroza's restaurant encroach upon mine. Fine. Fuck it. We'll deal with it. Let's talk about the stripes first. So what do you think? I didn't know the wallpaper was striped. I definitely like the stripes better. Both the samples we looked at were striped. Oh, they look so ugly. I hate it. 
It's not good. It's really, really not good. The stripes are like my biggest concern. You know, like with the window frames and then white and then blue, it's like, ugh. Wow, look at your stuff. This is it. This is it. And Christina is very upset. That's good for me. I had no idea I was going to be striped. Oh, my god. It's freaking me out. Oh, I feel ill. I want to vomit. Not having that control makes me crazy. I don't like it. In my head, I've designed my dream restaurant. And I don't like the work that's been done. So they need to fix it. There's just a lot of stripes, you know what I'm saying? OK, we can paint over it. What if we did the insides chocolate brown, and then like the outsides, the latte color to give us that contrast? OK. All right, let's go with that. And I think that we've sort of hit a good medium. If I worry about it, I'm not going to sleep. Then what good am I? Now we've got an ugly dining room and a sucky kitchen. Let's at least get something right. After a long day, Christina and Petroza try to get some much needed rest. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sleep. The anxiety and the anticipation is killing. Finally, it is the last day in Hell's Kitchen. But for Christina and Petroza, it's much more than that. It's taken all my life to get here. If I win, this would be the most successful thing I've ever done. Oh. Finally. Petrosa, yeah. Get both your butts down here now. Yes, Chef, bye. Chef Ramsey, both down there now. It's down to Petroza and I. I like those odds. I want to get in the kitchen. Let's go. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. OK, quite honestly, one of the most important nights of your entire cooking career. But let's be honest, you can't get there alone. Both of you need your brigade. Yes, Chef. Yes, absolutely. So here they are. Welcome back, Bobby. Hey, Chef. Look at how cute Bobby is. How you doing? Bobby, yes. can someone get a grip in here? We correct the problem, Chef. Put some burgers on. Put your head down and cook. Welcome back, Ben. There's the man. How are you? Good, Chef. How are you today? Yeah. Oh, fucking no, you've taken it easy. Are we done? Because if we're not, I'm going to complete my station tonight, Chef. Shut it down! I knew it. I personally want to be on Petroza's team. I want to make that guy win. Christina, I really don't give a rat's ass about it. Corey. Dave. How are you, Corey? Good, thank you. My first nominee for strategic reasons is Christina. My second nominee is for personal reasons, and it's Jen. OK, the gloves are off. Matt. How are you, buddy? Great, Chef. Migraine. Come here a minute. Let me just tell you something. You've got a migraine. I've had one ever since you I walked know, in I here. Know. Matt, migraine gone. Migraine gone. <laughs> Lou Ross. Lou Ross. Never short of style. <laughs> make it look sexy, guys. guys. Let's make love to it. Let's make love to the fish. Jen. Hello, Chef Ramsay. How are you? That's great. Why are you sending me John Dory now? I didn't bring my John Dory up there, Chef. He brought the garnet. Don't shout at me. Hey, Jen. Hello. Hello. Jen. Yes, Chef. Your face is down today. What's the matter? I'm here. It's definitely rough coming into this competition. I'm far superior to any other other competitors. And my goal tonight is to make Chef Ramsay second guess the fact that he got rid of me. OK. Tonight's a big one. Both Petros and Christina will be depending on you all to help complete their dream. Their fate lies in your hands. Petrosa, you won the challenge in New York. Therefore, you get to choose first. It would really set me back if Petrosa picked Corey. Corey and I really sort of bonded and came together. It's nice to have somebody strong like that back you up. Choose wisely. I'm going to take Bobby. Bobby. Excellent. Bobby's a rock star. He was always there for me. Yeah, I couldn't take the chance of not getting Bobby. That Christina, are you ready for your first choice? Oh, I'm so ready, Chef. Corey, come on over. I'm definitely Christina's backbone in the kitchen at this point. I'm going in there. I'm getting the job done. OK, Petrosa, ready for your second choice? Yes, Chef. Why have you chosen this person? He's talented. He's strong. Who is he? Ben. Ben. <laughs> good to see you, pal. Good, good to see you, man. Second choice, Christina, is who? Well, I'm going to pick Lou Ross. I need some energy. I really do. Well, you've definitely got that in Lou Ross. Well done. So the last two left, Jen and Matt. Petroza, 
Your last pick. <laughs> Think carefully. I hope Petrosa picks Jen. I mean, Matt, I can work with, but Jen's attitude is a detriment, not only to me, but to the rest of the team. Big choice. I really don't want Matt on my team because I, I really don't need to hear his mouth. I don't need to hear any whining. But Jen has a problem accepting any kind of criticism. This is a tough decision. It's like the lesser of two evils. Who's it gonna be? And now, the conclusion of Hell's Kitchen. Petroza. Yes, chef. Your last pick. Who's it gonna be? Jen or Matt? Matt is a freaking lunatic. And Jen, she could be a bitch. That's a tough decision. I don't want to be picked last. Petrosi, please, you got to pick me, bud. Please, please, please. My pick is Jen. I definitely know that the reason I was picked second to last is because how strong of a leader I am, and they don't want to be outshined by me in their kitchen, but that's going to happen anyway. Good choice, Petrosa. I'm going to fight for is. you tonight, baby. I know I'm gonna it fight is. For you. I know it's right. Thank God Petrosa took Jen. I don't like her, I don't trust her, I don't want her on my team. Christina, your last pick. Yes, chef. Who are you gonna pick? Come on over, Maddie. All right. All right. When Matt's on, he's on. And when Matt goes down, he goes down hard. But with a little bit of encouragement, I think he'll really shine. Hopefully. Now, discuss the menu, the vision, and start putting the most important night of your entire cooking careers together. Tonight is the night. Off you go. With just 10 hours to go before their restaurants open, Christina and Petroza bond with their teams. Okay, it's three apps, three entrees, three desserts. Okay. I feel freaking great about my team. We're gonna cook our heart out. You got the strongest team. Petroza is like the nicest guy you ever want to meet. I think Petroza will win tonight. He's the more seasoned chef, and people like working for Petroza. You know, we're all going to have to chip in on that. Me, Petroza, and Bobby were tight, but I never worked with Jen on a team, so I hope she's got a good head on her shoulders when it comes to being in the kitchen. I want to have a good, enjoyable service it's all it's with you be. guys, with my friends. I can't believe Chef Ramsey didn't give me the opportunity to have a spot in the final two. I'm definitely the most well-rounded and strongest chef here, so I don't know what he was thinking. Jen isn't eager to work for a former competitor, but she's not the only one. Maddie, you know, I've seen you good and I've seen you bad. Christina made my jaw drop. That girl had an attitude. I have no respect for her. You don't just get respect, you gotta earn it. Matt. I loved your risotto idea. We sold the shit out of it, so I thought we should do it again. You were my inspiration, you know, for this dish and for this station. So I really want you to make it yours, you know? You actually matured a little, so I'm actually going to call you chef. I wasn't about going to, but now you earned my respect just now. OK. Did I build it for him? No. But he bought it like hook, line, and sinker, you know, which is great. So here's where I see us going. Corey, how could I not put you on me? Lou Ross, you've got so much energy. I see you on apps. No one has ever had a perfect service, and I think we can. While Christina lays out her carefully planned strategy, Petroza takes a different approach. Nothing's prepped, nothing's prepped. I haven't even seen anything yet. No, oh, P, what's wrong, Petroza? What's wrong with you? Petroza, I'm telling you, you definitely want to get organized. You have to have it all written down. We can post that right up on the refrigerator. You post this, you want to post this? I mean, it was just all chicken scratch and thrown together and... Uh. I'm a tiny bit overwhelmed. Being a prep chef for Petroza is like people playing the violin when the Titanic was going down. That's how I feel right now. With only six hours to go before the doors to Hell's Kitchen open, both teams begin their dinner service prep. All right, you guys, this is it. Now it's working on the pureed peas. We need to reduce that white wine. Although construction has been going around the clock, both restaurants are still behind schedule. Christina. Oh. Let's do a quick review of where we are, because we need to make some hard decisions. John, what are we looking at? I was a little worried last night when I came in, and there was, like, stripes and shit everywhere. I didn't know the wallpaper was striped. Oh, they look so ugly. 
We didn't do the fronts yet. I don't know if we can comb it with the gold or... In order to make sure that we can finish this on time, I would recommend chocolate brown all the way around. Never worked with a designer before. It's frustrating as all get out. Let's go chocolate brown. My restaurant has to be done by the time we open. And not just done, but paint has to be dry. I mean, most important is get it done. While Christina's concerned about her color scheme, Petroza has bigger problems. Right now, I can't even get a hold of our booth upholsterer. What do we call the muscle? Do we send Bobby over there to take care of? We're working on it. I have to trust John as a designer. But you know what? I don't want to be scrambling at the last minute. With Petroza out of the kitchen, Jen puts her energy into prepping. Chef Ramsey. For her future. Jen. Can you write me a letter of recommendation? Can I what? Write me a letter of recommendation. A letter of recommendation? Yeah. A reference? Yeah. Jen's over there asking Chef Ramsey if she can have a letter of recommendation. Are you fucking serious? Jen pulls Chef Ramsey aside, which I thought was just really classless. You know, whatever you think honestly of me, minus my big mouth. Come on, dude. I hate her. I officially hate her. <laughs> While Jen's mind is elsewhere, Matt's mind. Cheryl and Tarragon sit in the tree. Matt is unstable, he's delusional, and he's a little bit psychotic. We still need to get the fig chutney working. Oh, yeah, Mr. Petard got the chutney working. Hey, Matt, in about 10 minutes, I need you to be done with the pee puree, OK, bud? Now, you said you wanted me to pee in the puree? Christy, I'm telling you, for your own sake, you need to tell this guy to get more serious, because he's fucking around, dude. Whatever you say, Corey. Hey, guys. We have to keep together for one day. Matt, if you are going to bring down the entire kitchen with your attitude, then you can just fuck off, really. Seriously, Matt, you better get your shit together. Don't worry about my shit. My shit's together. Oh, you I'm and your Maddie. fucking comments oh, to I'm me. Maddie. You're piss me off. While Christina takes a hands-on approach with Matt, Petroza has his hands full with Jen. Are you all right, Jen? Uh, um, yeah. Jen, how long on that risotto, sweetheart? My name is Jen, not sweetheart, and it's a minute and a half. Jen has been in a pissy mood. She wants to be in the winner's circle, but she's not. I'm sorry, Jen. You just you just didn't make it. Get over yourself. You good there, Jen? You need help? If I need help sweeping, I definitely wouldn't trust me to work a line. Jen's being a bitch and pouting and doing the same dance that we all know her for. Stick with me, OK, mentally. Just don't fade. Don't fade away, all right, Jen? If Jen smarts off, I'll throw Jen out in a second. Oh, fuck. I was, uh, I was just like, put your head down and cook. Just do what you got to do to get the hell out of here for this last time. So guys, we are one. We are one. There's just one hour before the doors of Hell's Kitchen will open. And Chef Ramsay is now ready to review the dishes from Christina and Petroza's menus. OK. Where's the menu, please? The finalists have each prepared three entrees, three appetizers, and three desserts. Christina's starters will feature a trio of beef sliders, and her entrees will include a grilled New York strip steak with herbed compound butter and sweet corn succotash. For dessert, she's including a tropical sundae with roasted pineapple and macadamia nut brittle. OK, sliders, what are they? It's all beef. Mm -hmm. All beef. They're delicious. But I'm just trying to think why you'd eat all three beef. You know, if you've done one um, tuna burger and one veal burger, I want to have some excitement behind them. OK. He would have rather seen, I think, different proteins. It's too late for that. So we've got to make do with what we've got. I don't care whether there's a rubber rosemary on there or a little rubber garlic. Sex them up a little bit. OK, this is your New York strip. A big clump of meat, it's fine. But two or three slices, it looks like you've cared. Yeah? Yes. OK, desserts? Uh, it's yeah. a tropical sundae, coconut sorbet, and macadamia nut brittle is the garnish. Fantastic. Why don't you sort of um, bash that up a little bit and sprinkle it on top? Sounds good. So you go that extra mile. It's not about playing safe. It's about really pushing the boundaries right. out. It was my strategy to be reasonably simple. I don't like things that are overcomplicated. But it was also to produce food that my kitchen could cook. Thank you. All right. Petroza's appetizers include a lobster strudel, and his entrees feature a filet mignon with caramelized risotto and a crispy onion ring. Petroza's desserts include a vanilla souffle with a whiskey creme anglaise. All right, let's go through. Appetizers. Lob the lobster strudel, and it's actually uh, a vanilla lobster sauce on there. Cream and eggs, lobster, shallot, sherry. Texture inside. What have you done to that? It's like it's overcooked and curdled. I think I could work on that a little mm -hmm. bit. OK, good. OK, next. This is the, uh, the grilled filet mignon mm -hmm. with the onion risotto. Mm -hmm. Beef, lovely. Risotto, it's too stiff. Don't yeah. be scared to do a nice big onion ring on top of the beef. 
and let your risotto go natural on the plate. Nice, OK. Yeah, so it's acting as a sauce, and it's okay. creamy, and it's okay. delicious. I think it's of the utmost importance to take Chef Ramsay's advice. He's phenomenal. And he not only does he give you advice, but he tells you why. And finally? Uh, the uh, vanilla souffle mm -hmm. with the whiskey creme anglaise. Very brave doing a souffle. Good. That is how I serve my souffle. Nice. OK. Oh, we've got some corrections to make, but we're going to be able to recover from it. And now's the time to fix them. OK, two completely conflicting menus. Petrozas, for instance, has gone for really highly imaginative food. Very dangerous. If you pull this menu off, it could be highly successful. It's beautiful. Christina, on the other hand, has played somewhat safe, almost a bit of a sort of plain Jane. If she turns it up a notch, she can make that food exciting. It's really important that both kitchens start perfecting their food. With the opening of Hell's Kitchen just 30 minutes away, the booths for Petroza's restaurant have finally arrived. Meanwhile, Christina's restaurant has been completed and is ready for Chef Ramsay's review. Christina, show me your dining room, please. Yes, Chef. I wanted it to be elegant but yet comfortable. I wanted to put in some big comfortable chairs. I wanted you to feel like you were somewhere special. Quite contemporary. Mm -hmm. Chairs are really comfy. I know, huh? that was, they're my favorite parts. Right. Quite a light, um, vibrant, um, almost summery feel. It's quite elegant looking. I thought the candles and the sconces would sort of jazz it up a little bit. Uh, very LA. You should be proud. It was hard work. Right, it was it great. It really was. I thought my restaurant looked beautiful. Really nice. We totally redid everything. Right, uh, Petroza, show me your restaurant. Yeah, take me around. What's the experience? What do you think of this place? It's got its warmth. It's rustic. It's yeah, rustic, it's, it's not yeah. contemporary. It mm -hmm. is nice, elegant. I feel mm -hmm. comfortable. You've got that wonderful vibrance mm -hmm. of the table. Flowers everywhere. I like brick. I like rustic. But I like the flowers, so I felt that it was a good mix. It makes it romantic and a place where the guys could come, too. Yeah. I love the fireplace. I think it's my favorite part. I feel like I'm in the middle of the Hamptons. Chef Ramsay has the absolute highest standards of any chef I've ever met. And he liked my restaurant. Yep. It means everything. Hey, well done. It looks lovely. Thanks. Yeah? Thanks. And good luck. We're ready to go. Just minutes away from the most important service of their lives, Chef Ramsay has some final words of advice for Christina and Petroza. The next service for one of you will be in my LA restaurant. One of you will become the executive chef. It doesn't get any bigger than this. I'll be watching both of you very carefully, how you handle your brigade, how you handle pressure. Not the first ticket, not the second ticket, every ticket. Good luck Thank to you. you both. In two minutes from now, I'm opening House Kitchen. Great. Yes, Let's chef. go. Yes, chef. Oh, yes, good chef. luck. You guys ready? This is you tonight, baby, all right? You. Come on, guys. It's our last service. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. Manny, Matt, liven up. Come on. Next three hours, you're going to change all of our lives. Tonight's service is the most important service of my life by a 1,000. By, by 250,000, actually. Good luck, guys. Well, let's do it. Let's get busy. All right, guys. Here we go. Ready. Let's do this. How many people have to work for years to get what's at the end of this day? I only have to work really hard for one more day. Bring it on. I am fucking ready. Let's go, guys. All right, team. Here it goes. Just moments before Hell's Kitchen is set to open, Christina and Petroza have a final talk with their teams. We got 13 tables tonight. So we have 13 tables to be perfect. Yep. Bump up the energy, keep it up, keep it going. All we have to do is fucking cook food. Open the shit up, dude. I'm ready to go. Are you OK, Maddie Matt? You're quiet. What's going on? I'm just concentrating on the task at hand. I feel good about my team right now, but I'm a little iffy on Matt because he's so unpredictable. I just have to give it everything I got and hope that my team does as well. All right, come on, guys. It's our last service. No mistakes. Leave this kitchen. Okay. You guys ready? As far as what we do, these are the biggest three hours of all of our lives. OK, let's man up, guys. What about woman in up? Jen, she just got a shit poor attitude. And you can see it right on her face. So hopefully she don't disturb the team too much. Good luck. Absolutely. Knock him dead. Petroza, here we go, yes? Right, Christina, let's go, yes? OK, Jean-Philippe. Oui, chef. Open house kitchen, please.
Tonight, Christina's Elegant Bistro will go head-to-head -head with Petrosa's Rustic Club Room. Each kitchen will serve 13 tables with 50 diners. Good evening. Customer reviews, along with Chef Ramsay's observations, will determine who wins the executive chef position in Gordon Ramsay's new restaurant, The London West Hollywood, a position worth a quarter of a million dollars. I have the lobster strudel. I would like the tagliatelle. Thank you. All right, very first table, four covers, table 43. Say it loud and proud. Appetizers, I need two arugula salad, one tagliatelle, two sliders, Corey. Yes, chef. Yes. Here we go. First order of your last service. It's exciting, but it's also stressful because getting off to a good start is paramount. I need it in about four minutes, OK? Burgers are in, guys. We're on four minutes till burgers are up. Just four four minutes. minutes hurt. Uh-oh, you filling up out there, Petrosa. You filling up? Order in. Listen up. Table 24, three guests, one strudel, one sweet bread, one frisee salad. Thank yes, you, chef. chef. It's do or die. It's do or die. The next three and a half hours is going to decide the, uh, the fate of my uh, life. Bob, you got your strudel in, pal. Three minutes for the strudels, Al Petrosa. OK, let's have them. Got off to a really great, vibrant start. Both kitchens now have got tickets underway, and the energy levels are great. Now, for me, the most important part is the finish. If they can keep up this momentum and that level of energy, that's going to decide the winner. Guys, we need to pick these appetizers up. All right, we've got salad coming up right now. Oh, Ross, go, go, go. It's our one last night in Hell's Kitchen, and you know I really want to help Christina win tonight, so I'm going to do everything in my power to do that. 30 seconds, let's go. Thank you. Salad's in the window. Sliders, whenever you're ready. Sliders coming up now. Two sliders. All right, thanks. They look nice, Great. the sliders. It looks appetizing. Thank huh? you, chef. All right, service, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. All right, let's go. Come on, come on guys, come on. this is a great start. Let's keep going, keep it up. Christina has gotten her brigade off to a strong start. Mm. Oh, yeah. Really good. This tastes good. Now the pressure's on Bobby to deliver his appetizers to Petroza. OK, Bobby, I want to put these apps out. I'm going to need that strudel quick, fast, and in a hurry, man. All right, Petroza. He definitely went for an impressive menu. It's a problem executing that stuff. But I'm going to keep cool, and I'm just going to cook my ass off. Thanks, right? Yeah, cool, cool. Hey, Bobby, this is cold. This is cold. We're not going to be able to do it like this, you guys. I need you to put it together, a little foil on, and reheat in the convection. If anything goes by me or went out wrong, it's ultimately my fault. I let it go by. Check, check it before it even comes to me. Check it all. Check everything before it comes to me. Stick your finger in everything. Touch everything. Taste everything. This is absolutely crucial now. It's good to see that Petroza has quality control. He's not happy with Bobby Strudel. He sent it back. You've got to be over your brigade. You run them or they run you. Strudel and a frise. How long to the window? Right a now, hot, right a now. A hot strudel and a frise. Yeah. Five frise right after that, Bobby. On the pass with the strudel. Coming to the window. Three strudel and one frise. Keep them hot. Keep them hot. Much better, Bobby. Yeah, like that every time, Bobby. Like that every time. Thanks, pal. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm back in the saddle. This is my backyard. I'm a four-star general. Petrosa needs me. So it was just like riding a bike. Pick up, please. Bobby's second attempt at the lobster strudel leaves the blue kitchen. It's delicious. And Petrosa's quality control has paid off. Now Christina is feeling the pressure. Come on, guys. We need to pick this up a notch. Appetizers, how long? Three minutes, chef. Three minutes. How about the first one? Come on, Lou Ross. Let's go. Let's go. <sighs> Guys, coming up in one minute. Is that OK, Lou Ross? Oh. Come on. Now we're backed up now. I need help. It was really frustrating for me to be up there because I just wanted to, like, jump in. And I knew I couldn't because the moment I, I step off my post, things are going to go down. Hey, Maddie, can you help Lou Ross on salads? He's running around a lot. Let's go. All right. You want to help me with uh, salad? Yeah. Where's your arugula down here? Come on, let's go, guys. How much? Just that much? That much. Yeah. Where's the serrano ham at? Serrano ham? Put it on top? Put it on top. Matt sucks. All right, so you pile it nice? Like, seriously, he was asking stupid questions. Just put right it on this plate. And it goes right on top to him? Just put it on top. I tell you, working with Matt, it was, like, really frustrating. No offense, but salad is easy. Come on, Matt. This yeah, is chef. not our first night service, is it? No, chef. Matt, yeah. turn it up. I need a plate. Come on. Yes, yeah, chef. Thank you. God. Matt's frantic and trying to figure out what he's doing. I have no idea how we're going to get through service. <sighs> Fuck me. Service, please. 
please. We're going to table 54. While Christina's team stumbles through appetizers, over in Petroza's kitchen, appetizers have already gone out to over half his customers. Pick up, please. Beautiful. Table 24, right? Let's go a strudel sweet bread frisee. Yes, sir. I need the frisee salad bed. Oh. What? That's all the cheese I got. You might have to go down to one. We have no more frisee? Is that what you're saying? We don't have any more of that cheese back there. We don't have any more cheese. Not any of that blue cheese. We ran out of the cheese for the frisee salad. It was a nightmare. How many portions you got in order? Five. How many portions you got in there? I got four orders. Come on, Jen. My station was not prepped. So that wasn't my fault. And they shouldn't have ran out. It should have been enough there for me. You've got to count down. She's got to know what's in the fridge. Bobby's got to know how many strudel he's got. Ben's got to know how many steaks he's got, yes? Come on. Petroza. Yes. I can clear the board on the strudel, but that's it after that. What? We can't run out of strudel and the frisee salad. Oh, come on. Why didn't we say that earlier? Running out like that was tearing me apart. It was ripping out my guts. Uh, oh, my god. What the hell do I do now? You have to make a decision now, yes? Yeah. Oh, come on. Petroza, I swear to you, I'll stop it, yes? No, 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 no. Bobby, what else could you do for me, Bobby? Um, just give me something. We're waiting. OK, OK, OK. I can, I can give you a risotto. Nice. Go ahead. Risotto. We had to bounce back. There's no getting away from it. You had to bounce back. Nice, nice. Good. Lobster risotto. Let's bang these appetizers out so we can do some entrees straight away. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Thanks to some quick thinking, food is once again leaving the blue kitchen. Coming up with your salad. Pick up, please. Go ahead. And Petroza's new appetizer. Oh, my gosh. Is a success. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Christina has started serving entrees. Let's get this, this going, guys. Get it out of the window. We got too this many is, hands up here. Medium. How's everything? Well, okay, actually, you know what? This is lukewarm-ish. Matt and Corey, two New York strips, two risotto right away. I saw Christina's food come back to the past. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's just cold, and the, the butter is not melting. That's good for me. I'll take it. Keep bringing them back. Keep bringing them. Keep bringing them. Yeah, touch the steak. Touch the steak. Yeah, it's what? fucking cold. Come on, Christine. Let's go. Refire. Quick. This is serious now. I need one more New York strip. Refire right now. Matt, Matt, do garnish for one medium rare. Refire. Steak. Right away. Right away. Right away. Steak was sent back. I was so freaking, you know, frazzled anyways, trying to get my shit out. Because once one thing comes back, then the other stuff gets pushed back. And that's going to just, it's going to be one big mess. Look at all this food on here. Come on. Put it up, Matt. Put up your risotto fish? and finish the garnish for two steaks. Please. That's the easiest thing to do, yeah? Jesus Christ. Come on. Now we're backed up now. Christina, turn it up, yes? Yes, chef. Come on. Come on. Two tickets. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's get these steaks out. Come on, Matt. You got this. You know how to do this. I need that risotto now. Photo's right here, chef. Thank you. I still need your refire coming up right now. Thank you. Service, please. The red team have caught up. They seem to be on top of their game now, which is great. Christina's come out herself, and she's become a little bit more assertive. Let's go, guys. Come on. We got our rhythm. Let's keep this up. Yes, yes chef. chef. Christina has steered her kitchen through some bumpy waters, and her diners are now receiving their entrees. Is it melting now? Oh, yeah, actually, thank you so much. Meanwhile, in Petroza's dining room, the customers are waiting. Petroza, come on, food's hanging around. And waiting. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Petroza, yes? How long is that hot food going to stand there for? And waiting. Right now, you're going to have to talk to somebody, yeah? You can't yes. do it all on your own. Chef Ramsey kept telling me to ask for help plating. I was hesitant to ask them because I didn't want to take them away from their stations. You've got a brigade there. Use them. But Chef Ramsey's right, and I understand. Just get the food out and get it out right. I need some help, guys, in the sixth stop, you guys. Come on. Coming to you, Petroza. Jen, come on over here. Do the filet mignon in the end, please. Give me that. Pick up on a basket of filet mignon. Filet coming now. Petroza deserves it. He really does. I'm out to win it for the guy. I got his back. I'm going to do my best for him. That's good. That's good. That's good. OK, let's go. With a little help from his friends, Petroza's entrees are leaving the kitchen. All right, go. And his diners are thrilled their long wait is over. All right, here we go. Yay. Thank you very much. Here you go, chef. Meanwhile. Matt, monkfish is raw. Yes, chef. Fix it. Yes, chef. Christina, well spotted. You keep it in the fucking kitchen. Fuck did it get raw. Monkfish came up raw. Raw, raw, raw. All right, come on, Maddie. I just feel like 
you know, I have to watch Matt's every move. You know, I was like, come on. We've done this a lot of times. It's raw in the middle, Matt. Yes, chef. How can you do that to her? Shut up already. Fuck's sake. Tastes fucking good, that's what counts. Matt was kind of, you know, as soon as he gets yelled at, he's mumbling under his breath to Chef, I'm doing my best. I can't stand here and let that go. Right, yeah, Chef. Too fucking important. Shut the fuck up, you ain't stealing my thunder. I look at Matt and I'm just like, bro, what are you talking about? Just keep no, fucking, just baby, come on, you. come on. Let me, shh. Concentrate, concentrate, baby. Yeah, then shut up. Fucking useless. Shut up. What the fuck is going on? Hey, hey, come here, you, yeah? Sorry, yeah, chef. Hey, hey, listen to me, hey, fuck face. Come here, I said. Yeah, would you mind fucking shutting the fuck up? Just fucking concentrate. Yes, chef. While Matt plays with fire, Petroza desperately seeks... One onion ring. That's the only thing holding the table up. You got the onion ring, Jen? Yeah, it's coming. Come on, Jen. All I'm waiting for the table is one onion ring. I know. What the... He keep... Jen was killing me. Tons of crummy attitude. It's terrible waiting to send out a whole table. And I'm waiting on one onion ring from Jen. Let's go! Right here. Here, thank you. Oh. Okay. What is that? I need a crispy onion ring. I got a dead one here. I need a better one. Come on! Put up a decent onion ring! Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Come on, Jen, let's go. Yeah, I, I am, chef. Fuck. She's in a fucking half. You want one of these to fucking take your dream away? Let's go, come on. Come on, Jen, what are you doing to me, man? Onion rings, you're frying onion rings. Come on, this shit is fucking crazy, man. Jen. Yes, chef. Hey, listen, there's no need to be fucking disrespectful. I'm not being yeah. disrespectful, chef. Oh. Uh, With one arm, I could have done a better job than Jen did on that station. I got meat getting cold here. Hey, look at me, come here. Right now, you got one awkward bitch in your kitchen. Yeah. Fucking organize it and get on top of it, yes? Jen? Just do your food, just cook the food. Just cook the food, just shut up, cook the food. Thank you, Petroza. Fucking miss sabotage. Where's my onion ring, Jen? Here are your onion ring. It's two hours into the final dinner service in Hell's Kitchen. And with Petroza's entrees going out, he has now served 10 of his 13 tables. Oh. Great, thank you. Christina has only served eight of her tables and is now rushing to catch up. All right, Maddie, you're giving me a heart attack. How's that monkfish? Coming right now, chef. Monkfish on the pass. Matt! Yeah, chef. This monkfish is not cooked. Oh, no, come on. Not on a night like tonight, come on. I had it cooked for over five minutes in there. Don't argue, you. Fix it, now. I feel like I definitely got screwed by working with Matt. Fuck me. You need to shape up or get the fuck out of my kitchen. Hey, you're getting screwed by him in there. I'll tell him if you want me to. Hey, no, look at chef, me. Hey, I got I'll it. run it. Every dish counts, Christina. And he's sending you raw monkfish. Here again. Run your brigade. Yes, chef. Matt, I need one more portion of monkfish. I need it right now. Give me those two thin tail pieces firing for me right now. Shake your fucking mouth. Let me cook. First of all, it wasn't a raw piece of fish. It was just a little part of it that was still technically a little raw, right in the crevice of the fish. Two pieces, and I want it now. You got it. Let's go. I don't know what Matt's problem with the monkfish was. What the fuck, man? Six minutes that shit's been cooking. Matt, this is my night, and I'm not going to let you ruin it. Monkfish perfectly all, cooked. Yeah. Great. Service, please. Woo! With Matt back on track, Christina pushes her team to get out their final entrees. Perfect food, most important. Yes, yes chef. chef. Matt, you are two perfect risottos away from your last health kitchen service. Come on. Perfect, Matt. Right now, it's coming to the end of the service, and it's really seriously neck and neck. This is the critical part of the service. Right now, is anyone's game. Desserts away on tables 22 and 26. Yes, chef. Come on, turn yes, it off, yes? Come on! Two tickets, let's go! It, let's go! How are 25 desserts doing, Bobby? One minute out, chef. Service, please. Put some lead in your step. Just because it's the last table doesn't mean you can fucking crawl. Let's go. The presentation is really good. Pick up, please. All right, you guys, come on, last table. That looks great. Mine's the best. Really? That's really good. Good job. What a night. What a night. Petroza, Christina, job well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Honestly, this evening, 
more highs than lows, clearly. Give yourselves a round of applause. OK, obviously tonight, only one winner. One of you will become the executive chef of my new restaurant, the London West Hollywood. Your new job. Patroza and Christina, turn around, say goodbye to your brigade, and go upstairs to the dorms. You guys did an awesome job. Thank you so much. I think we did a really good job. We had some ups and downs during our service, but I really just tried to stay in control of my brigade, so hopefully it was enough. Good luck with Rosa. We finished strong. I really do feel pretty good about it. I feel like I got a good shot at this. I think I've got an edge, but you know what? I can never be certain. Back to the dorm, all right. Bye, guys. All right, guys, take it easy. Thanks, man. God, I just want to do this. Waiting and not knowing is torture. You know, it's like been building and building and building. Come on. I definitely want this. How close am I? <laughs> really effing close. Oh, my God. I want to win. I want to win. I want to win bad. Now it's Chef Ramsay's decision, the, the ultimate final decision. Tonight's winner will be determined by comment cards and Chef Ramsay's overall observations. Petroza, food's standing there going cold. Bobby, a little foil on and reheat in the convection. Check everything before it comes to me. Stick your finger in everything. Touch everything. Everything, absolutely. Yeah, well, touch the steak. Touch the steak. Yes, Come cold. Come on, Christine, let's go. Refire. This is serious now. Let's go, guys. Come on. We got our rhythm. Let's keep this up. Yes, yes chef. Perfect food. Most important. Here we go. Nervous pee? Are you nervous? Yeah. I don't want to lose to Christina. Christina's a kid. A very, very talented kid, but she's a kid. All right. Final moment. Here we go. I think, in the end, the best cook is going to win. And I really hope that's me. Last two standing. Making this decision has been sheer agony for me. I went back and forth a number of times. Clearly, you both have strengths. And without a shadow of doubt, two very worthy finalists. And after getting to know you both and watching you grow throughout Hell's Kitchen, I know both of you are going to go on to great success. It's now time for my decision. Christina Petroza, step up to the doors. Good luck. Good luck, B. <laughs> the person whose door opens will be the executive chef at my new restaurant. A position worth a quarter of a million dollars. Are you both ready? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Put your hand on the door and do not turn the handle. Today's the biggest night of my life. I came here to win. I came here to win. Oh, my goodness. It's go time. Oh, God, please open. Please be me. Please be me. Good luck, me. On the count of three, open the door to your dream. Are you ready? Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. One. Two. Shit. I am like so happy on 10 different levels. I can't even explain it. Oh my God. Oh. Hey, mom and 
I guess you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm gonna be okay. Yes, I know. I know. Look at me. Well done. Huh? Really well done. Huh? Let's go. It's been a tough journey. It's been hard. It's been painful. It's been long. But it's been good. It's been good. Congratulations. Thank you, Pete. Congratulations. Oh. I've met so many beautiful people. So many beautiful people. How priceless is that? God, it wouldn't be here if it wasn't oh for you guys. Good job. Maddie, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. I'm really happy. It's almost like a fairy tale, you know? I guess it really does happen to people, even big goobers like me. Mom, you must be so happy. Uh, uh, well done. So Christina had the least amount of experience coming into Hell's Kitchen. But I saw something in her that was quite special. She had the best potential across any other chef in Hell's Kitchen. And in my business, I think long term. I definitely, definitely made the right choice. That's for you. Thank you, Chef. Come here. Mostly what I would like to say to Chef Ramsay is thank you for your trust and your faith in me. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Hell's Kitchen, Christina. I feel like I've been on a roller coaster for the last three months. Of all the Hell's Kitchens, this has been the one with the most ups and downs. But we ended on a high. And right now, it's time for me to get the fuck out of Hell's Kitchen. We'll